This is a heart that can resonate with the gods. Whoever possesses it can change to an S-class hidden profession. However, as the owner, I failed to change professions and became a useless person mocked by everyone. It's because a car accident left my heart damaged, and in order to survive, I had to use machinery to modify it. This caused it to be unable to withstand the power of the gods during the profession change and it broke on the spot. At the critical moment when my life was hanging by a thread, the scenes of my parents lying in the hospital bed, my sister living in a wheelchair, and the mockery of my classmates flooded my heart with sadness. With a roar, the mechanical heart in my body forcibly started again, even barely resisting the pressure of the god's power during the profession change. But the sudden appearance of my dear brother caused my belief in a successful profession change to collapse. I spat out a mouthful of blood and fell onto the profession change platform. Just now, my good brother Renining told me that actually, three years ago, the life master of our family calculated my heart and found that it could help awaken an S-level profession for job changers. So he carefully arranged that car accident, and my heart didn't even suffer any damage. It's still inside his body, after all, only someone like him, a rich kid, deserves such a high-level profession. As for me, a poor person, I'm only suitable to be an ordinary and insignificant person. As for my heart inside me now, it is nothing more than a defective product made of scrap iron. How could it possibly withstand the power of the gods to undergo a job change? When I woke up again, I was already in the ICU, with countless anger and unwillingness filling my mind. It turns out that the demon who caused my parents to become vegetative and my sister to lose her legs forever is actually my like-minded good brother. After the anger subsided, there was a sense of powerlessness, after all, he has changed jobs to become an S-class knight of the apocalypse, while I am now just a waste in the intensive care unit. Suddenly, I discovered that there might be a turning point in the situation, because I could clearly see the mechanical heart inside me. It no longer had its previous worn-out appearance, but was filled with immense energy, ready to burst at any moment. At the same time, I also realized that I had successfully changed professions and became an SSS-level super divine profession, a mechanical engineer. Looking at my awakened three major divine level hidden skills, I felt like a high-end version of Iron Man. My heart began to beat violently, as Rin Ening thought he had taken my heart and chose to expose the black hand he had placed on me during the job transition, attempting to completely destroy me. However, he never expected to give me a chance to be reborn. Feeling the new power within me, the seed of revenge in my heart began to sprout. Perhaps this is the beginning of changing my own destiny. I leaped from the sickbed, eager to test the strength of my profession. Later, I quickly completed the discharge procedures. As I passed by my parents' ward, the anger in my heart couldn't help but swell. My parents' medical expenses would be completely depleted in three days, and I didn't have much time for myself. There is also the college entrance examination in 10 days, and the minimum requirement to participate is level 10. Currently, the most suitable plan for me is to go to the wilderness to fight monsters and level up, while also picking up some materials to support my parents' medical expenses. I didn't know until I left the hospital that the current focus of the entire city is on Rinyini, who has changed to an S-level profession. They say he will definitely be the top student in our city this year, and even have the potential to rank in the top 5 nationwide in the college entrance examination. I coldly smiled at this, using the power of others to reach heights that don't belong to oneself will inevitably come at a price. Soon, I arrived at my destination, which is known as the most disgusting newbie leveling area, the Poison Mushroom Forest. The nearby formation mage kindly reminded me that although the monsters in the poison mushroom forest are weak, there are various toxins that are difficult to defend against, making it challenging for newcomers. I smiled slightly at this and walked straight into the teleportation magic circle. Can the toxins bite through my armored mech? Arriving at the Dugu forest, the first thing that catches my eye is not the wild monsters, but the scattered professionals shouting and forming teams. I bought a map and ventured alone into the depths of the forest. In a deserted area, my gaze focused, and a super-powered armor appeared on me in an ethereal light blue color, instantly transforming into a black and gold exoskeleton attached to my body. I felt the immense power within me expanding, and a palm cannon shot out from my hand, causing the towering tree in front of me to collapse. At present, the mech already possesses all the skills of Iron Man, and I also have three major talents that allow my mech to upgrade infinitely. Becoming a super-killing machine is only a matter of time. As the tree fell, all the mushrooms underneath suddenly started moving on their own. Upon closer inspection, I realized that these were all poisonous spiders disguised as mushrooms. If it were an ordinary professional, they would have surely fallen victim, but for me, they couldn't even break through my defense. I simply stomped on them one by one with a single kick. Soon, my level reached level 5, and the drops from the poisonous spiders covered the ground. Just as I was overjoyed and my parents' medical expenses were taken care of, a sudden urgent sound came from afar. A beautiful woman, panting heavily, ran towards me from a distance. Her face was pale, and her clothes were irregularly torn. I looked at her in surprise, wondering what could make a level 10 professional look so disheveled. 
The woman also seemed puzzled, wondering what kind of attire this man was wearing. But before I could react, she hugged me tightly, disregarding the contact between our bodies, and pleaded, save me. I frowned, I couldn't possibly intervene to help this woman of unknown origin. Just as I was about to leave, two men suddenly chased after her from a distance, both at level 15. The woman shouted once, here's the thing for you, and turned around to escape. But before she could get away, I punched her in the waist. With the sound of bones breaking, she fell to the ground. The woman's eyes revealed disbelief. Normally, the men who were used by her were all infatuated with her. But this man in front of her, dressed in rags, actually laid hands on her. The two 15th level men were stunned, never expecting me to be so ruthless. For a moment, they stood still, afraid to move forward. As for me, I felt anger in my heart. Gathering energy with one hand, I struck and killed the woman with a palm strike. Ever since the moment I found out that Ren Ening had deliberately approached me for my heart, my heart has become extremely cold. People who use others are not good people. After taking a deep breath, I suddenly noticed that the woman had a token around her waist, and the two level 15 professionals were greedily staring at it. When they realized I was looking at them, they immediately became wary and fearful. But soon they realized that I was just a level 5 professional, probably relying on the power of the exoskeleton I was wearing. They almost got scared. The two of them glanced at each other, instantly understanding each other's thoughts, and then looked at me with a gloomy expression. I sneered. It seems that what my teacher said is true outside of the campus, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. But what exactly is this bronze token? It can actually make these people face life and death? Before I could think too much, the man opposite me, who seemed to be a swordsman, drew his long sword. Another man took out a huge shield and held it in front of him. Faced with two professionals who were ten levels higher than me, I didn't dare to agree. As my thoughts moved, the super god overload activated. The terrifying energy overflowed, and the sound of overload instantly resounded, like the roaring engines of a fighter jet. And the color of my mecha changed from black and gold to crimson. This was my one of my three hidden god level skills, the super god overload, which could directly increase my four dimensional attributes by ten times. As I watched the color of my mech change, the shield warrior couldn't help but charge at me first. The shield warrior excels in strength and defense, and in his eyes, killing me would be as simple as squashing a bug. Smirking at the imposing shield warrior, the sound of my entire armor operating filled the air. With immense power gathered in my hands, I threw a heavy punch at him. With a loud bang, the shield warrior's proud golden level shield was shattered by my blow. His eyes widened in fear, wondering what kind of profession I was. How could someone at only level 5 possess such incredible strength? But before he could think further, my iron fist pierced through the broken shield and directly struck his chest. Instantly, all the ribs in the shield warrior's chest were shattered, and he flew backward like a kite with a broken string. Seeing this scene, the nearby sword warrior was already scared out of his wits. The shield warrior, who was best at defense, was unexpectedly killed in one blow. Just as he was about to turn and run, he felt a wave of heat coming towards him, and then lost consciousness, crashing heavily to the ground. I let go of my left hand, which had released the palm cannon, and muttered to myself. It seems that ordinary professionals are indeed too weak in front of professionals above S rank. I just don't know if the S rank heavenly knight can withstand me. Setting aside my hatred for Rinyini, I began to search the bodies of the three people I had killed, after all, I was now as poor as can be. Then I focused my gaze on the bronze token, once again feeling puzzled. What exactly is this thing? The next second, the super divine armor actually searched for information and transmitted it directly to my brain. It turned out to be the key to a secret realm. I instantly became excited because in this world, besides the wilderness and dungeons where monsters can be farmed, there are also secret realms that contain a large number of precious treasures. Moreover, each secret realm will disappear after being cleared once, so every time a secret realm appears, it attracts the crazy pursuit of countless professionals. It is said that my good brother Rin Ening's family is offering a high reward for the secret realm. If I level up for him, after calming down, I bit my finger and dropped a drop of blood on the token. Immediately, all the information about this secret realm appeared in my mind. Death Forest, level requirement, 5 to 20, number of secret realm keys, 3. My level is just enough to meet the entry conditions. Faced with this rare opportunity, I hesitate to seize it. Otherwise, how can I seek revenge against Renining, who has a bunch of people assisting him? Because this secret realm has three keys, it means that three professionals can enter. I must clear it before they enter, otherwise, I will lose out. Following the route on the secret realm key, I walked towards the middle of the forest. Soon, a magical gate appeared before my eyes. Not long after I entered the secret realm, ten kilometers away outside, a girl with blue hair picked up a token from a pile of spider corpses. It was actually a secret realm key. A look of surprise bloomed on the girl's face, but her expression seemed strangely excited. At the same time, in a certain auction venue in Luohai City, Ren Ening looked at the bronze token in the auctioneer's hand, his eyes filled with burning desire. 
No matter the cost, he must obtain the key to the Death Forest secret realm. At this moment, I am in a secret realm and I am somewhat shocked because the condition to clear the level is to kill the queen bee. The queen bee herself is not terrifying, but what is truly horrifying is the endless worker bees. Besides possessing formidable venom, they can also devour monsters and undergo evolutionary mutations. I quickly made up my mind that this secret realm requires at least two level 20 powerhouses to clear it, one mage for ranged damage and one defensive class for protection. As for myself, being only level 5, I can only do my best. If I can clear a few, then great, but if I can't, I will retreat because preserving my life is crucial. Soon, I stumbled upon the corpse of a goblin in a certain location, with two basketball-sized worker bees feasting on it. My appearance caught their attention, and without any hesitation, they attacked me. My eyes turned cold, and I directly activated the super divine overload of the super divine armor, reaching out to grab one of them. The worker bee that I caught started to bite my palm frantically, leaving some small pits and bumps on it in no time. It seems that it couldn't harm me. As for the damage I received, the super divine armor can completely repair itself. In the next second, I directly crushed the worker bee in my hand. As for the other one, it died instantly as I unleashed a palm cannon. Just these two small monsters allowed me to level up to level 6 directly, and the dropped materials were of great value. This moment filled me with motivation, and it seems that there will be enough money for my parents and sister's medical expenses. Along the way, I encountered various mutated worker bees, such as scorpions, ants, and leopards, but they were all easily dealt with. After about half an hour, I effortlessly reached level 7. What surprised me even more was that a piece of equipment dropped. This meant that my divine level hidden skill, mechanical ascension, finally had a place to shine. It can fuse various equipment and allow for unlimited upgrades and evolution of the super divine armament. When I eagerly integrated it into my arm, a new attack method suddenly appeared in my mind, the arm venom be sword. I tried shooting it at a distant tree, and instantly, a large hole was pierced in the tree, followed by the emergence of white smoke. The venom quickly corroded the entire tree. I took a deep breath, not surprised by its powerful destructive power, as the palm cannon can achieve this level of attack as well. However, unlike the palm cannon, it doesn't require the consumption of the super god armaments energy, which means I can perform multiple long-range attacks consecutively. Just as I was still immersed in excitement, a loud buzzing sound came from the distance. It was a group of worker bees that looked like mice, rushing towards me. There were at least a dozen of them, and even a level 20 professional would have to temporarily avoid their sharpness. But my face was filled with eagerness, and I raised my right arm and started shooting. Every magic mouse worker bee that was hit was instantly killed. After eliminating them, I easily reached level 8. However, I encountered a problem because I had already collected enough drops from worker bees, totaling 50, to meet the upgrade requirements for the super god arm, except for the lack of metal minerals. Just when I was worried, I suddenly discovered a hole dug by a goblin next to me. Inside, various shiny minerals were scattered around, it turned out to be a goblin mine. On the other side, a girl with blue hair appeared at the entrance to the secret realm. Her expression changed unpredictably, indicating that someone had already entered here. Then, she let out a shocked cry. The condition for clearing the stage was to kill the poisonous bee. Even though she was an A-level ice mage, she was only level 4, and she probably couldn't handle even a worker bee. Immediately after, the blue-haired girl seemed to make a certain determination and cautiously moved towards the depths of the forest. However, the powerful worker bees she had imagined were nowhere to be seen. Instead, she saw the corpses of worker bees one after another. She swallowed nervously, feeling extremely shocked. Could it be that a level 30 warrior expert was in the secret realm? These worker bees were actually crushed to death by brute force. On the other hand, I am rapidly excavating the goblin mine, and a pile of ores is neatly sorted on the side. Soon, I have gathered enough materials to upgrade my arms. Upgrade. With a command from me, all these raw materials dissolve under quality control and then transform into countless fragments that merge into my own arms. Finally, with a flash of light, the originally plain arm armor becomes even more exquisite and perfect. I pick up a piece of iron ore from the ground and squeeze it directly. The iron ore instantly leaves a deep fingerprint, almost being crushed into several pieces. So, if I merge a staff and a shield with my arms next, Perhaps I can turn the super divine weapon into a mech with both offense and defense capabilities. Just finished planning to improve my combat power, when suddenly there came a sound outside the mine like the flapping of wings, resembling that of an engine. I saw two huge male bees, resembling brown bears, flying over. Upon discovering me as the intruder, these two brown bear bees actually landed directly on the ground, charging towards me like angry bears. My eyes lit up, perhaps these two big guys could give me some good loot. Faced with two imposing giants, I activated my super god overload in advance. Just as I was preparing to counterattack, a panting blue-haired girl finally rushed over. She wiped away some sweat and happened to witness this scene, her delicate face turning extremely pale in an instant. 
a level 15 monster, and it had activated its berserk skill. Is this guy crazy? He had originally thought that a high-level warrior in his 20s was the one grinding monsters here, but he didn't expect it to be in level 8 mechanic wearing strange armor, seemingly a non-combat profession. The blue-haired girl, morally, was directly frightened and couldn't help but take a few steps back. What are you still standing there for? Why aren't you running away quickly? Then she gritted her teeth and took out her magic staff, seemingly wanting to help me escape. However, the next second, a scene that shocked her appeared. The armor on my body instantly emitted a bright red light, and I reached out my hand and slapped the brown bear wasp in front of me. Bang! Like being hit by a heavy tank, the two large-sized wasps were instantly sent flying. In the horrified gaze of Morally, the two wasps broke several large trees as they flew backwards, only stopping when their bodies hit the ground, but they were already beyond saving, having met their demise. Moliyali's mind went blank, unable to speak in shock. Everything happening in front of her exceeded her understanding. Just then, a violent buzzing sound came from beside her, as if the patrolling male bees had heard the noise and rushed over. It's over. Still in shock, Moliyali saw this scene and felt her brain was about to explode. These were five male bees, all level 15. Before she could finish her thoughts, I instantly erupted. The black poison needles on my right arm shot out, and with just one glance, all the male bees were knocked down to the ground. Immediately after, I casually stepped on and killed all five male bees. With a thud, Morally, who was in a state of extreme shock, knelt down on the ground. Her pretty face was flushed with astonishment. Three minutes later, Morally finally regained her composure and began hesitantly introducing herself. As I observed this beautiful girl, I couldn't help but feel a fondness for her. Despite the great danger we faced, she still managed to remind herself and offer help. She was truly a kind-hearted girl. After that, I paid no more attention to her and started collecting the spoils of this battle. It was quite fortunate that a shield happened to drop, as it was the defensive equipment I currently lacked. Soon, I integrated it into my left arm. Just as I was testing how much the defense power of the super divine armor could be enhanced, Emolili suddenly let out a scream, saying that there were terrifying monsters here. Several ugly green-skinned monsters directly rushed out of the bushes, waving their hammers and shouting excitedly. I was stunned. How could goblins, such low-level monsters, scare Emolili like this? Emolili waved her arms and quickly said, Aren't you afraid? Goblins are the worst monsters. Once they catch a girl, they will ruin her. Listening to her crying, I had nothing to say. Stay still, I'll take care of them for you. And these goblins were really fearless, charging straight towards me. It was a perfect opportunity to test my new skill, Bear's Roar. As my round shield trembled in my hand, a roar accompanied by a vast white sound wave swept out, instantly blasting all the charging goblins away. After dealing with the goblins, Morley finally breathed a sigh of relief and quickly asked me what our next move would be. Without hesitation, I replied that we should go and kill the Queen Bee. Morley's initial reaction was to try and stop me, but then she remembered my impressive performance earlier and immediately had a different thought. Can we go together? She asked. I may be a mage, but I can still contribute a bit of damage and won't hold you back. I didn't refuse and silently set off towards the location of the Queen Bee. Morley followed behind me, chattering away, and I casually responded, as my mind was already immersed in the newly unlocked third divine skill, mechanical construction. In this skill, I saw a massive mechanical factory with towering chimneys emitting steam, resembling a cyberpunk world. In the instant of mental contact, I obtained all the information about the factory. Surprisingly, at level 1, I could create three different units, the excavator, skilled in mining ores, the invader, capable of controlling and modifying monsters, and the scanner tower, which could scan various materials. As I had imagined, the initial units were all support type machines, making it easier for me to upgrade the super godly equipment. At this moment, my eyes were filled with joy. If I were to completely develop this machine, I would be able to solo any dungeon. Afterwards, I quietly created several excavators and sent them to the goblin cave to crazily mine materials. After all, I had only upgraded my arms for now, and there were still five parts that needed upgrading, requiring a large amount of materials to complete. Following that, I created scanning towers to start scanning for mineral resources. The mineral resources in the secret realm were unexpectedly abundant, surpassing my imagination. So, I immediately created 30 excavators and started harvesting like crazy. Unknowingly, one of the excavators actually reached the queen bee's nest. The entire structure of the nest appeared clearly in my mind, but when I saw it, a sense of seriousness appeared in my eyes, which eventually turned into unparalleled shock. In addition to the orderly worker bees, there was actually a black armored male ant the size of a calf in the beehive. The ants and the beehive had formed a symbiotic relationship, and beside the bloated queen bee, there was also a huge creature wriggling its fat body, giving birth. This was actually a rare double boss secret realm. Name Black Armor and Queen. Level, LV20. Strength, 
268. Physique, 176. Agility, 8. Spirit, 112. Skills, Fierce Toxin, Super Regeneration, Endless Reproduction. Introduction, the mother of the entire ant tribe, as long as he doesn't die, he will be able to recover very quickly and has the ability to constantly reproduce, as long as he isn't killed, the ant tribe will have a constant stream of power. The queen bees panel was also on the same level as the ant queen. 110 worker bees, plus 100 level 15 worker ants. Even if a well-trained squad of powerful level 20 adventurers accidentally went in here, I'm afraid that there would be no bones left. If Wang Chuan hadn't deployed the scanning tower in advance and probed the interior of the nest, he would definitely have to suffer a great loss if he went over now. Thinking of this, Wang Chen was secretly glad. Hey hey hey! What's going on? Seeing that Wang Dust had been silent, Emma Liuli took her magic staff and knocked on Wang Dust's head armor, making a crisp sound. It's nothing, it's just that I found out that the hive in the distance is symbiotic with the queen of the same level, it's a rare double boss secret area. Wang Dust looked towards Emma Liuli and briefly spoke about the secret realm. What? There's another LV-20 level ant queen here. Emolioli's delicate body trembled, and her eyes were filled with shock. Almost instantly, Emolioli's heart sprouted a desire to retreat as she pulled Wang Chen's hand and shouted, Then what are you still waiting for? Why don't you hurry and exit the secret realm with me? No, I think I can try to brush it off. Wang Dust's gaze flickered, not intending to give up. Worker bees and worker ants were magical creatures controlled by the pheromones of the queen bee and queen ant, and although they were powerful, their own intelligence was very low. And the intruder that he could create right now, against this kind of worker ants that needed the queen's pheromone instructions for all their actions, was simply complete. But Emolioli was in a hurry, she trembled, are you crazy? Even if you are powerful, the secret realm is not something you can handle. At this moment, Emo Lioli didn't even have half a thought of brushing the secret realm in her heart. Kidding aside, a queen bee was difficult enough, not to mention that there was also a symbiotic queen ant inside, and now that the difficulty of the secret realm had increased by several times, who would dare to die? Seeing Wang Chen's indifference, Emo Lioli was angry and anxious. Hey! Are you leaving or not? What's the point of leaving? Isn't it just an ant queen? Just watch me brush past it. Wang Dust laughed. The secret realm that was a nightmare for others was simply not too simple for him. But these words ushered in a huge blank stare from M. O. Lioli. Brush through? Brother! This is a double boss nightmare level secret realm. You're indeed strong, that's true, but no matter how strong you are, you're not as strong as these two bosses, you can be piled to death just by the pile of demons under you. Seeing that Wang Chen was really planning to brush the bosses, Emo Liuli stomped her foot in anger, since you're determined to die, I won't accompany you. After saying this, Emo Liuli left alone in a rage. Wang Chuan sat on the ground and prepared to create an intruder to try. But not a moment later, Emo Liuli suddenly came back in a huff. Why did you come back? Wang Chuan was stunned. Emo Liuli cried out with her cheeks puffed out, what do you think? Of course you want you to die here alone, if you want to die, I'll accompany you. Seeing this girl come back like a gambler again, Wang Chen's heart warmed. Although Emo Liuli was timid as hell, she was still relieved that he had come back. Emo Liuli sat on her but next to him and shouted, say, what should we do next? Although she had tried her best to control her fear, her voice still carried a tremor. Wang Chuan suddenly wanted to flirt with Emo Liuli in his heart, he coughed and said, you first act as bait to lure all the demons out, then I'll go deeper into the lair and kill the boss. How dare you ask me to serve as bait to lure out the demons, then what if I die? I simply can't run away from so many demons. As expected, as soon as she heard this, Emma Lioli's legs trembled, her voice took on a crying tone, and her eyes instantly turned red. Don't worry, I won't treat you badly, before you die I can let you experience the pleasure between a man and a woman, so that even if you die, you will die without regret. Wang Dust continued to molest. Woo woo. Good. Emolioli nodded her head as if she was dying, and then started her pulling down her shoulder straps, revealing her large puffy breasts and fragrant shoulders, but in the next moment, the movement in her hand stopped. Bastard. What are you thinking about? 
Even if I'm here, I won't cheapen you. Emo Liuli quickly pulled on her clothes, shy and angry. She instantly understood that she had been molested. Ha ha ha, don't worry, how could I possibly let you lure monsters? You don't have to do anything, just sit here. Wang Dust patted the ground, signaling Emo Liuli to sit down. Don't have to do anything? Emo Liuli said in disbelief. She suddenly said breathlessly, you didn't just say something like you wanted to brush up on your copies just to save face, did you actually plan to follow me once I exit the secret realm? Don't worry, I have my own methods. Wang Chuan closed his eyes and started producing intruders. Emolioli didn't know what kind of medicine Wang Dust was selling in his gourd and could only sit here and look at Wang Dust curiously. At this moment, Wang Chen was producing one intruder after another. Buzz. Mechanical running sounds rang out, and an illusory silver-white mechanical spider took shape, standing up with eight legs propped up, its compound eyes flashing red. Name, Intruder. Population, 1. Skill, invades the brain of a demonic creature, transforms it into a mechanical unit, inherits its original level, has the probability of converting the demonic creature's original skill into a mechanical clan skill, and can be upgraded and worn under the premise of having a mechanical weapon assembly tower. Description, a frightening mechanical spider-type monster, invading the brain of a magical creature, able to change the appearance of the magical creature, the lower the intelligence of the monster, the greater the chance of success in invasion. Almost enough. Wang Chuan's mind moved. Countless, invaders, crawled out from his armor, densely packed like a silver tide, emitting mechanical friction sounds. Emma Liuli was originally dazed when she suddenly saw all kinds of spiders pouring outward from Wang Chen's armor, and some of them even ran on top of her skirt. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Spiders. So many spiders. Emma Liuli directly cried out in fear, almost instantly bouncing up, slapping her skirt, and finally directly took it off and threw it on the ground. It didn't care if she was in front of Wang Chen or not. Luckily, the intruder was very fast, and in a few breaths of effort, these spiders flew away and disappeared. Under Wang Chuan's control, they marched towards the nest in great numbers. Woo woo! Wang Chuan opened his eyes at this time, only to see Emo Liuli crying in aggravation, a gust of wind blew and she sneezed, shivering and clutching her puffy breasts. Of course this is not the point. The point was that at this moment, Emo Liuli stood naked in front of him again. It had to be said that Emo Liuli's figure was really good, the snow-white roundness that could not be wrapped up by the lacy clothing, along with that one sneeze of Emo Liuli, the elasticity swayed as if it was going to call out. There is also that can be said to be the perfect waist curve, as well as white long legs, none of them are not chopping men. After looking at it for a few seconds, Wang Chuan hesitantly asked, does that? You have an exposure fetish? Ah uh ha! -huh. Bastard! Emo Liuli gasped and slapped her face. Bang! A crisp crash. Woo woo! You bully! Emo Liuli squatted on the ground, holding her red swollen hand and crying louder. After some explanations, Emo Liuli, who was dressed again and again, was shocked, just with those little spiders, you were able to exterminate the Queen Ant and Queen Bee's army? Although I'm a bit stupid, I'm not that stupid, right? Those little spiders of yours will at best go over to them as dishes. Seeing that Emo Liuli didn't believe it, Wang Chen smiled, then what if I swiped those two bosses in space? Emo Liuli directly said without thinking, then I'll take them off and let you see them all at once. On the other side, the invaders arrived in the gloomy anthill in great numbers. The two huge black armored soldier ants guarding the outside just glanced at it, their tentacles wiggling a bit, not taking the tiny spiders seriously, and in their subconscious minds, they didn't see this tiny creature as a threat either. Wang Chuan carefully controlled an intruder to go over. Ka ka ka. An intruder flew onto the body of a black armored soldier ant and climbed onto its head, then ruthlessly tore into the soldier ant's armor, and its eight mechanical legs ruthlessly dug into it. The powerful electric current instantly went in, and the black armored soldier ant was instantly brain dead, at the same time, its eyes flashed, and the data stream flashed by, completing the neuron splicing and control almost effortlessly. Invasion successful, black armored soldier ant transformed into mechanical soldier ant. Swish. Name, mechanical black armored soldier ant. Level, LV-15. Strength, 268. 
Physique, 89. Agility, 35. Spirit, 28. Skills Venom, Hard Armor, Current Bite. Profile, a worker and warrior manipulated by, invader, powerful, Venom is extremely corrosive and has no fear of pain. After transforming into the mechanical race, the values have also skyrocketed a lot more than before. Wang Chuan controlled everything here through the scanning tower. The black armored soldier ants controlled by the intruder became even stronger. At the same time, the tearing skill was transformed into the mechanical race's skill current bite. The controlled mechanical black armored ants double jaws made clicking clashing sounds, and there was a vague burst of electricity that looked incredibly powerful. Not bad not bad. Wang Chuan was a little excited, and at the same time, he felt a large surge of experience. With that, he moved his mind and controlled the countless invaders to invade the nest. Clatter! Whether it was black armored soldier ants or various worker bees that he encountered along the way, Wang Dust ordered the invaders to climb up and invade and control them. Other than some worker ants and worker bees resisting, there were almost no failures. Invasion successful, black armored soldier ants transformed into mechanical soldier ants. Invasion successful, black armored soldier ants transformed into mechanical soldier ants. Invasion successful. Goblin worker bees transformed into mechanical goblin worker bees. The cheetah wasp has been transformed into a mechanical cheetah wasp. A steady stream of prompts rang out, as one after another demonic creature flickered with electric currents, their eyes swept through a stream of data, becoming Wang Chen's mechanical warriors. Demonic creatures that were difficult to resist for ordinary professionals were as simple as chopping up melons and cutting vegetables for Wang Dust to raid. 10 of them. 30. 50. 100. 150. There were more and more demons under Wang Chuan's control. A strand of experience was also madly burrowing towards Wang Chuan's body. Comfortable. There was a flash of light on Wang Chuan's body and his level came from level 10 to level 11. It's not, is it? Aren't we all sitting here? How did this guy upgrade? Emo Lioli on the side was startled and shocked, but before she could figure it out, there was a flash of white light. The number above Wang Chen's head instantly flipped back to level 12. How is this possible? Emo Lioli's eyes nearly flew out. What in the world had happened here? How could it still jump two levels in a row? She knew exactly how difficult it was for an early stage professional to upgrade, otherwise she wouldn't be only level 6 by now. Especially after reaching level 10, every level up was incredibly difficult. But before her screams could fall, the numbers above Wang Chen's head jumped again. Swish. 10, level 13 now? Emolioli only felt her mind go blank and her body go limp. Was Wang Chuan upgrading as simple as drinking water? But Wang Chen did not intend to let her go. Large strands of white light. It shot at M.O. Lioli's face once again. Ah! M.O. Lioli's eyes were mesmerized as she let out a gasp that was almost a moan. 10, 14 levels up. At this moment, M.O. Lioli's pretty face was flushed, her breathing was rapid, and her puffy breasts were rising and falling violently, being shocked completely out of shape. She laboriously raised her head to look at Wang Chen. This is always, always no more, right? But the next moment. Wang Dust's level changed again, this time coming directly to level 15. Ah dash. Under the impact of a huge shock, Mo Liuli only felt that her brain was pushed to the peak with a loud bang, and she drifted a bit. Was this really something a novice could do? In less than a day. Rise directly to level 15? It's over. Emolioli's pupils trembled, and her trembling white and tender thighs tensed violently as a familiar warm sensation came out. Wang Chuan opened his eyes, and then saw Emolioli's face with an abnormal blush, as well as the black soil underneath her body that was starting to get wet at a rapid pace. Emolioli, who had changed her clothes again and again, had a slightly reddened face, and her hands were lifting through her skirt at the waist, seemingly adjusting the tightness of the clothes inside. Who? Walking out from the bushes, Emo Liuli gasped and looked towards Wang Chen. No kobolds? Wang Dust asked with some regret. Bastard. 
What were you expecting? Emo Liuli immediately fell on Wang Dust with her teeth and claws open, opening her mouth to bite him, but when she was laying her mouth down, she looked at the thick armor and closed her mouth resentfully. She used her magic staff to knock on Wang Chuan's super god armor and said, Speaking of which, it's been so long, I still don't know what your name is, what you look like, can you take off this body of bastard shell off? At least we have met frankly, I have taken it off so many times, you can at least take it off once. Is there such a metaphor for you? The corner of Wang Dust's mouth twitched. This girl was absolutely beautiful and had a great body, but her brain was a little bad. It seemed that all the nutrients were raised on those two piles of meat on her chest. Introduce myself, my name is Wang Chuan, a high school student who just graduated this year, a 15th level mechanic. As Wang Chuan spoke, the black and gold super god armament on his body suddenly let out a sound of pressure relief. Snort dash. There seemed to be a jet of steam, and countless precise mechanical structures cracked. Accompanied by flashes of light, a piece of armor pushed backward, eventually turning transparent and disappearing. Wang Chuan appeared in front of Emo Lioli in its original form. It had to be said that after Wang Chen received the mechanical god's heart, his body underwent a drastic change, his physique was well proportioned, tall, and perfect. His original appearance wasn't bad, it was just that he had been dragged down by the artificial heart over the years and looked thin and bony. But after awakening the super god mechanic, Wang Chen regained his old handsome and transcendent temperament. Especially those eyes, which were as deep as stars, were born with a deep attraction. Whoa whoa whoa! So handsome! Emo Lioli had little stars in her eyes. She had thought that Wang Chen was an ordinary-looking youth. Who knew that it was so handsome? Heavens! Such a strong and handsome man actually existed. Previously, Emo Lioli had heard that the most handsome and strongest man in Luohai City was Rinian, the eldest young master of the Rin family. But now take a look. Rinian's appearance was a hundred thousand miles worse than that of Wang Chen. Looking at Emo Lioli, Wang Dust hurriedly took a step back, no, calm down, let's have a conversation, you didn't change your skirt, did you? He really didn't have a special fetish. Emolioli's face turned red, she coughed and cleared her throat, introduce myself, I'm Luo High City's Emo family's eldest young lady Emolioli, a class A ice-cold magician. After the simple self-introduction, Emolioli immediately asked curiously, the many spiders you just released really cleared out all the demons inside the hive? What else? You won't know if you come with me and take a look. Wang Chen brought Emo Lioli, who was full of questions, to the hive. At this time in the middle of the hive. The worker ants and soldier ants controlled by the intruder, surrounded the queen and queen bee in a group. The two huge queens raised their upper bodies very angrily, clashing with their huge twin jaws and sending out pheromones. But no matter how much they were ordered, these transformed mechanical creatures just gazed at their former king with icy gazes. At this moment, Wang Chen and Emo Liuli had already arrived next to the hive. In the center. Looking at this hive, Emo Liuli suddenly blushed inexplicably. Wang Chuan looked at this hive and always felt that he had seen it somewhere, he subconsciously looked at Emo Liuli. Snap! Emo Liuli slapped him. What's the point of throwing such a big tantrum? With a red slap mark on his face, the vain Wang Chuan led Emo Liuli to the middle of the nest. Through the hole below. The strangeness in Wang Chuan's heart increased, and Emo Liuli also blushed furiously. Suddenly, Wang Chuan stretched out his finger and dipped it into the honey next to him and tasted it. What are you you doing? Emo Liuli. Hmm. This should be the ultimate material for refining magic pills, magic honey. Wang Chuan explained. Magic honey? Emo Lioli's eyes lit up fiercely, and she also stretched out her hand to take a taste. Magic honey was a rare tonic. It was suitable for ordinary people to consume. Mmm, so delicious. It's worthy of being magic honey. After just one bite, Emo Lioli's eyes lit up. Let's bring more back. Wang Chuan planned to bring it back to his parents and sister to replenish their bodies. The two of them collected many jars at a rapid pace. But this was just a drop in the bucket for the walls full of magic honey. No, with the speed of the two of us, it's impossible to collect it all. 
And Mo Liuli looked at so much magic honey and revealed a look of regret. Let me do it. Wang Chuan directly released the diggers, allowing these mechanicals to help him collect the magic honey. The silver-colored mechanical devices labored at a rapid pace, scraping off the honey and putting it into a pocket. Is this also one of your abilities? The profession you awakened is really a mechanic? I thought it was milady. Emo Liuli looked at the robots under the ground with a look of shock in her eyes. Earlier, she had already seen Wang Chen release many spider robots, and these labor robots looked very peculiar as well. Sort of. Wang Chen did not explain too much. Emo Liuli also knew that it was also impolite to pry too much into other people's occupations, so she had the sense not to ask more questions. Let them collect here, let's go in first. Wang Chen greeted Emo Liuli. The two walked through the straight passageway. Why is this hive so immodest? The corner of Wang Dust's mouth, who had learned the physiological construction diagram, twitched. These in ants are matriarchal societies, probably their spontaneous birth. Reproductive worship. Mo Liuli gave her own explanation. Go in first. Wang Chuan moved his mind. Two black armored ants rushed out and used their huge double jaws to hold the hole open. There are magical creatures. Didn't you say that you finished removing all the demons here? Emo Lioli was startled and took out her magic staff to quickly condense cold magic. Calm down, these are my men, they have been controlled by my robots. Wang Dust pointed at the silver spiders on these magical creatures. Controlled by you? You still have control skills? Not bad, controlling two black armored worker ants can be used as henchmen for you. Emo Lioli was surprised and put away her magic staff. There are more than two black armored worker ants that I control. Wang Chen smiled as he clapped his hands. Amidst Emo Lioli's surprised gaze. 10. 20. 50. 100. 200. More and more worker ants and worker bees came out from inside, and one by one, they plopped down at Wang Chen's feet. Along with the increasing number of controlled worker ants and worker bees, Mo Liuli's face changed from shock to a look of incredulity. You're not saying that all these demonic creatures are under your control, are you? Mo Liuli looked at the densely packed demonic creatures around her and only felt her mind go blank. A lot? Wang Chuan laughed. Hearing Wang Dust's affirmative answer, Mo Liuli nearly lost her breath. Listen. What kind of words is this called? One should know that unusual control and mind type magicians were lucky to be able to control one demonic creature of the same level. But Wang Chuan directly controlled more than 200 of them. This kind of ability could only be described as perverted. Wait. Won't you control me to do something strange? Mo Liuli suddenly looked at Wang Chen with a wary face again. She had seen many kinds of strange fandoms. The controlled beauty maiden, although conscious, was unable to resist and could only obediently follow the other party's commands. Sorry, I'm not interested in women with big boobs. Wang Chen directly shook his head and took the lead to walk deeper into the cave. Hey hey hey! What do you mean? My brain capacity is not less than these two lumps of flesh of mine. Emo Liuli was furious and wanted to use her magic staff to deliver a heavy blow at Wang Dust. However, just as she lifted up her magic staff, the surrounding gawking mechanical worker bees and worker ants immediately took a step forward, their huge double jaws and poisonous needles aimed at Molioli. Is this woman awakened a cold magician or a high asterisk magician? Wang Dust heard a strange voice coming from behind and his forehead hung with black lines. At this time, in the middle of the nest, the two queen bees and queen ants that were lying on the ground were making angry growling noises at Wang Dust, and the purple boss name above their heads was very conspicuous. It's a pity that it can't be controlled, the ant queen and queen bee are originally the wisdom center of the colony, or else they would be able to create a constant stream of worker bees and worker ants for me. Wang Chuan frowned as he looked at the crushed invaders that had fallen on both sides of the ant queen and queen bee. Nowadays, the invader was only level 1. The control ability wasn't too strong. If he wanted to upgrade his soldiers, he would have to raise the mechanical general factory to LV2 before he could do so. But that was all at Wang Chen's level 20. 
The two ant queens and queen bees weren't controlled and weren't considered mechanical creatures, so they couldn't be counted as Wang Chuan's population either, and were received into the mechanical space within his body. It's better to kill them. Wang Chuan's eyes flashed as he directly controlled the worker bees and worker ants to charge up, killing the ant queen and seriously injuring the bee queen at the same time. Along with a large pile of materials bursting out, an extremely large amount of experience surged in. You have killed the black armored ant queen and gained 1,230 experience. Comfortable. Wang Chen rose another level. He smoothly came to level 16. From level 1 to level 16 in one day. Even if there was a strong family member leading the leveling process, he wouldn't be able to do this step. Saying it out would fearfully scare a bunch of people to death. At this time Memo Liu Li walked in. I'll leave this one to you. Wang Dust said as he pointed at the Queen Bee. He had purposely left a breath just now just to let Mo Liu Li make up for it. This girl was a bit foolish, but she was nice to him and was willing to stay with him even in that dangerous situation. It wouldn't be right if he didn't repay something. Eh? Really? Then I won't be polite. Emo Lioli was thrilled and hurriedly took out her magic staff to cast magic. Cold ice stab. Put. A long and narrow ice spike flew and condensed, then shot out, piercing through the head of the yen poison bee queen. Along with the killing of the queen bee, another large pile of materials fell with a radiant glow. Ah! So refreshing. Next to her, Emo Lioli, however, suddenly let out a gasp and sat down on her knees. Emo Lioli was immersed in the thrill of upgrading. The upper numbers above her head jumped and directly flipped to level 8. The experience provided by this kind of boss-type demonic creature was also far from being comparable to an ordinary demonic creature. Wang Chen was already accustomed to Emo Lioli's daily expression of being nothing more than a scrutinizer, and he took the opportunity to collect all the materials. Luck was good. Both boss demons had popped out quite a few good materials. It's best to have two magic staffs. He was now lacking a palm cannon ability in both arms. Hmm. Surprisingly, there really are two magic staffs. Wang Chuan grinned, it really was a case of what you want. He was surprisingly so lucky that he directly exploded two magic staffs. Let me see what they are. Wang Chuan suppressed the fire in his heart and picked up the magic staff to look at it. Name, Enchanted Staff of the Vivid Poison Queen Bee. Category, Magic Staff. Level, Bronze. Attributes, Spirit plus 60, Strength plus 25, Physique plus 15, Spell Strike Chance plus 25%. Attachment Effect, Attacking with the Magic Staff has a 25% chance of inflicting negative effects such as poisoning, paralysis, and intense fertility on the enemy. Incidental skill, Poison Bee Aura, active summons a magic chemical bee with 70% of its total attributes to fight for the host until death. Description, the magic staff produced by the death of the Yen Xian Bee Queen has an uncommon effect. Not bad, surprisingly a bronze magic staff, wait. A negative effect of intense fertility? This is considered a negative effect? Wang Dust looked at the magic staff in his hand with a big question mark on his head. He then looked at the other black magic staff next to him. Name, Black Armored Ant Queen's Magic Staff. Category, Magic Staff. Grade, Bronze. Attribute, Spirit plus 65, Strength plus 28, Constitution plus 15, Spell Penetration plus 25. Attachment Effect, when using the magic staff to cast magic, there is a probability of increasing strength and constitution as well as male endurance by 10% for 30 seconds. Incidental skill, Ant Queen Aura, active summons a black armored worker ant with a total attribute of 70% of itself to fight for the host until death. Description, the magic staff produced by the black armored ant queen after her death has an uncommon effect. This magic staff is not bad, wait, what the hell is the staying power again? And you only boost it for 30 seconds? The corner of Wang Dust's mouth twitched. It really deserved to be a boss in a lair. Even the equipment that was blown out was so strange. However, this did not affect the value of these two pieces of equipment in the slightest. Any one of them could be taken out and sold for at least one to two hundred thousand dollars. 
However, now that Wang Chuan had fought so many materials, he wasn't short of money, and right now, improving his strength was the most important thing. Soaring. Choose the attack route. Black and gold armor surfaced on Wang Dust's arms. The two magic staffs instantly cracked and turned into countless fragments, which did not enter the arms. At the same time, the voice of the world will rang out one after another. Left arm attack route ascension successful. Right arm attack route ascension successful. Congratulations, you have obtained the externally attached weapon palm cannon. Wang Chuan raised his palms and watched as the armor parts inside collapsed at a rapid pace, then lit up with two hot glows as countless round parts rotated and floated, emitting a clicking group and sound. But this was not what Wang Chen was most concerned about. What he was concerned about was whether or not these two bronze level equipment could soar with the help of fusion and reach silver level. At the same time could they obtain new skills. Based on the previous worker be poison needle and brown bear be shield, it was possible. As expected. The world will's prompt sounded again. Congratulations, the black armored ant queen's magic staff and the brilliant venomous bee queen's magic staff have leveled up to silver. Congratulations on acquiring new skills dash. What new skill is it? Wang Dust listened attentively. Congratulations on obtaining the new skills B Venom Ray and Ant Acid Ray. Are the abilities of the two palm cannons still different? Let me try. Wang Chuan excitedly opened his five fingers and aimed them at the far wall. Buzz. The double palm palm cannon parts rotated, and a circle of precision parts could be seen operating, filled with energy. Boom. Boom. A yellow and a green ray shot out. The wall was instantly pierced through with a snorting sound, revealing two large holes. One was being corroded by the green liquid at a rapid pace, while the other was stained by the yellow liquid, emitting a fishy odor that clearly contained a high level of poison. Hiss. What a terrifying power, it's catching up to some level 20 magic. Emolioli, who was on the side, let out a gasp when she saw Wang Chen's palm cannon. Her current most powerful magic didn't have this power. Was this guy a hexagonal warrior? How come he can do everything? And looking at those two large holes in the wall, those two lasers just now came with additional negative buffs. So powerful and with negative buffs. If this were to hit a person, the effect wouldn't dare to think about it. Not bad. Hearing Emolioli's words, Wang Chen was satisfied with his ability. At the same time, the super god armament on his body flashed brightly once again. The world will prompt sounded once again. Congratulations, you have acquired the antipoison and anti-acid effects from amongst the palm cannons, the super god armament's antipoison and anti-acid effects have been increased by 100%. Upgraded again? Wang Chuan was a little excited in his heart. With every piece of equipment that he absorbed, he would be able to obtain additional effects, and in the long run, the super god armament would become more and more perfect. Although Emo Liuli wasn't clear about what was happening, she could also feel that the aura on Wang Chen's body had become a little more terrifying. This guy. Boosting his strength is really as simple as drinking water. Emo Lioli immediately developed a feeling that people were more angry than others. She was at least a class a magical instructor. Heavens! How could she not raise her head in front of Wang Chen? Always wanting to bow her head and kneel under Wang Chen's body, lightly opening her red lips. Wait what am I thinking? Hey hey hey? What are you staring at? Why don't you hurry up and get out? Wang Chen patted Emo Lioli. No way. Even if you're more powerful, I won't bite you? Emo Lioli suddenly refused firmly. Bite what? Wang Chuan looked at the onset of the blue-haired girl in front of him with a confused face. Ah. Uh, nothing, nothing, ha ha ha, so what, let's go get the honey, it should all be loaded, right? It just so happens that I have a space ring, so I can transport all the honey out. Emo Lioli's face flew red then hurriedly rushed out. Wang Chuan followed with a puzzled face, then he waved his hand. The surrounding mechanical worker bees and worker ants all transformed into a stream of data, which he took inside the mechanical space in his body. Coming to the entrance. The diggers had already collected bags of honey and piled them on the ground as if they were small mountains. 
Wang Chuan looked at the two flaps of pink honeycomb outside, and there was no more water at all. It was completely drained. I'll take it first, I'll give it to you after I go out, I can sell it for you in excess, add a friend, the money will be transferred to you then. Emo Liuli took out her cell phone and added Wang Chen's friend. Okay. Wang Dust had planned to keep some for his family to eat, and he planned to sell the rest. You wait a bit first. With a movement of his mind, Wang Dust summoned all the previous diggers back. As for the three scanning towers constructed here, Wang Chuan also received them into his mechanical space, so that he could directly release them when he wanted to use them in the future. Copper Block X3210, Alloy Drill X891, Iron Block X4212, Silver Or X2311, Aluminum Or X1234. Wang Chuan looked at the materials stored in the mechanical space and was very satisfied. The entire secret realm had almost been dug up by him. These materials were still left over after creating so many diggers and invaders, as well as the scanning tower. He then looked at the troop types and buildings he currently possessed. Currently on troop types, diggers, LV1, times 50, mechanical worker bees, LV15, times 104, mechanical black armored worker ants, LV15, times 102. Currently owned building, scanning tower, LV1 level, times 3. It was no exaggeration to say that the current Wang Chuan had the ability to single-handedly brush a level 25 copy or secret realm with just these 200 or so LV15 level mechanical worker bees and worker ants. The mechanical construction talent could only be described as perverse. This was just at the beginning, and it had given Wang Chen such a powerful bonus. Not to mention the development of more powerful troop types and buildings in the future. For a professional of the same level, it was a dimensional blow. Thinking like this, Wang Chen became even more longing for the future. Let's go! Seeing that there was no more oil to scavenge within the secret realm, Wang Chuan and Mo Liuli turned into streams of light and flew out of the secret realm. Hey right, which university are you going to enroll in later? After leaving the secret realm, Mo Liuli asked. Imperial Capital University. Wang Chen said without even thinking. Imperial Capital University? Your goal is too high, isn't it? In terms of our province, it's almost impossible for you not to get into the top 10 in the province on the college entrance exam. Emo Lioli sucked in a breath of cool air, shocked by Wang Chen's words. Imperial Capital University was the best university in the entire Chinese empire. The competitiveness was also quite frightening. Only A-class professionals had the qualifications to take the Imperial Capital University. And not even one A-class professional could be found in 10,000 professionals, which was enough to see how difficult it was to take the Imperial Capital University exam. Although Wang Chuan's strength was top-notch, it might not be enough to look at when placed in the entire Tianning province, because you never knew what heaven's pride demons there were in other cities. Let's take a step and see what happens. The reason why Wang Chuan wanted to apply for the Imperial Capital University was because as long as he could get into the Imperial Capital University, he would definitely be able to gain the attention of the higher-ups in Tianning province. When the time came for him to mention the request of treating his parents and sister, people would definitely find a way to fulfill it. Maybe he would be able to bring in a high-level healer profession to treat his sister's disabled legs and vegetative parents. You work hard, Ren Inian from your school is rumored to be applying for the Imperial Capital University this year as well, and people are saying that Ren Inian is likely to be this year's Denglong Scholar of Tianning Province. M.O. Lioli said. The so-called Denglong Scholar was the number one in the province. With Ren Inian's terrifying S-rank profession, coupled with his strong background, there was a real possibility that he could shine in the college entrance exams, get the number one spot in the province, and seize the title of Denglong Scholar. But that's not necessarily true, still, there are too many heavenly pride demons in the outer city. This year, there are said to be as many as a dozen S-class professions. The competition would also be even more grueling than previous years. At the mention of Renanian, Wang Chen's gaze went cold, but he didn't refute anything. He had always preferred to speak with strength. He would ruthlessly thwart Renanian in the college entrance exam. He would even avenge his previous mistakes at the right time. The current him also had this backbone. Afterwards, Wang Chen and M.O. Liuli left the poisonous mushroom forest. 
he still had to go back to see his sister. She might be waiting anxiously. This girl still didn't know that he had undergone a radical change. Wang Chen also couldn't wait to tell his sister the good news. Not long after Wang Chen and Emo Liuli left, the secret realm gate flickered a few times and disappeared. And they didn't know. Reninian, who they were discussing at this moment, was holding a bronze token and rushing towards this place with two people from the Rin family. After spending a high price to auction this secret realm key, Reninian came here at the first opportunity. With this secret realm, young master, you must be the fastest leveler amongst your peers. When the time comes, the number one rank is not you, young master. The two were still patting Reninian's ass. All right, this secret realm can accommodate three people, let's hurry up. Ron Enian said indifferently. However, even though he was no longer surprised by the situation, his eyes were tinged with a few moments of anticipation at this moment. As long as he could successfully take this secret realm, he conservatively estimated that he would be able to raise at least 10 levels. Yes, young master. The two of them raised their speed. However, the next moment, Reninian's face suddenly changed as he stopped abruptly and looked at the bronze token in his hand. Clatter! Only to see the bronze token in his hand rapidly transform into a handful of broken sand. How is it possible? Someone swiped the copy through? Reninian's face sank, instantly becoming unsightly. Didn't the clan divine fate master project that this secret realm is a double boss secret realm? For this reason, I brought so many disposable high-grade props and magic scrolls, especially buying toxins that target B-type and N-type magical creatures, which cost the clan a huge amount of money. Ren Enian was incomparably angry. Money and all this was not the most important thing. The most important thing was that he had almost wasted a day of practicing for this secret realm key. The loss of time was the most valuable. Damn it! Ren Enian's complexion was cloudy to the extreme like a volcano that could erupt at any time. Let's quickly go and see which ungrateful thing swiped the young master's secret realm. The three of them surged in speed and came directly to the original entrance of the secret realm. One of them pressed down on the ground, and a strange ripple flashed as he shouted, the detection technique shows that it's two level 10 or so occupiers, and even one that's less than level 10. Level 10 occupiers? How is that possible? This secret realm is a double boss secret realm, it's hard to brush a level 20 professional, and you have to bring a lot of props to do it. Another person retorted on the spot. Maybe those two were just passing through, the person who came should have been an expert who didn't leave any traces. Raninian took a deep breath and looked towards the secret realm gate, his fists clenched and veins appeared. It wouldn't help if he was even more angry. Right now, he could only brush up on the demons in the poison mushroom forest. No more time could be wasted. It was just that there was no way this efficiency could be compared to the secret realm. Damn 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 damn. Ren Enian felt as if he had eaten a mouthful of poop. It was unbearable. All of his plans had come to naught. On the other side, Wang Chen and Emo Liuli separated and Wan returned home. In the old neighborhood. In front of a slightly dilapidated house door, Wang Chuan took out the key and opened the door, and inside the house, a girl in a wheelchair was waiting expectantly in the living room. Just. Look at its leaning on the back of the chair sleepy look, obviously waiting for a long time. How long has this girl waited? Wang Dust brought a blanket from the side of the house and tenderly covered his sister. Looking at Wang Luohan's somewhat thin and pale face, Wang Chen's heart did not feel a pain. Originally, his sister was also a beauty, only after being paralyzed, she didn't go out for years and couldn't work out with sports, causing her to look somewhat malnourished. But now this would all be changed. Wang Chuan swore that he would cure his sister's leg. Just then Wang Luohan woke up, she opened her eyes to see Wang Chuan and immediately rubbed her eyes and shouted, Brother, you're back? Why did you come back so late today? I fell asleep waiting. Wang Chuan smiled, I went to the awakening ceremony today and got lucky and awakened the mechanic profession, that's why I came back late. What? Hearing this, Wang Luohan was shocked, her sleepiness was gone, she hastily pulled Wang Chuan's hand, she anxiously said, then are you alright brother? Your body isn't affected, right? Where's your artificial heart? 
Wang Chuan had already thought of a good reason, he said, after awakening the mechanic, my profession can directly power the artificial heart, so there's no need for an externally attached battery. So that's how it is, scared me. Wang Luohan was greatly relieved, but in an instant her eyes turned red as she complained, didn't I say I wouldn't let you go to the awakening ceremony? What should we do if you have an accident? As she spoke, Wang Luohan shed tears, but she wiped her tears again and said happily, mechanic is not bad, brother, although it's only a living profession, we can also make some parts to sell for money. Wang Luohan was happy for Wang Chen from the bottom of her heart. Looking at his simple and kind sister, Wang Chuan didn't tell the truth, he was afraid that Wang Luohan was worried, he laughed and said, yes, I went out to take some jobs today, and I earned quite a lot of money, you and mom and dad's medical expenses are enough, you don't have to worry about it. Maybe in the future I will earn more money, and I can even hire a therapist to cure you and mom and dad. Wang Luohan smiled, she pretended not to care and said, cure what? I'm quite happy in a wheelchair, don't put so much pressure on yourself, how much would it cost to hire a therapist, we may not be able to save enough for 20 to 30 years, you'd better hurry to earn money and save up to buy a house, and marry a sister-in-law for me. Just saying this, Wang Luohan couldn't stop looking out the window. A few twittering birds flew past in a lively manner. She was stunned for a moment. Since being paralyzed, Wang Luohan basically seldom went out, and only after Wang Chuan's kind words was she willing to go out at night in the dead of night, sometimes she would just look out the window at the small children who were alive and dazed. Wang Dust knew better than anyone how much Wang Luohan yearned for the day she stood up. Just trust old brother. This is the honey I bought for you, beauty and skin care, it's good for your body if you drink it, I'll take it to the hospital later and let the nurse give our parents some too. Wang Dust's nose was sore, and he took out a bag of demonized honey. Magicalized honey? Wang Luohan rounded her beautiful eyes and recognized it as well. As a perennial advertisement on TV, any health product with the addition of magicalized honey could be sold for tens of thousands of sky-high prices. Almost immediately, Wang Luohan shook her head like a rattle drum, brother, hurry up and take it back. I can't afford to drink such expensive honey. She was instantly heartbroken. How much work had Wang Chuan done today to be able to afford this bag of demonized honey? Wang Chuan knew that Wang Luohan would be heartbroken as he laughed, I was lucky today and ran into a discount deal, otherwise how do you think I could afford it? And the one selling the honey is my junior high school classmate Lu Chang, he gave me another internal discount. The Lu Chang he was talking about was one of Wang Dust's few friends. His family owned a magic grocery store and was considered a well-off family. The two were not in the same high school, but their relationship was ironclad. This small fat man who treated people kindly came over to see Wang Chuan and Wang Luohan from time to time with big pockets and small pockets of things. His dream was to awaken and become an excellent milkmaid. The reason was, my figure is something that many women would be jealous of when they see it, so if I become a milkmaid, I must be very good as well. When he said this, Lu Chang would proudly lift up his chest, the two piles of flab in front of his body trembling. Moreover, Lu Chang bragged that he would definitely become a great milkmaid. When the time comes, he will definitely cure Wang Luohan's leg and his aunt and uncle's illnesses. In the future, when he had strength, he would also cover Wang Duan. Speaking of this, Wang Dust couldn't help but be curious. He didn't know what occupation this guy had awakened. Since the career awakening, this kid seems to have evaporated in general, send messages also do not return. Will not awaken a garbage occupation suffered a blow, right? Wang Luohan blinked, also said, little fat ah. That said, he hasn't been here for a while recently, did something happen? I'll go out later and stop by his house. Wang Chuan still had to deal with the materials in his hands later. Those materials were all piled up in the grocery room downstairs. He had to go out and realize them as soon as possible tomorrow. He opened the honey and brewed a bowl of honey water for his sister. Wang Luohan carefully carried the honey water with a solemn look on her face and took a sip with pilgrimage-like care. MMM. So sweet ah. Brother. With just one sip, Wang Luohan's eyes lit up and immediately curved into a crescent moon as she tilted her head and smiled at Wang Chen, revealing a happy and sweet smile. She really hadn't drank something so sweet in a long, long time. Ever since she got sick, the family was struggling to make ends meet, not to mention eating magical honey, not even ordinary honey. Drink more sister, your brother is capable now, 
From now on you can buy whatever you want to eat. Seeing his sister's heartfelt smile, Wang Chuan dotingly touched Wang Luohan's head. He would definitely work hard to make his sister live a good life. Early the next morning. After having breakfast, Wang Chen explained to his sister and left the door. He carried the parcels downstairs and headed directly towards the largest merchant house in Luohai City, the Jubilee Merchant Pavilion. So many materials were just too much. Finding the largest merchant house to take out was the best choice. Carrying so many materials, Wang Chuan couldn't help but think that it would be nice to have a space ring. But that thing was too precious, except for rich women like Emo Lioli, ordinary people wouldn't even dare to think about it. Soon, Wang Chuan arrived at the Jubilee Merchant Pavilion, the huge merchant pavilion was filled with people. Hello, may I ask what you need help with? As soon as he came in, there were countless beautiful women in short skirts and black silk who surrounded him, their hands hanging down in front of their bodies slightly bending over to inquire, and their plumpness that nearly burst the buttons of their white shirts jumped out in front of their eyes. They all had delicate and pretty faces, with professional smiles on their faces, making them feel like spring breeze. I want a bid on some materials, all LV10 LV20 level materials. Wang Dust patted the package on his body. Hearing this, the eyes of these short-skirted black silk beauties lit up, they didn't think that Wang Chuan, who looked so young, would be able to take out so many materials. It was really true that people could not be recognized. The smiles on everyone's faces immediately became even more genuine, and each of them scrambled forward, eager to stick their ferocious weapons on Wang Chuan's body. That, that, just you. Wang Dust took a step back, narrowly escaping being baptized by the cleanser, and he hurriedly pointed to a random girl. The eyes of the girl he pointed to lit up. She immediately pulled Wang Chuan cordially and said, Hello this guest, please come with me, my name is Yu Yu, let's go into the VIP room to talk in detail. She then led Wang Chuan towards the second floor. Just after Wang Chuan left, two girls walked in behind her, it was in Xiao Xiao who had perfect man chopping level snow white long legs and Li Meng Meng who had a big red wavy hair girl with a good body that was so good that it exploded. After a day of practicing, the two had also successfully leveled up to level 7. It had to be said that the leveling speed of the younger generation of the big families was just exaggerated. The moment the two girls came in, they almost suppressed the presence of all the women present. Everyone couldn't help but sigh with emotion the moment they saw the two, they were just too beautiful. Come on man, we need to get out some materials. Li Meng Meng shook the spatial ring in her hand. Two beauties please come with us. A female waitress immediately came forward. Li Meng Meng pulled in Xiao Xiao and was about to leave, but she realized that in Xiao Xiao was looking at a disappearing back on the second floor. This person seems like Wang Duan. And Xiao Xiao said in a daze. Wang Dust? How can that be? That's the VIP room, usually materials of LV15 level or above are qualified to be received into the VIP room. Li Meng Meng was certain that in Xiao Xiao had misread it without even looking. With Wang Dust's profession, it was a struggle to go out and kill a level 1 small monster, so how could he possibly go to the VIP room? It seemed that in Xiao Xiao had gotten so obsessed with Wang Chen that she looked at everyone like Wang Chen. No, she had to persuade in Xiao Xiao and make her realize that there was absolutely no possibility of her in Wang Chen. It should be that I'm looking at it wrong. And Xiao Xiao smiled helplessly. She also felt that what she said was a bit outrageous. The two then walked towards another VIP room. On the way, and Xiao Xiao suddenly said, Anyway, we still have a few more slots for our copy, so why not take Wang Duan and help him practice leveling? Li Meng Meng immediately said, No, that copy is still a LV25 leveled copy, we still have to spare energy to take care of him if he goes in, and that copy, it's a difficult leveled copy, it's difficult for us to brush through normally, let alone bring a liability. Hearing this, and Xiao Xiao could only sigh helplessly, all right then. It seemed like the distance between her and Wang Chen would only grow further and further in the future. She had hopes of taking the exam for God's Capital University, while Wang Chen might not even have the qualifications to take the exam. Meanwhile, on the other side, Wang Chuan poured out all the materials in his pocket in one swoop. The glowing materials instantly made the girl named Yu Yu excited, and she said excitedly, guest, did you swipe all of this by yourself? Sort of, help me calculate how much these materials are worth. Wang Chen casually took a sip of tea. 
Hiss. Hearing Wang Chuan's reply, Yi Yu's gaze towards Wang Chuan was drawn. Handsome and strong. It was simply the perfect idol of her dreams. Please wait a moment, I'll take inventory. Yu Yu quickly distinguished the materials. There are a total of 68 LV 15 level demonic drops, 13 LV 20 level boss drops, of which there are 3 pieces of white plate equipment, 2 pieces of black iron equipment, and the rest are materials. She immediately calculated the value of these materials. The total is 490,000, Yu took it upon herself to add another 10,000 to round it up for you, the total is 500,000 yuan. Yu bent down and handed over the black card with both hands, the plumpness in front of her body fell and swayed, the open neckline saw the snow-white skin and alluring gully inside, as well as the black lace lacehood edge that was further deeper. But Wang Chen's eyes were only on the exquisite card in Yu Yu's hand. This was half a million dollars. A small huge sum of money now. It was important to know that he normally lived on the monthly dole of 1,000. No wonder people said that professionals were a profession that made them rich. It's true that they are completely different from ordinary people. He had earned so much money in one day by himself. Thanks. Wang Dust grabbed the card, his eyes filled with excitement and happiness. Right. Touching the card, Wang Chuan asked. Do you have space rings here? Space ring? Yi Yu froze, then turned to Wang Chuan and said with some hesitation. Guest, the cheapest 10 square space rings all start at half a million dollars. Although he had prepared for it in his heart, when Wang Chuan heard that it was so expensive, a few awkward colors surfaced on his face. Half a million, almost the price of a decent car. It was even enough to buy a suite with full payment in some small places. The full confidence in Wang Dust's heart just now immediately turned into nothing. It turned out that he was still a pauper. Thinking about that space ring on M.O. Lili's hand, almost all of the demonized honey was collected, now that I think about it, there are at least a hundred square meters inside. Really a rich woman ah. Well. Love that little rich woman. Wang Dust looked to the bonsai decoration of the high mountain and flowing water next to it, a gurgling stream of clear water flowed down from the gully in the middle of the two halves of the mountain peaks. Yu Yu blinked her soulful eyes, and seemed to have made some decision in general, she suddenly said, Guest, as an employee of the Jubilee Merchant Pavilion, I have an investment quota, and I can give you a lowest level spatial ring, but all of your subsequent transactions have to be made with our Jubilee Merchant Pavilion. Are you willing to it? If the customer had enough potential to grow up, the profits from all subsequent transactions with the merchant pavilion could exceed the value of the spatial ring, which was also considered an investment in disguise. At the same time, it was considered a plan to enlist customers. Of course, if Wang Chen's future transactions failed to meet expectations, then Yu Yu would also be penalized. There's such a thing? It's possible. Wang Chen's eyes lit up. Trading with the Gathering Treasure Merchant Pavilion in the future was not considered a restriction. As the largest merchant house with branches all over the country, transactions were also very convenient and fair. After understanding the doorway, he agreed almost without hesitation. Yi Yu ruffled the broken hair around her ear, bent down, aimed her red lips at Wang Chuan's ear, and breathed like orchids, then Yi Yu's first time will be handed over to you, the guest, I hope that the guest will not let me down. Wang Chuan felt the hot wind in his ears, the unique fragrance coming from the girl's body, and even his shoulder could feel the soft touch of Yu Yu's chest, his body tightened, shrunk his shoulders, and nodded his head in a bit of a panic, well. Well good. It's killing me. Is this the service of a top merchant bank? He he. Yu Yu smiled faintly at Wang Chan and slightly flirted as she lowered her body a few more points. Soon, the contract was signed, and a bronze-colored spatial ring was delivered to Wang Chen. Let Yu put it on for you, seeing that it should be your first time wearing it as well, you don't have any experience. Yu Yu raised her head and smiled at Wang Chuan. Wang Dust was a little embarrassed, this service was a little too colorful. Enthusiastic, right? Is this the space ring? Wang Chuan quickly established the connection, which was 10 square meters large, and he immediately loaded the extra things on his body into it. When Wang Chuan walked out of the merchant house, a few girls were shocked, Yu Yu, did you give your first time to that boy? Yu Yu gave them a blank look, speak properly, of course, I don't know why, I always feel that that boy will give me a different surprise. 
But these words drew laughter from a few girls, we don't believe it, you'll definitely have to pay for it when the time comes, maybe Misku will have to spank your ass. The Misku they were talking about was the person in charge of this area's jubilee merchant pavilion, called Gu Qingqing. An imperial lady who liked to wear black silk and stomp on high heels, with glasses, her features were exquisite and her appearance was absolutely beautiful. But the opposite of her beauty is her character, cold and strict. Every time an employee has a performance loss, she will be carried to the small black room education. Out of the time, two of the three circumference will increase a few centimeters, at least a few days cannot sit in the chair. You you huffed and puffed, then we'll see. But she couldn't help but be a little afraid of Gu Qingqing's little black room education. If she kept fighting, it would really break. This guest, you must cheer up. Wang Dust arrived at Lu Chang's store. Behind the counter of the wide array of goods, lying on her back was a somewhat blonde middle-aged woman who seemed to be sleeping. It was none other than Lu Chang's mother, Zhao Shui, a thunderous middle-aged woman. She has the powerful mouth and fast and accurate working ability that women of this age should have. But because of years of hard work, a few years ago a cerebral infarction, resulting in the brain has been insufficient blood supply, often busy busy fall asleep. The doctor said that there is no rule of law for this disease, and that a more advanced therapist, at least at the 50th level upwards, would have to be hired. Although Lu Chang's family was good, he couldn't afford a level 50 healer. Lu Chang wanted to awaken the nurse, also related to Zhao Shui, but ordinary people want to level up to level 50, that is difficult. Zhao Shui also didn't take it seriously, saying from time to time that before Lu Chang leveled up to 50, she was probably long gone. Auntie Zhao, is Lu Chang here? Wang Xuan shouted in a low voice. Who is it? Zhao Shui raised her head and realized that it was Wang Dust who had arrived, a smile immediately bloomed on her face as she got up and laughed, Xiao Dust Ah, why are you here? Ha? Huh? Why do you look stronger? How's your health these past two days? Auntie has been too busy these past few days and didn't go to see you guys. Before Wang Dust could answer, Zhao Shui took out a bunch of things from the back and stuffed them into a plastic bag while rambling. This is the new arrival of some supplements in the past few days, not much money, take it to your sister and you to make up for your body, listen to auntie's advice, you don't want to go to awakening profession, your body is not suitable, in the future, auntie and uncle will teach you to run the store, and definitely won't not care about you. Wang Chen's heart was warm and very moved. Zhao Shui was really good to him. There was also Lu Chang's dad, Lu Qi, who was running the renovation outside as well. This simple couple didn't help him much. Wang Da secretly thought that when he developed in the future, he must also bring Lu Chang's family to live a good life. He hugged what Zhao Shui forced into his arms and shouted, Auntie Zhao, I'm lucky, I've awakened a living profession mechanic, so I won't have a problem supporting myself in the future, look at me, I don't even need to supply batteries for my artificial heart externally. Hearing this, Zhao Shui froze, she said in shock, You child, why are you so disobedient, you want to scare me to death? Agu Agu Joshua covered her chest for a while, she was angry and scared, she couldn't help but give Wang Chen a slap on the head, you child, if it wasn't for your luck, Auntie Zhao would have had to meet you in the coffin, too disobedient. However, she immediately choked again and said, fortunately, God opened his eyes and let you awaken a living profession, you learn the skills well in the future, this day is finally a good hope ah. Wang Chuan couldn't help but cry and laugh, according to Zhao Shui's mouth, it's probably endless, he hurriedly interrupted, Auntie Zhao, I'd like to ask Lu Chang where he's gone? Didn't he also awaken his profession? Was the one awakened a milkmaid? Hearing this, Joshua suddenly blushed as she awkwardly said, That kid is a milkmaid, yes, just, just. A little different from an ordinary milkmaid. Some special. Somewhat special? Wang Dust froze. Alas, I cannot talk to you guys, you go to see him, just upstairs, these days he is depressed, each time he only eats eight bowls of rice, really worried about me. Inside the house. Wang Dust met Lu Chang. This lifeless little chubby guy was squatting in the corner with his hands holding his stomach, maybe he wanted to hug his knees, but his weight didn't allow it. Of course this was not even the point. At this moment, Lu Chang had a look of lovelessness, full of depression, and his body seemed to be bubbling with a ghostly black gas. Lu Chang? Wang Dust shouted. What occupation had this guy awakened? To be able to make him so desperate? Could it be an assassin? 
Out of a meaty Lanling King or a full defense mail sword, Wang Dust brainstormed about a 200 pound heavily armored assassin stealthily charging over, and he couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth. Seeing Wang Dust shouting at him, Lu Chang's eyes reddened as he shouted, Brother Dust, are you here to laugh at me too? Wang Dust sat down next to Lu Chang as he asked, No, what occupation have you awakened? I asked Auntie Zhao a few times, but she wouldn't say anything. As soon as Lu Chang heard this, his body suddenly trembled, he choked, There's no way I can say anything about this occupation, I've become the laughing stock of Luo High Second Middle School now. No, then you also have to say what your occupation is? Wang Dust was even more curious in his heart. What's wrong with this guy? Lu Chang didn't say anything, he just silently turned his body, he whispered, Don't ask, I don't have the face to live anymore, I'm going on a hunger strike. From now on, I will only eat six bowls of rice. No. Fatty, do you consider me a brother or not? I won't laugh at you no matter what occupation you awaken. Wang Dust patiently persuaded. And it's a critical time for leveling, whatever occupation you awakened, you have to hurry out and practice. Hearing this, Lu Cheng turned his head, Brother Dust, as long as you promise not to laugh at me, I'll tell you. Damn you tell me, if you drag it out any longer, they'll all think I'm in water text. Wang Dust was anxious. Lu Chang revealed a look of death as he whispered, My awakened profession is called milkmaid, but I realized after I used my skills that my milkmaid skills are not the same as a normal milkmaid. How is it different? Wang Dust rounded his eyes. Isn't the first basic skill of a nursemaid a healing aura? After returning home, I couldn't wait to use it on my mom and dad who had labored all day. Lu Chang seemed to be recalling a bad memory. Joshua and Lu Chi happily sat down on the sofa with a look of pride and pride on their faces, accompanied by a pink, healing aura spreading like a neon sign in an alleyway. Lu Chan was still wondering why his color was different from the other milkmaids? Isn't it normally white? Could it be that he had watched too many movies recently, causing the bleeding? Before he could come back to his senses. His own mom and dad's faces reddened and then looked at each other with deep affection. It's as if I feel like I've returned to the age of 18. Lu Chi roared in one voice. Ah. Zhao Shui was also refreshed. The shaken Lu Chang was rolling and crawling to his house. Why is this happening? The next day he didn't die and used it on himself. It almost rubbed out sparks. These toilet papers are a testament to my skills, and all of my nursemaid skills are mutated. The healing aura works to make that aspect of desire high. Lu Chang pointed at so many toilet papers on the ground. That day, Lu Chang passed away in vain. Incredibly hating everything he had done before 18 years ago, was it that he had looked at that stuff too much, so that caused the heavens to punish him. After everything was said and done, Lu Chang looked at Wang Duan in sorrow and anger, Brother Dust, do you think which team would want me as a milkmaid like me? A nursemaid is another existence that needs someone to lead her in leveling, and with no one to lead me, I won't be able to level up at all. Wang Dust turned his back, his shoulders shaking as he choked, you let me be sad for a while, I'm really sad, really. Crap, too damn sad. You can laugh if you want, brother doesn't blame you. Lu Chang looked at Wang Chen whose mouth was harder to suppress than AK, and continued to lean back on the bed in a lifeless manner. Actually you don't have to be so sad, your skills are not useless ah? At the very least, you can also go to be a doctor, specializing in treating that matter ah, you also know that there are a lot of people who can't work in that area. Wang Dust wiped the tears that came out from laughing. You are laughing out tears. Lu Chang became even more sad. These are tears of sadness from me. Wang Dust emphasized, he patted Lu Chang's shoulder and said, Don't worry, your brother Dust won't leave you alone, let me tell you a good news, I awaken my profession, I'll take you to level up in the future. What? Lu Chang was shocked, his eyes erupted with hope, he climbed up in a flash and said urgently, Brother Dust, what occupation have you awakened? Mechanic. Ha ha, great, wait, no? Say that again, what occupation? Lu Chang laughed out loud and suddenly collected his laughter and asked again. He felt as if he had laughed early. Mechanic. Lu Chang stretched out his hand to close his wide open mouth and continued to lie down on the side of the bed as he despondently said, Where do you think is a good place for me to open my store in the future? 
A living profession wants to bring a nurse to practice leveling? What kind of joke is that? Lean. Brothers mechanic is different from ordinary mechanics. Wang Dust wasn't going to hide anything from Lu Chang. He wouldn't be able to hide it when he waited for the college entrance exam anyway. Lu Chang rolled his eyes, my nursemaid is still different from an ordinary nursemaid, can it be that your mechanic is the one who makes that toy for adults? Shit. You still don't believe me? Look at how many levels brother is now. Wang Dust stood up. Lu Chang laughed and threw a detection spell over casually. The next moment. The information that came back from the detection technique was like a bomb that ruthlessly exploded in Lu Chang's head. How is that possible? Shocked beyond measure, Lu Chang rounded his small eyes, swearing that he had never stared so wide in his life. The eyeballs almost didn't stare out. You're level 16? Lu Chang only felt his scalp crack. His eyes went black and he almost didn't pass out. A living profession mechanic had actually trained himself to level 16 in one day. Shocking. Too shocked. Taking a huge breath, Lu Chang hurriedly said, Brother Dust, the last time you bought a steel wire ball at my house was actually for this? Which rich woman did you hook up with to let them take you leveling? Tell your brother that your brother really needs it too, the wire ball isn't something that can't be tolerated. Fuck off. Wang Dust gave Lu Chang a kick without any good humor. I leveled up on my own. Lu Chang nodded his head like a chicken pecking rice, I know that's all on your skill brother Dust, you eat planet cup without even using a spoon for eight, I know all about it. Roll roll roll. Wang Dust died of speechlessness. Why is this guy's brain the same as Emma Lioli's, loaded with yellow waste? Just then his cell phone rang. MS. Emolioli transferred 420,000 RMB to your account. It was the money from the sale of the demonized honey that arrived. The air went silent. Lu Chang's eyes reddened as he sobbed, Brother Dust, you still say you didn't evening a rich woman? Is this hitting all this much money? Think what you like. Wang Dust didn't know how to explain. At this time, Emolioli sent over a message. Wang Chuan, are you free tomorrow? I have two beautiful friends who invited me to brush a level 25 difficulty level copy, there are still three people missing, I want to call out to you okay? Wang Chuan replied, yes, it's just that you don't reveal my identity or occupation, that is, my occupation is just mutant mechanic, and I want to bring a nurse friend along to practice leveling. He wasn't strong enough right now, and he was afraid that someone with a heart of gold would target him. After all, if Rinian hadn't told him those things, he now didn't know that some big families were able to do things like stealing other people's professions by civet. Then it's just as well that we have enough people, so it's a deal ah. I'll send you the information about the copy. Emo Lioli agreed with alacrity. Putting away his phone, Wang Dust said to Lu Chang, My friend just shouted at me to go brush the copy tomorrow, the minimum level of the copy is LV10, I'll take you to practice today. Lu Chang froze, practicing to level 10 today? Not brother dust? That's not enough time, is it? It's only half a day, how can I possibly level up to level 10? Why are you so full of crap? Follow me. Wang Dust carried Lu Chang up. The 200 pounds of Lu Chang was as light as a feather in his hands. Lu Chang was stunned, brother dust, how many great tonic pills did you drink, I didn't realize it just now, how did you become more handsome and stronger, the rich woman is taking you for a facelift. Facing the same Lu Chang who was chattering and Zhao Shui, Wang Dust directly raised his fist and hammered the tin can next to him. Lu Chang immediately shut his mouth in a sensible manner. Although he wanted to ask Wang Dust for a bit of the ten perfection pills given by the rich woman to eat, the day before yesterday, he really almost spewed out his soul. Now the body was a bit deficient. The two of them rushed down the stairs, greeted Zhao Shui, and went straight to the nearest leveling location. AI 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 these two are venturing out, don't go to a high-leveled place to practice ah, just go to some LV1 leveled place ah. Zhao Shua howled from behind. This place had places dedicated to life-class professions to practice leveling. There were all docile and non-threatening magical creatures there. She thought the two were going to that kind of place. It would be good to level up one level in an afternoon. 
On the other hand, in a spacious villa of the M.O. family, the pink boudoir, Emolioli was wearing white cute cartoon bear underwear and was lying on the bed, his white tender little legs shaking in the air for a while. He said into the video, don't worry, Xiao Xiao and Meng Meng. I've invited a great god for you guys this time, he's very powerful and can definitely take us past the copies. On the other end of the video were the same and Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng who were only wearing green gauze like silk pajamas. The two of them were skeptical, are you sure the person you invited is that powerful? Who is that person? Emolioli said, anyway, I can't tell you who he is, all I can tell you is that he is very powerful. Such words made in Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng even more curious in their hearts. At this time, Wang Chen had already lightly brought Lu Chang to the teleportation tower. The poison mushroom forest is not suitable for taking people to practice, let me take you to the underground cave. Wang Dust paid the teleportation fee. Underground cave? That place is full of kobolds, are you sure you want to go to a place like that? Have you seen a fanfic called Kobold Killer? It's said that creatures like kobolds look simple, but are actually very scary. Lu Chang's eyes were filled with fear. What was told in that fan drama was that humans had always ignored creatures like kobolds, thinking that they were weak magical creatures, but in reality, they were cruel and terrifying and ferocious. Many adventurers went to hunt kobolds with full confidence, only to be killed by kobolds instead in the middle of a gloomy cave. In the gloomy cave, the dead male bodies of the adventurers lying on the ground. The females, on the other hand, were powerless to resist and could only be held down by the kobolds' limbs. Then in the kobolds' excited laughter and the tearing sound of their dresses, they let out mournful screams, revealing large swaths of snow-white skin. But struggling and screaming were useless, and would only provoke the kobolds' animalistic nature. They only tore more and more frantically, sticking out their tongues to lick, leaving disgusting saliva on that smooth and delicate skin. The torches burning on the ground, the light of the flames, reflecting their helpless faces and eyes, as if they were already numb. The obscene figures of kobolds charging back and forth shifted against the wall. More and more kobolds came, and in the end they couldn't even make a sound, only their lips, which had been bitten through and bled from their desperate exertion, were trembling slightly. The only thing they could do was to close their eyes, rejecting the disgusting pleasure coming from their bodies and treating it all as a nightmare. It's horrible. Lu Chang shivered. In his opinion, it was useless for Wang Chen to have a high level, knowing that life-class professions had no attack ability at all. His ability didn't seem to be of any use other than making the group of kobolds more excited. If he was caught by the kobolds, he would probably be imprisoned and used to cheer them up. Are you sure the two of us aren't going to give away our heads? Brother Dust? Lu Chang asked weakly again. Just follow me. The two teleported directly to the bottom of a towering ridge, the far side of which was dotted with shadowy, grayish-yellow caves of varying sizes. There were quite a few adventurers converging here, some of them were forming groups to solicit. But some adventurous female newbie adventurers could also be heard disappearing half an hour ago, and something seemed to have changed in the goblin caves. Let's go in from here. Wang Dust led the shivering Lu Chang to a slightly more spacious cave entrance on the side. Brother Dust, I'll trust you for once, don't screw over dude, dude really doesn't want to be the goblin's cheering high priest. Lu Chang took out a white plate magic staff and held it in his hand, but looking at its stance, it was prepared to be used as a melee weapon. Don't worry. Wang Dust didn't even have the thought of summoning an overgod armament. The kobolds here were probably around LV3 LV8 level, and their strength attributes held up to the 15 to 30 range. He was now LV16, and his power attribute without summoning the super god armor was now close to 400, so he could easily crush the kobolds here with just his own strength. Soon, the two of them walked to the depths of the cave. This place was quite spacious, and there was no problem for four or five people to walk side by side. It was just that the light was getting dimmer and dimmer. This was the disgusting thing about kobold caves, intricate, up and down, you had no idea where the kobolds would come in from. Lu Chang said in fear, Brother Dust, we are hasty ah, uh, I should have known to buy a flashlight to come in, it's too dark in here. Even if there are kobolds, we don't know where they will come from. It's fine, just watch me. Wang Dust directly released a scanning tower in a spacious place. Name, Scanning Tower. Level, Level 1. 
Function, analyzing image scanning, detecting enemy units and minerals. Description, detects a wide variety of units and minerals through infrared heat sensing and vibration detection instruments, etc. Shares vision with the protagonist, analytical image scanning range of 500 meters, detection of minerals range of 1000 meters. Buzz. The silver-white scanning tower landed on the ground and then started working. The three-dimensional structure of the entire cave of 500 meters instantly appeared in Wang Chuan's mind. Lu Chang was stunned at this scene as he shouted, Crap, Brother Dust, is this the detection prop that the rich woman bought for you? Cowardly, how much money does this cost? You still don't admit that you've been adopted, this is fucking ironclad proof. Lu Chang was touched beyond words, Brother Dust, you're really too good to me, how many steel wire balls did you have to take this? He wiped his tears and suddenly shouted again, Hey, Brother Dust, although I'm touched, but don't touch my ass, Brother doesn't have this hobby. Wang Dust didn't have the heart to say, who touched your butt? That's a kobold. Swish. Lu Chang's face violently turned pale as he looked down and found a short kobold curiously poking his butt with a bone stick. Crap. Run, brother Dust. Lu Chang was so scared that he almost lost his soul. Panicking like a 200-pound child, he ran behind Wang Dust. Yikes. The kobold immediately let out a berserk shriek. With a hiss, it rushed towards Wang Chuan with its bone stick. Lu Chang panicked, Brother Dust, did the rich woman give you any weapons? You quickly take it out. As a result, he saw that Wang Dust actually walked directly towards the goblin. Lu Chang was dumbfounded, Brother Dust, are you crazy? What are you doing? In ancient times, Buddha cut his flesh and fed it to the eagle. Are you going to sacrifice your own asshole to preserve your brother me? But the scene that happened in the next moment directly almost made Lu Chang's eyes pop out in shock. Only Wang Chuan raised his right fist and blasted the goblin's head with an ordinary punch. Bang! The kobold directly flew out backwards at a faster speed than before, tearing through the air and crashing into the cave behind it with a rumble. The entire cavern shook, and countless dust fell for a moment. Lu Chang's brain went blank. This this this. What the hell happened here? How was Wang Dust so fierce? He blew up a LV5 level cobalt with a single punch? Crap. What kind of medicine did the rich woman give brother Dust? Lu Chang's eyes were dumbfounded. Keep it down, there are more cobalts coming. Wang Dust detected through the scanning tower that there were many cobalts rushing over. As expected. As if Wang Dust's punch had angered the kobolds below, more and more hissing sounds came out from the various caves. It's over, this has angered the kobolds. Lu Chang was so scared that cold sweat came down and his clothes were directly soaked. Amidst Lu Chang's terrified gaze, one after another goblin drilled out from the surrounding caves. The number was a full 20 to 30. And on each and every kobold, a faint layer of black gas lingered. Holy shit! How are there so many kobolds? When Lu Chang saw so many kobolds come out, his person was directly dumbfounded, and he directly sat on his butt in fear. He then discovered an even more terrifying scene. Brother Dust isn't right, how come the levels of these kobolds are so high? The highest is level 15. Lu Chang's fear was so extreme that his heart almost exploded. He suddenly realized that these goblins were actually LV10 LV15 level. What in the world was happening here? The levels of these goblins had unexpectedly surged by several levels. No matter what, the scene at hand was not something that he and Wang Dust could deal with. Although Wang Dust was level 16, his combined combat power was estimated to be about the same as a level 4 or 5 combat profession. Definitely not a match for these LV15 level goblins. Staying any longer would really kill him. Lu Chang hurriedly shouted, Brother Dust, something's not right, these kobolds have suddenly leveled up by several levels, let's run. But more and more kobolds proceeded to pour out, directly blocking all the passageways. It's over. This is really going to be the goblins cheering High Priest. Seeing so many high-level goblins, Lu Chang's legs went soft and his body was trembling. When he thought of his miserable situation in the future, he could only serve as a booster High Priest for the kobolds, and he could only look at them, not do anything. Could there be a more terrible torture than this? 
He now regretted immensely following Wang Chen here. This was going to be the end for the two of them ah. Brother Dust, I'm not willing to do this, I still haven't had that after I die. Lu Chang's tears were coming down. Is it hard to find a female goblin when he becomes the high priestess of boosting in the future? He might not be able to branch out ah. On the other side, Wang Chen also noticed the scene. It seemed that some unknown changes had indeed occurred here. He shouted, mend after me. Mending after you? No. How are we going to mend? Lu Chang did not react for a moment. Only to see Wang Dust's feet heavily stomping on the ground, he directly stormed out, his speed incredibly fast. So fast. Crap. How is Brother Dust so fast? Lu Chang was stunned. Only Wang Dust was like a meat grinder, and wherever he passed, the goblins all flew out with serious injuries. Bang 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 bang. One by one, the goblins fell down screaming miserably. Crap. Seeing such a shocking scene, Lu Chang's scalp almost cracked and his eyes almost didn't fly out. The entire person was even more shocked to the point that he couldn't utter a single word. Shocked. Too shocked. What did he see? Wang Dust, as a living profession, had gone on a killing spree in a group of LV-15 goblins. It was as if a chef carrying a kitchen knife had hacked over a group of special forces soldiers. Am I dreaming? Lu Chang said with a dry voice, his entire body completely frozen, looking at this scene incredulously. If he stayed around Wang Chen any longer, he wouldn't need to do eye-opening surgery in the future, his eyes were getting bigger from just staring every day. What are you still frozen for? Hurry! Wang Chen urged again. If it wasn't for the sake of practicing for Lu Chang, if there were so many kobolds, he would have crushed all of them to death with a palm cannon. Ha! Huh? Coming! Lu Chang exclaimed excitedly, spat towards his palm, carried his magic staff and came, directly and ruthlessly knocking the kobolds on the ground to death. Just like that, within a few minutes, the ground was all filled with violently dead kobolds. White light emerged from Lu Chang's body one after another, and in one breath, he rose to LV5 level. If it wasn't for the fact that mending could only gain partial experience, Lu Chang would be at least seven or eight levels by now. Heavens! Brother Dust, Father, Grandfather! What the hell is wrong with you? Lu Chang gasped for air, still reeling from the shock he had just experienced. He felt like he was dreaming. I said I'm not an ordinary mechanic, don't talk about this outside, I don't want others to know before the college entrance exam. Wang Dust instructed. The main reason was that he was afraid of Ren Yin's retaliation. He wasn't strong enough right now. I understand, I understand, I understand everything. Lu Chang swallowed his saliva, his eyes filled with excitement. However, he didn't even know that just now, what Wang Chen had displayed was only a tenth of his strength. But it was enough to shock him. The two picked up materials. Wang Chuan suddenly found a goblin with a girl's hairpin on its head. There really is an adventurer in distress here. Wang Dust looked at the hair card. Lu Chang looked at the hair card and suddenly blanched and said, This seems to be Xiaoning's hair card. Damn it, I heard earlier that she seemed to have come here with a few friends to brush the monsters. You said that the female adventurers we heard about earlier disappearing, it wouldn't be them, right? Xiao Ning? It's the commoner goddess of our school, called Lu Ning Ning, kinda people, friendly, very popular, I've always enjoyed spying on, oh no, admiring her, this is her favorite hair card, I'll never be wrong. Lu Chang explained quickly. The underground cave was a place where many civilians liked to come and practice leveling, as the monsters here were of moderate intensity, most suitable for civilian novices to upgrade. But I don't know what happened, but the goblins here suddenly skyrocketed by a few levels and their strength increased greatly. It was thought that Lu Ning Ning should have had an accident here. Brother Dust, I've never begged anyone, let's go save them if we can. Of course if a LV-16 level up goblin appears inside, let's go. Lu Chang was really anxious. He always had people who liked to make fun of him because of his obesity, only Lu Ning Ning never said anything about him and would even stop the rest of the girls when they laughed at him. But he also didn't want Wang Chen to have an accident. That's why they said that as long as there was a goblin with a higher level than Wang Dust, they would leave this place. 
In Lu Chang's opinion, as strong as Wang Chuan was, he couldn't deal with kobolds that were LV16 level upwards, right? Wang Dust laughed, since you've said it, how can I not save them, they are all brothers, no need to say more. Brother Dust. Lu Chang's eyes reddened. His heart was really very touched. He felt that Wang Chuan was risking his life for him. Wang Dust put away the scanning tower next to him and led Lu Chang to continue walking towards the interior of the cave. On the way, Wang Chuan saw some broken goose-colored dresses, and he picked them up and looked at them. This should be left behind by those female adventurers from before. Wang Dust handed it to Lu Chang. It shouldn't be Lu Ningning's, she usually likes to wear white dresses, hmm. And the smell isn't right. Lu Chang took a whiff. He lifted his head to see that Wang Dust suddenly ignored him. Hey, Brother Dust, why did you stop talking? Lu Chang put away his dress and chased after him. Meanwhile, in the depths of the cave, there were two wretched girls who were huddled together in fear. It was none other than Lu Ningning and Lian Yunqi, a girl from the same school. Both were beauty level. But Lu Ning Ning was even better, worthy of being the civilian goddess of Lu Ohai Second Middle School. Snow white skin, delicate features, and a pure temperament, like a white lotus that was left behind. One couldn't help but feel a sense of pity. Especially for a pure and lovely girl like this, in a place like the Goblin Cave, it was even more evocative. However, at this time, the two were not in a very good situation. The two were bound solidly by a rope in the form of a turtle armor bondage. The slightest movement would reveal a large portion of their snow white and tantalizing bodies. So the two could only curl up their bodies and block the scenery in front of their chests with their slender legs. Especially Lian Yunqi, who already had an explosive figure that had almost reached level E, could only woefully use her thighs against it. But even so, it was still possible to see certain heady scenery. Lu Ningning wasn't much better. The white dress was torn too much, the white silk was also torn, and even one of the shoulder straps was broken, revealing most of the white tender shoulders and hemispherical scenery. These damn kobolds, where did they learn the strange method of binding people? Lian Yunqi stifled her red face and struggled a bit, but no matter how much she struggled, she couldn't break free from the rope. A struggle and a gasping sound, instead, made her already fragmented clothes, torn quite a bit more, and more white and tender skin was exposed. Don't bother, these ropes are bronze level props, we won't be able to break free. Lu Ning Ning advised. Then what should we do? Are we just going to stay here and wait to be insulted by this group of kobolds? Lian Yunqi despaired. Lu Ningning didn't say anything. What the hell is wrong with these kobolds? How did they suddenly become so powerful? She resigned herself to leaning against the wall, not caring if she was naked or not, it was already like this anyway. Lu Ning Ning bit her lip, it should be the birth of a new goblin high priest, when the number of goblins multiply to a certain number, a boss goblin high priest will be born, a level 25 or so demonic creature. Goblin High Priest? Lian Yunqi's beautiful eyes were filled with shock. A newbie leveling spot would even have such a high-level demonic creature appear. One had to know that the two of them were only less than level 5 now. So that means we're going to be given to the Goblin High Priest as an offering? That should be the case, otherwise we would have long been defiled by this group of kobolds. A flash of panic also surfaced on Lu Ning Ning's serene pretty face. The people who came here to practice leveling were no more than LV-15. Facing a terrifying demonic creature like the goblin sacrifice, especially a boss that could command so many goblins. I'm afraid that only a team of LV-20 leveled full professionals would be able to take care of it. And by that time, I'm afraid they would have died here long ago. Even if they were lucky enough to survive. But when she was discovered, she could imagine her miserable state. It was like a fine video card being frantically mined. Or a hotel plug that was loose. But Lian Yunqi's focus wasn't here, as she shuddered, a normal kobold is less than a meter, so maybe it doesn't hurt that much, but a kobold priest is at least three meters tall, right? No, that height, I'm only one meter six ah, uh, I. Lian Yunqi had already brought on a crying tone. At this time, a sudden shout came from outside. Not good, they're coming only to see a few kobolds walking seven-handedly to Lian Yunqi's side. Lian Yunqi's face snapped white, no? 
Why am I the first one ah? I'm not ready yet. A few kobolds suddenly compared in front of them, as if saying that kobold priests liked it big here. That's why they chose Lian Yunshi. It's not my fault that it's big. Lian Yunshi shouted. At this time, a few kobolds patted their asses. It's not, is it? Still like it from behind? Lian Yunshi's tears came out. Gah! A few kobolds patted their own asses again, as if correcting a mistake. The newbies thought there was only one path, but in reality, the veterans had already taken three paths. What? You guys mean from there? Lian Yunshi directly spat out her tongue and rolled her eyes in fear. Let go of her. Lu Ning Ning wanted to hit a few kobolds, but just as she moved, she slumped to the ground. They had all been drugged and didn't even have the strength to kill themselves. Ning Ning save me ah. I really don't want to ah, I don't want to fart in the future with a huff, not a puff. Lian Yunshi struggled desperately, but it had no effect. Lu Ning Ning laboriously raised her head, slow down, I have something to say. Ga ga? A few kobolds stopped in confusion. What do you want to say to me, Ning Ning? Even Yunchi had tears in her eyes and looked at Lu Ning Ning with anticipation. Lu Ning Ning effortlessly smiled as she softly said, Yunchi, when the time comes, you remember to take a deep breath, that supposedly won't hurt as much. Lian Yunchi, who was full of question marks, was just carried away by the kobolds joyfully. A few kobolds just carried the crying Lian Yunchi out of this cave, and then walked along the winding path towards other places. Yunchi. Lu Ro Ro could only watch this with her eyes. On the other side, Lu Chang suddenly shivered and said, Brother Dust, I seem to have heard the voice of a goddess. Wang Dust frowned and said, I seem to have heard it as well, the sound is coming from the passageway on the right, follow me and let's take a look ahead. Lu Chang carefully nodded and fearfully followed behind Wang Dust. The two of them advanced a little further towards the front, when Wang Chen suddenly made a silent gesture, signaling Lu Chang to stop. Only to see the sound of a girl struggling and the sound of sobbing continuously coming from the middle of the passage in front of them. How come I don't sound like goddess Lu Ning Ning? Lu Chang stretched his neck forward to look. Wang Dust said, don't make a sound, these kobolds have sensitive hearing. Only to see four or five LV-10 level kobolds appearing in front of them, carrying a girl who was tied up in five different ways. Wang Chen carefully leaned against the wall and looked inside with his sideways head. As a result, he saw a choppy scene. He only saw that Lian Yunshi was unclothed and constantly struggling. Along with each struggle, he was able to see a large area of exquisite snow-white scenery and body curves. Crap! Wang Chuan only felt a rush of hot blood instantly surging towards his head. Let me take a look too. Lu Chang stretched his head over at this time wanting to see what was happening. Don't look! Wang Chen hurriedly covered Lu Chang's eyes. Why? Lu Chang froze, not knowing what was happening. Wang Dust coughed and whispered, that. Front scene is a bit brutal, you'd better not look. Lu Chang believed it and said, Uhu, brother Dust you are so good to me. Damn. Let go of me. Woo woo. The girl's noisy voice grew louder and louder. Do you hear who this girl is? Wang Dust asked. Does this girl have any characteristics? Wang Dust covered Lu Chang's eyes, stared round eyes carefully and said, The body is quite good, good a little too much, especially in front of the body. Lu Chang immediately said, I know who it is, it must be goddess Lu Ning Ning's good girlfriend Lian Yunshi. That's fine, you stand here first and don't move, I'll go save that girl. Wang Chuan gave an explanation. On the other side, Lian Yunshi, who was constantly struggling, saw a handsome-looking youth suddenly walk in the distant passage. Lian Yunshi froze. She was not the only one who froze. Even the four or five kobolds at the bottom looked at Wang Duan with a confused expression. Who is this? The next moment, Lian Yunshi saw Wang Duan's level, and she suddenly said in surprise, Level 16. I'm saved. But when she realized Wang Chuan's occupation, the smile on her face instantly froze again. Wait? Is there any mistake? How could it be a living profession mechanic? What are you doing here? Run quickly, there's a mutation in the goblins here. 
Lian Yunxi was going crazy. It was as if your emotions were about to reach a certain peak when the other party suddenly pulled out and quit, and all the joy and surprise came to an abrupt end. This suffocating feeling made Lian Yunxi barely spit out a mouthful of blood. What am I here for? Of course I'm here to save you. Wang Chen smiled faintly. You came to save me? Hearing this, Lian Yunxi was filled with disbelief as she said sharply, Are you crazy? How can you save me as a living profession? Why don't you hurry out and call someone? What kind of international joke is this? Living professions didn't have any combat power at all. Not to mention facing so many level 15 kobolds, even a level 5 kobold probably wouldn't be able to fight. Wang Dust ignored it and walked over. It was as if the kobold also knew that Wang Chuan's profession was not aggressive. After placing Lian Yunqi on the ground, one of the kobolds came forward with a big stick and patted his chest, meaning to let Wang Dust fight at will. Ha! The little thing is quite confident. Wang Dust smiled faintly. Then he lightly came and flicked his fingers on top of this goblin's chest. There was a bang. A terrifying force poured out. This kobold instantly flew backwards. As if its body was made of papier-mâché, it ruthlessly crashed into the wall behind it and exploded into a ball of meat paste. What? Seeing this scene, Lien Yunxi was petrified and her heart almost exploded. Her mouth opened wide as she looked at Wang Chen with a face full of shock. She knew the life class profession too well. It didn't have any attack power at all. Even if it was a mutation, there was no way it could possess such a powerful force, right? What the hell was going on here? The remaining few kobolds. They also finally reacted and roared, lunging towards Wang Chen. Be careful. Lian Yunxi subconsciously shouted. Only to see Wang Chuan, with a disdainful expression on his face, kick these few kobolds again one after another. There was a loud bang. These few kobolds all flew out backwards. They also crashed into the wall and turned into a mass of meat paste. Wang Dust clapped his hands, looking as if he had easily swatted four mosquitoes to death. Crap! At this moment, Lian Yunxi was considered completely dumbfounded, and her pretty face was filled with shock. She took a closer look at Wang Chuan and was beyond certain that Wang Chuan was a life-class profession mechanic. It didn't make sense. What the hell is going on here? At this moment, Lian Yunqi viewed Wang Chuan as if he was a monster. Is everything alright? Wang Chuan walked over at this time and yanked the rope off Lian Yunqi's body in three tries. Lian Yunqi finally came back to her senses at this time, she excitedly said, It's fine I'm fine, it's just that. Are you really a mechanic? When she said this, Lian Yunqi's eyes were full of unbelief. Wang Chuan laughed and said, I'm definitely a mechanic ah, it's just that I've produced some small mutations. Lian Yunqi swallowed her saliva and said, but how do I feel that you are even more fierce than a level 30 warrior? Just before this sentence was finished, Lian Yunqi suddenly tapped her head and said anxiously, right, you quickly go save my best friend, her name is Lu Ningning and she is still inside the cave. Saying this, Lian Yunxi was about to stand up. However, because of the long time being tied up and the shock she received just now. At this moment, her feet were weak and had no strength, so she didn't stand steadily and stumbled and fell into Wang Chuan's arms. At this moment, Wang Chuan finally realized what was called messy with a ball crashing into people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Lian Yunxi's face was shockingly red at this moment, and her voice was trembling. She grabbed Wang Chuan with both of her hands and tried to climb up from Wang Chuan's body. As a result, she accidentally sat on her but on the ground and actually pulled down Wang Chen's pants. At this moment, the air was deathly silent. Ah ah ah. Lian Yunqi looked at this scene and blushed as if she was about to drip blood. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really didn't mean it, I'll put it on for you. Lian Yunqi said as she was about to stand up, but as a result, she didn't stand still and fell back into Wang Chen's arms. Wang Chen was also unsteady because of his pants, and both of them fell to the ground at the same time. This time, Lian Yunxi was considered to be completely on top of him. Warm fragrance and soft jade came from him, Wang Chen's face was buried, a large wave of cleanser came, and his entire body was dumbfounded. He wanted to push Lian Yunxi away, 
but his hands violently pushed, and an even softer feeling came. Bad. Grabbing the wrong place. Wang Chen panicked. Um. No. Don't. Lian Yunqi's petite body instantly became hot and her eyes became mesmerized. On the other hand, when Lu Cheng on the other side heard Wang Dust's voice coming from this side, he thought that something had happened and rushed over in a hurry with his magic wand. Brother Dust, don't be afraid I'm coming to save you. But when he saw the scene in front of him, his entire body instantly froze. The air was deathly silent again. Lu Chang swallowed, nah, sorry to interrupt, I didn't see anything. Brother Dust, stop it, I believe it all. Lu Chang looked at Wang Dust with three big words I don't believe written all over his face. Lian Yunxi was draped in Wang Duan's jacket, walking in the middle of the two people at the moment also didn't know what to say. After walking for a while, Lu Chang finally couldn't hold back his burning heart of gossip. He suddenly whispered excitedly, didn't see it ah, brother dust you actually like this kind of thing? As a result, he received a direct slap from Wang Dust. Where is that cave you guys were locked up in before? Wang Dust turned around and asked. Ha? Huh? Lian Yunqi blushed and said in a somewhat flustered manner, it's not far ahead, about a 10 meter walk or so, there are a few kobolds guarding it. In the end, the three of them arrived at the cave where Lian Yunxi and Lu Ningning were being held captive, and there were indeed a few kobolds standing there with an average level of around 15. Wang Dust didn't talk nonsense and directly resolved the few kobolds with ease and dispatch. Lian Yunxi looked at this scene with shock as she said to Lu Chang, is the mechanic mutation that powerful? Hey, by the way, what's your profession? Lu Chang said in embarrassment, I'm a nurse, except that I also have some mutations. Lian Yunxi was pleasantly surprised, even Wang Duan is this powerful, so you should be powerful too, right? Lu Chang awkwardly said, ha ha, powerful, well, it's not that powerful, it's just a bit different. Different? Lian Yunxi blinked in confusion. Lu Ningning should be inside, right? You bring this dress inside. Wang Dust walked over and handed over a spare jacket. Thanks. Lian Yunxi took the clothes and walked inside the cave. Yunxi? When Lu Ningning saw Lian Yunxi return, she first froze, then said, It's over so quickly, is the speed of the goblin high priestess that fast? Did it hurt? How does it feel? Lian Yunxi blushed and said, What are you thinking? I was lucky and ran into a great god who saved me. A great god? Then you mean we're saved. The color of hope rose in Lu Ning Ning's eyes. Don't say anything first, I'll untie you first. Lian Yunxi walked over and untied the rope binding Lu Ning Ning. She then took out the clothes she had prepared in advance and put them on Lu Ning Ning. As Lu Ning Ning finished draping her clothes and lifted her knee-high white silk upwards, Lian Yunxi immediately laughed evilly and said, Ning Ning, this look of yours is really cute. She suddenly and violently reached out and touched Lu Ning Ning's white silk, smooth and delicate with the touch of skin. Lu Ning Ning was incomparably ashamed, what are you doing? Don't! An electrifying shock made her body go soft in an instant. Lian Yunxi spat out her tongue and turned back to shout, it's ready, you guys come in. Wang Chen and Lu Chang walked in and met Lu Ningning. One could only say that it was worthy of being the civilian school beauty of Lu Ohaino. Two middle school. It was really pretty. Especially at this moment, Lu Ningning's clothes were tattered and torn, draped in Wang Chuan's jacket, her green silk was scattered, and there were red, swollen strangulation marks on her snow-white skin. Her face had a tantalizing blush and a pitiful look. It simply made people want to double their pity. When Lu Ning Ning saw Wang Chen, her beautiful eyes lit up and she subconsciously said, Wow! So handsome! Lu Chang had originally tidied up his hairstyle, wanting to have a good licking, when he heard this, he was instantly hit by a 10,000 point storm inside. Lu Ning Ning looked at Wang Duan in a daze and suddenly said, Mechanic and nurse? Wait a minute! Yunqi, the great gods you're talking about wouldn't be these two, right? Lian Yunqi excitedly said, that's right, both of them are mutant professions, let me introduce you, this is Lu Chang, this handsome guy is called Wang Dust, just now he was the one who saved me by punching a goblin. Lu Ning Ning said in disbelief, no way, are you sure you didn't see it wrong? Did he die a kobold's death by being handsome by his face value? 
Lian Yunqi said without a trace of anger, don't ask so many questions, if it wasn't for Wang Chen, I would be lying underneath the goblin priest right now, all in all, let's just get out of here first. As soon as her words fell, a violent tremor suddenly occurred within the entire cavern, and the roars of the kobolds came out from all directions. Not good, the kobolds are coming over, it's too late to leave now, do I really have to fart and whine in the future? Woo woo. Lian Yunqi's pretty face turned white and immediately cried out. Lu Chang went out to take a look and was also scared and ran back. Damn. There are so many kobolds coming from outside. Let's use this cave as a defense position, take turns attacking, and see if we can hold out until someone comes to save us. Lu Ning Ning was worthy of being a civilian goddess and instantly came up with a solution. Lian Yunqi and he were both a rank professions. One was a holy light knight and the other was a flame magician. Together with Wang Chen and Lu Chang, they might be able to hold out here for a while. But after some discussion, the three of them realized that Wang Dust had no intention of cooperating at all, and even walked to the cave entrance alone. Lu Ning Ning was shocked and said, Wang Chen what are you doing? Hurry back, the three of us set up a formation, you wouldn't be thinking of fending off so many kobolds by yourself, would you? Wang Chuan stood at the entrance of the cave and smiled faintly, aren't they just some kobolds? What's so scary about it? Rumble. At this time, the tremors in the passage in all directions were even louder. Amidst the terrified gazes of several people, dozens of raging goblins rushed over. Seeing this scene, the two girls' faces turned even paler. It was almost impossible to resist so many kobolds off. Wang Xuan, quickly retreat back, the four of us will take turns attacking, there is still hope of holding out, this scene in front of us is not something you can deal with. Lu Ningning and Lian Yunqi shouted in near despair. Brother Dust, just back off. Lu Chang also felt that Wang Duan was a bit overconfident. As he watched the densely packed goblins were about to rush over. No need, I'm enough on my own. Wang Chen took a deep breath. The next scene that happened made the three swallow all their words. Only Wang Chen's right arm was instantly shrouded in a layer of black and gold exoskeleton armor that looked very sci-fi. Accompanied by the sound of mechanical operations sounded. Powerful strength instantly filled Wang Chen's body. His current attributes instantly doubled. It instantly doubled from the original 400 to 800. This is. The three of them, Lu Ningning and Lian Yunxi, were dumbfounded as they watched Wang Chen's mutation. They then saw Wang Chen store up his strength and blast out a vicious punch towards the front. The powerful force tore through the air. It was as if the air was compressed. Rumble. It was accompanied by a deafening bang. The kobolds that rushed over were instantly blown away by the powerful shockwave. The middle of the originally densely packed goblins was hard blasted out of an open space by him. The rest of the kobolds violently break their feet and looked at Wang Chuan in fear. It wasn't just the kobolds, even Yun Shi and the three of them, Lu Ning Ning, looked dumbfounded. Is this really the power that a mechanic can achieve? They covered their mouths, their pupils trembling violently from shock, their brains going blank. Lu Chang kept panting heavily, his mouth repeating, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is too fucking awesome, brother dust is mighty. Oh no. Grandpa is awesome. At this time, the surrounding kobolds wanted to retreat out of fear. Want to go? Wang Chuan's right palm condensed light. Buzz boom. Several rays instantly shot out. The black-green rays instantly exploded in the group of kobolds. Ah. As long as they were tainted with the green rays and slime, the kobolds instantly screamed miserably as they were melted. Amidst the trio's shocked gazes. Not even ten seconds had passed before the originally densely packed goblins were wiped out. This 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 dash. Lu Ning Ning's body trembled slightly, her face filled with shock. This is too powerful. Even Yunqi was incomparably shocked as she looked at Wang Chen. They were all thinking rapidly about what kind of god Wang Dust was. To know that the students who had transferred out of their powerful professions in the past few days, they should all know about it. It was as if the most famous ones in Luo Hai know. One middle school were Ren Inian and the others but they had no impression of Wang Chen. 
And was this guy really just a mutant mechanic? Wang Chuan turned around at this time and looked at the shocked looks of the several people and wanted to laugh a little. One had to know that he hadn't even taken out a tenth of his strength. The 200 mechanical worker bees and worker ants in his mechanical space alone were enough to bulldoze the entire goblin cave. Not to mention using the super god armament. If he took out his full strength, wouldn't he scare these people to death? Wang Dust coughed and said, Don't freeze, there are still a lot of kobolds inside that are just seriously injured and not dead, so if any of you want experience, hurry over and make up for it. His words broke the shock of the three. Oh oh. Good. The two women nodded somewhat nervously and swallowed somewhat hard, mending the kobolds inside that didn't die. Lu Chang had already breezed over and killed several kobolds long ago. As for the drops, the two girls also understood and gave them all to Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan was not polite and collected them all with his spatial ring. Space ring. The two girls from ordinary families were envious. After disposing of all the fallen objects, the two girls suddenly realized that Wang Chuan had not left. The two girls suddenly realized that Wang Chuan had no intention of leaving. They hesitated for a moment and asked, Wang Chuan, aren't you leaving here? Wang Dust replied back, I brought my friend here to practice today, he hasn't leveled up to 10 yet, why should I leave here? Lian Yunqi immediately replied back, but there's a level 25 goblin high priest inside, you're not thinking of killing it, are you? Lu Ningning also discouraged, Wang Duan. Goblin high priests are not the same as these ordinary monsters and are not something that can be solved simply by strength, once a few magic spells hit you, you're done for. Moreover, as far as I know, there are also elite kobolds inside that are around level 20, 4 or 5 levels higher than you. Once the magical creatures reached level 20, their strength would change drastically, and they were definitely not something that Wang Duan would be able to fight against. Lu Chang was scared when he heard this, he pulled Wang Dust and said, Brother Dust, let's forget about it, it's not worth it to risk your life for me. I've risen to level 6, that's enough. Wang Dust looked at the darkness in the distance and suddenly said, I'm afraid it's too late to quit now. What do you mean? The three of them looked stunned and followed Wang Chen's gaze. Only to see a violent roar coming from inside the deep passageway in the distance, and a goblin that was one or two meters tall drilled out from inside. There were more than twenty in number. These kobolds, as if they were fitness trainers, had muscle blocks bulging on their bodies. In their hands, they carried large rods with threads, or large rods with spikes. Some of the kobolds shook the big rods in their hands, and the rods even emitted a strange buzzing sound. Name, Reinforced Goblin. Level LV20. Strength, 868. Physique, 121. Agility, 32. Spirit, 21. Skills Licking, Swelling, Old Goblin Cart, Rampage. Profile, a kobold summoned from the abyss by the kobold high priestess, with infinite strength. Not good, it's reinforcement goblins. Seeing so many goblins walk out, the three people's faces became pale and bloodless, and their voices trembled. Especially after seeing the panels of so many kobolds, the hearts of the three were even more desperate. The strength attribute was close to 1000, this was too much. It was important to know that the three of them hadn't broken through 100 in their strength attributes until now. Once they were approached by these kobolds, they would have nowhere to run. It's over, it's really impossible to leave now. Lian Yunxi looked at the big sticks in the hands of these kobolds and was very scared in her heart. She had even associated these kobolds with being able to clutch both of her arms with one palm and lift them above her head to pick her up. Then press her against the wall and do something indescribable. No no no, absolutely not. Above Lu Ningning's gentle pretty face, trepidation also surfaced, obviously thinking with Lian Yunxi. Among them, there was no one more scared than Lu Chang, who gripped the magic staff in his hand tightly and stammered, these kobolds shouldn't have a preference for men, right? Even if I'm captured, I guess they won't do anything terrible to me. Just before he could finish his words, more than 10 chesty, muscular and strong kobolds came out from among those dozens of level 20 plus kobolds, seeing Lu Chang's eyes glowing and pointing. No way, there are really female kobolds? Lu Chang was also about to cry from fear. Right at this moment, these 30 plus kobolds suddenly separated and stood on both sides. 
only to see a goblin high priest holding a white bone magic staff walk out from inside. He was wearing red tattered robes, and the top of the magic staff in his hand was burning with pink flames, looking very eerie and oozing. Name Goblin High Priest. Level, LV-25. Power, 568. Physique, 121. Agility, 32. Spirit, 931. Skills, Indulgence, Multiplication, Strengthening, Summoning. Introduction, a cobalt high priestess born from the abyss who loves human girls. When the three saw the panel of this goblin high priest, the color of despair in their eyes increased. This was true despair, right? But Lian Yunchi suddenly said in surprise, this goblin high priest isn't as tall as the legendary two or three meters, it's so low. Lu Ning Ning said angrily, is that the focus of your immediate concern? Lian Yunchi was embarrassed, I mean in that case he isn't that tall and I won't hurt as much. Right at this moment, the goblin high priest in red robes revealed an extremely lewd smile at the two girls. The robe fluttered. A six-eyed crow flew over, seemingly looking for something to land on. It eventually landed underneath the goblin high priest as if it had stepped on top of a thick branch. Seeing this scene, the two girls were petrified on the spot. Eyes filled with shock and fear. It shouldn't be ah, this height and this proportion are completely different. The two girls hugged together, their voices terrified. This was really over, no one could save them. It's all our fault for dragging you down, Wang Chen if you didn't save us, maybe you wouldn't be accompanying us in the torture now. Lian Yunqi apologized to Wang Chuan with tears in her eyes. Lu Chang was also sad, I'm sorry brother Dust, I dragged you down too. At this moment, the three had already made preparations to die generously. It's fine, even though it's big. We'll get over it after enduring it. Lian Yunqi and Lu Ningning were still comforting each other. They were just girls, and after being scared here for another day and night, their mental defenses had long since collapsed. Lu Chang looked at the strong female kobold in the distance, and there seemed to be a few hints of anticipation in his eyes, as well as fear. He murmured, since we can't beat it, let's choose to enjoy it. Isn't it just a few kobolds, you guys are scared like this, just kill them, when the time comes, you guys remember to fill in and get experience. Wang Dust looked at the trio. We mop up and get experience? Lian Yunqi and Lu Ningning were dumbfounded when they heard this. They felt that what Wang Chen said was a little hard to understand. Brother, this is a level 25 goblin high priest, do you want to see what you're talking about? Lian Yunqi was a bit tense. She felt that Wang Chen was a bit crazy. Lu Chang also said, Brother Dust, I know you're in a hurry to pretend to be a pussy, but don't be in a hurry, we really can't pretend to be this pussy. Look at these kobolds, they are as strong as a fucking fitness trainer, 20 plus level reinforced kobolds, one hand can pick up both of our brothers and fuck the shit out of them. The goblin high priest over there also seemed to sense Wang Chen's scorn. Anger immediately appeared in its eyes. It had stayed here alone for so many years, and had managed to cultivate to level 25 with great difficulty. It had worked so hard to summon so many reinforced goblins. It was just to come over here and mount a vicious wave. To strike a downward blow. As a result, this youth in front of him was not afraid, and even dared to show a mocking smile to him. How could this be tolerated? It stretched out the magic staff in its hand and swung it forward slightly. The ground shone brightly. One red magic formation after another rotated and took shape. Roar roar roar. Accompanied by roars of fury. One after another, strong kobolds crawled out of it one after another, numbering more than ten. The cave was almost too big to hold so many reinforced kobolds. Now with the goblin high priestess in tow, there were more than 40 level 20 plus reinforced goblins in the field. Comparing summons with me? The corner of Wang Dust's mouth curled slightly. What do you mean? Brother Dust, could it be that you have summons as well? Lu Chang's eyes were filled with shock as he looked at Wang Dust with an emboldened look. You're not going to do that to these kobolds and then attack them with your billions of descendants, are you? He really couldn't think of anything else other than the fact that he could think that Wang Chen could possess this summon. When the two girls heard this, their pretty faces reddened and they immediately blanked Lu Chang. What kind of stuff is in your head every day? 
Wang Chen was speechless to the extreme. The words just fell. Only to see Sci-Fi Mechanical Portal after Sci-Fi Mechanical Portal similarly emerge behind Wang Chuan. The end of the portal was connected to chaos, and one couldn't see what was in there at all, as if it was like countless streams of data. It was then accompanied by mechanical friction sounds. One after another strong mechanical worker ants and mechanical worker bees crawled out from inside. After being controlled by the intruder, these mechanical worker ants and mechanical worker bees didn't know about pain and would only unconditionally obey Wang Chen's orders. Soon enough, 200 mechanical worker ants and mechanical worker bees crawled out from inside. Holy shit, what the hell is this? Seeing such a shocking scene, Lu Chang subconsciously exploded, his eyes almost glaring out. Just how much more strength did Wang Chen have that he didn't know about? Both were equally mutated, how come the gap between him and Wang Chen was so big? Are these all your summons? The two girls were also shocked. It was also the first time they had seen a mechanic with so many abilities after mutating. And it was also the first time they had seen a level 10 plus professional who was able to summon more than 200 summons in one breath. They knew that the level 25 goblin high priestess in the distance was only able to summon about 40 reinforced goblins. Was Wang Chen really just a mutant mechanic? This question once again surfaced in the minds of the three people. The goblin high priest in the distance was also stunned when he saw that Wang Chen had summoned so many summons. Wang Dust reached out at this time and shouted, Attack me! More than 200 mechanical worker ants and mechanical worker bees instantly rushed over and fought with those goblins. Although these goblins had the advantage in terms of level, they couldn't hold back the number of Wang Chen's summons. Not long had passed before the kobolds were killed and retreated. My goodness! This is too powerful. The three of them had a strange color in their eyes. Wang Dust released dozens more invaders in a smooth manner at this time. The silver-colored spider mechanical monsters quickly crawled over and tried to invade these kobolds in front of them. Because these kobolds were quite intelligent, along with their level being quite high, not many of the invaders succeeded. After a battle, they ended up controlling only 10 or so reinforced kobolds. The rest of the kobolds were either killed or were forcefully controlled by a few worker bees and worker ants lying on their bodies and pressed down to the ground, only able to roar and struggle in vain. On the contrary, Wang Chen here only lost more than 20 worker bees and worker ants. However, with the addition of more than 10 level 20 reinforced goblins under his control, it wasn't a loss. At this moment, there were only some severely injured and dying reinforced goblins left in the field, as well as the lone dazed goblin high priest standing in the middle of the field. It never thought that he originally wanted to come here to act like a pussy, but in the end, he met someone who was even more capable of pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger than he was. This succession of reversals also made Lu Chang and Lian Yunxi, the two girls, somewhat skeptical of life. Especially Lu Chang, who kept chanting, both are of the same mutated profession, why is the gap between brother dust and I so big? He became an omnipotent hexagonal warrior, and I became a clown who boosts the high priest? But at this time, Lu Ningning did not let up because of the victory in front of her. She frowned and said, Wang Chen you have to be careful, this goblin high priest hasn't been resolved yet, don't take it lightly. Hearing this, the remaining two people also reacted. Right. The goblin high priest hasn't been resolved yet. This was the main event. Wang Dust tried to get a few mechanical worker bees and worker ants to rush over. Roar. At this time, the goblin high priest's magic staff was swung forward violently. Boom. Several eerie green fireballs smashed over, instantly sending several worker bees and worker ants flying out, their bodies scorched. Seeing this scene, Wang Dust frowned slightly. As expected, after reaching level 20 or so, it was a watershed moment. He then immediately maneuvered the worker bees and worker ants to retreat. What a terrifying magic! Seeing this goblin high priest actually had such a terrifying magic. Lu Chang and even Yunxi couldn't help but sweat appear on their foreheads. Be careful, Wang Duan. They looked towards Wang Chuan with some concern. I'm afraid that Wang Chuan would be blown to pieces by these magic spells before he could even get close. At this time, the goblin high priest suddenly roared, and a circle of red magic formations unexpectedly surfaced on his body. Terrifying magic fluctuations coalesced on his body. 
An extremely oppressive feeling also spread in the cave. Not good. Sensing the change in the goblin high priest, the three of them physically trembled. Only to see that the goblin high priest's panel numbers unexpectedly changed again, and his spiritual power began to surge up at a rapid rate. Not good. This goblin high priestess is using an enhancement technique on herself. Lian Yunqi screamed. Blazing fireball. Lu Ningning reacted quickly and took her own magic staff and swung it forward. Several crimson fireballs instantly shot out. She wanted to interrupt the goblin high priest's spell casting. Only to hear the goblin high priest roar. There was a rumble. A red pillar of light entwined with black lightning descended from the sky and instantly enveloped it. The few fireballs that hit the light pillar instantly exploded without any effect. It's not a reinforcement spell. This goblin high priest is using abyssal magic on himself. Lian Yunxi recognized this magic. Abyssal magic was some dark magic that had a huge increasing effect and was powerful. Many magical creatures born from the abyss would use this kind of magic. The goblin high priest let out a roar. The red robes went up in smoke, and its body began to expand crazily. In the end, it swung its arm violently, and the pillar of light suddenly exploded, and its mutated body was completely revealed in front of the three of them. At this time, the goblin high priest had undergone a huge change. Both eyes were crimson. Fangs were exposed. The body was more than three meters tall, and the muscles on its body were filled with an explosive sense of power. The most terrifying thing was that it was also filled with terrifying magic power fluctuations. Just standing here, there was a suffocating sense of oppression. Its attribute panel had also undergone a radical change. Name, Fortified Goblin High Priestess. Level LV25. Strength, 2243. Physique, 345. Agility, 68. Spirit, 2680. Skills, Indulgence, Multiplication, Strengthening, Summoning. Introduction Born from the Abyss, the Goblin High Priestess loves human maidens, strengthened by stimulation, becoming even more terrifying and loving human maidens even more. Heavens, this height, this attribute panel, this size, it really can't be. Lian Yunqi had really gone soft in her hands and feet. I knew that Fandango didn't lie to me, kobolds are all horrible creatures. Lu Chan could not cry. At this moment, all three of them were as if their hearts were dead. Up to 2,000 points of strength attributes and spirit attributes. What were they going to resist with? Roar. The goblin high priest let out a roar and made a posture of a vicious tiger pouncing. Only a rumbling sound was heard. The goblin high priest instantly disappeared from the trio's view. Only a large pit that kept exploding surfaced in the original spot, and there were cracks spreading rapidly. What a fast speed. The three people were shocked. Their eyes were filled with shock and fear. The sound of air tearing came. The goblin high priest rushed in front of Wang Chuan in a near flash, his hands were entwined with black lightning, and he slammed his fist fiercely. Boom! Wang Chuan was instantly blown away and ruthlessly smashed on top of the wall behind him. A large amount of smoke rose up. The two women were shocked, Wang Chen. Lu Chang's tears came out at once, brother Dust. The scene just now happened too fast for the three of them to stop it, and Wang Dust was just blown away by the goblin high priest's punch, his life and death uncertain. Just as the three of them were about to rush over to avenge Wang Dust with bloodshot eyes, Wang Dust's calm voice suddenly rang out from the dust and smoke in the distance. All three of you back off. Brother Dust. Hearing this voice, the three of them's bodies violently trembled, and then they excitedly looked towards the distant dust and smoke. Only two crimson rays of light were lit up in the distant dust and smoke, accompanied by the sound of mechanical operation. This. This is? The three of them violently rounded their eyes. Only to see a silhouette wearing an extremely powerful black and gold battle armor slowly walk out amidst the rolling dust and smoke in the distance. Along with his walk, the sound of mechanical parts deflating pressure could be clearly heard, echoing in the cavern. He stretched out his hand and swung it violently. There was a loud boom. A terrifying force compressed the air. 
The dust and smoke in the sky was hardened and dispersed by him. But that wasn't what shocked the three people the most. What was most shocking was Wang Dust's panel at this moment. Wang Dust had long ago strengthened all six parts of himself with all the materials he had dug up earlier, and each part had reached LV2 level. Therefore, his four-dimensional attributes had long since surged to an incredible level. Name, One Dust. Profession, Super God Mechanic. Level, 16. Strength, 1980. Physique, 220. Agility, 1650. Spirit, 1830. Me. My God. I can't believe I can be on par with the Goblin High Priest. The trio hadn't even finished their shocked words. Mechanical overload. Accompanied by Wang Chuan's icy voice rang out. Amidst the three people's shocked gazes, his panel once again underwent a radical change. A lava-like pattern lit up in the seams of the black and gold battle armor, like flowing water with a dazzling light. Terrifying sounds of mechanical operation roared throughout the underground cavern. The ground was vaguely trembling. When this reached its peak, Lu Chang and the three of them trembled as they realized that Wang Dust's panel values had surpassed their imagination. Name, Wang Dust. Profession, Super God Mechanic. Level, 16. Strength 19800. Physique, 2200. Agility, 16500. Spirit, 18300. All the attributes had almost doubled tenfold. It was straight up to a level 30 or 40 professional. 20,000 strength. 20,000 spirit. My god. Lu Chang was about to faint, he doubted that he was dreaming now. Hiss. The two girls were also sucking in cool air as their bodies trembled. The huge shock from Wang Chen hit their bodies one by one, and now it was directly inserted into the deepest part of their bodies. It made the two of them nearly go out of their souls. You got a good beating just now, now it's my turn too, right? Wang Chen looked up at the goblin high priest in the distance. A red light flashed in his eyes. The goblin high priest instantly sweated like rain, feeling as if it was being stared at by the god of death. It didn't have time to turn around and flee. Boom! Wang Chen instantly rushed over. The speed was unknown how many times faster than the goblin high priest. He then blasted his fist on top of the goblin high priest's body. Boom! A circle of chi explosions swept out. This punch almost didn't send the goblin high priest's eyes flying out. It instantly sent it flying backwards. In an instant, the goblin high priest's backwards flying body didn't know how many stone pillars in the underground cavern it had broken. In the end, it ruthlessly crashed on top of the wall next to it and turned into a puddle of meat paste. Clatter! A large pile of materials exploded out with light and fell all over the place. The goblin high priest who was unbeatable just a moment ago was too dead to die at this moment. Wang Dust landed on the ground in a dashing manner. At this time, an eyeball of the goblin high priest rolled over. This eyeball carried a residual panic. It happened to roll to Wang Chuan's feet. Without even looking, Wang Dust gently stomped on the eyeball. At this moment, the entire underground cave was dead silent. The three of them were filled with shock, their mouths wide open as they stared at Wang Chuan in disbelief. Seconds to kill. A crisp and clean second kill. The goblin high priest did not even have any room for resistance. Lian Yunqi and Lu Ningning still wanted to ask Lu Chang what exactly was going on with Wang Chen. They mechanically craned their necks, only to realize that Lu Chang's mouth was open even wider than theirs. It was as if he was even more shocked than they were. Are you really just a level 16 mechanic? Lu Ning Ning asked with a trembling voice. As a result, at this time, a white light flashed on Wang Chen's head, and his level changed from level 16 to level 17. After killing so many enhanced goblins just now, the experience was already a small difference, and then after killing this boss level goblin high priest, it finally came to level 17. Hiss. Seeing this scene, Lian Yunqi and Lu Ningning's eyelids jumped. This proved that Wang Chen hadn't hidden any information from them, and that he was really just a level 16 mechanic. 
It seems like we all underestimated Wang Chen. Lian Yunqi suppressed the shock in her heart and let out a bitter smile. The most crucial thing is that we were completely unaware that someone as powerful as Wang Chen existed, he's really low-key. Lu Ningning also sighed. Previously, they had heard that the most powerful person in Luo Haino. One middle school was Rin Inian. But now it seemed. The most powerful person in Luo Hai City No. One middle school was none other than Wang Chen. Right at this moment, the mechanical worker bees and mechanical worker ants, who had been hiding to the site earlier, grabbed some severely injured reinforced goblins and walked over. Throwing these goblins in front of the trio. Lu Chang you make a move to kill all these reinforced goblins. Wang Dust shouted, today he had planned to bring Lu Chang over to brush up on his leveling. Alright brother Dust, no problem. Lu Chang swallowed his saliva and came over with his magic staff, and it took him a lot of effort to kill all of these goblins. With a flash of light, he rose to level 10 in one breath. At this time, there were still two reinforced goblins left, Lu Chang let these two goblins to the two girls. Thanks. The two girls were not polite or anything, they just silently remembered this favor from Wang Chen in their hearts, and then struck out to kill them sharply. They had been trapped here for a very long time, and they must be a huge level behind the others by now. If they didn't seize the time to upgrade, it would all be too late. After Wang Chuan removed the super god armor from his body, he walked over to the goblin high priest's drops and rummaged around for a while. He now needed the weapon to be integrated into the remaining five parts of his body for upgrading. He didn't know if this goblin high priest had dropped any suitable weapons. He needed to grab all the time he could to upgrade himself now. When the time came, he would return all the shame that Ren Inian had inflicted on him before in front of everyone. Among the pile of dazzling drops, Wang Chen picked up a diamond-shaped red gemstone. Name, High Priestess's Magic Stone. Category, Gemstone, Inlay. Level, Bronze. Attributes, Spirit plus 100, Strength plus 80, Physique plus 35. Attachment effect, inlaid on a magic staff, it can bring several powerful positive gains, the gain effect is not fixed, but it can raise the magic power that the staff can hold. Attached skill, none. Description, a gemstone crafted by the goblin high priestess with all her heart and soul, with incredible effects. Surprisingly, it was a rare inlay drop. Wang Chuan looked at this gem in his hand and his eyes were filled with delight. This gemstone had very many effects, making it into a magic staff or inlaying it on a weapon could be done, it was very versatile. So it was very popular in the market. Wang Chuan hesitated for a moment and began to think about which part of his body would be the most suitable to set this gemstone in. After thinking about it, he felt that only setting it on the chest armor was the most suitable. After he put away the rest of the drops, he pressed this gem onto his chest without hesitation. With a flash of light, the gem instantly turned into a stream of data and merged into his chest armor, while his chest's mechanical parts changed for a moment. The High Priestess gem slowly emerged. Surprisingly, it formed something like a reactor. A powerful energy instantly filled Wang Chen's entire body. Chest armor soaring successfully. Congratulations, you have obtained the Magic Core Reactor. Congratulations, the High Priestess's Royal Magic Stone level has been raised to silver. The armor can hold stronger energy. Congratulations, the time for mechanical overload has been increased from 10 to 15 minutes. So it turns out that after embedding the gemstone in the chest armor, I was able to obtain a Magic Core Reactor. Wang Chen's eyes were filled with excitement. The time of mechanical overload was also raised by 5 minutes. Great, it's kind of worth the trip. Wang Dust lifted the armor. Thank you Wang Chuan, if it wasn't for you, we might have suffered an untimely death today. At this time, the two girls, Lian Yunxi and Lu Ningning, came over to give Wang Chuan a solemn thank you again. No relation, we are all classmates, it's only right to help each other out. Wang Dust waved his hand and didn't take this matter to heart. The two girls couldn't help but see Wang Chuan so lighthearted, and a flash of adoration swept across their eyes. Who wouldn't like a handsome man like this who was handsome and strong and humble? Lu Chang looked at Wang Chen with a grudging look on his face. We agreed to be trash together, but you secretly rolled me. 
On this side, Wang Dust received all the mechanical worker ants and mechanical worker bees, as well as the 12 newly controlled reinforced goblins into his mechanical space. This wave of strength was also considered a small increase. After the four of them left the secret realm, they rushed back to Luo Hai City. On the way, the four inevitably talked about their ideals. Both Lu Ningning and Lian Yunxi's goal was the Imperial Capital University, after all, they were both a ranked professionals and both had the qualifications to take the Imperial Capital University. Lu Chang didn't say anything, he felt that the probability was that he was going to be a booster high priest inside the clubhouse. After parting ways, Lu Ningning suddenly asked, Do you think Wang Chen has any hope of taking the title of this year's Denglong Scholar? Lian Yunxi froze, Denglong Scholar, do you think Wang Chuan can get Denglong Scholar? Do you know what the concept of Denglong Scholar is? That's the number one title in the province, since our Luohai city was established, no one has ever been able to get the title of Denglong Scholar. And isn't it said that this year's mayor has poured all his hopes on Renanian? Lu Ning Ning reached out and pulled the hair on her forehead as she revealed a quiet smile, let's go, I'm just saying it off the top of my head. But I don't know why, I always feel that he might be able to. After Wang Chen and Lu Chang on this side went home, Joshua laughed when she saw the two of them coming back, you two brats came back together so quickly, nothing happened, did you rise to level 2? Anyway, Xiao Shui already had no hope for Lu Chang. The minimum requirement for taking the entrance exam was to level up to 10 within 10 days, but with Lu Chang's profession, it was impossible to level up to 10. Lu Chang heatedly smiled and said, I'm talking to you, mom, your son has now risen to level 10, just wait for a good life, when the time comes for my son to become a high-ranked professional he will definitely give you, oh no. Definitely ask a high-ranked healer to treat you for your illness. After all, he was well aware of his profession and there was no way to cure Zhao Shui's illness. Zhao Shui rolled her eyes and taunted, you're a kid who doesn't talk every day, people's rich young masters don't seem to be able to level up to 10 in a day, and you're still level 10? She carries the broom next to her, a broom on Lu Chang's but No how come you don't believe me, I'm really already level 10. Lu Chang covered his butt and wailed. But Zhao Shui was completely unconvinced. Seeing this, Lu Chang couldn't explain too much, he planned to give Zhao Shui a big surprise after he took the college entrance exam. On the way, Wang Duan had already said that he would team up with Lu Chang to take the college entrance exam at that time. The so-called college entrance exam was to take the form of a small team to impact the trial tower together, with a minimum of four people and a maximum of six people. The reason for the team is because nowadays, when you go out to participate in a copy to kill a demonic creature, almost all of them need to be in a team, and it is almost impossible for a single person to brush a copy of the same level. That's why the college entrance exams would also adopt the group mode, sort of letting the students adapt in advance. In the trial tower. Slaying demons and contributing to the cause will all earn corresponding points. In the end, based on each person's performance inside, how many points they got. To determine one's performance. Anyway, with Wang Chen's strength, soloing the trial tower was not a problem, and bringing Lu Chang with him was no problem. But in reality, very few people would do this, because the college entrance exam is related to a person's fate, and no one would be willing to share their extra energy with others, in order to bring a loser, wasting a team slot for nothing. But Wang Chuan didn't care, Lu Chang's family had been kind to him before with their hearts and lungs, and now that he was capable, it was time to repay the favor. The two of them came to the second floor, Lu Chang was still persuading Wang Dust, Brother Dust are you sure you want to take me? This way you're wasting a spot ah. Wang Dust patted Lu Chang's shoulder and said, We're all brothers, there's no need to say anything out of the ordinary. Brother Dust, it's so good to have you, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a male, I would have married you by now. Lu Chang was moved to tears. Stop, even if you become a female, I don't want you. Wang Chen contemptuously raised his middle finger. Right, didn't you say on your way that you awakened the second and third skills again? Lu Chang's face showed an embarrassed look. Yes, I have awakened two skills, but I don't know exactly what the effects of these two skills are. The second skill was called Healing Aura and the third skill was called Spiritual Exuberance. Given the terrifying effect of the first skill Healing Aura, Lu Chang was now skeptical of these two skills. So what do we find something to try? Wang Dust stroked his chin and turned his gaze to a lazy stray dog on the street. The stray dog was sleeping prettily when it suddenly felt a darkness in front of its eyes, 
and it looked up to find two youths looking at it unkindly. It had not yet figured out what was happening. It only saw that the fat man who weighed 200 pounds holding a magic staff in his hand waved it, and a blue aura landed on itself. Amidst the shocked gazes of Wang Chen and Lu Chang, the stray dog suddenly jumped up and then started to pee like crazy, as if it was out of control. Holy shit, you call this a fucking hydrotherapy aura? Are you sure this isn't a lost? Forbidden technique? Wang Dust was considered completely convinced. Lu Chang also had an embarrassed look on his face before throwing out a third skill, spiritual exuberance. Before the stray dog that had just finished peeing could breathe a sigh of relief, another aura landed on its head. This stray dog instantly lay on the ground twitching as if it was doing something wonderful. Holy shit, this is too fucking hyper. Looking at the floating stray dog, Wang Chen was completely shocked. This skill TMD can't be given to people. Lu Chang could not cry. Wang Dust comforted, let's put things in another perspective, your skill can't be given to people, but it can be given to magical creatures. Lu Chang thought about it in his heart, these skills at least have some interfering effects. Imagine a demonic creature that is flying when it suddenly can't control its body and pees while being hyper. This is more or less some control effect. Seeing that it was already late, Wang Dust said, I'll go back first, you remember to come to me early tomorrow and we'll go to the agreed upon location to brush copies together. Wang Chuan left. On the way, he went to the treasure chamber to get all the goblin materials out. As soon as Wang Chen left, a few girls got together and laughed, you you, the materials he took this time are far worse. You guys wait. You you puffed out her mouth, and her heart was suddenly a bit bottomless as well. If most of the materials that Wang Chuan took next time were these low-grade materials, then it would be a bit of a long shot for the half a million dollars to be paid off. After Wang Chen went back, he first went to the magic tool store to buy a good wheelchair. The wheelchair that Wang Luohan sat in before was only a few thousand dollars, and it was extremely uncomfortable to sit in, and this time he directly bought a pink electric wheelchair with more than thirty thousand dollars. His own sister would definitely like it. Of course being in a wheelchair all the time is not a thing, Wang Chuan will one day treat his sister and his parents. Early the next morning, Wang Chuan rushed to the meeting place with Lu Chang. To be on the safe side, Wang Chuan directly put on his super god armor, so he wasn't afraid of others recognizing him. Hey, hey, hey! Wang Chen is here. Emolioli waved her arms vigorously, today she was wearing denim hot pants that only reached the base of her thighs and a short white shirt, looking very youthful. Whether it was the waist that was revealed to be in a firm grip, or the legs that had delicate and smooth skin, it could all be described as a man-chopping level. If a senior leg control player see the scene, absolutely exclaimed can play three years. The stockings that were removed from this leg were superb no matter if they were used to make milk tea or polish a gun. Waste essence ah! You still say you haven't hooked up with a rich woman? Lu Chang's eyes went straight when he saw Emo Lioli. It's too pretty! Heavens! How was Wang Duan so lucky? To have hooked up with such a beautiful girl. He thought it was some big fat mom with curly hair. Now that he took a look, he was almost dumbfounded. If a beauty of this caliber holds a steel wire ball. Can this be called torture? This is clearly a reward ah. Liu Li, let me introduce to you, my friend Lu Chang, as I told you before, a milkmaid, it's just that his skills are a bit mutated, no one is willing to take him to practice leveling. Wang Chen introduced Lu Chang, but did not divulge Lu Chang's skills. Emo Lili didn't take it seriously and said, it's fine, as long as you're there, that being said, the people over there are probably waiting impatiently, let's go over there quickly. Hearing this, Lu Chang was envious to death in his heart. Is this eating soft food? It didn't matter how much of a dish wine dust was, as long as the people arrived, it was fine. The three of them then rushed towards the coastal cave. On the way. Lu Chang looked at Emo Lioli and wanted to ask if any of Emo Lioli's friends were looking for a soft rice man. He really wanted to grossly recommend himself. What if someone likes his kind? But he didn't know what to say. After a struggle, Lu Chang opened his mouth with difficulty, only the words turned into, Ms. Emo, Wang Chen has already told me those things. Ah? Uh, he has told you all those things? 
Emolioli froze when she heard this, and her pretty face immediately flew into a red blush. She had thought that Wang Chen had told Lu Chang about all the embarrassing events in the secret realm. This, this, this. This was too humiliating. But for some reason, at the same time as being humiliated, Emolioli also felt a small drop of excitement. Seeing Emolioli this shy, Lu Chang is more and more sure of his guess, he lowers his voice and says, Miss Emo, I understand, I won't say anything about you and Brother Dust, but is there any of your girlfriend's friends or anything like you? Emolioli immediately panicked and shook her head, Oops, how do I know if my friends have this, don't ask, there shouldn't be any, this kind of shameful thing even if they have it, it's unlikely that they would say it to me. One excitement cannot hold this kind of thing, how can it be indiscriminately proclaimed ah? Lu Chang immediately shouted, then ms. Nemo you ask, truth be told, I love this bite. If there is, be sure to introduce to me. Emo Lioli was stunned, you love this flavor? Will you be able to drink it when the time comes? Surprisingly, there are really boys who like to drink holy water. Lu Chang thought Emo Lioli was talking about the great tonic soup. Isn't it just a great tonic soup? What's so difficult about it? In the past, Zhao Shui hadn't rarely boiled great tonic soup for Wang Chan and Wang Luohan to drink, and he followed suit and drank it every day back then. So Lu Chang said without thinking, why can't I drink it? Brother Dust and I drank my mom's every day back then, it's delicious. Ah! Emo Lioli's eyes rounded, and a huge wave rippled through her tiny head. At this moment, Emo Lioli saw the universe go from collapsing to becoming a singularity, and then exploding with countless nebulae expanding and evolving into individual planets. Everything inside the planets evolved and multiplied, and finally evolved into humans, until humans pressed the activation button for the first nuclear bomb. Boom! The mushroom cloud rose. Emo Lioli was jolted, she trembled, drink? Drink your mom? Wang Chuan in front heard the two behind him keep yakking, he turned around and said, what are you two muttering about? Lioli, where the hell is your friend you were talking about? M.O. Lioli panicked, ah? Ma, it's coming soon. Lu Chang returned, yeah, my mom's great tonic soup is delicious. Ah? Great tonic soup? M.O. Lioli's entire body was about to burrow into the ground in shame. It turned out that she was the one who misunderstood. In order to hide her embarrassment, Emolioli said, This time, I'm introducing you to two great beauties from your Luo High First Middle School. Wang Duan froze, You didn't say that you're looking for Li Mengmeng and in Xiao Xiao, did you? Right. Emolioli nodded her head. Wang Duan was dumbfounded, He didn't think it would be such a coincidence. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just that it's still according to what I said before, just don't reveal my identity. Wang Dust's voice also changed a few points. Before taking the entrance exam, he couldn't reveal any changes in himself. Only if he took the college entrance exam with a bang and showed his worth would the higher-ups protect him. Lu Chang didn't need to explain too much, he understood and wouldn't reveal Wang Chen's identity. It was just that he couldn't help but mutter, Brother Dust, do you think Li Meng Meng and In Xiao Xiao and the two of them will be shocked when they realize your change? Don't you reveal yourself to me. Wang Dust instructed again. The copy they were going to this time was located on the left side of Luohai City. It was a copy that Li Meng Meng and In Xiao Xiao's family had contracted at a large price. Only they could brush it today. This was the benefit of being the children of a large family. A luxurious private car with two beautiful girls standing next to it. It was none other than the red haired Li Meng Meng and In Xiao Xiao. Another small half a day had passed without seeing the two of them, and they had already risen from yesterday's level 7 to level 10. Lioli, you're finally here, these two are the great gods you were talking about? Seeing Emo Lioli arrive, the two walked forward, their faces blooming with overflowing smiles, very eye-catching. They looked towards Lu Chang and Wang Duan. Emo Lioli introduced them quickly, this is Lu Chang, a mutant nurse. Lu Chang had a confident smile on his face and was just about to open his mouth to say something. Only to see Emo Lioli immediately ignore him and turn her hand to point at Wang Duan, saying excitedly, This is the great god I was telling you about, a top-tier powerhouse who practiced to level 16 in one day. The two girls immediately looked at Wang Dust with shocked gazes. 
Seeing that he was left out in the cold, Lu Chang always felt that this scene was deja vu. Forget it, I'll just be a lone flower. And Xiao Xiao looked at Zhou Chen in shock, are you sure you're not joking, being able to brush up to level 16 in a day? Li Meng Meng also looked at Wang Chen up and down with an incredulous gaze, as if she wanted to penetrate the black and gold battle armor and see what kind of person was inside. How can this be fake, when have I ever lied to you guys? Emo Liuli clasped her hands on her chest with a smug look on her face. I don't know why. And Xiao Xiao suddenly felt that there was something familiar about this black and gold battle armor figure. She felt as if she had seen it somewhere. So she spoke out and asked, the student, have we met before? Wang Chen shook his head and said, I don't recognize it. Li Mengmeng came over at this time and said with a smile, hi. This handsome guy, can you take off your helmet and talk to us? Wang Dust shook his head. Li Mengmeng immediately raised her mouth, don't be so petty, if you don't want to take off your helmet, at least give a reason. After hesitating for a moment, Wang Dust said, because the bull warrior never takes off his mask. Countless question marks surfaced above the heads of everyone present. All right, all right, you guys just don't force him to take off his mask, everyone has their own preferences. Mo Liuli came out at this time to make a round up. But she immediately whispered again, but I can tell you guys, it's a big handsome guy inside oh. Li Ming Ming's eyes immediately blossomed into a color of nymphomania. One must know that there are not many people who can be evaluated by Mo Liuli as a handsome man. After the four of them sat in their own car, they drove towards the outside. And Xiao Xiao took out her cell phone, let me introduce you to this copy. She gave Wang Chuan and Lu Chang the information about the copy. Wang Dus looked at the information on this copy. Copy, Demon Spider Abyss. Difficulty, Nightmare Level. Level Requirement, LV10 LV25. Introduction, the abyss located in the land of cold darkness has raised a large number of devil spiders inside, beware of their deadly venom and fangs, and even more so, beware of the giant webs that they lay down to cover the sky. Main quest, kill the devil spider abyss located in the land of cold darkness. Main quest, kill the arachnid mother located in the center. Worthy of being a nightmare level copy, wherever a copy of this kind of demonic creature that possessed the ability to reproduce in large numbers was involved, the difficulty would usually not be low to the ground. This was because the number of monsters inside was often measured in hundreds. Wang Dust really didn't expect that he would be able to get involved with this kind of copy twice. After killing the queen bee and the queen ant the previous time, he didn't expect that he would have to kill the arachnid mother this time. After Lu Chang finished reading the copies, his face had some unsightly looks. Although he had probably understood the information about these copies, his heart was still a bit scared after seeing so much detailed information. After all, the success rate of this copy's crusade was too low. Generally speaking, only squads with an average level of at least 20 or so would be able to confidently clear this copy. But their average level was only around level 10. This student, are you really confident that you can take us through this copy? And Xiao Xiao looked at Wang Dust in the back at this time and inquired. No problem, just follow me when the time comes. If it was any other demonic creature, Wang Dust didn't have much certainty in his heart. But for this kind of low intelligence spider type demons, Wang Chuan had a hundred percent confidence in his heart. After all, the venom of these spider type demons could not help him. Moreover, his intruder was able to maximize its effect. Instead of practicing, it was better to go and expand his mechanical army. Seeing that Wang Chen was so confident, and Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng didn't say much either. Right, I forgot to ask, what is your profession, this student? And Xiao Xiao only thought at this time that she had forgotten to ask what occupation Wang Chuan was, seeing that Emoliuli was blowing up so much, Wang Chuan should at least be in A rank or above occupation. Wang Chen calmly said, mechanic. And Xiao Xiao nodded, hmm, a mechanic? It is indeed A. But before she finished speaking, her entire body froze. Mechanic? Li Meng Meng at the side directly shouted out. What the heck? A mechanic of a life class occupation could also take them to brush copies? What kind of joke is this? Mo Liuli hurriedly explained, he is a mutated mechanic, not an ordinary mechanic. 
Li Mengmeng said breathlessly, a mechanic is still a mechanic even if he's mutated, are you sure a level 16 mechanic can take us through a level 25 nightmare level copy? Imolioli returned, don't worry, I've seen him brush through a double boss secret realm with my own eyes. But these words were not enough to dispel the doubts in the hearts of the two girls. The air was silent for a while. In the end, and Xiao Xiao said with some difficulty, it's fine, anyway, we can brush the copy anytime today. Today's copy had already been wrapped up by the girls. Failing once was no big deal. Li Mengmeng complained in dissatisfaction, just you are nice, we will definitely waste another half day this time, originally we all hired a level 20 large range strong attack magician to take us. Mo Lioli spat out her tongue. In fact, there was some uncertainty in her heart as well. After all, this was a level 25 nightmare level copy. But her cowhide had already been blown out, and she felt a bit embarrassed to back out now. Big brother, you have to fight for me, even if we can't brush past this copy, we can brush half of it. Mo Lioli quietly cheered Wang Chen in her heart. The five people soon arrived at the location of the copy which was located in the middle of a gloomy canyon. The environment was eerie and cold, and green ghostly flames could be vaguely seen floating by. In front of them was an arch-like gate of the replica. Inside it flickered with swirls. It looked very peculiar. Next to it were stationed the professionals who guarded the replica. It was none other than the people from Luo High City's official replica association. Seeing the five people come over, these people then greeted them and then went over some of the precautions for entering the replica. One of the leading middle-aged men said after sizing up the five people, MS. N. M. S. Lee are you sure that the five of you want to enter this copy? Your levels are a bit too low ah. The rest of the professionals also looked at the five people with puzzled gazes. This was a nightmare level copy. Their average level was just over 10. How did they have the guts to come here? And Xiao Xiao laughed awkwardly, don't worry about this Uncle Li, we're just going in to take a look and scout the situation first. She was also too embarrassed to say that the five of them were here to brush up on their copies. So that's how it is, then please go in, once you encounter danger you have to exit immediately. Several people made way. Wang Chen's five people walked into the vortex one after another. There was a flash of light. They arrived in the middle of a dimly lit canyon that was littered with bare rocks and cracks. On both sides were high cliffs, and some morose white bones were scattered on the ground. An eerie and creepy aura was revealed everywhere. How scary, is this a level 25 nightmare level copy? Emolioli looked around and stood behind Wang Chen somewhat nervously. High risk would inevitably bring high rewards. If they were able to brush through this nightmare class copy, their levels would also receive a huge boost. This was also the reason why An Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng chose this copy. Lu Chang, you pad behind me, I'll walk in front to open the way, and the three of you stand in the center. Wang Dust quickly planned the team. Li Meng Meng's occupation was the A rank occupation Holy Light Angel. And Xiao Xiao was the S rank occupation Heavenly Phoenix Magician. Emo Lioli was an A-rank cold ice magician. Li Mengmeng was a half-attack, half-support profession, and the remaining two were all high-output brittle mages. So they could only be allowed to stand in the center. Lu Chang didn't have any objections to this arrangement, after all, he was a man. The five of them set off towards the depths of the canyon. If we encounter danger once, we immediately exit the secret realm. And Xiao Xiao repeated again. With a smooth grab of her hand, flames emerged, and an exquisite magic staff draped with flame patterns appeared in her hand. Looking at its grade, it was actually a silver weapon that was directly close to the gold level. Li Mengmeng also reached out and took out a golden magic staff with a crystal inlaid on it. The entire person was instantly enveloped in a holy light. I'll first put a layer of gain on you, holy light shelter. Li Mengmeng held the magic staff and chanted for a few seconds before finally reaching out and waving her hand. A layer of golden light like a veil of light enveloped the five people. As if golden wings, it unfolded above each person's head. As the light disappeared, Wang Dust instantly felt his four-dimensional attributes all skyrocketed by more than 100 points. Worthy of being an angel of holy light, since it can bring such a powerful attribute bonus at the early stage. 
Wang Xuan couldn't help but marvel at the fact that sometimes the auxiliary was a crucial role in a team. However, because of the auxiliary's own low blood volume and low defense, it was easy for monsters to sneak up on them, whereas the Angel of Holy Light profession was different, with some attack and defense effects of its own. That's why the Holy Light Angel profession was sometimes called a small S-rank profession. Hearing Wang Chuan's praise, Li Mengmeng proudly raised her own eyebrows, that's for sure, this young lady's profession is very powerful. The five of them walked a little further towards the front. The further they walked, the more humid the air became, while the light also grew dimmer. There were also more spider webs on the ground. It looked like they had already entered the range where the demonic spider appeared. Light Bomb Technique Li Mengmeng acted as a support role again as she reached out and the crystal on her scepter emitted a transparent yellow light dispersing the surrounding darkness. It was possible to see clearly within at least 10 meters. At this time, all five of them also raised their spirits. Because for a demonic creature of this level, a 10 meter distance was negligible, and if they relaxed a little, they could be attacked by a sneak attack. Wang Dust took advantage of the crowd's inattention to release his diggers, letting them dig for minerals here while building two scanning towers in the distance. All of a sudden, the scenes within a thousand meter radius were all reflected in his mind. Wait don't move first. Wang Dust suddenly reached out for the crowd to stop. Has a demonic spider appeared? The four of them were instantly tense. On the left at 10 o'clock, there is a demonic spider that has noticed us and is about 20 meters away from us. Wang Dust looked at the darkness on the left and explained. Are you sure there's a demonic spider there? How did you see it so far away from us? And Xiao Xiao let out a question, even Li Meng Meng's face was puzzled. Don't talk too much, that demonic spider is coming towards us. Wang Chen instantly rushed towards the previously stated direction. At the same time, a rustling sound came from over there, as if something was moving towards them at a rapid pace. There really is something coming towards us. The four of them immediately looked towards the source of the sound. Only to see a black spider of enormous size leaping up from the darkness, it landed on the ground with a thud and looked at the crowd intently, its mouth part splitting open to emit a piercing hiss. This was a huge spider with a height of 2 to 3 meters, its body was black, and the wire-like hard hair could be seen on top of its eight long sword-like legs, which looked very scary. Name, Black Poison Demonized Spider. Level, LV-23. Strength, 1029. Physique, 578. Agility, 531. Spirit, 544. Skills, Venom Injection, Entanglement, Bouncing, Hissing, Stabbing. Brief Introduction, A Demonized Spider Living in the Abyss. It likes to hide in the shadows and attack its enemies. Beware of its highly poisonous fangs and super-fast movement speed. Seeing this demonized spider's panel, the force faces changed violently. No way. The most basic little monster is more than 20 levels, it's worthy of being a nightmare level copy. Li Mingming's reaction was quick, instantly putting a buff on the crowd, golden light flashed and illusory shields floated in front of each person. Phoenix Fire Ringing Strike And Xiao Xiao directly launched her attack, she briefly chanted for a few seconds and the magic staff in her hand burned with red flames. Accompanied by a high phoenix chirp, a huge firebird spiraled into shape and rushed towards the demonized spider. With a rumbling sound, the hot flames smashed into the demonized spider, burning up a blazing fire, but it didn't affect the demonized spider too much. The demonized spider let out a shrill cry and rolled on the ground, and the flames on its body were extinguished, and its body was only left with some scorched black traces. What a terrifying defense! And Xiao Xiao's voice had a few moments of shock. The first demonic creature they met was surprisingly this terrifying. Emolioli was also very shocked, she also hadn't thought that even the small monsters inside the nightmare level copy would be this terrifying. To be honest, at this point, they had already begun to back out in their hearts. And in Xiao Xiao's attack seemed to have completely enraged this demonized spider. Only to see that after the demonized spider let out an angry roar, it actually rumbled towards them. Not good, let's quickly exit the secret realm. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng's faces instantly turned white, and they were ready to directly exit the secret realm. It was just a bit too humiliating to flee out in disgrace without even fighting the first monster. Don't retreat. 
Right at this moment, Wang Chuan instantly rushed towards that spider. Only to see Wang Chuan leaping up, raising his arm high, clenching his five fingers into a fist, he fiercely blasted out a fist in a condescending position at the charging demonized spider. Boom! This punch unexpectedly directly hit a sonic boom, and a circle of white airwaves instantly swept out. Boom! The demonized spider was directly and heavily blasted to the ground by the powerful force of this punch. The huge body smashed hard on the ground, instantly exploding into a huge deep pit, with countless cracks spreading out crazily. Ah! A strong wind rushed in, scraping the cheeks of the ladies raw, their robes tumbling, and they couldn't help but take a few steps backwards. Killing a demonized spider in a second with a single punch? Hiss! Seeing the scene, the ladies were stunned. It only felt as if their brains went blank, as if they were deprived of oxygen. Just sucking in cool air there one after another. The demonized spider, which was as high as level 23 with amazing defense, was actually killed by Wang Chuan with a single punch. Who would believe this? A level 16 mechanic hammered a level 23 nightmare level copy of a demon with a single punch? I'm afraid people would think you were crazy if you said this. Shocked. Too shocked. Is this guy really just a mechanic? And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng asked the same question that Emo Liu Li had asked back then. Emo Liu Li nodded and said, I'm sure he's a mechanic, only a mutated mechanic. Just then, because the commotion of Wang Chuan's previous fight was too loud, it attracted more demonized spiders, and more and more rustling sounds rang out in the distance. In Wang Chen's mind, he was able to clearly see more than a dozen red dots converging towards this place at a rapid pace. Be careful, there are more than ten more demonized spiders coming towards here. Wang Dust signaled for the crowd to gather around back to back. A few girls burst into panic upon hearing this and hurriedly leaned together, Lu Chang was also shivering in fear. Right at this moment, a puffing sound of breaking air suddenly sounded in the distance, and a white light shot towards Li Mingming's position. Be careful! Wang Chuan shouted in a hurry, and at the same time, he rushed over and reached out to grab it. There was a bang. A tough spider silk was firmly yanked by him. Thanks! Thank you! Li Meng Meng, who had only just reacted, was shocked. If she was pulled by this spider silk, she would be directly dragged over. Go! And Xiao Xiao immediately launched an attack. Flames surfaced on her body once again, and a crimson colored ball of brilliant fire smashed towards the direction the spider silk was shooting from. Boom! A circle of red flames instantly exploded, burning off the spider silk while illuminating everything around it. Only to see that more than a dozen terrifying demonized spiders had converged on the rocky ground around them, each one of them incredibly large, their densely compounded eyes flashing red in the darkness. The crowd used their appraisals on the surrounding demonized spiders and found that all of them were level 20 plus elite monsters. The level values were even higher than the one just now. And they were even more terrifying. The huge bodies were covered with a black pattern. Name, Black Web Hunter Spider. Level, LV-24. Strength, 1349. Physique, 643. Agility, 531. Spirit, 545. Skills Venom Injection, Entanglement, Bouncing, Hissing, Stinging, Skyweb. Introduction, Hunter Spider that specializes in attacking with Spider Silk is the most secretive assassin in the darkness, please burn its Spider Silk with fire magic in time. Wang Dust recalled that the Black King Hunter Spider was the most dangerous type of spider in here. There was no telling how many adventurers died under this kind of spider every year. Xiao Xiao, you use flame magic to protect everyone's safety and prevent anyone from being dragged away by the spider silk, leave the front to me. Wang Dust gave an explanation. Still want to continue fighting? Hearing what Wang Dust meant, and Xiao Xiao let out a cry of surprise. Even if Wang Dust was more powerful, he couldn't deal with more than 10 black web hunters at the same time. One on one was still fine. Li Meng Meng also said anxiously, Don't try to be strong, let's just quit first, we're underestimating the difficulty of this nightmare level copy. Wang Dust didn't turn around, but shouted at Lu Chang, Use your skills on these spiders, smash all your skills on them. Lu Chang was stunned, 
but he immediately unleashed his skills on the spiders around him with all his strength, and for a while, auras of different colors all exploded in the midst of the spiders. No matter what, Lu Chang directly handed over all his skills. In an instant, the spiders convulsed in place, excreting green liquid. There were even spiders that had already hugged into a ball two by two, doing something that made their ears blush. What's happening here? The three girls were dumbfounded. Wang Da smiled faintly at this time, comparing numbers with me? As his words fell, dense silver-colored spider mechanical units came out from his body in a single surge. Wang Da suddenly realized that Lu Chang's skills and his skills were a perfect match. This was because one of the conditions for an intruder to invade was, the more confused the other party's mind was and the lower their intelligence was, the greater the chances of the invasion succeeding. And Lu Chang's skills without exception all belonged to the mental interference category. It would cause these spiders to briefly fall into a state of confusion. He had released so many diggers before already developing the minerals inside this copy. In those few minutes just now, he had already utilized the minerals inside this copy to produce a hundred or so invaders. The intruders climbed onto the bodies of these spiders and ruthlessly stabbed their spider legs inside their brains. Even if some of them were unsuccessful, immediately, more invaders would rush forward and fearlessly. Only a powerful electric current flashed by. These black web hunter demon spiders that were in a state of confusion died instantly. At the same time, Wang Chuan's eyes flashed as the data stream flashed by, completing the neuron connection and control almost effortlessly. Invasion successful, Black Web Hunter Spider transformed into Mechanical Black Web Hunter Spider. Swish. Name, Mechanical Black Web Hunter Spider. Level, LV24. Strength, 1549. Physique, 843. Agility, 631. Spirit, 745. Skills Venom Injection, Electricity Winding, Bouncing, Hissing, Stabbing, Electricity Skyweb. Introduction The hunter spider that specializes in attacking with spider silk is the most secretive assassin in the darkness, and can use its spider silk to remotely conduct powerful electric currents to paralyze its enemies. As before, the controlled black web hunter spider's four dimensional attributes were all increased, transforming into a mechanical creature. At the same time, the skills had also changed. Not only did the spider silk take on a toxin effect, it also came with the effect of electric current. And in Xiao Xiao and the others still didn't know what was happening. Just at this time, another more violent vibration sound was emitted from the surroundings. Amidst the unbelievable gazes of in Xiao Xiao and the others. These 13 black king hunter spiders stood up again, only from their posture it seemed more like a slave's respect for its master. What kind of operation is this? It looks as if Wang Dust is controlling these 13 black web hunter spiders. At this time, the numbers above Wang Dust's head flashed, rising from level 17 to level 18. Comfortable, not much farther from level 20. The experience provided by the demons inside the nightmare level copies was very generous. No way, is there any mistake? Is this a mechanic or a controller? Li Meng Meng rubbed her eyes, feeling that everything that was happening in front of her was too unbelievable. She only felt that her entire body was numb. She just wanted to turn her head to ask Mo Liu Li what was going on. Only to see Mo Liu Li suddenly stop talking for some reason, a person clenching her slender legs. She bit her own lips tightly and gripped her magic staff tightly her face also carried an inexplicable blush. Some strange sounds also came out of her mouth. Liu Li Yu. What's wrong with you? Could it be that you've been poisoned? Li Meng Meng Man panicked. Well. No. You don't mind me, I just watched him brush the monster and felt a little comfortable. Emo Liu Li's panting became more and more rapid. The eyes also became mesmerized. Li Meng Meng was even more confused. But before she could ask more questions. More roaring sounds rang out. Only to see more demonized spiders begin to rush over from the surroundings again. One after another demonized spider was seen burrowing out of the darkness in the distance, some silver white, some black, and some with dark red patterns on their bellies, each one looking hideous. Level 25 Scarlet Web Hunting Spider Level 24 Silver Sword Demonized Spider 
Level 25 Emerald Demonized Spider. And almost trembled as she read out the names of these spiders. The four dimensional attributes of each demonized spider had almost reached a terrifying value. The most terrifying thing was that the number of these demonized spiders was a full 20 to 30. How can this be brushed through? A few people couldn't help but tremble and retreat. This time, even Wine Dust wouldn't be able to defeat so many demonized spiders, right? Good timing. Who would have thought that Wang Chen would smile and even take a step forward? No way, this is still going on? Lu Chang panicked. As confident as we are, we should always have a degree. Brother Dust listen to my advice, let's just leave, if we stay green, we are not afraid of having no firewood to burn. Liu Li, you quickly persuade Wang Dust. Li Meng Meng pushed Mo Liu Li with her hand. Only to see Mo Liu Li's face flushed, she said in a trembling voice, No, I believe in Wang Chen. Her legs clenched in a burst of friction. I must watch Wang Chen kill all these demonized spiders by himself, because I'm still close to having that feeling, and it's not exciting enough right now. Seeing that Mo Liu Li was unreliable. And Xiao Xiao said to Wang Chen, even if you have the ability to control demonized spiders, with your current level, controlling these 13 demonized spiders should be your limit. There are still dozens of demonized spiders here, it's not something you can resist right now, let's just exit. For a 10 plus level control class profession, being able to control 10 demonic spiders at this point in time was already remarkable, let alone the fact that Wang Dust was not a control class profession. Therefore, and Xiao Xiao thought that Wang Dust was already at his limit now. It wasn't that they doubted Wang Chen, but their common sense in this world told them that this was how things should be. It was just that Wang Chen didn't listen to them as he laughed, you guys don't trust me that much? What do you mean? And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng froze. I can control as many as come, the more that come, the better, Lu Chang, release skills for me. Wang Dust waved his hand. Good, put up a fight. Seeing that Wang Dust was so confident, Lu Chang immediately took his magic staff and squeezed all of his magic power out of it, and threw one skill after another like it was no money. And Wang Dust also released all of his entire invaders in one go. The densely packed invaders began to frantically attack these demonized spiders. Amidst the two girls' shocked gazes, these demonized spiders began to be controlled by Wang Chuan. Electricity flashed through their bodies and their bodies changed. Only a few minutes had passed. Wang Chuan had already controlled more than 20 demonized spiders. The remaining ones were really uncontrollable, and Wang Chuan ordered these demonized spiders to tear the remaining ones into serious injuries. Wang Chuan's level also came to level 20 at once. Wang Chuan was secretly happy in his heart. Having risen to level 20, he could unlock more troop types and buildings. You're actually able to control so many demons at the same time? Li Meng Meng and In Xiao Xiao looked dumbfounded. Wang Chuan's abilities broke through their mind's perceptions every time, creating the impossible every time. I knew I could. Ah. On the other side, Mo Liuli, however, suddenly sat paralyzed on the ground, panting heavily and looking at Wang Chuan with a face of adoration. It was as if she had arrived at some sort of peak, and her voice was breaking. Wang Dust directly ignored Mo Liuli at this moment. What are you still waiting for, you guys hurry up and mop up these spiders to get experience. Wang Dust waved his hand, only to see that the huge mechanical magic spider then dragged those demonized spiders that had been bitten into serious injuries and could not be controlled over. Thanks. The two girls blushed. They only felt like they had just acted like clowns. The four of them divided the dozen or so magical spiders present equally, and each of them killed a number of three upwards. Only to see a flash of light, all four of them had risen a level or two. As for the materials that came out, they all took the initiative to collect them and give them to Wang Chen. There were a few good pieces of equipment among them, but Wang Dust hesitated and did not dare to absorb them. Because these pieces of equipment were all related to spider silk, he now wanted some rare flying equipment to incorporate into his back armor to unlock the flying skill. As for the abdominal armor, he didn't dare to absorb it. It would be too much of a loss if it came out with any bad skills. He was afraid that he would eject spider silk from his navel. 
It was better to sell these equipments and go to the treasure chamber to see if there were any suitable equipments when the time came to upgrade the over god armor as a whole. Then do we still have to continue brushing backwards? And Xiao Xiao came over at this time and asked. She wasn't sure if she wanted to brush downward or not right now. This was because there might be nearly a hundred demonized spiders at the back, and the difficulty would surge many times, so it wouldn't be possible without a large range group attack damage. Hearing this, Wang Dust frowned slightly because in Xiao Xiao was telling the truth, he could not face so many demonized spiders by himself. Moreover, Lu Chang's magic power had already been consumed, and it would be difficult to recover in a short period of time to hit the control effect. Even if Lu Chang was in his prime, he couldn't unleash his skills on nearly a hundred demonized spiders and couldn't cover the spot. That was why Wang Dust's intruder couldn't maximize its effect either. With so many spiders, it was impossible for them to always rush over to him alone, and once another demonized spider went over towards Li Mengmeng and in Xiao Xiao and the rest of them, it would be over. Let's take a step forward first, let's go over and scout before deciding. Wang Dust said. Hearing Wang Chen say this, and Xiao Xiao and Li Mengxiao nodded. But they didn't hold much hope in their hearts. In the end, the few people walked towards the inside of the abyss. While on the way, Wang Chuan was immersing his mind inside his mechanical space. He wanted to see what kind of soldiers and buildings he had newly unlocked. Let's see if it would help with the next boss brush. As expected, the level of the mechanical general factory had risen to the second level, and the population had also increased. Name Mechanical General Factory Level, Level 2 Population, 2000 Function Crafting Different Mechanical Units Description, your faction's technology level is divine technology, the powerful mechanical factory contains a complete divine technology tree, you can create powerful mechanical units through manufacturing blueprints and materials. Currently craftable troop types, diggers, invaders, mechanical warriors. Currently craftable buildings, scanning tower, mechanical weapon workshop. Sure enough, new troop types and buildings have been unlocked. Let's create buildings first and see. Wang Chuan's mind moved, and he immediately spent minerals to construct a sci-fi building. He then looked at the new building with immense excitement. Name, Mechanical Weapon Workshop. Level, Level 1. Function, Ground Level Mechanical Production Building. Description, a workshop that brings together countless god-level technology blueprints to create all kinds of weapons. Weapons that can be produced, fixed self-propelled light machine gun, LV-1, Fixed Self-Propelled Charge Impact Gun, LV-1. Surprisingly, it's a building that can produce weapons. Wine Dust was overwhelmed with excitement. It could currently craft two types of weapons. Moreover, the level of these two weapons could be subsequently raised. He was worried that he didn't have a group ranged attack. He looked at the introductions of the two weapons. Name, Fixed Self-Propelled Light Machine Gun. Rank, Level 1. Function, 2,000 rounds of bullets poured in a minute. Description, fixed type construction, strength and mechanical unit, automatic type multi-barrel rotary machine gun, once constructed it cannot be moved afterward, can be recovered in space, enchanted bullets allow it to have a not bad killing power against magical creatures. Name, self-propelled charge shock gun. Level, level 1. Function, charge paralyze. Description fixed type construction, releases blue charge bullets that explode at the point of landing, inflicting uncommon damage, once constructed it cannot be moved afterward, and can be reclaimed for space. This is too perverted, as long as I build these weapons to guard my side, along with the dozens of demonized spiders that I control, won't this properly play as a tower defense game? The corner of Wang Dust's mouth curled slightly. It was worthy of being a god-level mechanic. Every advancement was able to bring about incredible changes. However, he first suppressed the excitement in his heart. Spending minerals to upgrade all of his soldiers and buildings. Congratulations on your invader upgrade to LV2. Congratulations on your digger upgrade to LV2. Congratulations on upgrading your scanning tower to LV2. Congratulations on upgrading your mechanical warrior to LV2. Congratulations on upgrading your mechanical weapon workshop to LV2. Congratulations on upgrading your mechanical weapons workshop to LV2. Congratulations on upgrading your mechanical weapons workshop to LV2. 
Congratulations on upgrading your stationary self-propelled light machine gun to LV2 stationary self-propelled Gatling. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed self-propelled charge shotgun to LV2 to become a fixed self-propelled charge shock cannon. After a swish of upgrades, the invader's invasion speed and the maximum level of magical creatures that could be invaded was increased, and the digger's digging speed was also increased. The scanning tower's range went from 500 meters to 1000 meters, and mineral scanning was raised from 1000 meters to 2000 meters. The weapons, on the other hand, underwent an even greater change. Name, Stationary Self-Propelled Gatling. Rank, Level 2. Function, 5000 rounds of ammunition pouring in a minute. Description, Fixed Type Construction, Strength and Mechanical Unit, Automatic Type Multi-Barrel Rotary Machine Gun, Once Constructed Cannot Be Moved, can be retrieved from the space, enchanted bullets allow it to have a notable lethality against magical creatures. Name self-propelled charge shock cannon. Function, charge paralyzer. Function, charge paralyze, charge knockback. Description, stationary construction, releases blue bubble-shaped charge bombs that explode at the point of landing, inflicting notable damage, can't be moved once constructed afterward, and can be reclaimed for space. The Gatling has more bullets, the Electro Core Shotgun has turned into an Electro Core Shock Cannon, and it also comes with a knockback effect, this way I'll have more of an advantage when fighting a positional battle. Wine Dust was overjoyed. He hurriedly gave the order to create more diggers and had these diggers start digging frantically in the middle of the copy in order to develop more minerals in preparation for making weapons. And at this time the five of them also arrived at the demonized spider's lair. They walked to the edge of a cliff and were able to see a relatively low canyon below. And it was covered with one intricate spider web after another. Inside lay one hideous and terrifying spider after another, and many ghastly white bones could be seen, which was very disgusting. The number of spiders far exceeded the expectations of several people. The densely packed spiders of all sizes inside added up as if they were a mass of ants, with different varieties, making one scalp numb. The number exceeded their predictions. There were at least thousands of them. This was not the most disgusting. In the midst of these spider webs, they were also able to see a large number of white flowering spider eggs, some of which had already hatched out into small spiders, tumbling together in clusters that looked very creepy. Some of the small spiders were still chewing on some rotten meat. When the several girls saw this scene, their faces turned white, and Xiao Xiao even covered her mouth and almost vomited. Not to mention the girls, even Lu Chang and Wang Duan felt some physical discomfort when they saw this scene. These small spiders are not just disgusting, if they brush the copy a little slower, these spiders will also grow and transform rapidly and join in the battle. By that time, they would have to face more than just thousands of adult spiders. At this time, they also saw the huge boss in the center. A giant spider with a body size of more than 10 meters high was lying in a depression in the middle, with some skeletons scattered around it. Its compound eyes flashed with scarlet light, and its huge abdomen was still producing a steady stream of spider eggs with mucus. The freshly produced eggs were carried away by the spiders in an orderly manner, a perfect production line. When the crowd saw the arachnid mother's panel, their faces were even more horrified. Name, Ghost Face Demon Poison Arachnid Mother. Level, LV-28. Power, 5421. Physique, 2843. Agility, 500. Spirit, 3500. Skills, Extraordinary Fertility, Soundwave, Entanglement, Venom Spraying. Profile, Arachnid Mother that can produce spiders continuously, after being demonized, she has a brutal temperament and is able to manipulate the spiders into a neat and orderly attack, it is a nightmare boss inside the replica. This boss is almost level 30, its four-dimensional attributes are a bit too exaggerated, it's even more powerful than that goblin high priestess we saw last time. Lu Chang's face went white for a moment. Worthy of being a boss inside a nightmare level copy. Originally, he had fantasized that the arachnid mother inside might be some kind of spider lady type. Li Meng Meng also spoke up, I've kind of opened my eyes, but it's said that the boss inside a hell level copy is capable of possessing almost 10,000 power at level 30. Listening to Lu Chang and Li Meng Meng's discussion, and Xiao Xiao carefully observed the situation, and her heart was also filled with despair. What was this copy to brush? It's simply impossible to brush through it. 
And Xiao Xiao said, forget it, so many spiders are enough to give us a headache, not to mention that boss inside, let's just quit. Emolioli also nodded, she looked at so many magical creatures, and in her heart, she also thought that it was simply impossible to brush through. Although she felt that Wang Chuan was very powerful, she was not arrogant enough to think that Wang Chuan could beat so many spiders. If you wanted to brush through this copy, at the very least, you had to have a full squad with an average level of over 20 with a large number of props to lead the monsters in an orderly manner to be able to brush through. And there had to be a mage with a large range of group damage. They simply couldn't do it with their current power. Keep it down, let's return the way we came. And Xiao Xiao turned around and wanted to leave. Li Meng Meng half molested at this time, hey, bull warrior over there, you don't think you can brush past, do you? Hearing this, everyone turned their gazes to Wang Dust. Wang Dust smiled faintly and turned around, you're really right, I really intend to brush past this copy. Put. Li Meng Meng directly laughed out. She patted Wang Duan and said, alright, alright, I know you're great, but this is not the time for you to show off, be careful of losing your life in a while. Lu Chang also whispered, you made enough of a scene just now, let's just go back brother. Wang Chen did not respond, but pointed to a bottle-like exit in the distance and said, if the spiders here want to come out, they have to pass through this exit. And then? Li Meng Meng raised an eyebrow. This is the only pathway, as long as we guard this place and find someone to lure the spiders out, we can kill them one by one. Wang Dust said confidently. As long as those heavy weapons were established here to form a fire crossroads, he was confident that he could brush this copy through alone. Hearing this, the three froze. That's what the words say, but with just the five of us, it's simply impossible to guard this exit, right? And Xiao Xiao took a closer look at that entrance and realized that what Wang Chen said did make sense. But the problem was that the firepower of the few of them was simply not enough ah, once the spiders broke through their fire defense, then their end would be incomparably miserable. You guys come with me. Wang Dust beckoned. Several people were skeptical. Anyway, we've all leveled up a level or two, so we don't lack this much time, so let's follow them over and take a look. And Xiao Xiao hesitated and finally agreed. The few people followed. They smoothly arrived at this entrance. Under the puzzled gazes of several people. Wang Dust released many diggers. These diggers flew and set up two defense towers, oh no, two scanning towers on both sides of this passage. Only a red light was seen sweeping through. The scanning towers crossed to cover a 2,000 meter radius around them. This way the spiders came from which direction and how many came Wang Chuan's heart could detect in time. With these two towers, can we defend ourselves against the spiders? Li Meng Meng asked curiously. This tower only has the effect of scanning, so don't be anxious for now. Wang Dust felt the number of spiders inside as well as their distribution, while his gaze swept over the surrounding cliffs and rocks. Calculating where it would be more appropriate to build the weapon. 100% fire coverage must be formed. Mo Lioli was a little scared. She was reminded again of some strange and bizarre fandango. The images of the girls in them being tied up by some spiders. Being hung in the air. No matter how much these girls struggled and moaned they couldn't break free. Otherwise let's go back, it's really not worth it to take this risk. Emo Lioli was really a bit scared. She didn't want to be caught by these spiders and tied to the spider web. That's right, if you only have these scanning towers, let's just forget about it. And Xiao Xiao also discouraged. Only before she could finish her words, she saw Wang Chen walk on top of a rock. Amidst the shocked gazes of several people. Only to see several dozens of silver diggers converge, amidst the crackling sound of knocking. A gatling with a rotating barrel emerged. The barrel covered in peculiar patterns could also see the inscription of an attached magic formation on top. This represented that every bullet shot out of it was an enchanted bullet, capable of inflicting uncommon damage on magical creatures. It was important to know that props that could inflict damage on demons were all very expensive, and Wang Chen had actually created one out of thin air in front of them. Was this Wang Chen's ability? He was not only a close combat profession with superb four-dimensional attributes. It was also a summoning type mage that was capable of mass control and summoning. Now it was even a prop master who was able to create all sorts of powerful magic props. 
What exactly was there that he couldn't do? Just a handful is not enough I'm afraid. Lu Chang muttered. Only to see Wang Dust walk to the other side again. It won't be? Lu Chang had a vague shocking premonition in his heart. As expected. Wang Chen skillfully constructed another gatling here as well. The mineral resources he had now were sufficient to build ten gatlings. Amidst the four people's shocked gazes, Wang Chuan had built a full ten gatlings, covering all directions and aiming at the distant exit. Hiss. The crowd sucked in a breath of cool air. A builder or prop master of the same level wouldn't be able to build so many powerful magical weapons in one breath, right, at most three would be marvelous. Li Meng Meng felt that her outlook on life had been refreshed again. That wasn't all, Wang Chuan built six more automatic type charge shock cannons in suitable places. When the time came, once the Gatling didn't have enough firepower, these automatic charge shock cannons would attack like crazy. Causing group damage would also repel those spiders, preventing them from destroying these weapons. Still able to build? Several people were dumbfounded. Wang Dust had actually constructed 16 enchanted powerful weapons in one breath. Although they didn't recognize what the automatic type charge shock cannon did. But just by looking at its sci-fi appearance, they knew that it must have a very powerful effect. And that wasn't all, as Wang Dust stretched out his arms and waved them, countless illusory robots unfolded behind him. The magical creatures that had been controlled by the invaders before all walked out. The mechanical worker bees mechanical worker ants as well as the controlled enhanced goblins and dozens of demonized spiders. As if they were an army, they came behind him in great numbers and stood ready. Even if there were any remaining spiders that rushed over, they would be resolved by these magical creatures. Then Wang Chuan released a large number of invaders and had them lurk inside the hidden crevices around him. He was going to control some more demonic spiders himself, after all, these demonic spiders were very strong and powerful in terms of level. It could replace the mechanical worker bees and mechanical worker ants and goblins from before. After doing all of this, Wang Dust signaled the crowd to back up to a safe distance. Only a few people still couldn't help but be a little worried. Is this really okay? They couldn't help but question a little. This was because the power of props made by builders or prop masters of the same level was actually quite average. They didn't have a bottom in their hearts as to how powerful these weapons of Wang Chen were. You guys watch. Wang Chuan was bursting with self-confidence. This was also his first actual battle after rising to level 20. His heart was also very much looking forward to it. Wang Dust stretched out his hand. Dozens of diggers then rushed inside the entrance, making ear-piercing noises. Seeing that Wang Dust had really ordered his robots to lure the monsters, it startled Lu Chang and the others. The diggers also startled the thousands of spiders inside. Countless spiders' densely packed eyes lit up one after another, while bracing their own jointed limbs to stand up from the spider web. Li Meng Meng and the others immediately saw countless densely packed eyes light up inside the canyon cracks. Such a scalp-numbing scene made them feel a wave of physical discomfort. This was no joke, Wang Chen had truly already startled the spiders inside. Everyone get ready! And Xiao Xiao held her magic wand, and her entire body was already so nervous that sweat was dripping from the tip of her nose. Li Meng Meng and Mo Liu Li were also incredibly nervous, their eyes staring at the distant entrance without blinking. Only a bad noise rang out from inside, and then the canyon shook, with countless pieces of debris falling from both sides. Accompanied by the noisy sounds, only one after another huge-sized spider was seen rushing out from inside. They were all different colors and exuded a terrifying oppressive force. Even without getting close, they were able to make people feel a shudder. The moment they saw Wang Chuan and the others, they ran towards them in a desperate manner. Such a terrifying scene stimulated everyone's nerves. Wang Chuan also took a deep breath. He was also serious for the first time. This time, he was determined not to have any accidents. He moved his mind. The moment these spiders entered the range of his fire network, he ordered those gatlings to fire frantically. Da 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 da. Countless flaming enchanted bullets poured out at a rate of 5,000 rounds a minute, tearing through the air with deafening sounds. Ten lines of fire instantly formed into a crossover, 
shooting towards the distant spider army. The terrifying bullets penetrated into these spiders the moment they came into contact with them, bringing out handfuls of green slime. Put. 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 The imposing front of the spider army instantly laid down a large swath of people as if they were cutting wheat. The enchanted bullets with terrifying impact hit their articulated limbs and were able to directly shatter their fragile articulated limbs, flying high in the air and landing on the ground. The spiders at the front all fell to the ground one by one, the momentum of the spiders at the back slowed down, and many of them crashed into the bodies of the spiders in front of them and formed a stampede. Strong flames reflected the darkness of the canyon. Li Meng Meng and the others covered their ears at the back, their faces filled with shock. They hadn't thought that Wang Chen's fixed-type automatic Gatling's damage would be so high. Right at this moment, because of the pileup of spider corpses in front of them, the bullets were blocked, causing the spiders in the back to take advantage of the situation, and the momentum of the spider army's advancement surprisingly gained a few more points. Not good. Seeing such a scene, the few people at the back shouted out in fear, and wanted to step in to help. As a result, the sci-fi turret around them suddenly lit up with blue light, and blue energy strips converged at the mouth of the cannon, finally transforming into a blue ball of light that violently blasted out. Boom! 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 The blue cannon-like charge exploded in the group of spiders, setting off a terrifying shockwave as if it had detonated the air. The spiders that rushed at the front were instantly blown away fiercely, smashing into their counterparts behind them. These few turrets even come with a knockback effect. And Xiao Zhao's eyes were filled with calmness, she looked at Wang Chen in the distance with admiration in her eyes, and in her heart, she couldn't help but guess who Wang Chen really was. Li Meng Meng, on the other hand, exclaimed, Hey, hey, hey! Xiao Xiao, I don't think you should focus your mind on that punk kid Wang Chen, look at this handsome guy who is strong and fierce, you might as well find a way to hook up with him. Hearing these words, M.O. Liuli and Lu Chang's faces suddenly became very strange. They knew better than anyone who the identity of this person in front of them was. At this time, Wang Chen's turret had no intention of stopping, and no matter how much these spiders impacted, they could not break through his fire defense. More and more spiders died here, the piled up corpses were like small mountains, it looked very shocking. Even though some powerful spiders raided from the side, but with a wave of Wang Dust's hand, the mechanical army under his command immediately rushed over and tore these spiders into pieces. In less than a few minutes, the spiders in the entire canyon were cleared out by Wang Chuan. At this time, Wang Dust didn't enjoy the experience alone, but instead waved his hand to signal the crowd to come over and throw magic mending knives inside. In that time just now, he had already risen to level 23. The crowd began to be glad that they had followed Wang Dust here to brush their copies, and then began to desperately slam their skills inside. As for Lu Chang, since he didn't have much attack power, Wang Dust had those mechanical armies drag some heavily injured spiders over for him to mop up alone. Lu Chang looked at Wang Dust with something more than admiration in his eyes. The crowd just frantically brushed the monsters. There was no telling how many spiders they had killed. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng and the others had all used up their magic power. But they were all very excited because in this half hour's time, each of them had risen five levels to level 17. Lu Chang had also successfully leveled up to level 15. Mo Liuli, on the other hand, had arrived at level 16. But at this moment, they all looked towards Wang Dust. At this moment, the light on Wang Dust's body was flickering every few moments, and the numbers above his head were changing at a terrifying rate. 24. 25. 26. His experience bar was surging madly. And Xiao Xiao and the others were looking straight at Wang Chen, their pale faces full of shock, reddened by the Gatling's fire. If they hadn't seen this scene with their own eyes, it would have been really hard for them to believe that a person could actually possess such a perverted skill. They had absolute reason to believe that even Wang Chen by himself could easily brush off this nightmare level copy. Several people silently thought in their hearts. In the future, when Wang Chen came up with any more ideas that seemed absurd to them, they would definitely not exit to stop them. Just at this time, the spiders that rushed out from inside the canyon also began to become even more terrifying and bigger in size. Apparently some elite monsters inside had realized something was wrong and wanted to come out to see what was going on. However, as soon as they showed their heads, they were hit by Wang Dust's fixed automatic gatling and wailed repeatedly, 
and their hard armor was filled with bullet holes. Just at this time there were several one-story tall giant spiders that suddenly gathered together. They raised their fat abdomens, only to see the dark purple patterns on their abdomens unexpectedly light up. Seeing this, Wang Chen's brows furrowed violently. Then these spiders unexpectedly spewed out purple light, converging together to form a thick pillar of purple light that blasted towards them. And Xiao Xiao and the others couldn't help but let out a gasp when they reacted. This was an attack launched by several level 26 elite level demonized spiders joining forces. If these fixed type automatic gatling and fixed type automatic charge cannon were destroyed, the entire formation would instantly collapse. However, Wang Chen would not give these spiders a chance. He instantly rushed right in front of this purple pillar of light. The super god armament on his body instantly activated, mechanical overload. The crimson light lit up once again. An illusory light flashed above Wang Chuan's left arm, and the blue data flow transformed into a thick arm shield and instantly became massive with his mind. He's not going to block these attacks alone, is he? And Xiao Xiao was astonished. But by the time the crowd wanted to dissuade Wang Chen, it was already too late. Boom! The purple light pillar instantly blasted above his left arm. The terrifying shockwave pushed against Wang Chen, cracking the ground around him. But Wang Chen unexpectedly resisted this attack alive, not even taking a step back. He actually did block it. Several people felt a wave of disbelief. Was Wang Chuan's strength so heaven defying? At this time, they observed Wang Wei's four dimensional attribute panel. All of them couldn't help but change their faces drastically. His four dimensional attributes have actually all reached around 50,000, my god. And Xiao Xiao only felt a wave of dizziness in her brain. One had to know that as an S ranked profession, his proud spiritual attribute was only a thousand or so right now. And Wang Chen's spiritual attribute was surprisingly as much as 40,000. I knew he's always been this powerful. Emoliali clenched her legs, looking adoringly and fiercely at Wang Chen's back, her breathing even more rapid than before. Get the hell back! The shield trembled crazily, and Wang Chuan unexpectedly pushed against this purple pillar of light and stomped the ground forward with great force. Rumble! Wang Chen unexpectedly shattered the purple light pillar brutally with his terrifying strength. After turning on mechanical overload, his strength attribute had long reached a terrifying 50,000. Without the blockage of the purple light pillar, the Gatling instantly shattered those few elite level spiders. And at this time, seeing that so many elite level demonized spiders were unable to break through the line of fire, many of the spiders in the lair became too cowering to move forward. Wang Dust took this opportunity and with a wave of his hand, countless silver colored invaders surged towards the inside of the nest from the ground, as well as from the cliff walls on both sides. Now was the right time to control these spiders, the intruders had now reached two levels, and even without Lu Chang's interference, they were able to easily control these spiders with low intelligence. As for the mechanical worker bees and worker ants that Wang Chuan had controlled earlier, as well as the miscellaneous goblins, he brainlessly controlled them all to go over and fight with these spiders. Their levels were too low, and there was no need to use them anymore. Wang Dust intended to control a new batch of demonized spiders. The magical creatures that he had controlled before were clearly no match for these spiders. Invasion Wang Dust's eyes flashed with a faint light. He now had a population of 2,000, which could accommodate at least 1,000 or more magical creatures, excluding the diggers used to build buildings and produce soldiers. He had enough to produce more than 1,000 LV2 level invaders now. Even if there was a probability that the invasion would fail, it would be possible to control at least 700 to 800 spider demons. While firing to attract the attention of these spider fiends, Wang Dust had these invaders blend in close to the ground. Wow! Countless intruders began to frantically climb onto the heads of these spiders. Powerful electric currents flashed by. A steady stream of beeps rang out, the invasion efficiency of the invaders that had risen to level 2 was obviously much higher than level 1. There were almost very few invasions that failed, and only some unlucky ones were trampled into pieces by the spiders. Invasion successful, Black Web Hunter Spider transformed into Mechanical Black Web Hunter Spider. Invasion successful, Black Web Hunter Spider transformed into Mechanical Black Web Hunter Spider. In just a few minutes, at least a few hundred spider demons were mastered by Wang Chuan. 
The panels of these magical creatures changed, and their race was transformed into the mechanical race, and many of their skills were also changed into the skills of the mechanical race. And they helped Wang Dust attack the demons that came out later in concert. These spider fiends were confused after coming out, and just showed their heads, only to see their own clan members just attacking them. Put. Poof. White spider silk with blue current was sprayed over, and many of the spiders were paralyzed by electricity, making it more conducive for the invaders to invade. While in Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng they were shocked at the power of Wang Chen's skills. On the other hand, when Mo Liuli on the side saw the scene, an even greater color of excitement rose in her eyes. Entanglement current stimulation this position. Mo Liuli's mouth kept chanting some strange words as her white and tender thighs rubbed together for a while. Hey hey, brother Dust, how long has she been in this position? Lu Chang carefully came to Wang Dust's side and secretly asked. And incidentally looked at Mo Liuli with a disgusted gaze. Wang Dust was silent for a while and finally said, she's probably just like you, she's also watched some strange and weird things and became like this after watching too much. Lu Chang immediately revealed a look of sympathy. By this time, Wang Dust had already controlled 7 to 800 spiders, with levels ranging from level 25 to 28. After transforming into the mechanical race, they had also become more powerful. Combined with Wang Chen's Gatling and Charge Cannon, the spiders in the distance were completely routed. Awesome, awesome, too awesome, brother dust. Lu Chang saw this scene and admired it. They didn't stay idle either, and after recovering their magic, they desperately threw their skills inside, mixing assists and heads in a beautiful manner. Although the experience is Wang Duan take the big head, but cannot help the high level of these magical creatures, and the number of ah, just such a short time of effort, Lu Chang they rose another level. I really didn't think that leveling up for newbies would be this easy one day. And Xiao Xiao felt like she was dreaming. Although the younger generation of the big families had elders to lead them in practicing, the greater the difference in level, the less experience they could share by assisting in mending. But Wang Chen was different, the level difference between him and them wasn't many levels, so even if he was assisting in mending, he could still get a huge amount of experience. Just as several people were following Wang Dust's sass in fighting, an earth-shattering roar suddenly came from inside. Roar! A powerful aura instantly erupted from inside. Without much thought, it must be the boss inside that was coming out to find out what was going on after sensing that his men were dying out at an incredible speed. Boom! Boom! Earth tremors rang out, as if some behemoth was moving towards this place at high speed. Boom! The narrow entrance was suddenly shattered by a huge figure, and debris rolled on both sides. Amidst the crowd's shocked gazes, the arachnid mother's huge body that was like a small mountain appeared, revealing a huge silhouette in the darkness, like a giant wheel in the ocean in the dead of night. The scarlet compound eyes were like lanterns flashing with a terrifying light in the darkness. Good, so big. Several people were startled, observing the arachnid mother from this distance, only then were they able to realize how terrifying this boss was. There was a sense of suffocating oppression. It finally came out. Wang Dust looked at the arachnid mother in the distance. Put. Puff snort. Puff. Before the crowd could react, the arachnid mother's abdomen moved, and surprisingly, several spider silks rolled up huge rocks from the sky, instantly destroying all the turrets around Wang Dust. Seeing that the arachnid mother had destroyed Wang Chuan's turrets with ease, the faces of the crowd snapped white. It's over, the turrets have been destroyed. It's over. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng unanimously let out cries of alarm. When the arachnid mother heard the crowd's cries of alarm, it seemed to become even more excited as a frightening light flickered on its body. It let out another angry roar up to the sky, seemingly declaring its sovereignty and power. The huge body emitted a terrifying wave of magic power. But what was surprising was this. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng several people did not run away, but stood here looking straight at it with a strange feeling that was hard to describe. I'm sorry, this young lady, they didn't make it clear just now, it's not us who are finished, it's you. Lu Chang corrected with a smile. Hearing this, the arachnid mother's eight compound eyes flashed with doubt. Like strange awe, shocked, skeptical, complicated, confused, and so on. Luckily, it had enough eyes, or else it really wouldn't have been able to distribute so many emotions at once. 
All in all, the arachnid mother was confused. Instead of fleeing at the sight of it, the little group of level 10 plus guys were calmly telling themselves that they were finished. Ha! Huh? The arachnid mother rescanned her panel. There was no drop in her attributes due to playing too much with the male spiders, but instead, because she had been abstaining from sex and nourishing her body in the past few days, her attributes had increased quite a bit. Spiritual power was a full 4,000, and strength was close to 6,000. It looked at its body again. Powerful. Perfect. Its own sexy eight spider legs had black steel hairs densely packed on them, as if they were black silk. Often, male spiders praised its eight legs as the most perfect works of art to play with. Moved, it would hang its corpse above its spider web as a treasure after draining this male spider. So these men are not afraid of themselves. There was only one truth. That was that they had been dumbfounded by themselves. After a series of psychological consolations, the color of confidence resurfaced in the arachnid mother's eight compound eyes. Then it saw a scene that blew its mind. It only saw Li Meng Meng take out the recliner from her spatial ring with a big grin and lie down, taking out a few packets of potato chips and distributing them in the meantime. Let's hurry and lie down and watch the battle. Li Meng Meng greeted. And Xiao Xiao, on the other hand, took out a silk scarf and was meticulously wiping her magic wand. Seeing this scene, the arachnid mother was incomparably angry. This was complete contempt for herself. It was absolutely unforgivable. Boom! The arachnid mother instantly used her berserk skill, and her strength and mental power value skyrocketed once again, pushing towards 7,000. Terrifying fluctuations pressed towards the crowd like a tsunami. Tremble. Humans. I'm a boss whose four-dimensional attributes are pushing 10,000 terrifying. Call your mom. An impatient voice rang out. Allo? In the midst of the arachnid mother's confused gaze. A silhouette covered in burning crimson lines wearing black and gold battle armor leapt up. Its eight compound eyes were filled with dismay as it looked at wine dust in front of it, who was as if he was a small bug. It can't be? This person is going to attack himself? Who understands, family members? A little person is going to attack me. The spider mother laughed. It then saw Wang Chen blast a slap at it. In the next moment, it couldn't laugh anymore. The slap poured out with majestic power, a terrifying force that destroyed the sky and even pierced through the air. The arachnid mother didn't even have time to react before it was slapped by this slap. Boom! A sound like muffled thunder rang out, only to see a wave of white aura swirling out in the air. The spider mother's huge body instantly flew backwards, as if it was a cannonball, and its huge body directly and fiercely crashed into the cliff wall next to it. The cliff trembled, rubble rolled, and the terrifying airwaves that erupted nearly sent the crowd watching the show flying. Cough cough cough. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng coughed. Lu Chang was spitting out the ash in his mouth, just now, because of the shock, his mouth opened too wide, resulting in eating a huge mouthful of dirt. He secretly swore that he would never open his mouth wide in shock again. No one noticed that along with this slap from Wang Chen, after Mo Liuli's entire body trembled to the extreme, she suddenly walked silently to an unoccupied place and seemed to have gone to change something. At this moment, the tremors were still spreading. Amidst the dust and smoke that filled the sky. Wang Dust landed on the ground in a dashing manner and patted the dust on his battle armor, the burning crimson lines on his body made him look as if he was a devil bathed from the flames of hell. He took one step towards the arachnid mother. On this side, the arachnid mother, whose half of its body had been beaten to pieces by the terrifying power, heard this footsteps that were like death and trembled madly. Especially after it saw Wang Chen's four-dimensional attributes. The arachnid mother was practically about to pee in fear. Terrifying. So terrifying. This human was so terrifying. How could any human have such a terrifying four-dimensional attribute? Who the hell is the boss? Oh, don't come over here. I'm just a small spider that doesn't even have 10,000 four-dimensional attributes. Looking at the shivering ghost-faced demonic venom spider mother. Wan Chuan smiled faintly and was about to lift his hand to settle it. 
The abdomen of the ghost-faced demonic poison spider mother, which was in a state of extreme panic, suddenly shuddered and produced a bunch of white flowering spider eggs. With a flash of light, these spider eggs unexpectedly hatched out at a rapid speed, changing into a small spider demonic creature of more than level 10. Holy shit, this boss actually gave birth again? What's going on here? Lu Chang was shocked. It's the arachnid mother's transcendent fertility skill, combined with berserk and catalyze, able these spiders to have combat power in a short period of time. And Xiao Xiao is the top student in school flower of Luo Haino. One middle school was well versed. Lu Chang nodded calmly, ah? Right. That's what I wanted to say just now. Only to see these small spiders let out a shrill cry and rushed forward towards Wang Chuan. Wang Dust waved his hand. Before these spiders could charge forward, they were easily stopped, and were finally controlled by the intruder and turned into creatures of the mechanical race. Unpredictable experience poured into his body, and Wang Chuan's eyes gradually glowed. The current him looked at the arachnid mother as if he was looking at a sow that was able to keep giving birth. A thought called sustainable development surfaced in his mind. Since this boss was so capable of giving birth, he might as well let it keep giving birth, and he would just gather experience while here. Come over here, you guys. Wang Dust greeted. Let Lu Chang and the few of them come over. After speaking to them briefly, Lu Chang and the others viewed this arachnid mother with the same fiery gaze. It really didn't occur to me that you wouldn't even spare a pregnant woman, Brother Dust. Lu Chang hemmed and hawed and licked his tongue. Even, even pregnant women are not spared. Emma Liuli's breathing became ragged and a strange blush surfaced on her face as she gasped. To think that, there's even this kind of poly. What a completely unthought of path and method. And Xiao Zhao's eyes, on the other hand, swept over a hint of foxiness. Brother Dust? And Xiao Xiao looked at Wang Dust. It was the same name as Wang Dust. This was a bit too much of a coincidence. Just after thinking that Wang Dust might not even have awakened his occupation, and that the two people could definitely not be one person, the glimmer in her eyes dimmed again. In her heart, she thought of a poor teenager who always carried a backpack and depended on his sister. It was just that the gap between herself and him should be getting wider and wider. Even if she didn't want to, the position and status of the two people would become out of reach with the push of time. Even if she had 10,000 unwillingness in her heart there was nothing she could do. Hey! What are you dawdling here for? Hurry up and give birth to me! Wang Dust kicked the arachnid mother at this time, telling it to continue giving birth to the baby spider. The arachnid mother was stifled and angry, and immediately went crazy with her production. The light flashed, and a steady stream of baby spiders poured over. Wang Dust let the mechanical spiders under his control severely injure all of these small spiders, and then carried them over in his mouth allowing Lu Chang and Xiao Xiao to patch them up. Just at this time, Lu Chang's body flashed with light as he excitedly shouted, I've awakened a new skill. Hearing this, Wang Dust's face darkened. God knows what strange skills Lu Chang had awakened again. Lu Chang pulled up his panel at this time and said, This skill called Clarity Technique looks pretty decent, it shouldn't have any strange effects. The normal nurse's clarity art skill was to give teammates a return to their magic value and at the same time increase their chanting speed. But given the previous blood lesson, Wang Dust wasn't sure if Lu Chang's skill was normal. When Li Meng Meng heard that Lu Chang had awakened the clarity technique, she shouted, Hey, that little fatty over there, put a clarity technique on me so I can get my blue back. Hearing this, an embarrassed look appeared on Lu Chang's face, No, so what, all my skills have a little bit of side effects, you'd better not use them. Hearing this, the few people present revealed a puzzled look. It was the first time they had heard that a nurse's skills had side effects. Li Mengmeng said with a big grin, what side effects? Don't worry, this young lady can carry it. Seeing Lu Chang dilly-dallying, he was still unwilling to use the skill. Li Mengmeng said, what are you dawdling about? Can you do it or not? How can a man be told by a woman that he can't, Lu Chang immediately got angry, this is something you volunteered for, I didn't force you. However, in order to prevent being beaten, Lu Chang chicken thief ran to Wang Duan's side. Taking a deep breath, Lu Chang took the cheap magic staff of his and waved it at Li Meng Meng. 
A blue magic formation instantly surfaced, turning into several rays of light that landed on Li Meng Meng. What only made Lu Chang a little surprised was that the single released clarity spell, in his hands, turned into a group, releasing a huge aura that directly enveloped the three girls. The three girls' faces froze, what a wide-range clarity technique, worthy of being a mutant milk. It's hard to believe that my skill is a positive mutation this time? Lu Chang was delighted in his heart. Along with the flickering of the magic formation, blue points of light surfaced on the three girls' bodies. These points of light then burrowed towards the inside of their bodies, transforming into blue magic power. Everything was so normal. Just as Wang Dust breathed a sigh of relief, an accident appeared. The three girls suddenly let out a gasp and their faces changed in unison. This was because they realized that the clothes on their bodies began to dissolve at a rapid pace. The true effects of the clarity technique began to unfold. Large swaths of snow-white skin were exposed. Luscious curves were hidden. There was also the pretty faces of the three girls that reddened at a speed visible to the naked eye. Wang Dust was the first to notice all of this. The moment their clothes started to dissolve, Wang Dust reached out and decisively covered Lu Chang's eyes. Lu Chang was shocked and said in horror, Brother Dust, what happened? Why did you suddenly cover my eyes again? Strange? What am I going to say again? Wang Dust once again calmly said, At what? The scene in front of you is a bit cruel, you'd better not look at it. Lu Chang was once again moved, Uwu, Brother Dust you are so good to me. At this time, the three girls' screams rose and fell. They covered their bodies in horror, although they were trying their best to cover up, but to no avail, their clothes were still dissolving at a rapid pace. And this terrified screams made Lu Chang believe it. He was able to imagine that his skills should have caused terrible consequences. Wang Dust's eyes glared a little sour at this time. Bastard, what did you do to me? Don't look! Don't look! And Xiao Xiao's entire body was at a loss for words. What's going on? How could the clarity technique have this kind of side effect? Li Mengmeng could not cry, and could only crouch on the ground and try her best to cover up. I don't know either. Emolioli's face was also filled with the color of surprise, and her entire body was also dumbfounded. It was good that they realized that Wang Chuan had covered Lu Chang's eyes in time. Wang Chen said with great righteousness, Don't worry guys, I didn't see anything, I've closed my eyes. He let the light on his mask go down. The three girls let out a huge sigh of relief. They then hurriedly changed their clothes. Wang Dust just watched silently. It was a bastard who didn't take advantage of a bargain. Only Wang Dust still preferred to look at an Xiao Xiao. Those beautiful legs were just too good looking. But Li Ming Ming's body was also explosive. As for Mo Liu Li Well, Wang Chuan moved his gaze away after one look. He realized that the girl's inside clothes had changed again at some point. She must have sneaked out a few times while painting copies. Mo Liu Li's shortcoming of getting excited easily may be an advantage for some men. But Wang Duan is really not interested. When a few people changed their clothes, Wang Dust went over to continue exploiting Arachnid Mother. In the end, Arachnid Mother lay on the ground and said that she was no longer able to do so, and there really wasn't a single drop left. But the Arachnid Mother's dedication was rewarded. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng came to level 19, and Mo Liu Li came to level 18. Lu Chang, on the other hand, had risen to level 17. But their levels were nothing compared to Wang Chen's. At this time, Wang Chen's level was as high as 28. And Xiao Xiao and the others looked at Wang Chen with envy. Raising one's level to 28 in a few days was unprecedented in the entire history of the profession. Previously, there had been children of large families who, with the help of their family elders, had barely managed to brush up to level 25 in 10 days. But now only three or four days had passed, and Wang Chuan was already level 28. At this time, Wang Dust took the equipment that had exploded earlier and had his mechanical spider clan army collect all of them. Taking advantage of this, Wang Dust moved his fists and arrived in front of the arachnid mother. Bang! Without hesitation, he threw a punch. The arachnid mother instantly died, turning into a brilliant, fourfold glow. Wow! 
Amidst the shocked gazes of several people, countless rare materials and equipment burst out from within. Comfortable. Wang dust flew through these materials and swept a glance. Just by looking over, there were as many as three or four pieces of silver equipment, and five or six pieces of bronze equipment. Other rare materials were not to mention. It was a pity that no gold equipment had popped out. If this arachnid's level is above 30, there is still hope that it will explode. Unfortunately, the arachnid's level was too low. However, after a cursory glance at the properties of these silver equipment, they all belong to the very top silver equipment. It was almost comparable to some weaker gold equipment. Moreover, for them to have silver level weapons to use as novice professionals, they were already considered to be from a good family. For example, these few rich women, the magic staffs they used were all silver level. Wang Dust piled up all the equipment that had burst out in front of him. Including the ones popped out by those spider demons from before. He was now going to thoroughly strengthen his super god armament, incorporating every part into his equipment. At this time a massive amount of experience poured into Wang Chen's body. But unfortunately there was no breakthrough, and he was still a little short of level 29. So much equipment. Lu Chang's eyes blossomed as he looked at it. This magic staff, and these glove shoes belt, including these ornaments, you take them and use them. Wang Dust picked out a bunch of good equipment from inside and threw it to Lu Chang. These equipments were worth around one to two hundred thousand dollars at least. Lu Chang was so excited to hold these equipments that he was close to kissing Wang Dust. Knowing that a commoner's family would be able to buy a bronze equipment was already a big deal, Wang Dust didn't even blink and directly gave him a set. As for Li Meng Meng and In Xia Xiao, the three girls didn't want these equipment at all. For one thing, their families were already more privileged. Secondly, it was because they didn't put in too much effort in brushing the copies, so it wouldn't be appropriate to ask for equipment again. Currently, the legs, belly armor, head, and back armor each have two equipment slots, the chest armor currently has one equipment slot left due to its previous incorporation of the Goblin High Priestess gemstone, and the arms are full, so I don't intend to incorporate any new equipment to replace them at the moment. Wang Dust silently calculated in his mind. He took out one of the equipment in front of him. It was a red, spherical prop. Name, Ghost Face Demonic Poison Arachnid Mother's Compound Eye. Category, Jewelry. Level, Silver. Attribute, Spirit plus 160, Strength plus 125, Physique plus 85. Attachment effect, wearing this trinket will give you enhanced vision and immunity to certain toxin attacks. Attachment skill, insight, active consume magic power to enhance your vision, as if it were day in the darkness. Description, the jewelry produced after the death of the ghost-faced demon poison arachnid mother has more incredible effects if it can be refined into a prop or weapon. This equipment is suitable for incorporating into one's head to enhance one's scouting power. Wang Dust took this compound eye and made his choice. This one could drastically improve one's field of vision and might even develop new skills. There was also a pair of boots on the ground that looked exquisite. Name, Ghost Face Demon Poison Arachnid Mother Leather Boots. Category, Equipment. Level, Silver. Attribute, Spirit plus 100, Strength plus 85, Physique plus 45, Speed plus 120. Attachment effect, after wearing these boots, you can increase your movement speed and reduce the sound of your footsteps, allowing you to walk like a man on the ground in steep terrain. Incidental skills, none. Description, the shoes produced after the death of the ghost-faced demon poison arachnid mother, inheriting the rare and cherished characteristics of spider-type magical creatures, they are a rare and precious piece of equipment. This one didn't even need to be thought of, it was naturally incorporated into the legs. As for the other equipment, there was nothing out of the ordinary. Wang Dust rummaged around for a while and eventually picked out four pieces of equipment that favored the defense category. He intended to incorporate these four pieces of equipment into his belly armor, chest armor, and back armor. This way, the equipment slots of the abdominal armor and chest armor would be full, and there would still be one equipment slot left for the back armor. The reason why Wang Dust had left an equipment slot for the back armor was because he was thinking that if there was any suitable flight-type equipment that he could incorporate into it. When the time came, he could hopefully develop a jet-like flying skill. The idea of leaving an equipment slot for the feet was also the same. 
In this way it was considered to be the end of the distribution. With a movement of Wang Chen's mind, all of these equipments illusorily transformed into data streams and merged into his body. Chest armor ascension successful. Ventral armor ascension successful. Back armor upgrade successful. Legs upgraded successfully. Head ascension successful. A burst of light flashed. The defense level of the super god armor has been substantially increased. And the surface of the black and gold battle armor had more peculiar patterns that. It looked to have a strong visual impact and looked even cooler. Antitoxicity of super god armor increased by 100%. Super god armor's sturdiness increased by 100%. Increase the toughness of the armor by 100%. A steady stream of beeps rang out. It was no exaggeration to say that right now, and Xiao Xiao's few people were afraid that they wouldn't be able to help Wang Chuan even if they attacked him with all their might. The mechanical overload of the super god armament was also unsurprisingly raised again. The duration was raised from 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Not only that. In Wang Dust's field of vision, his four-dimensional attributes were also growing by leaps and bounds. The strength was already almost close to 60,000. The constantly surging numbers were very pleasing to look at. His strength was almost soaring at a geometric rate. The light flashed once again. Congratulations, the ghost-faced demon poison arachnid mother's compound eyes have leveled up to gold. Congratulations, you have acquired a new skill, infrared scanning. New skill? Wang Chuan was delighted in his heart. The super god armament's binocular lenses instantly changed to a light red color, and patterns as if they were spider webs surfaced inside. The field of vision instantly became wide open. The degree of the human naked eye's visual angle was usually 124 degrees, and when concentrating it was about one-fifth, or 25 degrees. But now Wang Chen could feel that his visual angle had changed to at least 300 degrees. In his field of vision, the originally dark and depressing canyon instantly became as if it was daytime. Most importantly, even with the obstacles covering him, Wang Chuan was able to see the heat source behind the obstacles. Is it so exaggerated? Wang Dust was shocked. Such an open field of vision in the middle of a battle meant that one could avoid many sneak attacks. Horses amongst animals had a very open field of vision of 350 degrees, which was used to avoid attacks from natural enemies. He now suddenly felt that his eyes were comparable to a horse's eyes. Hiss. But this adjective seemed to suddenly be a bit strange. However, Wang Chin soon realized that he was still able to see differently. The dimly lit canyons became colorful in his eyes. For example, the colors of the hot places were brighter, and the colors of some places that had danger were eerie purple-black. There were a small number of women who would obtain tetrachromatism because of their genes, and such people were able to see richer colors, such as green grasses, which might be colorful in their eyes, and they could perceive the emotions of everything through the change in color. Wang Chuan did not expect that he had gained such a big surprise after absorbing the arachnid mother's compound eyes. Putting away the loot in front of him that was worth one or two million dollars, Wang Chuan's spatial ring nearly couldn't fit. He had gotten rich. But this was not the most important harvest. Rumble. More than 800 demonized spiders ran from all directions and prostrated themselves in front of Wang Dust. Seeing such a terrifying scene and Xiao Xiao and Lu Chang and the others' faces changed slightly. It was no exaggeration to say that the current Wang Dust was tantamount to mastering an army of spiders. With so many demons here, he could now bulldoze through any copy of the same level. They couldn't even think of anyone among the freshmen who could be an enemy of Wang Chen. With more than 800 enhanced spiders released, there was no way to fight, and the opposite side could just surrender. At this time, the professionals waiting outside to guard the copies were getting a little anxious. Li Hong frowned, according to their strength, they might have gone in for a few minutes to be scared out by the spiders, how come they haven't come out after so long, is it possible that they have met with any accidents inside? The ones who went in can be the young generation of the big families in Luohai City, they can't have any problems in our place. Well, it's not clear ah, uh, if they really had an accident, this copy should show as accessible. A few people checked the copy and realized that it was still showing an inaccessible status, proving that there were still people surviving inside. But that would be too strange. 
While they were discussing here, the passageway of the secret realm copy suddenly lit up. It's coming out, it's coming out, healer come over here, what are you waiting for? Li Hong was in a hurry when he saw this scene, after being inside for so long, he must have been more or less injured. Along with the light dissipating, Wang Chuan and the others walked out from inside the copy. Seeing this scene, Li Hong's complexion froze as he looked at the several people in dismay, realizing that they were in high spirits and did not have any traces of injuries. Uncle Li, you guys are still waiting outside, sorry for making you wait for so long. And Xiao Xiao smiled faintly at Li Hong. Actually, it wasn't that long, just over 30 minutes have passed since you guys entered the copy. Li Hong said subconsciously. After all, there were too many magical creatures inside, and if you wanted to brush past them you would need to occupy favorable terrain and engage in constant rounds of consumption before you could hopefully brush past them. The reason why he felt that it took a long time was because according to the strength of An Xiao Xiao and the others, they should have gone in and come out in a few minutes. But holding out for 30 minutes wasn't much use. Normally it would take at least two days to brush through this copy. He guessed that An Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng and the others had found a place to hide after they went in, and had been hiding until now before they found a chance to come out, otherwise they would have come out long ago. Then we'll leave first, Uncle Li. And Xiao Xiao waved her hand at Li Hong, and in the end, their group took a car and left the place. That's fine, you guys take your time on the road. Li Hong suddenly felt that there was something wrong somewhere. After witnessing In Xiao Xiao and the others leave, the warrior next to him suddenly ran over and shouted, Boss, it's not good. It's not good. What's happening? What's wrong? Li Hong frowned. As an official professional, do you not even have this kind of heart quality? Only to see the man's face pale as he shouted, the copy just showed that it was brushed through. Boom! This warrior's words were like divine thunder falling from the nine heavens. It split the crowd present on the outside. Crap! What did you say? Li Hong almost didn't stare out of his eyes as he directly soared out of foul language. Not only them, the rest of the surrounding professionals were also shocked beyond belief. Crap! 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 At the entrance of the replica, listen to the crouching piece. Every single person's face carried a deep look of shock. The expressions were dumbfounded, as if they had seen their wives cheating on their next-door neighbors. Nope. That wasn't shocking enough. It was as if they had seen their wives cheating on their neighbors and then found their own mothers beside them. And even seeing their old man in line. All in all, the shock this incident caused them was no less than waking up and realizing they were sleeping in the goddess's bed. Did you make a mistake somewhere? Li Hong walked to the replica with big strides, and after some testing, the shock on his face turned into extreme shock. The copy was finished in 30 minutes? How is this possible? Did they bring a forbidden spell mage in? A series of question marks surfaced on Li Hong's head. He could only feel his scalp cracking now. Never in his life had he met something so shocking. A group of professionals with an average level of more than 10 had actually brushed through a level 25 nightmare grade copy. It was important to realize that this nightmare level copy was known as a small hell level copy. Its difficulty was already comparable to that of some region level copies. While Li Hong and the others were doubting their lives, Wang Chen and Xiao Xiao and the others had already returned to Luohai City. By the way, this handsome man that I've never met before, I want to remind you of something, you mustn't brush your level too high, the maximum limit level of the trial tower of our college entrance exam is level 30. And Xiao Xiao felt as if she was dreaming when she said this. She had one day actually reminded others not to practice their levels too high. To know that the 10 days of practice time given by the country was calculated, even if there were high-level people with them, they would only be able to level up to 25 at most within 10 days. But who would have thought that there was still this pervert Wang Chuan, as long as Wang Chuan wanted to, he could even level up to over 40 within 10 days. I see. Wang Dust nodded, then brought Lu Chang and In Xiao Xiao's people to separate. And Xiao Xiao just looked at Wang Dust's back as he left, as if she had lost her mind. Hey hey hey! Xiao Xiao, do you want to try to chase after this bull warrior? Li Meng Meng came over and kissed In Xiao Xiao's cheeks fiercely. Nasty. And Xiao Xiao's face instantly turned red and very cute as she muttered. 
I just feel that he and Wang Chen seem like ah, uh, somehow I feel that the two are familiar. These words made Emo Lioli feel a pang of weakness in her heart, and she coughed a few times. In order to cover up her nervousness, she hurriedly unscrewed a bottle of water and prepared to take a sip to relieve herself. Li Mengmeng shook her head like a rattle at this time and said, What are you kidding? Xia Xia you really want this kid to go crazy, how could that sickly kid Wang Chen be this bull warrior in front of you? If this bull warrior is really Wang Dust, I, Li Meng Meng, will directly become Wang Dust's concubine, listen carefully, this is what I said. Put. Emo Liu Li instantly sprayed out all the water in her mouth. Strange? Liu Li, what's wrong with you? Why does it feel like you've been hiding something from us today? Li Meng Meng suddenly came over to Emo Liu Li's side in an unsuspicious manner. Ah? Uh, have you? I haven't been hiding anything from you guys. Emo Lily laughed and pretended to be unconcerned, but a lot of cold sweat had already broken out on her forehead. Seeing that he was going to reveal himself if he stayed any longer. Emo Lily stammered, nah, I still have things to do, the toys I use at home need to be recharged ha, huh? I'll leave first. After saying that, she ignored the two to stop her, and directly walked towards the distance nervously. Looking at Emma Lioli who was so nervous that she was walking with the same hand and foot so that she was walking with her abductions, a big question mark surfaced on the heads of An Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng. Hey, I say Xiao Xiao, does Lioli always walk with her crutches? How come I don't seem to have an impression? On the other side, Wan Dust arrived at the Jubilee Merchant Pavilion by himself. The Familiar Beginning Countless beautiful women in short skirts and black silk surrounded them, their hands hanging down in front of them slightly bending over to inquire. However, many of them recognized Wang Chuan. They immediately called you Yu over. Guessed you have new materials to sell so soon? Yu Yu wore a smile. After receiving an affirmative answer from Wang Dust's mouth, Yu Yu's eyes were still slightly lost. To come to sell materials so quickly, one must have gone to brush some copies that were not too difficult. It was estimated that the materials wouldn't be that rare. This investment was probably really going to be a loss. But she didn't show impatience or any other emotions because of this. Instead, she was still smiling as she brought Wang Chuan to the VIP room. And skillfully poured tea for Wang Chen. You step back for a moment. Wang Chuan waved his hand. The spatial ring on his hand instantly glowed. Densely packed materials instantly appeared throughout the room, burying Wang Chen and Zhou Yeye all inside with a flash of light. These high-grade materials were sparkling with golden light. A dense aura of magic power filled the entire room, and... Heavens! So many materials. When Zhou Yeye saw this scene, her entire body was dumbfounded, her wide-open mouth able to stuff an egg into it. The impact of this scene was simply too great. She casually picked up a few materials and took a look at them, and they were all at least level 20 or 30 drops. Wang Chen collected the materials and placed the spatial ring on the table. Look at how much these materials can be worth, I'm going to sell them all. At this time, Zhou Yeye had not yet recovered from the shock she had just experienced, and only when she heard Wang Chuan call out to her did she react violently, running to Wang Chuan and excitedly saying, Fine, I'll tally it up right now, please wait a moment. When she took the spatial ring and went out, those girls outside immediately surrounded her and laughed, Yu Yu, what materials did he come to sell this time, is there a hundred thousand dollars? Hearing this, Yu Yu immediately hummed and shook the space ring in her hand. This time he brought a few million dollars worth of materials. Not only did she offset all the money from the previous spatial ring, she was also able to obtain a wave of commission. When these words came out, the girls around her laughed, disbelief written all over their faces. How could such a young professional brush out so many rare materials? Without any nonsense, Yu Yu directly shoved the spatial ring into their hands and let them feel it, these girls smiled and probed the ring, then they all froze. How is it possible? There are actually so many materials in here? The girls present were all stunned. Zhou Yeye couldn't help but show off, where is this? What's more important is that he swiped all of these materials, Look at how much of the magic value on it hasn't dissipated yet, so that means he's definitely a professional with an immeasurable future. He brushed them alone. Heavens! Isn't he only level 28? The faces of the girls present changed. 
but as they uttered the words, they suddenly covered their mouths again. Wait, what level was he last time he came here? I seem to remember it was only level 16, and it's only been a few days since then, and he's actually level 28. Such a terrifying leveling speed, is this really something a human can do? Heavens, heavens! The girls' faces flushed red, their towering breasts rising and falling violently, highlighting the shock they felt inside. The gazes they looked at Zhou Yuyu once again also became very envious. Zhou Yuyu had truly picked up a treasure this time. Zhou Yuyu smiled and proudly took the ring and went to find the head of treasure pavilion, Gu Chengqing, to report back as if she was a general returning from a victory. Previously, she had been taunted by them for giving her the spatial ring, but now that she had taken a hard breath, her heart was more than happy. Inside the house A stunning woman wearing black silk and high heels with glasses was looking at the results of the past few days. Her figure was so good that it exploded, especially the pair of long legs in black silk under her professional outfit. There was a flavor of a mature female secretary. Eh? This girl Yu Yu has always been quite steady, why did she suddenly give away her investment quota? Gu Qingqing stretched out her slender fingers and tweaked her lips, then lifted the paper on the table. Just at this moment, the door to her office was suddenly slammed open. Bang! Zhou Yuyu was so excited that she forgot to knock on the door and directly pushed it open and rushed in as she shouted, Miss. Gu, I have a heavenly good news to tell you. Seeing Zhou Yuyu so excited, Gu Qingqing closed the performance table in her hand and frowned. Yu Yu, what's wrong with you? Why have you become so bubbly these days? Don't you know that you have to knock when entering my office? Or is it that you want to be locked up in my little black room for education again? Ha! Huh? Gu, Miss Gu. Hearing this, Zhou Yuyu's face changed, and only then did she realize that she had made a mistake, subconsciously clamping her long legs. Gu Qingqing laughed as she got up and walked over to Zhou Yuyu's side, stretching out her fingers to tease her pretty face. Zhou Yuyu's body trembled. Gu Qingqing leaned in closer, her red lips less than half a centimeter from Zhou Yuyu's lips. Don't be so scared, if you are able to bring any good news, I can forgive you for your daredevilry this time, otherwise, I'll have to beat your ass severely. This time, the hot air Gu Qingqing exhaled Zhou Yuyu was able to clearly feel it. Zhou Yeye trembled, Miss Gu, I discovered a very talented young man, in just a few days, he rose from over 10 levels to close to 30, and I'm specially applying to you to classify him as an S-rank client. Rising from more than 10 levels to more than 20 in just 10 days, you don't have a fever, do you? Gu Qingqing froze when she heard this, disbelief written all over her face. In all the years she had run the Chamber of Commerce, she had never heard of such a genius. She subconsciously thought that Zhou Yeye was talking about Ren Yinian. But she had only read Ren Yinian's data today. Just today, Ren Yinian had just broken through to level 20. The Chamber of Commerce had always collected information on talented students every year. But she really hadn't heard of any such character in Luo High City. Zhou Yuyu immediately said, Miss. Gu, I really didn't lie to you, otherwise I wouldn't have given him my investment quota, you'll know if you follow me to take a look. Gu Qingqing followed Zhou Yuyu to meet Wang Chen in the VIP room. The moment Gu Qingqing saw Wang Dust, her eyes widened by a few points. This was because Wang Chen's strength was really exactly as Zhou Yeye had said. At such a young age, he was already a level 28 professional. Looking at the boyish look on his face, he was really a student. Hello, Mr. Wang, may I ask which school you are a student of? Wang Chen didn't avoid anything as he said, Hello, I'm from Luo Haino. One high school and just graduated this year. Gu Qingqing suppressed the shock in her heart and put a standard smile on her face, Mr. Wang is really low-key, I'm afraid that the admissions teachers of Luo Hai know. One middle school are going to receive a big surprise this year. Wang Dust did not say anything more. Those who were going to receive a surprise this year. It was not only the teachers of Bohai First Middle School. There was also this asshole Ren Yin Yin. However, he was a little surprised at how Gu Qingqing had suddenly approached him. Seeing Wang Chuan's doubts, Gu Qingqing said, To introduce myself to you, I'm Gu Qingqing, the head of Luo High City's Jubilee Pavilion, and I'd like to invite you to become our Jubilee Pavilion's S-Class customer. S-Class customer? Wang Chen was stunned. 
He had heard that all major chambers of commerce would have senior members, but he was not clear on what exactly they were for. Gu Qingqing explained, that's right, after becoming an S-class user of our treasure pavilion, you will enjoy a 70% discount on any item you buy here. At the same time, you will also be able to have an interest-free loan amount of $100 million, and this interest-free loan amount will also become higher and higher as your strength increases, and you will only need to repay it within 10 years. And we at Treasure Pavilion will also unconditionally help you in any difficulties you encounter. Hearing such favorable conditions, Wang Dust froze. Not to mention the 70% discount, this interest-free loan alone was enticing enough. Many professionals would encounter financial difficulties when developing. Right now, with his rank he was able to borrow 100 million. If he used this money to build himself a superb equipment, it would be enough to allow him to far surpass a professional of the same rank within 10 years. Wine Dust cautiously inquired, what about the cost of becoming an S-class customer? He did not believe that there was a free lunch in the world. Gu Qingqing said, the conditions are simple, any transactions you make only need to be completed in the treasure pavilion, you are not allowed to go to other chambers of commerce to sell and trade any items. Wang Chen was a bit surprised, just this condition? Nothing? This condition could be said to have almost no restrictions. The treasure gathering pavilion had branches in every city, even in small towns, so there was no worry about not having a place to trade. However, he also understood after careful thought. When he became a high-level professional and casually went out to brush copies, the materials he obtained would be astronomical. As long as he traded with the treasure pavilion, the treasure pavilion would be able to make a fortune. All right then, I promise. Wang Dust agreed without hesitation. Soon, a black and gold card with his name printed on it was handed over, with a dragon flying S letter on it. At the same time, there was a more delicate black and gold space ring. This spatial ring is to be considered our meeting gift, it contains 500 squares and is worth $25 million. What Gu Qingqing said caused Wang Chen's hand to shiver, and he almost didn't drop the spatial ring on the ground. He was tantamount to wearing a top-of-the-line luxury car on his hand. Mr. Wang you shouldn't be under so much pressure, I believe that you will be able to create more value than a hundred or a thousand spatial rings for the treasure pavilion in the future, and in a way, we at treasure pavilion are still taking advantage of it, after all, not everyone is able to easily pull in a genius who is so young. Gu Qingqing greatly spoke out what was in her heart. Being so frank made Wang Chen feel very comfortable in his heart, and he smiled, then I can't let Miss Gu and also Miss Zhou down in the future. The cooperation was successfully completed, and Gu Qingqing also had a smile on her face. If Wang Chen could develop as she expected, maybe she still had hope for a promotion. This Luo High city head, she had long since stopped wanting to be one. After the materials were accounted for, they were worth more than $3 million in total. Zhou Yu Yu transferred all the money to Wang Chen's card. After hesitating for a moment, Wang Chuan asked, Imus. Gu, I would like to ask if we have any high level healers here? High grade healers? Gu Qingqing froze as she said, the healers I know aren't very high ranked, most of them are over 50, the high ranked healers you're talking about should be 70, 80 ranked and upwards. Healers like that are rare, and as you know, the price paid to be able to train an auxiliary profession to such a high level is staggering. Wang Dust said, if a disease like paralyzed legs and nerve necrosis requires the hand of a high level healer at least how many levels are needed? And how much does it cost to invite them to come out? Gu Qingqing looked at Wang Chuan and said, that would require at least 70 levels. And it would also need to be supplemented with a large amount of rare materials, so it would probably require a few hundred million dollars at a conservative estimate. Zhou Yiyu looked at Wang Chen curious as to why Wang Chen would suddenly say such words. A 70 leveled professional? Several hundred million dollars? Wang Chen silently calculated in his heart for a while. Originally, this was an astronomical figure out of reach for him. But now, according to his current upgrade progress, it probably wouldn't take more than a year to be able to save up this much money. At that time, he could ask Gu Qingqing to find a high-level healer for him. Wang Chen then inquired about how much money was needed to treat a deep coma patient. Gu Qingqing went and made some inquiries for him. The final price given was the same as the price for treating necrotic paralysis in both legs. 
This also meant that Wang Chen needed to prepare at least a billion dollars. Gu Qingqing couldn't help but ask curiously, Mr. Wang, do you have a friend with such a disease that you want to help treat? It's best to treat it within five years if you have it, or else if it drags on there might not even be a way for a high-level professional to do so. Wang Chuan said, that's right, my sister's legs are paralyzed, my mom and dad are now also vegetative due to an accident before, and one or two years have passed now. Gu Qingqing and Zhou Yeye's eyes flashed with sympathy. They did not expect such a young teenager in front of them to have such a tragic encounter. Although Wang Chen was overpowered, the difficulty involved in trying to gather one billion in such a short period of time was still self-evident. Gu Qingqing said, Mr. Wang, I know that you want to help your family, but in the early stages, I still suggest investing the funds in yourself, only when you are high in rank will you be able to create more value, after all, the higher the rank, the faster you will earn money. Wang Chen nodded his head and said, I know the pros and cons, thanks for the reminder Amis. Gu. He wanted to raise enough funds quickly, but he also thought that if he could hire a high-level healer to treat his family as soon as possible, the after-effects left behind would be relatively less. After all, dragging it out would not be good for their bodies either. Wang Chuan then spent five or six hundred thousand dollars to buy some rare supplements for his parents and sister. Wang Chuan rushed to the hospital. These days, he had upgraded all of his parents' hospital beds to a high-level care unit. He had also hired caregivers to take care of them carefully, so he didn't need to run here every day. Putting down the various items in his hands. Afterwards, he sat on the chair of the hospital bed and looked at his parents lying on the bed. Just so quietly watching. A drastic change had occurred in just a few days. The sunlight hit Wang Chen's face through the curtains that were lifted in the breeze. He hadn't thought. In such a short period of time. He was able to come here from the cheapest ward on the lowest floor. Wang Chuan got up and pulled the curtains open. Not only could he see light here. One could also see the skyscrapers in the distance. Overlooking the clear sky. Wang Dust had never thought of it either. Standing taller, the scenery he saw would be this beautiful. Looking back at his parents on the hospital bed whose faces were much rosier than before. Wang Dust revealed a pleased smile. Don't worry, mom and dad, sooner or later, one day, I'll let you wake up, and I'll look for all the debts they owed me in the beginning to get them back. When he left Wang Chen released two intruders to guard the bottom of the bed. So that he could monitor his parents' condition at any time. Back home, Wang Luohan was tinkering with the new cell phone in her hand. These days, Wang Dust asked Mo Liuli to buy many things for Wang Luohan, and there was a large pile of packages piled up next to him. After all, he didn't know anything about what girls liked. Seeing Wang Dust come back, Wang Luohan excitedly asked, Brother, you're back, I heard little fatty say that you've got a rich woman on your side, is it true? Wang Dust was confused. When did little fatty talk to you about this? Wang Luohan said, Little fatty said that you have so much money only because you've got a rich woman on your side, otherwise where would you get the money to buy so many things? Wang Dust's face darkened. This guy was really unreliable. Wang Luohan was a bit distressed and said, Brother, I heard that rich women are all very eccentric and hard to serve, what kind of wire balls do they like to use? Hearing this Wang Duan man was dumbfounded. Sister, where did you hear about this stuff? Wang Luohan subconsciously said, it was all told to me by little fatty. Wang Dust immediately gritted his teeth and said, don't listen to his nonsense, this guy really has itchy skin, see if I don't beat him to death. Wang Luohan pursued, brother, tell me what that steel wire ball means? I asked little fatty and little fatty didn't say anything, he told me to ask you. Wang Duan said, the wire ball means that you need to do a lot of chores at the rich woman's house, such as using it to brush the dishes, so don't ask. And I wasn't adopted by a rich woman, your brother is a serious professional after awakening his profession, these days he is working, and I earned all the money myself. Wang Luohan let out an O. Then began to pick at the packages on the ground with gusto. These were the new clothes that Wang Dust had bought for her. Unpacking and unpacking, Wang Luohan looked at these big name brand clothes people were dumbfounded. Brother, if I don't remember wrongly, this is a Chanel dress right, doesn't this thing cost tens of thousands a piece? I heard it's made with some rare demonic leather, and isn't this bag Hermes? 
I heard that it takes the skin of some abyssal demon to be able to make one piece, and it's all handmade. Wang Dust was originally drinking demonized honey water. He almost sprayed out a mouthful of water. He did not expect M.O. Lioli to be so generous. He had originally given M.O. Lioli a million dollars. These few pieces of clothing were estimated to have gone for a small half. Wang Dust said, these are all pirated, high fashion ones. Which is so expensive, one piece is a few thousand dollars at most, you don't know that there are fewer mechanic awakened professions now, so I earn quite a lot. Wang Luohan was skeptical, she looked at these things and said, but I feel how they are all so delicate, can a high imitation do this? Wang Dust prevaricated, don't you care so much, you see which one you like to wear yourself. If his sister knew that the ring on her hand was worth $25 million, it was estimated that she would be stunned and faint. After thinking about it he added, well, don't overdo it, wear it carefully, don't wear it badly, although it's a high imitation, but it's quite expensive. Wang Luohan baby hugged these clothes in her arms and said, I will be careful even if you don't say so, one piece is so expensive, before we wore clothes that cost tens of dollars a piece. Seeing his sister so happy, Wang Chen also smiled, then he returned to his room and ordered two cups of honey snow milk tea. After thinking about it, he ordered another cup of Naishwe's tea. The Snow King has accompanied me through such a long time of poverty, so I can't just abandon it, but what exactly is the flavor of this high-end milk tea, or should I let my sister taste it? In the following days, Wang Dust lived a boring life. Other than bringing Lu Chang to upgrade. He had nothing else to do. He had stuck his level at 29. It was just a little bit short of level 30. Lu Chang's level was brought up to level 25. This guy awakened a few more skills. But none of them were reliable. And look at his bitter face. It must be that the effects of these few skills were even more perverse than the previous ones. Wang Dust patted Lu Chang's shoulder. Instructing him to look less at those things. Lu Chang said sadly, I tore up all those teachers' portraits and posters that I had previously offered at home and replaced them with Buddha statues and Taoist ancestors, how come they didn't work? On this day, Dust was brushing his cell phone when he saw a message suddenly pop up from the class group. In the photo was Rin Inian who still had a sunny and handsome face. It was like a shining star, glittering. Behind him was a large pile of demonic corpses. Several students in the group were discussing excitedly. Eel has an eel report, have you guys heard? Run Enian has brushed two secret realms in the past few days and his level has already reached the 23rd level. Pissing in the wind, what? 23 levels, the highest level in our class is just over 10 now, right? Spear dipped in shit, poke whoever dies, I heard that on the first day, Run Enian spent a huge amount of money to buy a copy of the Forest of Poisonous Mushrooms, but I don't know who grabbed it first, or else Run Enian would have definitely been level 25 by now. Seeing this Wang Duan froze. It couldn't be such a coincidence, could it? He had accidentally spoiled Run Yin's good deed. This was much more interesting. A smile appeared on Wang Dust's face. Looking at the group clamor, he had no intention of discussing it. Only 25 levels? If it wasn't for the trial tower restrictions. He would have brushed up to level 40 by now. At this time the topic gradually ran to him. Crocodile has a crocodile report that said, what are those students in our class who haven't awakened their professions doing now? Are they all working already? Should we go and take a look at classmate Wang Duan? Is he still in the hospital recovering from his injuries? Poor monk, what's the point of looking at him? It's the right time for leveling, I'm still in the wilderness. I'm still in the wilderness. To put it bluntly, we'll be two classes of people from now on, and we won't be able to have any interactions in this life. The rest of the people were silent for a while at this time, before someone said, that's right, we are all professionals in the future, he doesn't even have a profession, but he's really pitiful. Lonely black fungus, words can't be said like that, we at least are also classmates for a time, there is an opportunity to still be able to help him, look at Rin Inian have not always been helping him? The crowd said here, began to pat Rin Inian's ass again. After discussing for a while, these people's topics gradually began to become skewed. These people began to discuss the civilian schoolgirl of Luo High Second Middle School, Luningning. 
They said that she had been captured in the goblin cave before and was later saved by a mysterious expert. Everyone was speculating about who this mysterious expert was. Since they were talking about the school flower. They inevitably talked about in Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng again. After all, the occupations that these people had awakened were all high-level occupations. The only ones who were able to arm wrestle with Rin Yin Yin. It looks like this year's college entrance exam will be very exciting, and I don't know exactly who will be able to take first place in the trial tower. Some people supported in Xiao Xiao and the others because of their beauty. But there were also people who were 100% firm in their choice of Ren Yin. They thought that Ren Yin would definitely be able to get the first place in the city this year. It wasn't even impossible to get the first place in the province. Lonely Black Fungus, I heard that Luo High Second Middle School's Du Lacy guy isn't weak either, hasn't he awakened the S rank profession Thunder Law King? Isn't he also over level 20 now, and is said to be only a few levels behind Renanian? In the end, everyone's attention was focused on Renanian and Du Lacy. Everyone was speculating on who would come first in the city. However, there were still more people in favor of Renanian. After all, Rin Yurian's family was too good. In such a short period of time, Ren's family had built him a superb silver equipment. It wasn't that it wasn't able to make better ones. It's just that the high school entrance exam limits the highest occupation where to know more than gold level. Wang Dust had thought about whether his armament involved a violation before. But on second thought, his equipment was part of his profession, so there shouldn't be a problem. And in the secret realm, Ren Inian looked at the weather tonight and let out a long breath. He wiped the lance in his hand and said, although the first time I swiped the secret realm there was a bit of a mishap, but fortunately these past few times have gone quite smoothly, and my level has come to 25, so I shouldn't have any problems getting into the Imperial Capital University. At this time, the black-robed man next to him laughed, of course, with your strength, young master, there is absolutely no problem in getting into the Imperial Capital University. That said, that kid doesn't know how he could have such a good luck to be able to have such a heaven-defying profession as the Knight of the Apocalypse. He hadn't even finished speaking. Ron Inyan's face suddenly turned cold. He walked to the man's eyes and said with an icy expression, Remember clearly, the profession of Knight of the Apocalypse originally belongs to me, not to that lowly reptile, I'm just taking back what belongs to me, do you understand? The man trembled and nodded, Young master, I understand, this thing was originally yours. Only after hearing these words did Ren Inyan's brows stretch. The terrifying killing aura on his body was put away. He sat down on the ground and said indifferently, all of you remember this clearly. It was only because of some accident that caused that kid to obtain this occupation, but that accident has now been corrected by me. I'm the one who is qualified to have the horsemen of the apocalypse, and as you all can see now, the current me is a god on high. And that brat is just lying in the hospital languishing, just like his punk parents, he'll probably die before long. Toward the end, an icy smile surfaced on Reninian's face. Originally, I was planning to let him struggle in pain for decades, but my father repeatedly emphasized the need to cut off the roots. Just as well, I want that brat to not see the sun tomorrow. At the hospital where Wang Chen's parents were, a dilapidated van suddenly drove up. Inside sat two men with tattoos and cigarettes in their mouths, looking like gangsters. These two men were the ones who had received notice from the Ren family to secretly execute Wang Chuan and his parents. Taking out folding knives from their arms, the two men extinguished the cigarettes in their hands, opened the car door and headed towards the hospital. That kid should be staying in this hospital, right? Definitely staying in this hospital, a person who relies on an artificial heart to survive and is so seriously injured, he definitely won't be able to get out of the hospital in the short term. The two men talked in low voices as they crossed the corridor. The man with the scarred face whistled at the nurse on duty inside. Only when they arrived at the ward they froze. They realized that there were other patients living inside the ward. The two men took out their photos and compared them. They were sure that it wasn't Wang Chen's parents living inside. That's not right, didn't they say that kid's parents also live here? Did they change wards? The scarred man said in dismay. Whatever, let's go see that kid first. The two men frowned as they arrived at the ward of Wang Dust given on the intelligence and found it empty through the visiting window. They stopped a passing nurse and inquired. 
Only then did the two men realize that Wang Dust had already been discharged from the hospital. How is this possible? How could this kid recover so quickly? What recovered? It must have been discharged because he ran out of money. Scar-faced old Ma retorted. Then how did his mom and dad get transferred to the advanced ward? Eggplant felt that something wasn't right. Why do you care so much? Our mission is to kill and take the money and run. Old Ma touched the scar on his face and was already walking towards the advanced ward. Eggplant knocked out the nurse on duty three times. Old Ma stopped Eggplant's operation to undress the nurse. What time is it? You still care about doing this kind of thing? Hurry up and get in there and do something big. Old Ma shouted. All right, I see that this chick is also quite decent, I didn't hold back for a moment. Eggplant took out the butterfly knife from his hand and shook it in his hand a few times. The two of them then smoothly arrived at Wang Chen's parents' hospital room. There's no mistake, it's that kid's mom and dad living in here, do it. The two of them pushed the door in. Killing two vegetative people was simply not too easy. As long as these two people were settled. They would then go to Wang Chuan's house and take care of Wang Chuan and his crippled sister along with him, and then they could run away. Just thinking about the imminent arrival of two million dollars, the two people were already just about to burst out laughing with excitement. First things first, one million for you, one million for me, first go to the clubhouse to have a good time, I've long had my eye on a chick. Old Ma flung the spring knife in his hand. But before they could get close to the hospital bed, suddenly a shrill sound came from the air. A silver-white mechanical spider violently catapulted out of the darkness and pounced on Old Ma's face, its sharp knobby limbs ruthlessly stabbing into his flesh. Ah, what is this thing? Old Ma instantly let out a miserable scream, and the spring-loaded knife in his hand was thrown away as he began to tear the spider from his face. You don't want to live, be careful of drawing people over. Eggplant was sweating anxiously and also rushed to help Old Ma to yank the spider on his face. You hold back. Worry, what are you doing? Ah. Eggplant exerted his strength and violently tore the spider off. But the blow also brought down a chunk of flesh from Old Ma's face. Eggplant then took the butterfly knife and ruthlessly zapped the mechanical spider to death, throwing it on the ground and stomping it hard a few times. Holy shit, what the hell is this thing? How can there be a demonic creature in this ward? The two thought it was a demonic creature that had accidentally gotten mixed in. Fuck, what a fucking loss. Old Ma covered his face and cursed several times in a vague manner. Just at this time, another intruder tried to rush over. Eggplant's quick eyes and hands killed that intruder directly with a bang. Old Me is at least a level 20 warrior, but I was almost undermined by a tiny demonic creature. Old Ma spat out a mouthful of bloodied saliva and kicked the spider on the ground with his foot. A mechanical race's demonic creature? That's quite rare. Eggplant glanced at the spider on the ground. Forget it, hurry up and finish these two off and go, when have I ever suffered such a loss? Old Ma's eyes flashed with hostility. For fear of another mechanical spider attacking him. Old Ma chose a snakeskin walk. Watch me, alignment, alignment. But he hadn't taken two steps yet. Two sharp and huge knuckles suddenly reached down from the ceiling. With a puffing sound. Instantly running old Ma's body back and forth. Blood splattered on top of the white walls. This, this is? He looked to his chest, and a slurred voice came out of his mouth. Because the alveoli were pierced through. A large amount of blood frothed out of his mouth. Quick cheese, catch my knife. Before dying, old Ma used his last strength to throw the knife in his hand to eggplant. Old Ma ah. Ah. Old Ma ah. Eggplant's entire being collapsed. Because it was so sudden, he didn't react at all. With a face full of fear, he raised his head and looked upwards. Only to see a huge mechanical spider perched on the ceiling at an unknown time, with a level of over 30. The two rows of scarlet red compound eyes flickered with shimmering light in the darkness, like demons. Seeing the eggplant looking towards him. The mechanical spider cracked its mouthpiece and hissed. Fishy wind and mucus with a foul odor sprayed over. Lifting the eggplant's hair and clothes. 
No, don't. The eggplant turned around and tried to escape. Put. Another sharp spider silk shot out. It firmly wrapped around him. Instantly dragging him back. Meanwhile, Wang Chen, who was sleeping at home, opened his eyes violently. He sat up violently and broke out into a cold sweat. Not good. Something happened at the hospital. Wang Chuan opened the window and leapt towards the bottom. In midair, black and gold armor enveloped his entire body, instantly completing his super god armament. Bang! After landing, Wang Chuan instantly turned on mechanical overload and ran furiously towards the hospital. Fortunately, his home was close enough to the hospital. In less than a minute Wang Chuan arrived at the hospital. With a leap, Wang Chuan directly climbed up to the window of the ward where his parents lived. At this time, in the middle of the ward, the old horse was already dead beyond death, and the mechanical spider was chewing on his corpse. And the eggplant that was crushed by fear was wrapped up as if it were a mummy, and its mouth was also wrapped up by the spider's silk to death, hanging above the ceiling. Seeing a mecha suddenly tumble in through the window. The eggplant was even more frightened. A slurred sound even came out of his mouth. After checking that his parents did not have any problems, Wang Chen was relieved. A layer of icy coldness then enveloped his face. Fortunately, he had left a backhand here today. When he was leaving, he felt uneasy and left a mechanical spider here. Letting this mechanical spider utilize its mimicry skills to camouflage itself above the ceiling. Not then the fruits were really unimaginable. Wang Dust signaled the mechanical spider to put this man down. Wang Dust went over and directly choked the eggplant's neck and picked him up, ripping the spider's silk off his mouth as he did so. The eggplant was so scared that he was about to pee. You, who are you? He hadn't figured out until now why there was a 30-something level elite level demonic creature in the ward. Wang Dust disarmed the mechanical armament on his head. After seeing the appearance of the teenager in front of him clearly, Eggplant's eyes rounded. He said incredulously, You, you're Wang Chen. Didn't you waste away long ago? Where did you get this outfit? And this spider? Great shock filled the Eggplant's heart. Before making his move, he had already gotten all of Wang Chen's information clearly. By all rights, the current Wang Dust should be a waste of space who had to gasp for air when he walked. The next moment the eggplant saw Wang Chen's rank, his eyes almost didn't fly out. How is it possible? You're actually level 29. What on earth has happened here? All of a sudden his entire body was confused, and he even wondered if he was dreaming. The shock brought to him by the scene in front of him was just too great. Wang Dust said coldly, where is all the nonsense, it was Rin Inian who sent you, right? I didn't expect that guy to even make a move on my parents. Speaking here, an icy killing aura swept across his eyes. A great anger rolled over in his chest, almost breaking through his sanity. Tonight was that close, his parents were going to suffer. Seeing that the matter was revealed, the eggplant could only threaten, I advise you to hurry up and let me go, or young Master Ren will definitely not let you go after he finds out about this. Wang Chen coldly smiled. He won't let me go when he finds out about this? That should be something I say to him. Moreover, do you really think that Ren Inian is my opponent? Eggplant snapped his eyes round, what do you mean? Young Master Ren's awakening is a knight of the apocalypse, the S rank of S rank professions, so what are you going to do against him? But before his words fell, the super god armament on Wang Chen's body once again lit up with crimson lines, and then his four dimensional attributes began to skyrocket at an unbelievable speed. The constantly soaring values were reflected in the eggplant's terrified eyes. It was as if it was endless. SH, what? This, how is this possible? Your four dimensional attributes actually all have 60,000? The huge shock was like a nuclear bomb exploding in the eggplant's mind, blowing his brain into a blank. The current Rinningian's four dimensional attributes seemed to be just over 10,000, and this was still with a large amount of high level equipment being worn. You, you're the devil. The eggplant felt like he was going crazy. Never in his life had he been so shocked. He even suspected that if the dead old horse knew about this, he might even be able to come back to life from the shock. I'm not a devil, 
I'm just a person who was driven to desperation and happened to meet a god who was driven to desperation. Wang Chen's gaze was cold, as if a dagger in the darkness. To the me that once was, Ren Yinian was very powerful, but now, he's just a prey in my eyes. Behind him unfolded a magnificent gate composed of two mechanical devices. Inside flickered with languid swirls, as if a giant mouth of the abyss. A dense red light lit up inside, along with a low hissing sound. Countless mechanical spiders crowded, scurried, and swayed inside. A terrifying aura swept out. He signaled the spiders to throw in the body of the man from before. This, are these all magical creatures under your control? Eggplant's eyes barely flew out. He had never heard of anyone being able to control thousands of level 20 and 30 magical creatures at level 20 or so in his entire life. Wang Dust took a look at the mechanical portal behind himself as he said softly, Does this scare you? At some point in the future, this will be filled with poisonous dragons from the abyss, griffins from the sky, and giants from the molten lava. Wherever he went at that time, brilliant and sci-fi future buildings and weapons would rise from the ground. Above the domes were magnificent starports, and above the skies were cruising battleships. His billions of mechanical armies would push across any place. Suddenly, Eggplant laughed heartlessly, ah ha ha ha. I guess no one expected that Ren Yinian would create a monster, and the most ridiculous thing is that he still thinks you've been a waste. Ah ha 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 ha. I told you, how can someone who can awaken the s rank profession horseman of the apocalypse be immortal? Remember to tell Ren Yinian that I'm waiting for him in hell. He'll meet you in hell. Wan Dust crushed the eggplant's throat expressionlessly. Throwing the corpse to the spider. Wang Dust then released a large number of intruders and diggers to clean up all the traces of the scene. Restoring everything to its original state. Wang Chen released two more spiders to lurk above the ceiling before he left. On the other hand, Ren Yinian on the other side was late in receiving news of Eggplant and Old Ma's return, which made him very impatient. These two idiots are really accomplishing more than they can accomplish, did they go out to fool around again? Forget it, let's ignore them for now, the college entrance exam is in two days. Ren Yinian told his men to inform him as soon as there was any news. He, on the other hand, grasped the time to start practicing leveling, striving to level up to 25 on the day of the college entrance exam. Soon, a few days rushed by. Wang Dust bought a small villa in a secluded location. The original old house had been lived in for I don't know how long, it was small and broken, and it wasn't a good idea to let his sister live in it all the time. Faced with Wang Luohan's inquiry, Wang Duan said that he rented it. In response, Wang Luohan complained about Wang Duan spending money. He has just earned some money and knows how to spend it. He doesn't know how to save money to get himself a daughter-in-law. On this day, Wang Chen pushed Wang Luohan to her new home. He watched the movers place the things from the old home into the new house one after another. A smile also appeared on his face. Wow, this house is also too big. Brother, it must be quite a lot of money a month for you to rent this house. Wan Luohan looked at this house, his eyes filled with heartache. All right, let the moving company put the furniture for us first, I'll push you around here. The greenery in this neighborhood is quite good. Wang Dust pushed Wang Luohan to stroll around the neighborhood. Wang Luohan was excited, pointing at the flowers for a while, pointing at the grass for a while, chirping and laughing there. While at the villa next to him, a woman saw Wang Chuan and Wang Luohan, and a flash of dislike swept through her eyes. Snap! She violently pulled down the curtains and muttered, What's going on here? How did a pair of cripples move in next to this? The man who was playing with his cell phone said helplessly, You, can't you speak nicely? We're all neighbors, and we'll all be friends later. The woman said, What friends? I don't know where to move in the dirt, I guess it's a rented house want to experience the feeling of people on top of people, it's really annoying. Then don't get into a fight with people, the day after tomorrow Xiao Hai is going to take the college entrance exam, you don't want to affect his sleep. The man shook his head and stopped talking, returning to his bedroom. In the evening Wang Dust went out to buy a bunch of things, intending to visit the nearby neighbors. Wang Luohan volunteered to go by herself. Wang Dust agreed without even thinking about it. Previously, Wang Luohan had always been more introverted, and because of her disabled legs, she had a low self-esteem. 
Seeing Wang Luohan's rare initiative to go by herself today, he readily agreed. But not a moment later, Wang Chen saw Wang Luohan pushing her wheelchair back with her head down, and the bag in her hand was broken. Wang Dust hurriedly walked over quickly. What's going on? Wang Luohan said in an aggrieved manner, the neighbors nearby are very good, they all received the fruits I sent, but the ant next door is very fierce, I just opened the door and she threw the fruits out of my hand, I had to make a lot of effort to pick them back up on the ground. As soon as he heard this, Wang Duan's fire came up directly, he pushed open the door and was going to go to find the person next door to settle the score. Wang Luohan hurriedly pulled him back and said, brother, it's better to do more than less, since this person has a bad attitude, we won't interact with her in the future, don't fight with them, the people who live here are all rich, maybe that person is powerful and influential. Wang Dust frowned and said, no way. This matter absolutely cannot be let go like this. Brother. Wang Luohan didn't let go. All right, all right, brother won't go. Seeing that his sister was very insistent, Wang Chen could only give up. But in his heart, he secretly kept this account. This bastard calf. Wang Chen glanced at the villa next door. It was finally the day of the college entrance exam. Brother, are you really going to take the college entrance exam? I heard that the trial tower is quite dangerous, otherwise let's not go. Wang Luohan pushed her wheelchair out of her house. Wang Duan was carrying his own satchel. Ah, it's fine, just think of it as going to open your eyes, in case your brother gets a number one in the province. Put. Hearing this, Wang Luohan directly laughed out loud. That's good, then you go, brother, I'll wait at home for you to take the test province-wide. Wang Luohan stood at the door and shouted, brother, good luck with your college entrance exam. Hearing this, the window next to him suddenly pulled open, and the woman leaned on the window and shouted, what are you shouting for in the early morning? You're the only one with a big voice, aren't you? Wang Luohan's face turned white and hurriedly shrunk her neck. Wang Dust couldn't hold back the anger in his heart as he walked up quickly. Is my sister in your way? Whose voice is loud? You don't even look at yourself, what are you shouting here like a shrew? The woman was startled by Wang Dust's aura, but she still colored and said, look at you like this and you still got good grades, good grades my ass, do you know my son Wang Hai? He could have awakened an A-rank profession earth magician this year. Are you as good as him? Hearing this, Wang Dust directly both laughed. Wang Luohan, on the other hand, was startled, A-class professional? That's a very powerful person. At this time the man in the house hurriedly pulled over the woman and smiled apologetically at Wang Chuan, I'm sorry, young man, this one in my house just got up in the morning with a bad temper, please forgive me. The woman shouted, what are you pulling me for? Quickly let go, I will go out today to kill this brat. Alright, alright, cut the crap, don't delay your son's college entrance exam today. The man's voice carried a few moments of anger. The woman instantly didn't say anything, just grunted a few times. Not long after, only to see a young man in a punching bag walk out from the house. It was precisely Wang Hai. He froze when he saw Wang Dust, how come it's you? You're also taking the entrance exam today? The woman froze, son, you know him? Wang Hai didn't even think about it and mocked, who doesn't know the sickly kid from our Luo Hai no? One middle school, just the punk I told you about earlier who lives on an artificial heart. It really didn't occur to me that he would have the guts to take the college entrance exams, isn't it purely white for him to enter the trial tower? Ha 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 ha. What? I thought how powerful this kid was, so he's a waste. When the woman heard this, her mood was instantly soothed. He looked at Wang Chen and his eyes were filled with complacency. A lofty look also appeared on his face. Wang Dust looked at the several people with a calm face. Wang Hai gave Wang Dust a thumbs up and down a few times and smiled teasingly before leaving. It's all my fault, brother. Wan Luohan came to Wang Chen's side at this time. His face was filled with self-blame. I don't blame you, sister, wait at home, brother will give you a big surprise. Wang Chuan rubbed his sister's head. He looked at Wang Hai's departing back. Revealing a cold smile. Luo Hai First Middle School. Early in the morning, it was crowded with parents who had sent their children to the college entrance exam. 
There were also many TV reporters around who were responsible for interviews here. Unsurprisingly, today's hot topic was Luo Haino. One middle school's pride of nature, Ren Inian. Countless gazes full of anticipation were gazing into the distance. Not long after, an extended version of the luxury car drove over. The car door opened. The one who got out of the car was the sunny and handsome Ren Inian. The moment they saw Ren Inian appear, the people around them immediately let out cheers of surprise. The reporters even rushed over and started interviewing Ren Yurian, wishing to shove the microphone into his mouth. Faced with so many reporters' interviews, Ren Yini courteously cooperated with them to say a few words. His speech also caused a burst of applause and the sound of countless fangirls cheering. At this moment, all eyes and sights converged on Reninian, who was the center of attention. And such a scene also happened in front of many high schools in Luohai City. In Luohai No. 2 High School, the civilian school Flower Luningning, Lian Yunxi and the others were also being interviewed. Facing the question of whether or not they had suffered any tragic encounters within the Goblin Cave. Lu Ning Ning, Lian Yunqi and the two of them hurriedly denied with blushing faces, saying that absolutely nothing of that sort had happened. This caused the excited light in the eyes of many reporters to dim. As for those excited students, they also lowered their heads one by one, and there seemed to be tears flashing in their eyes. What are you all disappointed about? Lu Ning Ning was about to die of anger. Well, at this time, a blue-haired teenager walked over. It was none other than Luo High Second Middle School's Thunder Dharma King, Du Lei Si. Du Lei Si walked over and instantly attracted all the reporters around Lu Ning Ning. Wow, after practicing these days, Thunder F.A. Wang's level is already as high as level 21, it's really terrifying. May I ask Thunder F.A. Wang if you have any tips when leveling? Do you like to wear your equipment in before entering the various caves? Do you feel more comfortable wearing equipment or not? Do you think it's better to enter a cave faster or slower? Or do you prefer to go in and out? Who do you think will be your strongest competitor in this college entrance examination, Reninian or Emolioli from Luo Haino? One middle school? Or someone like in Xiao Xiao? Facing the reporter's incessant questions, Du Lacy said that he was number one. Brother Dust. Lu Chang ran over at this time, panting and carrying his wand. When he saw Reninian who was surrounded by the crowd he immediately said, Look at this stinking show-off, Brother Dust if it wasn't for the fact that you have been subsidized by Reninian, I would have wanted to say a few words about him, I always feel that he doesn't seem like a good person, Brother Dust you won't be unhappy if I say this, will you? Wang Dust looked at Reninian and calmly said, How could I be unhappy? Lu Chang froze, but Brother Dust didn't you often praise Reninian before? Hey, what's going on? Only then did Wang Dust ask, why did you come to our first middle school? Aren't you in the second middle school? Lu Chang hemmed and hawed and said, didn't I want to find you to form a team? It's not like there are any school restrictions for us to team up. Wang Duan then remembered this. The two just entered the school. Reninian looked at Wang Chuan and a cold light flashed in his eyes. How dare this kid come to take the college entrance exam? He really didn't know how to write the word death. At this time, only a small half of the class had come, the rest had given up their qualifications for the college entrance examination. The class teacher, Chin Sun, saw Wang Chuan coming and hurriedly pulled him out and said, Wang Chuan, how did you get out of the hospital so quickly? Are you all right? Facing Chen Sun's concerned words, Wang Chin smiled, don't worry, class teacher. I was discharged from the hospital a long time ago and even went out to brush up on my grades, wanting to take the college entrance exam to try out. Chin Sun was a bit worried, are you sure you can really do it? You even fainted when you awakened before, it scared me, I went to the hospital to see you later, but the hospital people said that you were discharged a long time ago. Wang Dust said, don't worry, class teacher. Besides, isn't the trial tower free to exit at any time when it encounters danger? I'm not going to tough it out. Only then did Chen Sun agree to let Wang Duan participate, after all, participating in the trial tower was also beneficial to professionals. You must not force yourself. Chen Sun still gave a thousand instructions. Back in the middle of the classroom, the gazes of the crowd towards Wang Chen were full of doubts and incomprehension, and there were even some taunting gazes. 
Wang Chuan this kid really doesn't know what's good for him, what a laugh. How dare he come to take the college entrance exam with this small body? Right, I really don't know what he thinks, can't he just keep his trashy sister? These people's words naturally fell on Wang Chen's ears, but Wang Chen didn't pay any attention to them. This kind of people he was too lazy to have a general understanding with them, of course if he bumped into these people in the middle of the trial tower, he wouldn't mind making a move to teach them a lesson. After all, verbal fights were useless, he never used words to punch his face, but used his fists. Chen Sun on this side also couldn't help but sigh when he saw that only a small half of his class was left. It seems that not many people were able to get into college this year. However, the disappointment couldn't be shown, Chen Sun still said to the crowd with enthusiastic words, congratulations to all the students, those of you who are able to sit here today are those who have confidence in their own strength, next, I'll tell you some precautions. The trial tower has a total of 100 floors, with your strength, brushing up to 20 or 30 floors will basically allow you to get into a good university, those who are able to brush up to 50 floors and above are the best of the best, you must not force yourselves. Everyone was listening with rapt attention, because every word that Chen Sun said next could have a bearing on their grades in the college entrance exams. To say who wasn't listening, it was Rin Inian. He was the son of a big family and had learned more information than these commoners knew. Some of his attention was now focused on Wang Chen. For some reason, he always felt that Wang Chen seemed to have become a little different somewhere. Forget it, a mole cricket is a mole cricket after all, even if it has become different, it is still just a powerful mole cricket. Ren Inian quickly lost interest. And at this time, Chen Sun's conversation came to an end. As your homeroom teacher, on this day, I sincerely hope that all of you will be able to get into a good university, especially Ren Inian, I hope that you will perform well and strive to get into God's capital university. Everyone cheer up, the college entrance exam will start in a while, let's go out and line up first, and prepare to enter the trial tower in a while. Right, when you guys are outside, if you want to form a team, make sure you do so in advance. As Chen Sun had said, the so-called gauntlet was in the form of small teams that stormed the trial tower together, with a minimum of four people and a maximum of six people. Everyone had formed a team in advance during this time. Embarrassment surfaced on Wang Dust's face, during this period of time, he only focused on bringing Lu Chang to upgrade and forgot about this matter. Brother Dust, you won't abandon me later, right? Lu Chang immediately came over blearily. When did I intend to abandon you? My headache right now is that we don't have enough four people together right now. Wang Chuan's dilemma was also quickly discovered by the class, and their gazes at Wang Chuan suddenly became a bit more pitiful. It's so funny that so many people are not willing to team up with the two of them. On the other hand, there were quite a few more people around Renanian. Soon, five powerful professionals had gathered around Renanian all of them being the top students of Luo Haino. One middle school's class. It seems like they all discussed this in advance, it's worthy of being Rini and Yana, such a luxurious lineup must be able to reach above the 50th floor, it's really enviable. The crowd could not help but let out a sigh when they saw this. But just at this time, a beautiful figure suddenly appeared outside. She attracted the gazes of countless boys upon her arrival. What a pretty girl, isn't she Luo High Second Middle School's great beauty Emolioli? The Emo family's eldest miss, an A-ranked professional. Emolioli was also the goddess in the hearts of countless boys, seeing Emolioli arrive, countless boys' eyes went straight. What is she doing in our school, she's not here to find Renini and to form a team, right? Seeing Emolioli arrive, the first thing everyone thought was that she had come to find Renini and to form a team. Ren Yin smiled faintly and was about to refuse when he saw Mo Liuli run past him without even a single stop. This made Ren Yin's outstretched hand a little awkward. Only to see that amidst the shocked gazes of the crowd, Mo Liuli excitedly ran in front of Wang Chuan and shouted, Wang Chuan are you not enough of a team, count me in, count me in, I want to join your team. Hearing these words from Mo Liuli, the crowd was struck by lightning and their eyes almost flew out. Holy shit, did I hear it right? Goddess Mo is actually going to be on a team with this kid? Am I dreaming? What kind of luck did this kid have? Surprisingly, he was able to obtain Goddess Mo's favor. The crowd cried out in a frenzy of ghosts and wolves, all feeling like they were going crazy. They couldn't figure out exactly why even after thinking their heads off. Ron Inian also looked at Wang Chen with an incredulous face. What on earth was going on here? 
What kind of nerves was this woman having? His face then became a bit ugly. Not to mention him, even Chen Sun, who was in the lecture hall, also had a shocked look on his face. This, this, this. He similarly didn't figure out what was going on. Wang Chen on this side readily agreed, he was currently short of people. But right now, there was still one person missing. A minimum of four people were needed. And the reason there was a minimum number of people in the Gaoshue was to ensure that everyone was a team player. Being a lone wolf wouldn't work. And just at this time, another noise suddenly came from outside, along with the sounds of many people being surprised. Wait a minute, it seems like someone is coming outside again. The crowd looked towards the outside in unison and realized that two more stunningly beautiful figures had come outside. Isn't this in Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng? The crowd present might not even recognize all the demons, but they were as familiar with the schoolgirls of each school. Wait, they won't be going. As well. Everyone swallowed their saliva for a moment as this extremely absurd idea surfaced in their minds. No way no way, if this is true, I'll eat the table right now. Someone bet undyingly. But the next moment, they saw An Xiao Xiao pulling the extremely reluctantly Meng Meng over. And Xiao Xiao said to Wang Duan, Wang Duan, is your team not full yet? The two of us are ready to team up with you. Ka ka ka. It was as if there was the sound of something breaking in the air, and it was the sound of everyone's hearts breaking. Geez, does it make any sense? Why would even the school flower want to join Wang Chen's team? What exactly is so good about this kid? Someone took out a mirror to take a closer look at himself. Is it hard to believe that he is too ugly? Well, it seems to be true, one's looks are really ugly, damn it. This person directly shattered the mirror in his hand on the ground. It went up again and stomped a few feet desperately. Li Meng Meng was still complaining, can't we just go find that bull warrior to team up with? He's so powerful, why do we have to find this kid? And Xiao Xiao laughed, anyway, the two of us are already strong enough to get into a prestigious university without any problems at all, so let's bring Wang Duan, it's kind of a favor to help him out. Li Meng Meng helplessly said, alright, alright, it can only be like this, this young lady really had a bad luck, looking at a good bosom friend like you. But she was just playing lip service. At this time, Wang Chen's squad was completely formed. Four peerless beauties paired with a peerless handsome man, plus an immodest fatty. The crowd was ready to ask Chen Sun if there was any justice in this, only to find that Chen Sun, who was standing on the podium, had disappeared. The crowd took a look and it turned out that Chen Sun had sat on his butt on the ground at some point. Teacher are you alright? They hurriedly helped Chen Sun up. Chen Sun's face turned pale and said, Don't say you guys think there's no heavenly reason, I think there's no heavenly reason, damn, how come there weren't so many beautiful women teaming up with me back when I took the college entrance exam? The gazes of all the men present were itching to kill Wang Chen by a thousand cuts. Interesting, this guy. Ron Inian gave Wang Dust an icy cold look. A girl with fiery red hair next to Ron Inian laughed contemptuously, just in time, originally our biggest competitors were guys like An Xiao Xiao and Mo Liili, now that they have this waste of a man like Zhou Chen dragging their feet, their points will definitely be lower than ours. Cheng Shan Chan is right, this leaves us with a few competitors like Du Lei Si and the others from Luo High Second Middle School. Another teenager wearing silver battle armor also smiled coldly, his eyes filled with contempt. Although the trial tower group points were not divided equally, they were given according to contribution. But as long as a waste like Wang Chen existed, it more or less reduced in Xiao Zhao's and Li Meng Meng's points, causing some impact on their results. It wasn't big, but between experts, one point could be a chasm. Let's go. Ren Inian greeted his five companions and left the place. At this moment, all the students who had formed a team arrived above the square of Luo Hai First Middle School. And here, they saw a magnificent giant tower that stood between heaven and earth, with an unknown number of floors that went up to the clouds. Around this giant tower stood quite a few guards, and there were many teachers who were busy. This giant tower was none other than the trial tower. Is this the trial tower? It's really imposing. Lu Chang's eyes were glowing. Li Meng Meng, on the other hand, looked at the piles of students around and said, I wonder who that bull warrior really is? After looking at so many people, it doesn't feel like one. 
Mo Lioli didn't say anything. If you feel that others are like that, then it's a ghost. The real bull warrior is right next to you. And Xia Xia said to Wang Chen, when you enter the trial tower later, you will walk in the middle of the team, we will protect you, you must not try to be brave, after you save enough points, you will take the initiative to leave the team. In the face of An Xiao Xiao's words of concern, Wang Chen's heart warmed as he smiled, don't worry, I definitely won't drag you guys down. Li Meng Meng said conspiratorially at this time, is that so? That's not necessarily true, if you accidentally get hurt, Xiao Xiao will be heartbroken. And Xiao Xiao's face turned red and she gave Li Meng Meng a glance. Li Meng Meng spat out her tongue and stopped talking. Soon, after all the students were gathered and the headcount was done. This big exam that everyone was watching was finally going to start. The mayor of Luohai City, as well as the top management of the education sector and the principal, all came and sat on the podium. Seeing all these bigwigs come, the students who were originally giggling in the playground also stopped talking and looked intently at the high platform above. Principal Lu Qian stood up and coughed aloud, this year's college entrance exams will soon begin, regarding the precautions of the trial tower, I believe that the teachers have already spoken to you all, so I won't repeat them to you again. Then let's make it short and sweet, I'll wish each and every one of you to excel in your exams and be able to attend your ideal university. As soon as these words came out, the students immediately began to applaud desperately, they were really afraid that Lu Qian would give another hour-long speech that would wear out all their enthusiasm. However, Lu Qian still uneasily instructed, regardless of the results, everyone should put their own lives first, never push yourself, once you realize that you can't beat them after that you should immediately quit, don't try to be strong. Does everyone understand? The crowd immediately shouted, don't worry, principal, we all understand. Lu Tian nodded his head, then he signaled a few of the higher-ups of the Education Bureau to stand up, and together they shouted, We now announce that this year's college entrance examination in Luohai City, it has officially begun. Accompanied by some official professionals activating the devices in their hands, the gigantic trial tower violently emitted a fierce white light. A mighty pressure that could not be put into words descended upon the entire world. The teleportation talismans carried on the wrists of all the students lit up with a white glow. The teleportation has begun, brother dust, I'm so excited. Lu Chang held his magic wand and was as excited as a 200-pound child. Just as I said before, everyone take a deep breath. And Xiao Xiao also took out her magic staff, and light flickered on several of them as their respective equipment all appeared. Along with a ray of light falling, all the students present were all teleported away. The huge square became empty in the blink of an eye. Let's hope that this year's college entrance exam can give us some unexpected joy, our Luo Haino. One middle school's results in the province have been unsatisfactory these past few years. Principal Lu Qian sighed. Didn't your school produce a talent like Rin Inian this year? Perhaps this year's results are expected to improve a bit from previous years. The top management of the Education Bureau said smilingly, full of expectations. And a hovering virtual screen appeared in front of them. All of the teachers were able to watch the entire scene inside the trial tower, except that everyone still had the surrounding staff adjust to Inian and the others. The trial tower was extremely vast. The first layer alone was as wide as 10,000 kilometers. Coupled with the fact that it was a randomized teleportation, the likelihood of each squad encountering it was low, but not non-existent. The entrance exam also did not explicitly prohibit teams from striking out at each other, which was also considered part of the trial. It was just that people usually didn't strike out, as they were all thinking of brushing more magic items and raising their points, and they wouldn't do these out of the blue things. Renning and six people appeared in the middle of a grassland, and as soon as they appeared, they immediately set up a formation. Ranian took the lead, Cheng Shanshan walked in the middle with her magic staff, as for Yi Tian who wore silver armor, he guarded the tail of the team to deal with unexpected events. As expected of Ranian who was the proud son of the sky, I guess he must have brushed many copies these days and accumulated a lot of practical experience, being able to immediately unfold the formation after the teleportation is finished. Appreciation flashed in the eyes of many teachers. It's just that this year, I don't know what's going on, but in Xiao Xiao, who is also an S-ranked profession, even chose to team up with this brat Wang Chen. Someone saw in Xiao Xiao's team. They also quickly spread out their formation. At In Xiao Zhao's request, Wang Duan and Lu Chang walked in the very center, 
protected by a few sisters, a scene that was more or less odd. Wang Dust didn't care, he would step in at the critical moment. He had the confidence to bring everyone up to the 50th floor and upwards, or even the 80th floor and upwards, of course brushing through the levels was also possible. All in all, one sentence. His goal was to make everyone inside the team take God's capital university. Without walking for a while, they had already met a lot of magical creatures, all of which were disgusting creatures like kobolds. Before Amolioli's eyes could flash with excitement, and Xiao Xiao threw a fireball and smashed it over, wiping out all these disgusting creatures. Seize the time, we need to brush more magical creatures and then rush to the second level. And Xiao Xiao led Wang Duan and the others to brush the magical creatures without stopping. However, because of the points being split between Wang Dust and Lu Chang, and Xiao Xiao's ranking wasn't as far ahead as it was at the beginning, and the gap was still slowly being widened. Sure enough it's still being dragged down? It's a pity that such a good career, which would have had hopes of impacting the Imperial Capital University as well. A look of heartache flashed in Principal Lu Qian's eyes. And Xiao Xiao now also realized this problem. Li Meng Meng urged, Xiao Xiao, we can't drag this out any longer, hurry up and make a move to lure more monsters over. She had long prepared a scented capsule. Could this be the legendary monster attracting bomb? Mo Lioli's eyes lit up fiercely. This was also considered an unavailable prop. It was a kind of magic prop that could only be made with the body of a musk beast, and the fragrance emitted could drastically attract magical creatures for dozens of miles around. The magical creatures here are all around level 5 to level 8, we are able to handle them all, even if we cause a large-scale beast tide, it will be fine. Li Meng Meng was very confident, she took the scented pouch in her hand and shook it, a nice scent suddenly dispersed in all directions along the wind. Roar Dash Monsters began to roar continuously around them, only to see a jackal monster running over, and many kobolds riding jackals. The goblin riders are all here, Xiao Xiao hurry up and make a move. Li Meng Meng gave the crowd a buff. Countless golden white feathers surfaced on the crowd. And Xiao Xiao wasn't ambiguous either and directly raised her magic staff high. Countless flaming meteors in the air smashed down hard, emitting a loud trembling sound and wiping out all of these goblins. Emolioli also took out her magic staff, releasing countless ice spikes that ruthlessly penetrated the bodies of these goblins. Just like that, their team's points began to surge by leaps and bounds, instantly rushing to the top few. At this time in the other direction of the first floor. A teenager with blue currents draped around his body was frantically attacking the surrounding magical creatures. This person was none other than Dule C. The countless channels of lightning were like whips, whipping the ground into a mess and leaving behind gullies. Roar roar roar. Countless kobolds were knocked over and turned into charcoal on the spot. In front of him was a teenager with thick skin and flesh, holding the longsword in his hand high and casting taunt-type skills to gather the monsters around him. Fantastic, with Pingon Lee, a knight with taunt-type skills, brushing monsters is simply not too easy. Not to mention that I even brought two rechargeables with me this time, the first place in the college entrance exam must be mine this time. Dulacy was full of confidence, and behind him there were two young girls holding magic staffs, constantly replenishing Dulacy's magic power in various buffs. Wherever they passed, countless magical creatures were killed, and their points skyrocketed. And in another more desolate place. Lu Ning Ning and their team looked at the distant kobolds with a fearful glow sweeping across their faces, as if some bad memories had surfaced. These kobolds are just too scary, I'm scared. Lian Yunqi's face turned white. Lu Ning Ning said, it's fine, these kobolds are all low-level kobolds, not to mention that we've now increased our level by an unknown amount compared to that time, so get out of the way. The two of them were at least A-class professionals. The team was also full of A-ranked professionals. The six of them struck out and cooperated with each other, quickly clearing out the nearby goblins. The first layer of monsters didn't cause any major trouble for the many students. Everyone basically rushed to the second floor in a hurry after clearing out the monsters on the first floor. There were hundreds of passages to the second level. The teleportation talismans on their bodies would also show the entrances to the second level nearby. The closest entrance to the second tier is behind a distant hill, let's hurry up and rush to the second tier, the magical creatures on the first tier are too low level and give less points. And Xiao Xiao immediately made a decision. They also headed to the second layer. 
The second layer was a huge forest. And Xiao Xiao and the girl startled the surrounding magical creatures as soon as they appeared on the second level. It was fortunate that Li Mengmeng released her shock and awe skill, which briefly attracted the attention of these demons. And Xiao Xiao and Emo Lioli, on the other hand, seized the opportunity to cast various skills and hit them, temporarily repelling these demons. Right at this moment, the surrounding trees suddenly opened their scarlet eyes and pulled out huge roots from the soil, waving their branches and leaves as they rumbled over. The main magical creatures of the second level were surprisingly these twisted tree spirits. You guys can serve your magic first, I'll take the top first. Emo Lioli took the lead. It's better to let me do it, my flame magic has a restraining effect on them, I'll rest later. And Xiao Xiao continued to strike after drinking some recovery potion, she didn't consume too much magic power under Li Meng Meng's increased class magic. They pushed along like this and soon arrived at the third floor. Currently, Ran Yin's team was still far ahead in terms of points. The teachers outside who were constantly watching the changes in the battlefield had their brows furrowed and their faces were grave. Li Meng Meng, this little girl has taken out a killer weapon like the monster attracting scent capsule from the first floor, it seems that they have long anticipated the unfavorable situation where they would fall behind in points at the beginning, only that they have consumed the killer weapon in advance like this, the further the situation goes, the more unfavorable it will be ah. After analyzing the situation, Principal Lu Qian felt some emotions in his heart. This was something that could not be helped, after all, this was also in Xiao Zhao's own choice. This girl was a little too kind-hearted, willing to sacrifice her precious opportunity to get into a prestigious university for the sake of a drag queen. Chen Sun sighed. This kind of favor Wang Chuan might not be able to repay in a lifetime. Alas, what a pity, if this little girl and Xiao Xiao had teamed up well, she might have really had hopes of competing with Ren Yinian. Yeah, what a pity, maybe this is the feelings between young people, we don't understand. While the teachers were sighing. The faces of the Yin family's senior members were also as dark as the bottom of a pot. And Hua Jie, what's wrong with your daughter? Didn't you find a good team member for her? Why did you change your mind temporarily? And family head in Chang was almost about to lift the table. And Hua Jie's face was filled with bitterness as he said, Family head I don't know, I said goodbye to my daughter, who knew that she chose this brat today. But he immediately added, Xiao Xiao this is not the only one either, can't you see that little girl from the Mo family, and that little girl from the Li family, aren't they also with that brat? They are them, we are us, what exactly is so special about this brat that he was able to get these three girls to team up with him? And family head, and Shang, stared at Wang Chuan dead on, wanting to see something special from Wang Chuan's face. But no matter how he looked he could see two big words from Wang Chuan's face, which were trash. Damn, really pissed off old me. And Chung directly lifted the table. And such a scene also happened among the Li family and the Mo family. Is there any mistake? What was she thinking about Meng Meng? Li Nua, the oldest ancestor of the Li family, similarly flipped the table over. Li Meng Meng was one of the Li family's most talented this year, and he had pinned great hopes on her, who knew that she had given him such a big surprise during the college entrance exam. In the middle of the Mo family. Bang! A sandalwood table flew out violently, smashing the window. Are you still playing or not? Mo Wenba, hurry up and give me an explanation, look at what you've spoiled your daughter into. Mo Hongwei's eyes were bloodshot with anger. Mo Wenba wiped a handful of sweat and said, Dad, you're still talking about me, talking as if you don't usually spoil Lioli. Ha? Huh? Still dare to talk back? Mo Hongwei directly rolled up his sleeves revealing the rock-like muscles on his body and gave Mo Wenba a beating. Ah, 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 I'm sorry dad, I'm wrong, I shouldn't have talked back, it's me who spoiled my daughter, it's me who spoiled Lioli. Mo Wenba's miserable screams resounded throughout the entire Mo family. At this time, three hours had passed since the start of the college entrance exam. Most of the teams had rushed to over 10 levels. The level of the monsters here had already come to around 10 levels. Many teams were already under pressure and chose to start resting. They also wouldn't be so blatant in luring monsters over. And Xiao Xiao and the girls were similarly resting in place. At this time, and Xiao Xiao's face was red, she was panting, and her hair in front of her forehead was wet with sweat. It looked very cute. It's really exhausting. 
Li Meng Meng, on the other hand, drank the water in her hand and wiped her sweat. Mo Liuli, on the other hand, looked at Wang Chen and blinked. Signaling him with her eyes, when exactly is he going to make a move? Wang Dust spread his hands to indicate that In Xiao Xiao didn't give them the chance to make a move at all, protecting him too well. For the first time, he felt that eating soft food was actually such a joy. Our team's points are now ranked third, okay. And Xiao Xiao looked at the information on the teleportation talisman in her hand, and her face eased slightly. The first place was Renanian, the second place was Thunderbolt Dharma King Du Lacy's team, and the third place was them. It's only been three hours, the further we go, the wider the gap between us might be. Li Mingming's face was a bit melancholy, and she couldn't help but glance at Wang Chen. Feeling Li Mingming's somewhat melancholy gaze, Wang Dust was also somewhat unable to cry or laugh. This girl, Li Meng Meng, was also quite good-hearted, although she disliked him very much, she still teamed up with him, and she didn't protect him on the way. From this, one could see Li Meng Meng's character. If she really disliked herself, she would never have teamed up with In Xiao Xiao. Seeing that both of them had been tired for so long, Wang Chen said, you two take a break, leave the rest to me. Hearing this, In Xiao Xiao, who was eating an energy bar, froze. Li Meng Meng was also surprised as she looked at Wang Chen. Both of them were stunned at Wang Chen's words. They were now on the 12th floor. The level of the monsters was a full 11 levels. Li Meng Meng didn't even dare to take out the monster attracting incense sachet. She was afraid that there would be too many monsters lured for them to handle. You think you're a bull warrior? Li Meng Meng compared her hands to a six and compared two bull horns on her head. And Xiao Xiao also laughed, Wang Dust, I know you want to contribute. But this is not the time for you to show off, it's better to follow behind us properly. Don't look at the fact that it was only the 10th floor, there were already many students out. With Wang Chuan's strength it was estimated that he couldn't even beat any of the monsters here. Wang Dust was about to say something when a loud and clear eagle cry suddenly came from the sky. Not good. There are demons coming. And Xiao Xiao and the others looked up violently. They only saw many eagle-bodied female demons appear in the sky. These demons had the bodies of human females, but their arms were in the shape of eagle wings, their eyes were blood-red, and they were emitting a loud and clear eagle cry. This was a relatively difficult demonic creature. Able to send out all kinds of sound waves that interfered with people's minds, especially for magicians, it had a great restraining effect. This was because many of the spells cast by magicians needed to be chanted with full concentration. This is bad, this year's high school exams are surprisingly so difficult, the eagle-bodied demonesses started appearing at more than 10 levels. Li Mingming's face went violently white. Lu Chang, on the other hand, looked at these eagle-bodied demonesses and said, Holy shit, don't you say, these eagle-bodied demonesses are quite pretty. Emolioli said breathlessly, No way, dead fatso, can you even punch this? This is a demonic creature, can't you see that it doesn't even have arms, those are eagle wings. Lu Chang hemmed and hawed, isn't that more exciting? Mo Liuli gave a thumbs up indicating that you're good, I'm not talking to you anymore. And Xiao Xiao said, now is not the time to be poor, hurry up and find a place to hide first, don't get into a head-on conflict with these demons. We don't want these points, or else we will fight with them in a while to draw more eagle demons over, then it will not be easy to deal with. These demons flew extremely fast in the air, and magic wasn't always able to hit them. There was also the possibility of attracting other demons if they were casting large-scale magic. And the input and output were not proportional. Therefore, when encountering this kind of magical creature, many teams would choose to avoid it. Just at this time Lu Chang suddenly said, Ugh, wait, all my magic is group casting, so you can let me try. Li Meng Meng froze. What's the point of you, a milkmaid, casting spells with a wide range? What kind of attack magic can you put up? Only to see Lu Chang swinging forward with his magic staff, several auras slammed over, the very skills of healing aura, water healing aura, and spiritual exuberance. Subsequently, amidst their unbelievable gazes, these hot-bodied demonesses that were originally chasing them suddenly began to become hyperactive, letting out loud shrill cries in the air. Then two by two hugged each other and fell from the sky. Holy shit, this is okay, you kid can do it. Li Meng Meng directly rounded her eyes when she saw this scene, but her pretty face reddened. 
because what these demonesses did was just a bit impossible to look at. Look at me. The magic staff in Xiao Zhao's hand burned with crimson flames, emitting bursts of sound. One by one, the hawk-bodied banshees that landed on the ground in the distance were all enveloped by the flames, and in the blink of an eye, they were wiped out. Lu Chang scratched his head and laughed out loud, I told you, I was born to be useful. Who would have thought that his wide-range magic would have a restraining effect on this kind of magical creatures? At this time, because the commotion on this side was too big, the surrounding eagle demons that could not find a target all converged towards Lu Chang and the others. Go! Mo Lioli pushed Lu Chang. Lu Chang once again threw a bunch of skills over, knocking down these banshees one after another. The three girls then cast attack magic and killed all of these eagle banshees. Just as the girls were fighting in a frenzy. Outside, the teachers and the executives of the education bureau were watching in disbelief. Holy shit, what's with this kid's skills? Is he a mutated nurse? Why are the skills so strange? Principal Lu Qian directly exploded. A high-ranking member of the education bureau on the side hesitated for a moment and suddenly said, So what, when the college entrance exams are over, you invite this little fat guy over, I have some things to talk to him about, as you know, I've recently gotten older, and I'm a bit in that area. When these words came out, the eyes of the rest of the male teachers lit up. Lu Qian. What are you showing this expression to look at us for? making it look like your wife doesn't complain about you. The crowd looked at Lu Qian. Lu Qian raised his hand at this time and said, that's fine, count me in as well. But this little fatty can indeed be focused on cultivating, I believe there are many academies that would be interested in this little fatty's career. Right, I also think it's promising, there's unlimited potential in this aspect of solving male pain points. These teachers began to discuss how Lu Chang's career was suitable for the future. Shenson suddenly said at this time, but with them clearing out the eagle demoness on such a large scale, I'm afraid that something is going to happen if they head to the next level, have you guys forgotten about the setting of this entrance exam? The faces of the teachers changed, oh no, how did we forget about this? At this time within the trial tower, the surrounding hawk demons had already been cleared out. And Xiao Xiao and her team's points had once surpassed Thunderbolt Dharma King Du Lacy, second only to Renin Lu Chang, you've gotten a lot of credit for this. Mo Lioli patted Lu Chang whose face was pale. Lu Chang coughed, his voice hoarse, All right, all right, don't praise me, I can't do it anymore, let me take a break, these skills just now drained my magic power. Then let's take a break and rush towards the entrance of the 13th floor. And Xiao Xiao's sight had just made a decision when she only heard another eagle cry in the distance that was even more violent than before. Hmm, what's going on? There's also the sound of an eagle demoness? Li Meng Meng raised her head in surprise. And Xiao Xiao's face, however, changed violently as she panicked. No, this isn't the eagle body demoness, this is the eagle body queen's voice. The eagle bodied queen is the commander of the eagle bodied banshees and is considered a mini boss. Eagle bodied queen? Emo Lioli was also startled. Only to see a black shadow unexpectedly flying rapidly in the sky followed by a swarm of eagle-bodied female demons. The number was said to be dozens. In front of that black shadow's height was more than three meters tall, a giant hawk-bodied female demon with a garland on its head. Only its aura was several times more berserk than the hawk-bodied banshees, and its level was a full 15. The hawk-bodied queen let out a shrill chirp when it was far away from an Xiao Xiao and the girls, and a circle of white sound waves swept over them. Ah! Li Meng Meng and the others instantly covered their ears in pain. The Eagle Queen was extremely intelligent, and after detecting that in Xiao Xiao and the others were magicians, she was the first to interfere with them with sound wave type magic. It was fine that Wang Chen wasn't a magician, and he was now physically superior, so these interfering types of magic couldn't affect him at all. After a while, he was the only one left standing around. Outside, a teacher couldn't help but stand up and shouted, The Eagle Queen is really here. Originally, this gauntlet setting is relatively difficult, if a large-scale clearing of Eagle Banshees is possible to touch the small boss here. If a small team has a melee class profession like a knight, swordsman or warrior amongst their ranks, they can block the sonic attack by slightly placing a few defensive skills. This was because the Eagle Queen's sonic attack didn't have much effect on these melee class professions. But in Xiao Xiao's and their team all consisted of magicians, 
which has exposed their weaknesses to this eagle queen. One could only say that in Xiao Xiao's girl's luck was just too bad. This instantly lifted the hearts of all the teachers. Although it was impossible for the eagle-bodied queen to defeat in Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng and the girls, it would also drastically delay them. So the only one to blame was Wang Dust for dragging the entire team down. This kid, damn it, when he comes out I'll definitely pack him hard. Some teachers had already started to fight and rolled up the sleeves on their arms. At this time on the 12th floor, and Xiao Xiao held herself up and shouted, Wang Chuan you get down, you'll easily be attacked by them if you stand here. Li Meng Meng got high on a mouthful of potion and forced herself to calm down, then endured the immense pain and released a simple magic that enveloped the crowd. This instantly the sound waves were cut off quite a bit, and in Xiao Xiao and the others breathed a slight sigh of relief. But the next moment, the Hawk Queen swooped down with a great number of Hawk Banshees. Bang bang bang, countless attacks landed on the defense magic. The golden magic light shield was immediately shaken with countless ripples and was about to shatter. Not good. And Xiao Xiao's face turned white as she reached for her magic staff to cast magic, but the Eagle Queen saw the right moment and let out a shrill cry once again. She instantly crouched on the ground again holding her head in pain, and it had to be said that the Eagle Queen's restraint on magicians was just too great. Otherwise there would be a random melee class occupation guarding them. The Eagle Queen wouldn't dare to launch an attack with impunity. Because the Eagle Queen's defense is very low, slightly take a sword will lose half of its life. In the middle of the Yin family, the crowd saw this scene. A flame rubbed up on Encheng's head directly as he roared, and Hua Jie, if Xiao Xiao is eliminated at the 12th floor, then our Yin family's face has been disgraced. And Hua Jie was sweating profusely, Dad, I didn't know it would be like this. Who knew that there would be monsters like the Eagle Banshee on the 12th floor this year, and Xiao Xiao's grouping of them is too unreasonable, it's all because of that brat. Ah 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 ah, what a pissed off old man. And Cheng blew his beard and eyes out, directly lifting the table out once again. Bang! The glass of Anne's house shattered, and a table that had just been set up flew out once again, smashing heavily into the middle of the street. The pedestrians on the road were startled. At this time, in the middle of the Li family and M.O. family. The Li family's old ancestor, Li Nua, was also yelling, Is there any mistake? Those few old friends of mine are calling me, my phone is almost blown up, I don't even dare to answer it, I can't wait to crash my head into the ground right now. M.O. Hongwei was also hissing, M.O. Wenba do you want to die? This is what you said you could easily brush up to the 30th floor even if you bring along a liability, this can't be beaten by the 12th floor, how can you play at the back? He choked M.O. Wenba's neck, a burst of frantic shaking, and looked like he was about to break M.O. Wenba's breath by choking him. Ah, dad, you, you calm down, I, I'm going to GA dash. Ah, 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 really pissed off old man. Bang. Bang. Among the M.O. and Lee families, the two new tables once again drew a beautiful parabola in the air and landed in the middle of the street. At this time, the pedestrians outside were all speechless, what's going on today? Is it popular to throw tables? Everyone was not in the mood to look at Renin Ian, they were all staring at In Xiao Xiao and the girls. They are all staring at In Xiao Xiao and the girls. They are afraid that they will have any accidents. Principal Lu Qian was even more anxious and scratching his head. And Xiao Xiao was a student he had high hopes for, and would have been able to get into a prestigious university. But now he saw that even the famous universities were in jeopardy, not to mention the Imperial Capital University. Bang bang bang! Along with the Eagle Queen launching her final attack, the shield that Li Meng Meng had set up finally shattered, turning into countless glass-like fragments that scattered in the air and disappeared. It's over! Everyone didn't dare to look, some even closed their eyes. However, Emma Lioli and Lu Chang looked at Wang Chen. Big brother, aren't you going to make a move yet? How long are you going to pretend to be a pussy? It's not fashionable to play the trick of pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger anymore. Wang Dust smiled awkwardly. The problem is that you guys are all looking at death as if you were dying and being generous, and you didn't give me a chance to make a move ah. What do you mean? Li Meng Meng and An Xiao Xiao froze. Only to see Wang Chen walk to the front of their team with a calm face. He raised his head and looked at the vast swath of hawk-bodied female demons in the middle of the sky. They were making raucous cries in the air. 
The eagle-bodied queen was ready to launch another swooping attack with her countless minions. Wang Duan, don't you want to die, quickly back off. And Xiao Xiao was so anxious that tears were coming out of her eyes. What was Wang Chuan doing? Li Mengmang was also shocked beyond belief. At this time, the teachers in the stands outside couldn't sit still. Is this kid crazy? Does it mean that he's going to send himself to his death? Hurry up and contact the official professionals. Once things don't go right, force this kid to teleport back. The college entrance examination was something that absolutely did not allow for human lives. The three great families, on the other hand, shouted out in unison, this kid is quite ballsy, how dare he come forward at the last minute. But having guts doesn't change the ending. Nico. The hawk queen in the air let out a shrill cry. Then the black pressurized group of hawk-bodied demons directly swooped over, like a cloud of thunderstorms. Seeing Wang Dust standing in front of him, Lu Chang, who was lying on the ground, could not help but give a thumbs up. Worthy of being my brother Dust, even at this point in time, he's still so capable of pretending, why didn't I realize he was so capable of pretending before? Mo Lioli and him looked at each other and smiled. Both of them revealed a look of recognition. Nico. The Eagle Queen had swooped down with her Eagle Banshee. Facing the attack of so many demons. Many teachers outside the field had already put on their equipment and their bodies lit up, ready to teleport in to save the day. There were also teachers who were ready to activate the teleportation talisman on Wang Chen at the critical moment and teleport him out. It was considered a two-handed preparation to ensure that the candidate's safety was foolproof. Among the M.O. family, M.O. Wenba rolled his eyes and glanced at the TV next to him with his gaze, if no more miracles happened, he was going to be strangled alive. The remaining two family heads had already placed their hands on the table that had just been newly set up. Poised to throw. Rumble. The fierce wind brought about by the eagle-bodied demoness stirring her wings blew the corners of Wang Chen's clothes and the broken hair on his forehead. Facing the hawk demoness who was getting closer and closer. Wang Dust smiled calmly. Illusory transparent parts surfaced on his arms, instantly coalescing and transforming into black and gold armor. Buzz. The circular-shaped parts in his palms rotated crazily, accompanied by a loud sound of energy gathering, and all the surrounding energy seemed to surge wildly towards his body. A furious light also lit up between his palms. By this time, the Eagle Queen had already brought the Eagle Banshee closer to Wang Chuan than she could be. Wang Dust was already able to clearly see every feather on these demons and the hideous expressions on their faces. It was also at this instant. Wang Chuan's palms instantly spewed out huge columns of energy light. Boom! The heaven and earth were eclipsed. The air seemed to darken violently, and the only thing in everyone's eyes on the field were these two pillars of energy light that were bright to the extreme. A huge gale struck. Under the powerful shockwave, the ground that Wang Chen stood on with his feet instantly crumbled. After his chest armor was inlaid with the High Priest's Imperial Magic Stone to obtain the Magic Core Reactor, his palm cannon's ability had also gained a substantial increase. The bee venom rays and antacid rays horrors were manifested at this moment. Neither could be called rays, but rather energy cannons. These flying eagle demonesses and eagle queens had extremely frightened expressions on their faces, and then wanted to turn their bodies to escape, but it was simply too late. Their figures were instantly engulfed by the light pillars, and then they flew away in the bright light. Along with the rotation of the mechanical ring between Wang Chen's palms slowed down. The bright light inside was also gradually extinguished, turning into wisps of green smoke that dispersed out in all directions. And the original crowed eagle-bodied female demon in the distance had completely disappeared at this moment, only a few pieces of burnt feathers swirled and fell from the air. Silence. The air is dead silence. Whether inside or outside the trial tower. Everyone who saw this scene had their mouths wide open, shock written all over their eyes. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng looked at Wang Chen dumbfounded, their mouths so wide open that they could have stuffed down an egg. They had never been so shocked in their lives. This, this armor is? And Xiao Xiao looked at Wang Chen's mechanically armored arms, and waves of shock rose within her. The two figures in her mind gradually overlapped. An absurd thought swelled uncontrollably in her heart. 
Li Mengmeng similarly stared deathly at Wang Chen as she muttered, I said how could the two of them look so much alike, but how is this possible? Li Mengmeng had never dreamed that Wang Duan was actually the ox warrior. The shock this caused her was no less than dropping a nuclear bomb in her head. Right now, her entire body was in a state of extreme confusion. Her mind was even more blank. But the reality was just like that. It left her somewhat breathless. Feeling like her brain was about to explode. Outside, the teachers and senior management of the Education Bureau, who were originally in pain, were all in a state of stagnation, just like clay molds. Their mouths were likewise all wide open. The expression was so consistent. If there was a gust of wind blowing, it would definitely be able to blow through their mouths, emitting a burst of high and low sounds and blowing out a wonderful im. A certain senior member of the Education Bureau twisted his head to look at Lu Qian and said, This is the ordinary student you told me about, with a poor talent that is not worth mentioning? An ordinary profession. A single shot directly knocked dozens of demons to the ground. You fucking told me this was called ordinary? This is called not worth mentioning? Lu Qian was silent for a moment, then turned his head to Chen Sun and said, This is the ordinary student you told me about, with poor talent and not worth mentioning? Chen Sun mechanically turned his head and said, Well, this is actually a surprise I prepared for you guys, do you believe me? But that wasn't the end of it. Lu Qian stared deathly at Wang Duan and suddenly roared out loud, Crap, TMD how could this kid's level be level 29? Even with his status as a principal, he couldn't help but burst out. Because he was really too shocked right now. Hiss. When the rest of the teachers saw the scene, their eyes almost didn't fly out as well, their eyes were filled with shock that couldn't be dissolved. The sound of pouring cool air was endless. A collective backward breath of cool air nearly drained the air around them. Not just them, all the people who noticed the scene were all breathing hard with their mouths wide open. Some of them directly took out their pill bottles, ready to take a few quick-acting heart-saving pills. I remember that eight years ago we had a genius youngster in Luo High, but the highest he could brush up to was only 27 levels, and it was still under the assistance of the family's strongest people who didn't want to die. Wang Chen is just an ordinary student, how did he do it? Could it be that he relied entirely on his own strength? If that's the case, then he's a true genius. Lu Qian grabbed his scalp, his eyes covered in blood. Disregarding his image, he directly undid his tie and stepped on the podium with one foot. Am I fucking dreaming? Lu Qian directly raised his hand and gave Chen Sun a big mouth, Chen Sun simmered on the spot, tears coming out of his eyes from the pain. You're dreaming what are you hitting me for? Chen Sun covered his face, aggrieved. Lu Qian said loudly, it's not because you said to me every day that our first middle school has been in a bad situation for the past few years, and we haven't produced many top students, and I dreamed every day that we'd produce a few more top students. If it's not a dream, then how on earth did this kid do it, to be able to brush himself up to level 29 in such a short period of time? This was the question in everyone's mind. What they didn't know was that it wasn't that Wang Chen had barely brushed himself to level 29 in such a short period of time, but that he could only limit himself to level 29. Who let the trial tower have a level limit of 30? Damn, this kid is a genius, let's see if he has any other abilities, it must be a mutant profession. Then should we call the special inspector to come over now? Chan Sun suddenly said. The special inspectors were the official personnel of the Huaxia Empire who specialized in inspecting the entrance exams of each city and were responsible for screening out some students with special potential. There's no need, let's take another look, after all, the special ombudsman is currently inspecting Luo Haino. Too middle school there, so it's a bit out of order if we call over rashly. Lu Qian decided to continue observing. An M.O. Wenba who was about to be strangled to death finally got a chance to catch his breath. M.O. Hongwei threw away M.O. Wenba and grabbed the monitor in front of him with a death grip and shock, holy shit, I told you, my granddaughter's vision won't be so bad, following a brat in a team for no reason at all. M.O. Wenba coughed and said, that's not what you just said. M.O. Hongwei's eyes went cold. M.O. Wenba immediately shrunk his neck and didn't dare to speak. The rest of the family lords, after realizing Wang Chen's strength, were all crying out in disbelief. With a calm face, and Hua Jia patted the shoe prints on his body and said, Dad, you now understand why I let my daughter choose him, 
this was all within my expectations, is the title of my and family's divine calculator called in vain? And Chang laughed and said, just now when I beat you up, you were scolding this kid all the time, scolding him for an hour without repetition, and now you are praising him, do you still want to be shameless? Inside the trial tower. Looking at In Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng whose faces were full of shock, Wang Chen reached out and pulled the two up. And Xiao Xiao stared closely at Wang Chuan and suddenly laughed, Wang Chuan you can really hide it, why didn't I realize it before? You are surprisingly so dishonest. After knowing that Wang Chuan was so powerful, and Xiao Xiao was happy for Wang Chuan from the bottom of her heart. Li Meng Meng, on the other hand, blushed with shame and didn't dare to look at Wang Chen at all. Previously, she hadn't rarely belittled Wang Chuan in front of the bull warrior. It must have all been heard by Wang Chuan. Thinking about the kind of embarrassing speech she had made earlier, she now hated to find a crack in the ground and directly drill into it. All in all, this earth was no longer necessary for her to live on. Lu Chang was still lying on the ground at this time whispering to Emo Lioli. There's one thing to say, pretending like this feels really great, no wonder so many people like to pretend to be pigs and eat tigers, I see that Brother Dust has already grasped the essence of it. Didn't he pretend for so long just to wait for the shocked gazes of the two major schoolgirls? I'm sure many people outside the trial tower are already shocked by now. Emolioli nodded approvingly and said, So cool, I also want to pretend hard. And Xiao Xiao was still curious as she asked, Wang Chen, how did you become so powerful? Wang Dust glanced at the sky. And Xiao Xiao instantly understood and closed her mouth. Because they were now within the trial tower, it was possible for the conversation to be recorded. The principal and the others who had pricked up their ears outside and were ready to eavesdrop instantly shrunk back in embarrassment, glancing at each other pretending that nothing had happened. And Xiao Xiao said at this time, after being delayed for such a long time by the eagle demon, the rest of the team should have already entered the next level, right, we have to hurry up. Li Ming Ming's complexion also tightened when she thought of this. Yeah, we're definitely lagging behind others this time. One should know that the further back you go, the higher the level of the magical creatures inside. The points given after killing it would also be more. Everyone's share of the points would also be more generous. Emolioli said, no, you guys are in too bad of a state right now, you need some time to rest, after all, there are too many magical creatures here to defend, and it's unlikely that Wang Chuan will want to protect us in all directions. Lu Chang volunteered, I can cast some reply type magic on you guys. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng immediately backed up and said, no, we don't want it. They had seen the side effects of Lu Chang's magic. Lu Chang immediately smiled awkwardly and scratched his head. We can rest while rushing. Wang Chen suddenly smiled. How can we rest while rushing? And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng were very puzzled, revealing puzzled colors. Only to see Wang Dust casually wave his hand, two teleportation portals opened, and then several huge spiders crawled out from inside. It wouldn't be better to sit on the spiders and let the spiders catch up for us, and these spiders are traveling much faster than us. Wang Dust stood on top of one of the spiders. Almost forgot about this. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng's eyes lit up. When they were in the duplicate, Wang Chuan had subdued nearly a thousand spiders. Let's release a few more spiders for protection. Just in case. Wang Chuan released a few more level 30 spiders to guard them. In this way, their vast army of spiders took shape, carrying Wang Chuan and the few of them towards the passageway to the next level. Li Meng Meng and the others sat on the spiders, taking this opportunity to start recovering the magic power in their bodies. Wang Chuan was playing the lead on the spider, scouting for dangers ahead, and once a demonic creature tried to get close to them, he had the surrounding spiders dispose of it. Right now, these magical creatures were not at a point where they needed Wang Chuan's hands. And the scene of Wang Chuan lifting his hand and releasing so many summons once again shocked everyone's eyeballs. Damn, what the hell is wrong with this kid? Isn't he a mechanic? How can he still summon so many mechanical creatures? What the hell is going on here? Lu Qian felt skeptical. He felt like he had learned all the transfer theory knowledge over the years for nothing. Chen Sun, on the other hand, took out his cell phone and frantically searched on it, whether it was possible for a mechanic to summon mechanical race demonic creatures, as well as whether it was possible for a mechanic mutation to become a mechanical summoner. Finally, looking at the results above Chen Sun also held his head and shouted, 
Impossible ah, this kid in the end is a mutation or reborn? The senior of the education bureau then said with a gloomy face, it is highly likely that this kid's occupation has undergone a radical positive mutation, and it is the only mutation, we have never heard of a mechanic being able to have such a big change before either. The crowd nodded, for now this was the only reliable argument. Wait a minute haven't you guys noticed? These spiders are all around level 30. Lu Qian once again sucked in a breath of cool air. 30 levels? Woes. Chen Sun's cell phone directly dropped to the ground with a thud. Hurry up and call the special ombudsman over this time. Lu Qian was already ready to shake people. Wait a little longer, I think this kid has the potential to give us an even bigger surprise. The education bureau executives reached out and blocked the way. It wouldn't be too late to call the special ombudsman over after Wang Chen had shown his incredible abilities again. They must make sure to shock the special inspector fiercely. At this time, Wang Chuan and the others had already arrived at the 13th floor. Here, on the other hand, there was a single terrifying orc wearing an animal skin skirt. With the aid of the spider fiends, it was simply not too easy for them to brush the fiends on this floor, after all, these spiders were all up to about level 30, which was crushing to these level 10 fiends. One by one, the spider silk with electric current wrapped around the past, these orcs immediately lost all ability to move, and then in Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng, they were only responsible for mending the knife. Even Lu Chang took a lot of advantage, taking his magic staff and swinging it up to knock. Wang Dust, on the other hand, stood there and was responsible for watching the show. It was because the points were divided according to contribution. With the help of the spider magical creature, he himself could share a large number of points. Not to mention that the main event was still at the back, Wang Chuan's goal was the 50th floor upwards, where the demons would provide him with huge amounts of points. The previous record of points from the entrance exam seems to be around 30,000, so I don't know how many points I'll be able to score. Wang Chuan stroked his chin as anticipation flashed in his eyes. 13th floor. Dark clouds drifted in the dim sky. Below was a large swamp with foul-smelling bubbles, which flickered with points of eerie ghostly flames. One might fall into the swamp if one was not careful. There were many people who had already exited at this level, some of them were besieged by monsters and were severely injured. Some were unable to cope with the swamp because of the group, and after trying, they could only helplessly brush the monsters here without rushing the tower. At this time, the team that was leading in points was still Rin Yen's team. The girl with the long fiery red hair, Cheng Shan Shan, was holding a magic staff in her hand and constantly freezing the ground under her feet, allowing Rin Inian and the others to have a safe place to land. Right at this moment, a huge black shadow suddenly rushed towards them in the middle of the swamp next to them, opening its fangs and mouth to tear away. Apocalypse Instant Strike Rin Inian, who was walking at the front of the group, held a long spear and instantly erupted with brilliant golden light, as if he had stabbed forward dozens of times in this instant. The air seemed to freeze, and then the golden light exploded, and countless sharp golden beams of light flashed through the air. These crocodiles that rushed over were then instantly split into dozens of pieces, and fell to the swamp below with hot air puffing out. As expected of Big Brother Reninian, even this move of yours was able to briefly affect the power of space, it's worthy of being the most powerful S-ranked profession Apocalypse Knight. Looking at the youth in silver battle armor, envy swept across Luo Jun's eyes. Don't get distracted. Follow me honestly, we can't lose a single person in the team before we rush to the 40th floor. Rin Inian coldly issued an order. During his speech another crocodile rushed over next to him, fighting towards Chung Shan Shan. Let me do it. Luo Jun held his blue shield and slammed it fiercely. Bang! The crocodile was instantly knocked away, and then Luo Jun also had a lance in his right hand, which was covered in silver-white electric arcs. Die! Luo Jun instantly killed the crocodile. His profession was the A-rank profession Silver Electricity Knight. Although it was also considered one of the tougher of the A-rank professions. However, it was still a long way behind Reninian. We're still leading in points right now. Strange, how did In Xiao Zhao's team become second, even surpassing that Thunderbolt Dharma King guy? Luo Jun checked the points ranking in his hand, his face changed violently and he exclaimed. Their team has more magicians, their destructive power is more amazing, it's normal that the points dominate a little bit in the early stages, but the further they go, 
the more they need the cooperation of their teammates, and the drawbacks of their lack of melee class professions will show up, don't focus on the points, charge the tears without fear. Ron Enian was unconcerned. That's also true, there's also a wasteful drag queen with them, this team of theirs is purely here for a laugh. Luo Jun hemmed and hawed. Their group then proceeded to charge towards the 14th floor. Looking at the huge light curtain in the distance, they shuttled and walked in, arriving at the 14th floor. They also became the first team to arrive at the 14th floor. And in the middle of the 13th floor, a team was fighting. Earth piercing. Wan Hai, who was wearing a charging suit, pressed both of his palms fiercely towards the ground. Earth-colored energy fluctuations instantly filled the air. Before the lizardmen with weapons in the distance could run over, they were penetrated by the spikes that suddenly appeared on the ground, and blood flowed out, instantly wetting the earth. Seeing this, the rest of the lizardmen's eyes turned crimson and instantly unleashed their blood-eating skills, a blood mist faintly surfacing on their bodies, and their speed and attack power instantly surged by a small half. Not good. The lizard man is angry. The faces of the others who were teamed up with Wang Hai changed and they wanted to take out their weapons to attack. Only to see Wang Hai holding his magic staff and once again pressing the ground hard. The ground around them instantly trembled as if it was an earthquake, and these lizardmen instantly became unsteady on their feet and all fell to the ground. Wang Hai then cast the skill again. The dirt underneath these lizardmen suddenly became soft as if it was a swamp, and the lizardmen sank in one after another, leaving only a head outside. Die. Wang Hai killed these lizardmen as he did, once again releasing his earth spikes. Brother Hai is awesome, worthy of being an earth magician, these moves are really strong. Many people behind Wang Hai gave a thumbs up. A smug smile appeared on Wang Hai's face. This is just where it's at, I'm confident that I can take you guys all the way to the 20th floor. A young man with earrings immediately laughed, then we'll be counting on you, Brother Hai. Our current team should be in the top 30. Wang Hai's eyes were filled with self-satisfaction. Our team is currently around 26th place, it's not impossible for us to rush to 25. There was a young girl with dyed green hair who gave a sweet smile. Hey, by the way, have you guys heard? That sickly kid Wang Chen from Luo Haino. One middle school actually teamed up with several schoolgirls at the same time. The youth with the earrings suddenly mentioned a mouthful of this matter. The youth's tone was sour. Why didn't I know? This kid is also really lucky enough, but so what, being led by someone his points won't be much higher, after all, points are given according to contribution. Jealousy slightly passed through Wang Hai's eyes. To be teamed up with several major schoolgirls at the same time, this was something that how many men could only dream of. The girl with dyed green hair also hummed lightly. After all, what a woman was most upset about was having a woman who was better than her. Alright, let's not talk about this matter, let's proceed to the next floor, we've just come to the 13th floor, we're still far away from the 14th floor, so hurry up. Wang Hai didn't care in the slightest about a mole like Wang Chen, after all, they would be people of two worlds in the future. They had to hurry towards the next layer now. Many teams, like Wang Hai and the others, had only just arrived at the 13th floor not long ago. Unlike Rin Inian, they had already swiped through the barrier and arrived at the 14th floor. Their group rushed towards the gate of the 14th floor. Coincidentally, the closest passageway to the 14th floor was the same as Wang Chuan's and theirs. Wang Dus led the group ahead of them because these level 30 spiders moved too fast. They directly brushed away all the demons in front of them. Wang Dust's personal points were also surging at an incredible rate. Wan Hai and the others who were ambitiously preparing for a big battle were dumbfounded. How come we've been walking for almost half an hour and we haven't even seen a single shadow of a devil in front of us? That's not right, it stands to reason that the distribution of demons should be even, unless someone has brushed us clean of all the demons here. But how is that possible? Even if Rin Inian and the others were so powerful, they couldn't have swept all the nearby demons clean at the same time. To get the most points, it was usually a matter of brushing both the number of monsters and their speed. Both brushing enough monsters at a certain level. But at the same time, one couldn't stay for too long. This was because the higher level demons would also give more points. This is when you need to make a trade-off for yourself. 
a lot of teams will choose the strategy of brushing and leveling at the same time. Unless they saw that there was no hope for them to charge the level, they would stay here and start purging in a big way. This is only the 13th floor, how can there be so many teams staying here? Besides, we're still the top ranked team, it's reasonable to say that there aren't many teams that have arrived at the 13th floor. Wan Hai couldn't figure out why even after thinking for half a day. Everyone spread out and looked carefully. Wan Hai decided to slow down. They couldn't just brush some lizardmen and crocodile female ghosts on the 13th floor and head to the 14th floor. But they found nothing after a search. Crap, what's going on here? Could it be that this year's college entrance exam is so special? Wang Hai was completely confused. Anxious sweat was pouring down his face. If it dragged on like this, they were going to fall behind in points. In fact, it was also their bad luck that they just happened to choose a route with Wang Xuan, who directly released more than a dozen spiders, killing all the nearby demons. Wan Hai obviously didn't think of this either, so he had no choice but to say, forget it, don't look for it, let's just head to the 14th floor. In order to speed up, Wang Hai had the green-haired girl cast an increased magic for them. A green blow emerged from everyone's bodies, and their speed increased greatly all of a sudden. Wang Chen's sight had already arrived at the entrance to the 14th floor. Looking at the flickering door in front of him, Wang Dust planned to rest here for a little while. After all, and Xiao Xiao and the others had also bumped all the way on the spider. Wang Chuan idly launched the scouting skill infrared scan to check if the surroundings were safe. After fusing the ghost face spider compound eyes, he hadn't properly used this powerful skill. As a result of this look, Wang Dust discovered Wang Hai and his group who were panting and running all the way behind him. A hint of a smile appeared on his face then. Interesting, it was actually this guy. Lu Chang asked, what's wrong? Brother Dust, what are you looking at? Did you see any girl? Quickly let brother me take a look too. Scram, no wonder your profession has mutated into this, your head is filled with yellow waste. Wang Dust directly kicked Lu Chang. He said to and Xiao Xiao and the others, Xiao Xiao, you guys wait for me on the 14th floor first, I'll stay here to take care of a little something. And Xiao Xiao and the others were almost rested at this time. Hearing Wang Chen say this, a puzzled look immediately appeared on their faces. Taking care of things? What are you going to do here? Wang Chen gave a bad smile. You guys don't have to ask, in short, I'll be over there in a while. He snapped his fingers and ordered the spiders under him to bring in Xiao Xiao and the others over. Wang Chen then opened his hands. An illusory mechanical portal unfolded behind him. Inside were densely packed spiders. Seeing this scene, the principal and others on the podium stared in shock. No way, just how many summons does this kid have? They were a bit skeptical. Don't wait, I'll call the special inspector over right now. Lu Qian directly dialed the special ombudsman's phone. At this moment, the special ombudsman was still at Luo High Second Middle School listening to Luo High Second Middle School principal Su Yun blowing up a storm. Lord Special Ombudsman, I'm talking to you, we've got a few very good seedlings this year, this Emilio Li, Lu Ningning, and Lian Yunxi, and of course, our only S-ranked profession Thunder and Lightning Dharma King, Du Lei Si. I believe that this year, our Luo High Second Middle School won't be any worse than Luo High First Middle School. Special Inspector Lu Fan was yawning. He was about to hear his ears get calloused. Although all of these occupations were powerful, they all belonged to some regular categories and were nothing out of the ordinary, nor did they make him feel refreshed. As if often go to a club, inside the girl is that dozens of, go a year after all try to one time, you find that so, no new tricks. Su Yun, the principal of Luo High Second Middle School, is the owner of the club. Wait don't say it, this technician in your house. Lu Fan waved his hand. Technician? Su Yun froze, not reacting. Lu Fan then realized that he had said the wrong thing, he coughed and said, I mean teachers and students with good skills. Su Yun laughed, let's just take a look at Duratha's performance first. He signaled the person next to him to move the screen. At this moment, the big screen was cut to the scene of Du Lei Si fighting monsters. 13th floor. Somewhere in the swamp. There were tons of graves here. Scattered with ghastly white bones. 
It was exactly where the ghost bride was refreshed. Dulacy specially chose this place because lightning restrained these ghost-type demons. Countless white female ghosts hissed and rushed towards Dulacy. Dulacy, who was the lightning dharma king, was frantically bombarding the demons. He held a silver-colored lightning whip and viciously lashed above the upturned buttocks of these female ghosts. Ah! These female ghosts were held down on the ground by Du Lei Si for a furious super beating. These female ghosts immediately let out all sorts of marvelous sounds. Brother Lei, we have to quickly move to the 14th floor, let's stop fighting these female ghosts for now. Someone tried to dissuade. But Du Lei Si's eyes glowed red as he said, no way. I must ruthlessly punish these female ghosts, as a three good youth of the new era, I must help them reincarnate as human beings. So the youth at the back gave a wink to the remaining three companions, and the four of them directly carried Du Lei Si, forcibly carrying him away from here. Let go of me, let go of me, I haven't had enough of these female ghosts yet. Ah, uh, dash. Durith yelled madly. Su Yun. Lu Fan. At this time Lu Fan received a call from Lu Qian from Luo High First Middle School. What? What you said can be true. Lu Fan's eyes were glowing, and his breathing was shortened all of a sudden. Su Yun said, Lord Special Ombudsman, what's wrong? Wait, you haven't visited our school for enough two hours yet you're leaving? Lu Fan said, Lu Ohai no. One middle school has produced a good seedling, I must hurry over to see if it's true. At this moment, he was so excited that he hadn't felt this way in a long time. It was like hearing that his favorite clubhouse had a new girl. Still exotic and blonde. Holy shit, who the hell can stand this? Lu Fan directly rushed to Luo Haino. One middle school in a hurry. But Su Yin directly hugged Lu Fan's thigh and shouted, Don't go, mister. Special Inspector, I still have a lot of good seedlings here, you can take a look, at the very least, you have to see enough for two hours. In case this special ombudsman was happy and gave them some extra policy tilt to Luo High Second Middle School, their Luo High Second Middle School would take off. Look at your sister look, look at that what's his name Durith of yours passionately whipping a female ghost there? Lu Fan kicked Su Yun away and directly drove towards Luo High First Middle School. Su Yun was like a whiny woman, he climbed up and shouted, Damn, what's wrong with Luo Hai no? One middle school? What's wrong with Luo Hai no? One middle school that warrants the special ombudsman to rush over there in such a hurry? Didn't they just produce an S-ranked profession apocalypse night? What's so rare about that? At this time, someone said, Luo Hai no. One middle school does seem to have some news, and I've heard that one of their most wasted professions seems to have developed some mutations. Su Yun continued to curse, mutation, what can he become? Is it hard to be able to fight ten or a hundred at once? At this moment, Su Yun thought that this was just an ordinary accident. He didn't know. When the staff cut the big screen to Wang Chen's team later, his eyes would fly out and roll a long way on the ground. When the staff cut the video back, Su Yun looked at Wang Chuan who was standing alone in the doorway and said disdainfully, What's wrong? Is there anything special about this kid? Ah, uh, a mechanic? What the hell is this? Could it be that the surprise Lu Qian was talking about is this kid? The staff member was just about to explain when Su Yun impatiently interrupted, Stop it, I want to see what's so great about this kid. He sat down on a chair with an exasperated sigh, lit himself a cigarette and began to gulp down the smoke. At the same time, his eyes did not blink for a second as he looked at the screen in front of him, he wanted to see what special abilities Wang Chen had. Lu Fan had already rushed nonstop towards Luo Haino. One middle school. During this time, Ren Yin's team had already rushed towards the 15th floor. Ren Yin's face was taut from the beginning to the end. This was because he knew that the guide would definitely put him on the big screen the entire time, allowing everyone to admire his handsome and dashing appearance. For example, no one would pay attention to a mole like Wang Chen. This was the difference between a god and a mortal. And everyone in his team maintained their image as well. At this moment, the guide outside had long since cut the camera to Wang Chen and his team. No one cared about what they were doing at all. At this time, the guide saw that putting Wang Chen's team had been playing for so long and cut the video to Ren Yin. 
Who knew that the students in the stands immediately let out a mountain of protests? Directly cursed and threw the miscellaneous objects in their hands towards the guide. What's going on? We want to see Senior Wang Duan. Ah, in such a short while you're even shouting at Senior Wang Dust, before you shouted that he's a little trash. What do you know? This is called me abandoning the darkness. The guide was sweating profusely. This scene was something he had never expected. Where had this kind of thing happened before during the college entrance exam? Lu Qian directly picked up his voice transmitter and shouted, What are you doing? Hurry up and cut the picture back. The guide hesitated, but according to the regulations, our longest screen can't exceed an hour, it's been so long. Regulations are dead, people are alive, look at you who would like to see Rin Enian and the rest of them all expressionless like fucking 19th and 20th century fresh meat acting out idol dramas, hurry up and cut back to me. Lu Qian was close to flying over and strangling the guide alive. At this time Lu Fan also happened to arrive here. The physical education teachers as well as the higher-ups in the education sector stood up and shouted out Lord Ombudsman. Lu Fan nodded his head and signaled for everyone to sit down. You guys supervise the exams, I'll accompany the special ombudsman for a few words. Lu Qian asked the teachers to replace him for a while. He led Lu Fan inside the conference room. Lu Fan looked at the screen, frowned and said, Isn't this the S-rank occupation apocalypse night that you reported to me before? Although this profession is very powerful, you also know that the special ombudsman's mission requires professions with some special abilities in addition to selecting some powerful professions. When he said this, Lu Fan was already a bit angry. If this was what he saw when he made an exception and ran to Luo Haino. One middle school. Lu Qian hurriedly explained, No Lord Special Ombudsman, I'll let the guy cut the video back now. Lu Fan snorted coldly, Then you'd better surprise me, if things aren't as you say dash. Don't worry my lord, it will definitely surprise you. Lu Qian was very confident. He believed that Wang Chuan's final grades wouldn't be much worse than Renanian's. The thought that his school had produced two outstanding professionals this year. When the time came, he would be able to put on a hard act in front of Su Yun. Lu Qian's mouth smile was harder to suppress than even AK. At this time, the guide had already reswitched the video to Wang Chen. Seeing the screen change, Lu Fan curiously looked over. Lu Fan froze when he saw Wang Chuan standing alone at the entrance of the 14th floor. Ugh, what just happened? Where's Wang Chuan and his team? How come Wang Chen is the only one left? Lu Qian was even more embarrassed. He had wanted to show Lu Fan the scene of Wang Chen operating so many spiders. They weren't the only ones who were puzzled. The crowd also stared with confused faces. Not understanding what had just happened. Blame the guide, we didn't even see what happened just now. Many students started cursing again. The eyes were eager to kill the guide 10,000 times. But in the very next moment, they saw Wang Chen open his arms and summon two illusory portals. Eh? A curious look rose in Lu Fan's eyes. This kid's level is surprisingly so high, it's almost level 30. Wait, isn't he a mechanic? What's with these two portals? Could it be the magic props he brought with him? But Lu Fan immediately dismissed this speculation. Because Wang Chen couldn't use such a large teleportation magic prop at his level. Then there was only one reason left and that was the occupational trait that this kid brought with him. Not bad, not bad, this kid is quite interesting. Lu Fan's eyes were filled with curiosity. At his level he should be able to summon two or three summons that inherit half of his own attributes. The probability is that he will be able to summon two magical creatures with a rank of around 15, which is already quite impressive. Lu Qian suddenly said, Lord Special Ombudsman, just keep watching, things might be a little beyond your expectations. Beyond my expectations? What big storms have I not seen over the years as a Special Ombudsman, do you think this kid can shock me? Lu Fan let out a light laugh, then turned his head to look at the big screen. In the next moment, the expression on his face froze. Shock then surfaced on his face, and his eyes couldn't help but widen. This, how is this possible? Only Wang Chen's two teleportation portals suddenly became immense. Amidst everyone's dumbfounded gazes. 
Countless spiders rushed out from within. These spiders were all leveled in the mid-30s, and their types varied. But without exception, each one of them exuded terrifying magical power. This, is this the surprise you told me about? How did this kid do it, to be able to summon over a hundred magical creatures at this level that are similar to his own level? Lu Fan's voice had trembled. Could it be that this kid mechanic had mutated into a mechanical summoner? But a mechanical summoner didn't have such heaven-defying skills. It wasn't like he hadn't seen a mechanical summoner before. To be able to summon a demonic creature that was about the same level as his own was already very powerful. How could he summon more than a hundred of them with a wave of his hand like Wang Chen was eating and drinking water? Lu Fan, the special inspector, was taken aback. Lu Qian, who was the principal, also had his mouth wide open. He had also thought that Wang Chuan would be able to summon more than ten demons. It was already enough to put on a wave in front of Lu Fan. Who knew that Wang Chuan had released more than a hundred spider demons with a single lift of his hand, shocking him as well. But this was also the limit, right? Summoning out more than a hundred was already legendary. While being shocked, Lu Qian's heart was also ruthlessly refreshed. Shit. This kid had given me too much face. What Raninian was instantly thrown to the back of his mind. Oh, no. This was not able to be put behind him. Both of them were able to achieve excellent results. That was what Lu Qian wanted to see. Lu Fan looked at the dumbfounded Lu Qian and said, Wait a minute, why are you so surprised too? Didn't you already know how powerful this kid is? Lu Qian's old face turned red and hurriedly denied, I'm just trying to cooperate with you, Lord Ombudsman, a hemdash. By the way, I'll tell you again, summoning demons is just one of this kid's abilities, he has many more terrifying abilities, you'll know about them later. Really? I'll have to take a good look then. Lu Fan suppressed the color of excitement in his eyes. Realizing that he might have picked up a treasure this time. However, he also had some doubts in his heart. After all, could a person possess so many heaven-defying abilities at the same time? He was somewhat skeptical. Because the world was fair. Standing out in a certain area, you must be weak in a certain area. Could it be that there would be hexagonal warriors in this world? Lu Fan felt that Lu Qian was exaggerating a bit. The students gathered outside had already let out a mountainous shout. Every single one of them was excited beyond measure. This year's college entrance exam was just too wonderful. The teachers on the podium had their mouths open in a row once again. But at this time, the crowd also revealed puzzled looks. They couldn't figure out why Wang Chen suddenly stopped here. And released so many demons. At this time, Wang Dust had already maneuvered the demons to guard this place. Wang Hai, who was rushing on his way, suddenly accessed the aura of a demonic creature in front of him, and his spirit lifted. So the demons are hiding here at the entrance to the 14th floor, everyone raise your spirits, let's brush these demons off before entering the 14th floor. Beside him, the green-haired girl and the youth with earrings also revealed a look of surprise. They had just wondered why there were no demons around here. It seemed that all these demonic creatures had chased the candidates to the entrance here. Charge, charge, charge. Watch me. Wang Hai took the lead. Their group came directly to the vicinity of the 14th floor entrance. Before they even got close, they saw many spiders in front of them. Wait, are there spider demons inside the 13th floor? Why don't I remember any? Wang Hai was puzzled. Hey, Brother Hai, it seems like we shouldn't be concerned about this right now. His companion's trembling voice suddenly sounded beside him. Wang Hai froze, and then felt a suffocating wave of magic power coming from the surroundings. It was as if a flash flood had erupted. Terrifying magic fluctuations enveloped the surroundings. It made him feel the trembling of his soul. This, what's happening here? Wang Hai's face changed violently and he looked towards the surroundings. As a result of this look, he directly turned white with fear and almost didn't sit on his but on the ground. He only saw that one after another huge and incomparable spiders had crawled around him at some point. The compound eyes were emitting a scarlet red light. There were more than a hundred in number. One glance could not see the end. 
The most frightening thing was that these spiders were at a level 30. How is this possible? The demons on the 13th floor are at most 11 or 12 levels, how could there be such high-level demons? Wang Hai Man was dumbfounded and rubbed his eyes. But this was not a dream. He wasn't hallucinating either. I don't know ah, uh, how could so many high-level demons suddenly appear here, can't it be that the demons from the upper levels ran down, but this hasn't happened before in the high school exams ah. Uh. The young man with earrings was shivering his lips and his legs were trembling. Wait, I know, maybe it's a hidden level, these magical creatures have the ability to disguise themselves, they disguise themselves as high-level magical creatures as a way to confuse us to make us afraid, it's highly likely that this is part of the entrance exam. The green-haired young girl spoke out her guess. This was most likely a special test arranged by the examiner. As long as they weren't afraid, they would realize that these spider-type magical creatures weren't of such a high rank. Easily, they would be able to kill them while gaining large amounts of points. After all, she could only think of this one possibility. I see, this must be the new exam question this year. Wan Hai's eyes glowed and instantly felt quite reasonable. There was a surge of joy in his heart. So this was where his golden finger and protagonist aura was. Wan Hai couldn't help but exclaim, so we are the chosen pride of heaven, as long as we make a move to kill these spiders, we will surely be able to gain a large amount of points, and making a name for ourselves will be today. Upon hearing this, the youth with the earrings was also excited beyond measure. Wang Dust, who was hiding at the side, was dumbfounded when he heard this. Is there such a thing as putting gold on one's face? The crowd watching the live broadcast outside laughed. This team was really something strange. What pride of the heavens! They also really dared to think. Wang Chuan walked out at this time, and Wang Hai was the first to spot Wang Chuan as he said in dismay, Wang Chuan? Surprisingly, it's you, this trash. The green-haired girl next to him glanced at Wang Dust and scoffed, yo? Was it abandoned by An Xiao Xiao and the girls, hiding here alone and shivering? Wang Hai's eyes flashed with a look of ruthlessness, what's the point of talking nonsense with him, I'll send him out later. The green-haired girl laughed, that's good, I don't see this kid as good anyway. There was no clear rule amongst the college entrance exams that forbade open fighting between squads. But people usually didn't do that either. This was because it would only waste the time of both parties. But Wang Chen was different. Wang Hai and the others were confident that they could send Wang Dust flying out with a single move. It wouldn't waste any of his time. Hearing the words of Wang Hai and the others, the crowd also had a look of contempt on their faces. This guy was really not human. Actually thinking of bullying Wang Dust. However, a look of gloating immediately appeared on their faces. As long as Wang Hai dared to make a move. He would definitely regret it next. They now also understood why Wang Chen had stayed here. Dare they say it was to wait for Wang Hai to retaliate against him. This guy is still so rampant, there should be a time for him to cry later. That's right, look at this guy's arrogant appearance, I've long been displeased with him, later on, Wang Chuan will make sure to teach him a good lesson. The reason why Wang Dust appeared was also to specifically guide Wang Hai to say so. If Wang Hai did not say those words, Wang Chuan really didn't have a reason to make a move. But since Wang Hai had already said the ugly words in front of him, then Wang Dust wouldn't stay his hand either. The current him was 100% on the moral high ground. Wang Hai said at this time, Brat, I'll clean you up later, I don't have time now. Come on, let's all do it together and get rid of these spiders first. They then launched an attack together. Earth Piercing Fire Z Jenny Water Gun As they expected, their attacks would tear through the camouflage of these spiders. But these skills smashed into the bodies of these spiders, leaving only small traces behind. The attacked spiders stretched out their knobby limbs to scratch their stomachs with some disinterest, making crunching sounds. Ah! Uh. Seeing this scene, Wang Hai and the other's eyes almost didn't fly out and their jaws nearly hit the ground. How was this not quite the same as what they had imagined? Holy shit, could it be that our attacks weren't strong enough? Didn't break the camouflage of these demons, or are we all in an illusion right now? Wang Hai and the others analyzed calmly for a while. After all, it was impossible for such high-grade demons to appear on the 13th floor. 
To be able to appear so many high-grade demons, there must be a reason for it. They only needed to find out the pattern of it now. Wang Hai's few people directly analyzed head-to-head -head in a circle for a while. Could it be that these are the nightmares in our hearts? You see that kid doesn't look a bit scared at all, so that means that we are the only ones who can see these spider demons? I guess that when these spider demons attack us, we just need to do nothing and show the courage in our hearts to pass the level smoothly. The green-haired young girl, Pan Sweetness, gave another burst of analysis. That makes so much sense, according to Sweetness, the reason why our attacks didn't work just now was because we hit all in the air, of course it couldn't have had any effect. The youth with the earrings had a look of I get it. The few of them then separated, their eyes once again filled with confidence. Let me do it. The youth with the ear studs directly charged towards one of the spiders. Then just like that, he stood in front of the spider and greatly opened his arms. Written all over his face was, I've already seen through you, just come on. Wang Duan man was dumbfounded. It wasn't just Wang Duan who looked dumbfounded. The crowd watching the live stream was also shocked beyond belief. They were also hilarious by the mesmerizing operations of Wang Hai and the others. These few fools probably still don't know that these demons were summoned by Wang Dust and are still making all sorts of guesses here, they're really laughing me to death. Amidst everyone's teasing gazes. This level 30 spider let out a roar at the youth with the earrings, and countless slimes were flung in his face. This youth's legs immediately trembled as he couldn't help but say, Damn, this is too real, crikey. It's all sprayed in my mouth. You dash. No, I can't be afraid, this is all an illusion, this is all the teacher's test for me, as long as I am firm in my beliefs I will definitely be able to dash. But he had not finished his words. This spider then impatiently raised one of its knobby limbs and viciously smacked this youth in the face. Bang! The massive impact nearly knocked this youth's eyeballs out. In the next moment, this studded youth flew straight out, ruthlessly smashing on top of the gate next to him, falling to the ground with a thud, spitting out a mouthful of blood and falling unconscious. Then his teleportation talisman emitted white light and teleported him out. Wan Hai and the others looked at the youth who was teleported out. They finally realized in their hearts that these demons in front of them were not illusions at all. Rather, they were actual demons. A look of horror appeared on the faces of Wang Hai and the others. But they couldn't think or understand. Why would such a high-grade demonic creature appear on the 13th floor? No. Don't attack me, if you guys want to attack, attack this kid first. Wang Hai was so scared that he directly sat on the ground, his crotch was getting wet. Sweet Pan looked at Wang Dust and shouted, Why aren't you scared? Why don't these demons attack you? Wang Dust smiled faintly and said, Why would the demons I summoned attack me? Wang Hai rounded his eyes. What? A demonic creature summoned by you, how is this possible? You're just a small mechanic, what are you bragging about? But the next moment. All the spiders all prostrated themselves towards Wang Chen. This scene directly shocked Wang Hai and the others, their hearts were about to explode, they had never been so shocked in their lives. They opened their mouths wide. Slurred sounds came out of their throats. Because of the extreme shock. It was no longer possible to say a complete sentence. This. This. Wang Hai was going crazy. Pan Sweetness was also doubting life. But there was only this argument that could explain. Why so many high-level demons had appeared on the 13th floor. The next moment. Wang Hai noticed Wang Chen's level. 2. 29 levels? Wang Hai dried his throat and hissed in disbelief. The rest of them were also taken aback once again so fiercely that they nearly turned their backs. If they didn't have no more strength left in their bodies, they would definitely want to give themselves a few slaps to see if they were dreaming. You, what exactly did you do? Wang Hai, who had reacted, looked at Wang Chen with a mixture of fear. A cold smile spread across the corners of Wang Dust's mouth. What I did is not important, what I'm going to do next is important. No. You can't do this, you're violating morality, you can't kick me out, I still have to get into a prestigious university. Listening to Wang Hai's meaningless hissing. The cold light in Wang Chuan's eyes intensified. 
Wanting to morally kidnap? Pan Sweetness also shouted in panic as if she was a shrew, yes, you can't do anything to us, or do you believe I'll go out and sue you? Wang Dust narrowed his eyes. According to what you guys are saying, you are only allowed to do anything to me, and I am not allowed to do anything to you right? Wang Hai and Sweet Pan's breathing stuttered, but they still colored and said, so what? Although I don't know how you were able to summon so many high-grade demons, in my eyes you're just a waste. You think it's enough that you're powerful? Dependent on your disabled sister, what's the point of doing well in your college entrance exams? Mentioning Wang Chen's sister, Wang Hai looked as if he had suddenly grabbed some kind of handle as he colored gloomily, Kid, if you dare to kick me out of the trial tower, do you believe that I'll be the first to lay my hands on your sister when I get out? Pan Sweetness also said with a flickering gaze, Right, if you dare to kick us out, we'll be the first to retaliate against your sister when we get out. At this moment, the crowd outside the arena's faces flashed with anger after hearing these words. These two people were really too shameless. To be able to say such words. Simply outrageous. There was no professional ethics at all. Within the conference room, Lu Fan's face did not look good either. Lu Qian hurriedly said, I'm sorry, Lord Special Ombudsman, it's our dereliction of duty for not educating these two people properly. Lu Fan did not say anything more. He just rhythmically tapped the back of his chair with his fingertips. The atmosphere became tense for a while. Wang Hai continued to threaten at this time, if you kneel down and kowtow to us a few times now and help us brush the trial tower, we can forgive you without any blame. They completely failed to notice that at this moment, Wang Chen's face was terribly gloomy. His scales were his own sister, and he would kill anyone who dared to harm his family, even if they were gods. What are you doing frozen here? Why don't you hurry up and kneel down? Wang Hai pulled Pan Tian Tian to stand up. The two were high and mighty. Wang Dust was too lazy to talk nonsense and walked directly over. Wang Hai was afraid, you want to do. It. Slap 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 slap. Wang Dust violently slapped a dozen slaps on Wang Hai's face, directly interrupting his words. These dozen slaps directly beat Wang Hai's skin, flesh and blood, and all the teeth in his mouth flew out. Ha! Huh? Wang Hai was confused. In the end, Wang Dust even swung a slap round and slapped out. Splat! Wang Hai's body spun several times in the air before landing with a thud. He lay on the ground covering his face, his person was dumbfounded. Rubbish, do you know what you're doing? You looking for death? Pan Sweetness immediately chided. As a result, Wang Chen walked directly towards her. Pan Sweetheart panicked as she screamed, I'm a girl. Wang Chuan didn't hesitate in the slightest. With his backhand, he threw another slap on this woman's face. Slap! A crisp popping sound rang out. Pan Sweetness was directly slapped out several meters away and fell with a thud in the middle of the fishy swamp. You dare to hit me? Sweet Pan was going crazy as she struggled to climb out, feeling her bloody face, her entire being about to collapse. She viciously shouted, Aha! I'm going to go out and kill your sister. How dare you threaten my sister, you're really tired of living. Wang Chuan grabbed Pan Sweetie's hair and lifted her up from the ground, and threw a few more slaps on her face one after another. Pa! Pa! Slap! After these slaps, Pan Sweetheart's face was swollen as if it was a pig's head, and could not be seen as a human being. Wang Chuan then delivered another vicious whip kick on top of Sweet Pan's stomach. An oozing bone cracking sound rang out. Accompanied by the pig-like screams of Sweet Pan, she once again flew out and smashed into Wang Hai's body. The two of them fell into a quagmire once again. Wang Hai was beaten to the point that his eyes were glazed over. When he pushed away Sweet Pan and tried to get up, Wang Dust came over and kicked him directly breaking both his legs. He then took two branches and stuck them on top of his palms, nailing it alive on top of the ground. Ah! Wang Hai wailed. But with his palms nailed to the ground, his body couldn't move and could only twitch vigorously. Sweet Pan was no exception, and Wang Chen also picked up two branches and nailed her to the ground. But the next moment, the two of them were teleported out. Wang Chuan raised his eyebrows, anyway, he couldn't kill anyone in the middle of the college entrance exam. And it was also expressly forbidden to kill anyone. 
otherwise, he would not let the two go easily. Outside the arena. Everyone was shocked by Wang Chen's ruthlessness. They hadn't expected Wang Chen to be so murderous and decisive in his strikes. However, these two people deserved it. Someone then began to stand up and shouted, well fought. He shouted this as if he had activated the atmosphere. All the students began to shout loudly and furiously one after another. Too damn relieved. Senior Wang Chen is handsome. Within the conference room. Lu Fan looked at Wang Chuan, and the movement of tapping the back of his chair suddenly stopped. Principal Lu Qian's heart could be said to be in his throat at this moment. Wang Chen's action just now was certainly a relief. But it was a bit too ruthless, which was very rare among the students. Only those professionals who had experienced several years of fighting could see this kind of killing aura in them. He was afraid that because of this Lu Fan would have a bad impression of Wang Chuan. After hesitating for a while Lu Qian still opened his mouth and said, Lord Special Ombudsman, this matter is that one high and that girl called Pan Sweetness insulted in advance first, I want to. Who knows Lu Fan suddenly said, well played, well played. Nowadays, students lack this kind of hostility, one two become nerds, I haven't seen this kind of ruthless students for too long. The foreign races invaded and came across the border, the human world was being eaten up. The warriors on the front line fought in blood. But these years were still not optimistic. It all boiled down to the fact that the current students lacked ferocity in their bones. And this ferocity was the first time he had seen it in a senior student. Lu Qian looked at Lu Fan with some surprise. In the end, he also laughed out and nodded heavily. That's right, well fought. I also feel relieved. Lu Fan suddenly said, this is not over, investigate the family background of these two people for me, make a sheet of their family information and also their relatives, and send it over to me later. In addition, no matter what these two people's grades are, as long as I, Lu Fan, am sitting here, there is no way that the two of them will be admitted to any university. Listening to Lu Fan's gradually icy words, Lu Qian couldn't help but shiver. This was the special ombudsman who was rigid and upright. He couldn't help but admire this thunderous attitude and strong hand. He then hurriedly ordered his men to get ready. On the other side, at Wang Hai's home, Wang Hai's mother was waiting anxiously. Being a parent was not able to watch the live broadcast of the college entrance exam. Only the principals of some big families would be allowed to open a special channel. Otherwise, some of the scenes within the trial tower were too bloody, fearing that some parents would not be able to accept them. I don't know if my son will be able to rush to the 20th floor this year, I'm a bit worried. The woman pushed open the window and looked outside with some anxiety. After wandering around the house for a while, she couldn't help but mutter, I don't know if this crippled girl outside will affect our son's chi? No, I have to find a way to drive them out. The man was a bit impatient, can you stop causing trouble for me day after day, what's in our way if they live here? Just sit here and wait. Look at what you've taught your son. As long as there are no accidents, it's a safe bet that our son will go to a good university. The woman instantly stopped talking, but instead went straight back into her house, slamming the door with a resounding bang. The man shook his head, sighed, and stopped talking. And in the next room, Wan Luohan was also worriedly looking at the blue sky and white clouds outside the window. Brother, you must be safe and sound, don't have any accidents ah. She didn't expect Wang Duan to do well on the exam. She only wanted Wang Chen to be safe and smooth. In the middle of the trial tower. Wang Chuan, you're back? And Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng, and the others let out shouts of surprise when they saw Wang Chuan catching up behind them. I'm sorry for making everyone delayed for a while because of me. Wang Dust apologized. And Xiao Xiao immediately said, what are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to go so smoothly. Let's move on then. Wang Dust sat on a spider. The spider was driven deeper towards the interior of the 14th floor. On the way, and Xiao Xiao introduced, the 14th floor is mainly occupied by magic creatures with thick skin and flesh such as bear spirits, which have a strong immunity to both physical and magical magic, and it's best to use spirit magic to deal with these types of magic creatures. Many people will choose to give up brushing the bear spirits on the 14th floor to quickly pass to the 15th floor. 
Before her words fell, a sudden vibrating sound came from the earth beside them, only to see more than a dozen bear elves wearing leather armor around them rushing towards them. And Xiao Xiao and the others unleashed their magic, whether it was flames or cold ice, and were only able to leave them with not serious wounds. At this time, the students and teachers outside were also curious as to what choice Wang Chen would make. Whether he would choose to quickly pass through like an ordinary person, or be a bit more resourceful and choose to brush up on some bare spirits before heading to the 15th floor. Because Wang Chuan had delayed a bit too long. They had now fallen to third place in terms of points. Now, it seemed that staying here and brushing some monsters before leaving was a wise choice. Wang Chen thought exactly the same thing, but he did not intend to brush just a little bit of monsters, instead, his eyes flickered and he said, so according to what you're saying is that almost no one will touch the bear spirits here? And Xiao Xiao and the others nodded their heads. Wang Dust laughed, that's just right, you guys release taunt type magic to lure all the bear spirits over. Hearing this, and Xiao Xiao and the others froze. What? Releasing taunt type magic to lure all the bear elves over? There are at least a few hundred bear elves here, right? Imo Liu Li coughed. They suddenly thought of Wang Chen's previous performance in the copy. So they immediately shut their mouths again. And Xiao Xiao sighed. Almost forgot, you're not a normal person. Li Meng Meng interjected appropriately, it's because you're the bull warrior who never takes off his mask. These words made Wang Dust's old face blush. Li Meng Meng also brought out the monster-inducing scent capsule again, and the strange fragrance drifted with the wind. The people outside rounded their eyes. Why did Li Meng Meng bring out the monster-retracting scent capsule again? Even if they want to lure some monsters over this is a bit too wanton. Right, the scent of the monster-retracting incense sachet can float for at least dozens of miles, and there are at least a few hundred bear spirits around here, right? With just Wang Dust's hundred or so mechanical spiders trying to deal with these thick-skinned bear spirits, even with level suppression it would take a long time, right? People were puzzled. Even if Wang Chuan was planning to repeat his old trick and use the laser cannon ability he had shown before to destroy these bear spirits. But I'm afraid that it would also yield little results. This was because the defense of these bear goblins was simply too strong. The reason why Wang Dust was able to strike such a stunning blow before was mostly still attributed to the fact that those eagle goblins' own defenses were too poor. The teachers did not make a comment this time, but shut up. They always felt that Wang Chen had his own reasons for doing so. And admonished themselves that this time they absolutely could not be so shocked that they forgot to do expression management. The pictures of their mouths wide open had already been taken by reporters several times. They were even able to think of what tomorrow's news headlines would be. Shocked. Teachers in Luo Haino. One middle school have their mouths wide open, what on earth did they see? Shameful, the teachers of Luo Haino. One middle school have collectively done this kind of thing at the time of the college entrance exam. What kind of surprise will you give me? Lu Fan seriously grew more and more expectant. Lu Qian was also filled with curiosity. The strength displayed by Wang Dust had refreshed his cognition time and time again. At this moment, the sound of the earth shaking had resounded around Wang Chen. They only saw dozens of bear spirits surrounding them towards Wang Chuan. Moreover, there were more densely packed shadows flickering in the distance. The number was at least three to four hundred at a glance. This seems to be playing a bit too much. Lu Chang clutched his magic staff and shrank back, dead set against getting off the spider. He suspected that he would be trampled into a meat cake by these bear elves with war trample. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng also had very serious expressions on their faces. There were some faster running bear goblins that were being removed by them with magic. Emolioli continuously released an ice blade to slash towards these bear essence. All of you back off, let me do it. Wang Chen saw that the bear spirits were gathering more and more, so he directly opened the portal again. Two huge teleportation portals stood high above the earth. Inside, swirling shadows of light flickered. The crowd froze. Could it be that Wang Dust was going to summon out the spider demons once again? But how was this possible? He had already summoned out more than a hundred of them. That was already the limit, right? They had never heard of a level 20 or 30 professional being able to summon out so many demons at this level. 
The next moment. The two giant gates made a trembling sound. More than a thousand spiders that were waiting to be summoned surged out from inside like a tidal wave. They crowded around each other, their sharp knobby limbs smashing on top of the earth as they raced the sky and let out roaring sounds. The vast army of spiders crossed over Wang Chuan and the others and charged towards the bear spirit. The two armies instantly collided. How could these ten odd level bear goblins be a match for these spiders? These different types of mechanical spiders used their sharp limbs and fangs to directly tear apart the defense of these bear goblins. The electric current spiders that spewed out even directly electrified these bear spirits. It could almost be described as crushing. Ah! Uh. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked, their eyes almost didn't fly out and their scalps cracked. Senior Wang Chan is he human or not? How many fucking summons is this? One, two, three, holy shit, can't count ah, uh, can't even finish counting. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm going crazy, I'm not going to learn this summoner. There were a few summoner profession students who directly broke the magic staffs in their hands. Just who the hell is a real summoner? The scene in front of them almost tore their perceptions to shreds. Over a thousand spider demons. What the fuck was this concept? Wang Chuan alone could have pushed through all the copies, right? People were really pissed off compared to people. This kid, his ability is a bit too exaggerated. Teacher Lu Fan had already prepared himself mentally, but when he saw such an exaggerated scene, the corners of his mouth still couldn't help but twitch, and his heart had already set off huge waves. This. Lu Qian was also completely dumbfounded, his entire being transformed into a clay figure. At this time, someone said, that's not right, summoners need to consume a large amount of magic power to summon out demonic objects. Senior Wang Chuan must not be able to last long with so many demons summoned out, he's wasting his magic power in advance. Hearing this, the crowd also felt that there were a few points of truth. The teachers also couldn't help but show a worried look, using up their magic power and physical strength in advance. It was somewhat not very wise. Although Wang Chuan and the others had now far surpassed Ren Yinian to become number one in terms of points. But at the back, Ren Yinian and the others could completely catch up. With the passage of time. They were shocked to realize that several of Wang Chuan's people were sitting on the spider watching the battle. On the other hand, and Xiao Xiao and the others were talking and laughing while holding their magic wands and throwing magic towards the group of bear goblins to brush their contribution. They had never seen a gauntlet that could be this easy. Ten minutes passed like this. All of the bear spirits here had been killed, but Wang Chen still didn't have any unusual expression. They couldn't help but be a little skeptical of life. Damn, it can't be that senior Wang Chuan summoned out so many summons that don't consume magic power at all, right? When these words came out the crowd sucked in a breath of cool air and their cheeks trembled fiercely. Then they looked at this vacation-like relaxed and happy expression of Wang Chuan. They felt that it was really possible. Unlike other summoners who summoned out more than 10 summons. If the supply of magic power was not enough, they would be drained in minutes. The summoner profession students on the side immediately felt like they had received a 10,000 point blow on the inside, and they could not cry, people were more angry than people. They felt that Wang Chan was the summoner. What kind of profession has this kid awakened? It's a bit too geeky, isn't it? Lu Fan's expression was a bit taut. Lu Qian, on the other hand, was numb as he reassured himself, but this should be the full characteristics of this kid's occupation, he won't have any other abilities, right? Lu Fan hesitantly nodded and said, it should be, he should have mutated into a profession similar to a mechanical summoner, his weakness should be fear of melee combat, his physical quality is relatively poor, I don't see anything else. The two of them never thought that the summoning trait was just one of Wang Chen's subsidiary attributes. What physical quality was too poor? A full 60,000 to 70,000 four-dimensional attributes at level 30. You're telling him that his physical quality is poor? Lu Fan picked up the report form, where he recorded Wang Dust's traits in detail. It was speculated that it might be the profession of a mechanical summoner, characteristics, able to massively summon out summons that were about the same level as his own, drawbacks, most likely to have poor physical qualities, afraid of being attacked in melee combat. After writing these words, Lu Fan suddenly said, in those later levels, this kid shouldn't be able to use these summons, right? 
Lu Qian nodded. The environment of the later floors was indeed not suitable for summon object attacks. This was because the latter layers were all narrow caves that were not suitable for large-scale battles. This layer tested the students' basic skills of how to occupy favorable terrain for fire suppression. The spiders were too large. It couldn't exert itself at all in the middle of the cave. The cave was only 2 meters at its highest. But each of these spiders was at least 3 meters tall. Forcibly summoning the spiders might cause the cave to collapse. They were now a little worried about how Wang Chen should react. Generally the type of most candidates who brushed the monsters in the later levels would choose to have the knights at the front to hold off the demonic attack. Then let the magician be the humanoid turret to occupy the favorable terrain and attack against the constant stream of attacking demons. But at the moment, Wang Dust and his team lacked meat shields, which was a hard injury. So that's why it was emphasized again and again before the entrance exam, to conduct reasonable team matching. Moving on to the next point. Lu Fan put away the pen in his hand. There was a bit of apprehension in his heart. At this time, in the middle of the trial tower. Wang Dust had already killed all the bear spirits that had been attracted to the tower with an army of more than a thousand spiders, and their points had directly come to more than ten thousand. Too good to be true, we've become number one directly this time. The three girls, and Xiao Xiao, Li Meng Meng, and Emoliuli, hugged each other excitedly. Each other's huge objects collided with each other like a passionate beach volleyball collision. But that wasn't the end of it. Wang Dust directly led the spider army to continue pushing across the road, killing all the bear spirits they encountered. They killed their way towards the 15th floor. On the 16th floor, amongst Rin Yin's team, Luo Jun, who had just finished killing the demons, saw such a drastic change in the leaderboard that a flash of shock passed through his eyes. What's going on? How did In Xiao Zhao's and their team's points suddenly go up so much all of a sudden? Chen Shan Shan was also stunned when she checked and then her face turned ugly. Don't panic. Rain Enian was rather breezy. He held a golden lance and dryly killed a dry zombie-type demonic creature in front of him. The tip of the golden spear shattered the crystal core in the demon's chest. Shaking off the blood on the gun. Rain Enian said calmly, if I'm not wrong, they should have stayed at those lower levels to start killing demons in a big way to accumulate points, as the configuration of their team is extremely unreasonable. Those layers in the back require melee professions and long-range professions to cooperate with each other in order to make it work, and they knew that passing through the layers in the back would be very difficult, which is why they made a push in the front. But the college entrance exam is never a sprint race, but a long-distance cross-country race of endurance, willpower, and teamwork. After saying these words Renanian looked at the graveyard with a bit of ghost fire floating in the distance, a cold smile appeared on his face. Powering through the front, you definitely won't take first place. The rest of the people's faces slowed down a little after hearing these words and said to Luo Jun, look at how scared you kid is, they're bringing a loser with them, how can they possibly surpass us in points? We'll all be going to a prestigious university by then. So don't be a pain in the ass, hurry up and hurry towards the front, our goal is at least 50 floors. Afterwards, the group of them talked and laughed as they advanced towards the depths of the graveyard, the white mist that drifted around them gradually obscuring their silhouettes. Fifteenth floor. Along with the flickering of teleportation light. Wang Chan and his group appeared here. Ho dash. A light above the narrow rock wall on both sides then lit up within. The orange-colored light reflected the entire corridor. This was an underground cavern with intricate and narrow terrain. It's just like what I said before, once we reach the 15th floor, it's all cave-type replicas. And Xiao Xiao stretched out her slender hand and stroked the wall next to her. Lu Chang scratched his head, what did the textbook say? Three years of trial and five years of simulation says that the cave class is mainly dominated by which magical creatures? Li Meng Meng added, cave classes are mainly dominated by cave-dwelling magical creatures, besides the common goblins, there are also undead, zombie, zombie, insect, and some relatively rare ancient lineages. Oh, I wanted to say that just now. Lu Chang coughed. I remember seeing an anime before where the main character was a spider, and it encountered a lot of strange and weird magical creatures inside the cave, there were pythons, poisonous dragons, and the like, and I was afraid that we would have that kind of thing here. 
Lu Chang, as an unabashed anime fan, usually didn't watch these things. How can a low-level cave like ours have so many high-level magical creatures, if these really appear, we don't need to break through, it's better to save our little lives first. Mo Lioli rolled her eyes. What kind of stuff does this little fatty have in his head all day long? Wang Chuan, being a learner, directly said, what Lioli said isn't wrong, these levels mainly test our ability to work together as a team. Later on, there will be a large number of demons attacking towards us, you guys stand back and I'll stand in front to block for you. As long as we are able to carry through the attack of these demons and find a passageway to get out, we will be able to head to the 16th floor without any problems. Lu Chang was speechless, Brother Dust make it clear, is it you who is carrying the demon's attack? Or are the demons carrying your attack? It made it seem as if brushing a copy of this was tough. Wang Dust didn't look at them, instead, his eyes flashed with a red light as he looked at the distant cave and said, don't talk, I can feel that a large number of demons are coming back towards us. In his field of vision, he could see dense red dots in the endless darkness, emitting shrill cries, colliding with each other, crowding, and rushing towards them like a tidal wave. And Xiao Xiao's three girls consciously stood behind Wang Chen, as for Lu Chang, he shrunk to the very back. At this moment, the attention of the entire audience was gathered on Wang Chuan, everyone wanted to see how exactly Wang Chuan should solve so many demons? Lu Fan directly stood up. Why is Wang Dust standing at the very front? As a summoner with such a poor physique, shouldn't he stand at the back and let that fat man take the front? Lu Qian said weakly, but that fatty is a nurse, he should be more brittle. Lu Fan directly slapped the table and roared, then have you ever thought that that fatty's weight of more than 200 pounds can allow the poisonous insects to gnaw on it for a while longer? Lu Qian instantly stopped talking. The current Wang Chuan had become a precious lump in Lu Fan's heart. Lu Fan was still talking to himself. Do you know how much pressure I'm under this year? Pretty Country and Taiji Country sent a few more top students to study at our Imperial Capital University this year, and they even threatened to take over the top 10 of the Imperial Capital's freshman rankings, so that no one from our China can get into the rankings. Speaking here, Lu Fan gritted his teeth. This was simply a heavenly disgrace. As a top-ranked university in the world, Imperial Capital University had a large number of foreign students coming to study every year. Over the years, several countries such as Pretty Country and Taiji Country had even spared no expense in sending their outstanding students to Imperial Capital University. They certainly weren't there to learn the excellent teaching philosophy of the Chinese Empire, but purely to demoralize the Chinese students. Nowadays, six of the top ten in the Imperial University's potential dragon ranking are foreigners. All of them occupy the top six positions. This year, the pretty country and the Taiji country sent three more scholars, all of them clear S-class professions. They threatened to completely expel the Chinese from the subterranean dragon ranking. So this was why Lu Fan valued Wang Chen so much. With one Renanian, plus Wang Duan as well as in Xiao Xiao, a city with two or three top students could definitely add a beautiful mark on top of his resume. Of course, the more important thing was that these three students could definitely shine within the Imperial Capital University as long as they were able to enter the university. They might be able to regain the ranking of the freshman in the Dragon Ranking. Therefore, Lu Fan didn't want Wang Chen to have any accidents at all. When he thought of the ugly faces of the diplomats from the pretty country in the Taiji country, Lu Fan was so angry that he broke the pen in his hand, and his body exuded a terrifying majesty. Principal Lu Qian was trembling beside him. It wasn't only Lu Qian who was nervous. There were also so many students outside the field. All of them tilted their heads and sweated for Wang Duan. The large screen in front of them was displaying the situation of Wang Dust's team. The 15th floor underground cave. The ear-piercing screams were becoming more and more obvious, and the densely packed red points of light in the distance were getting closer and closer. With the help of the firelight on the sides of the cave, it could be clearly seen that it was one hideous bug after another. These bugs were extremely disgusting. The categories were diverse. There were sinuous millipedes. There were also hideous scorpions that smoldered with green light. There were also wriggling linkworms. As well as all sorts of slimy, floppy monsters that hissed and rushed over. The number of them could not be seen at a glance. All in all, very disgusting. Some girls were about to roll their eyes and spit out their tongues when they saw this. 
What disgusting bugs. Emma Olioli stomped her foot. You guys want to try? Wang Dust turned around and smiled. Wow. Silver White Builders instantly rushed out from his body, building one fixed type Gatling after another, as well as self propelled charged shock cannons, at a rapid pace on both sides of the cave. The blackened muzzles of the guns were aimed directly at the wave of insects in the distance. Al 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 al. Emolioli and Li Meng Meng, two lively girls, directly gripped the Gatling, their eyes filled with excitement. Lu Chang, on the other hand, shouted and came behind a self propelled charged shock cannon, aiming it into the distance. Damn, why does it feel like playing crossfire to fight the ruins of Giant City? Exciting! By this time the swarm in the distance was approaching. Da 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 The Gatling instantly opened fire, and countless bullets instantly rushed towards the distant bugs. The enchanted special bullets toppled the armor on their bodies, breaking their amputated limbs and bubbling up nasty green slime. Blue charged clusters also exploded in the midst of the bugs, hindering their attacking stance. Everyone outside the field was dumbfounded when they saw the scene. What the hell is this? I didn't see it wrong, did I? Weren't heat weapons eliminated many years ago? This is an enchanted thermal weapon, much more powerful than a thermal weapon, but is it allowed to bring these in amongst the college entrance exams? At this time, someone said, this isn't a magic prop at all, it's Senior Wang Chuan's occupational trait, and if it violates the rules, the trial tower will alert the first time. When the crowd heard this, shock swept across their eyes. The shock that Wang Chen had brought to them was simply too much. To be able to rub out enchanted hot weapons out of thin air, this was the first time they had heard of such an ability, and it was a bit too heaven-defying. Just how many more secrets does this kid have on him? Lu Fan in the middle of the conference room was also shocked. Not good, look guys. Someone suddenly yelled out, pointing at the distant screen with a face full of panic. Only to see that the bugs that were originally rushing over on the ground suddenly changed their formation. There were many bugs that started crawling towards the sides of the cave, and some even moved quickly on the ceiling. There were also many bugs that used the advantage of their size to quickly dodge or even use the skill of sneaking. At once, there were quite a few leaky bugs that rushed towards Wang Chuan and the others. Watch out! And Xiao Zhao's side took her magic staff and smashed a few magic spells over, instantly burning these bugs into charcoal. Brother Dust, it can't be done, although the Gatling has a fast rate of fire, these bugs are too cunning and will even burrow underground to come over. Lu Chang was already feeling a bit overwhelmed. Li Meng Meng also shouted with a somewhat white face, Wang Dust you quickly think of a way ah, uh, don't freeze, build a few more Gatling. As a result, at this time, they suddenly felt an extremely powerful energy fluctuation coming from behind. Boom! Only a huge roar rang out. The hot light instantly dispelled all the darkness, even Lu Chang and the others couldn't open their eyes anymore, they only felt a tingling in their skin, followed by the sensation of a fiery heat pounding on their faces. Only to see a crimson lava flame instantly spewing out of the earth, like a furious dragon coming out of the world, devouring all the bugs. Those bugs that wanted to rush over were instantly roasted into charcoal and turned into flying ash. There was also a fiery red trace on the ground, which was the result of the soil on the ground being melted by the high temperature. This is a new weapon? Lu Chang and the others turned around, dumbfounded as they saw the weapon in Wang Chuan's hand. Wang Dust patted this red weapon in his hand and said, I just leveled up to level 30 and unlocked a new skill, this is called the self-propelled lava fire cannon, it's very useful against these bugs. Name, self-propelled lava cannon. Level, level 2. Function, spray high temperature flames. Description, releases linear tongues of fire with a terrifyingly high temperature burning effect. Bull. Lu Chang looked numb. Wang Chuan then controlled these self-propelled lava fire cannons to send out an attack, and a flame attack was jetted over in a desperate manner. The originally vast swarm of insects was instantly cleared out. The experience of the few of them was also rising, although it didn't rise as fast as Wang Chuan's, it was still enough to surprise them. After clearing these, Wang Dust had these digger robots under his command reclaim these built gatlings back into his mechanical space again. They moved forward for some distance, then did their old trick of releasing their weapons and began to occupy the terrain to clear the bugs in the distance. Because the speed of advancement was too fast. 
Wang Dust directly released a large number of invaders to help scout the path. At the same time, he constructed a scanning tower and scanned the entire complex cave stereogram of the cave. It was important to realize that the biggest problem plaguing these students was their unfamiliarity with the terrain, and every year, the maps of the high school caves would change again and again, so every step forward was unknown. But Wang Dust was like an unpredictor, utilizing the skill of infrared scanning while leading in Xiao Xiao and Lu Chang and the others to sweep away these bugs. Those bugs hidden in the shadows couldn't hurt Wang Dust at all. Generally speaking the adventurer teams that entered this place were careful as could be. These students were afraid of alerting a large number of bugs. After clearing a portion of them, they immediately used their hiding skills to cautiously feel their way towards the 17th floor. Whereas Wang Chuan, it was like a big sweep, coming in and killing bugs with impunity. Other people hate to put a silencer on their magic staffs for fear that their magic will make too much noise. Wang Dust, on the other hand, couldn't wait to install a megaphone. In front of a cave. Wang Dust suddenly stopped and said, wait. What's wrong? And Xiao Xiao and the others looked at each other. They only saw that Wang Chuan had suddenly constructed several lava cannons here in a dry manner. Seeing Wang Chen's maneuvering, the faces of the teachers outside changed violently. This kid doesn't know what's inside this cave below, right? Someone gulped, I don't think so, after all, the questioner placed the insect tied very stealthily. That's right. This was none other than the 15th floor's worm nest. The magical creatures in the trial tower were not generated out of thin air, but were carefully captured by the question maker. The question maker would set up a simulated wilderness scene inside, allowing the fiends to flourish freely inside while controlling their levels and numbers. This was because the question maker didn't want students to be able to find this place. On the one hand, the bug mother was too powerful, and they could wipe out these candidates by directly controlling an army. On the other hand was that they also needed the bug mother to constantly reproduce bugs for the students to use for their exams every year. It was important to realize that bug mothers were extremely difficult to catch, not to mention one with the right level. That's why the questioner put the location of the bug nest extremely hidden. However, the next moment, the faces of the top management of the education bureau on the podium had an indescribable splendor. They only saw Wang Chen directly use his palm cannon to blast out a large hole in the wall next to him. This kid really knows that the bug nest is in here, but how on earth did he know that? Whether it was the teachers or the executives of the Education Bureau, their faces were strange to the extreme. As a matter of fact, there wouldn't be any students who would be able to find the location of the bug nest. Because it was too hidden. Moreover, this place was isolated from perception-type magic. But Wang Chen was certain that this was the location of the bug nest. The students outside, on the other hand, didn't know what exactly Wang Dust was up to. But along with the falling of the rubble, the scene inside the large hole was exposed to everyone's view. Inside was a huge nest. Countless bugs were moving around inside. Hiss. Senior Wang Chen actually found the location of the bug nest? Everyone was shocked. It can't be? Could it be that he wants to? That's right, Wang Chuan precisely intended to destroy the bug nest here. The moment the walls were blasted down, the bugs inside tried to rush out towards the outside, but Wang Chen directly blasted them back with his palm cannon. The several lava fire cannons at his side then launched an attack, constantly spraying pillars of crimson fire. The huge hive-like nest was instantly enveloped in flames. Countless bugs let out miserable screams inside. Huge bug mothers fell out of it, twisting their fat bodies to resist but they didn't last for a few seconds before they too were reduced to flying dust under the flaming pillars of light. In just an instant, this battle was over before it even started. What kind of joke is this? The attack power of the automatic lava cannon was considered the strongest among the buildings that Wang Dust was currently able to build. Although the drawback was that the attack distance was a bit short, it was simply too suitable for dealing with these bugs. It vividly explained what it meant to close the door and beat the dog at this time outside the field. All the students were dumbfounded as they watched this scene, their brains going blank. Wang Chuan was afraid that he was the first student in history to find a bug nest. With a large amount of experience in his account, Wang Chuan was satisfied to the extreme. 
The teachers outside looked at each other. They could imagine how wonderful the faces of those questioners would be when they knew about this. Not only did they need to go back to catching bug mothers, they also needed to reproduce the bug mother again. Right now, Wang Dust and his team's points were up to 15,000. It's just comfortable to follow Brother Dust, although the contribution is very low and the share of experience is small, but it can't be helped that Brother Dust kills a lot of monsters. White light once again flashed above Lu Chang and the few of them. Every single one of them had risen a level. Don't freeze, let's move on. At our current speed, we should be close to catching up with Ren Yinian. Wang Chen suddenly sneered. Ren Yinian? He should be at the 17th floor right now. Li Mengmeng glanced at the points leaderboard. Although they were currently number one. However, Ren Yini's team's points were nipping at their heels. In just a little while, the points of Ren Yini's team had already surpassed them, and it seemed that killing monsters at higher levels gave more points. And Xiao Xiao looked at Wang Duan, and the attentive woman noticed the suppressed emotions in Wang Duan's tone, and she said, What's wrong Wang Duan? Why do I hear something wrong with your tone? Wang Chuan smiled, there's nothing wrong, I just thought that he helped me for such a long time, I want to properly thank him face to face, preferably the kind that comes from the bottom of my heart. Wang Chuan then led them smoothly through the 15th floor to the 16th floor. The door leading to the 16th floor was a huge cavern. When they walked in, with a flash of light, they appeared in the middle of a rather desolate plain, where the sky was rather gloomy and covered with white mist, and the demonic purple moon in the air was even creepy. Ka Ching. Li Mingming's face turned white as she moved her foot away, realizing that she had stepped on a human's bone. Holy shit, is this the skeleton plains? It really lives up to its name. Lu Chang squatted on the ground and pushed the skeleton under his feet with his hand, which rolled around on the ground, bits of ghostly fire drifting out of its empty eye sockets. So scary. Mo Lioli shrank towards Wang Chen's back. But she suddenly felt a rather cold gaze, and she twisted her head to see that it was none other than in Xiao Zhao's line of sight. So Emo Lioli silently moved away a few centimeters again. At this time, a loud noise suddenly came from the side. Fuck it, you guys don't stop me, let's just go west, I've already done my research, there are also demonic creatures like the Ghost Bride and the Witch Queen inside the Skeleton Plains. But then we'll be off course, let's keep going east to get through here fast. No way. I, Du Lei Si, must act for heaven today and ruthlessly punish those shameless female ghosts with my whip of thunder and lightning. Brother, I'm calling you brother, can you listen for once? We're really going to be completely left behind by An Xiao Xiao and Ren Yinian and the others if we keep this up. Can't you see that we're already far behind in points now? Hiss. It seems so, we're even in third place, I didn't even notice just now. So let's just hurry and head east. No, I think it's better to go west, we're behind in points now, it's all the more reason to kill more female ghosts, I'm going to have a life and death relationship with them, to accumulate in virtue. Ah. Uh, a life and death. Friendship? That can't be done ah brother. That which demon queen has been heard of is bubbling with green water. I can't even dare to imagine how stinky that is. It's fine, I brought protective gear, it's not in the way, it's not in the way. Hearing such strange words, Wang Dust and the others looked at each other in dismay. Wang Dust couldn't help but say to Lu Chang, Why do I hear that the person over there seems to be even more perverted than you are? Are you Lu Oh I know? Two middle schools so good at producing talents? Lu Chang stretched his neck and said, Brother Dust, you're slandering, how can you call it perverted when it comes to readers? Li Mengmeng said, If I'm not mistaken, the team over there should be Thunderbolt Dharma King Du Lacy's team, right? As expected, Wang Chuan's shouts were also heard by Du Lacy's group, and the white mist fluctuated, and a group of people quickly appeared in front of Wang Chuan and the others. The youth at the head had a hangdog look. It was none other than Du Lacy, the S rank professional mage of Luo Haino. Two Middle School. Seeing Wang Chuan and the few of them, Du Lacy and the few of them blushed with old faces. Du Lacy directly asked, You guys didn't hear the one where I said I was going to day girl just now, right? When this was said, everyone was silent. Lu Chang shook his head and said, I really didn't hear it just now, but I hear it now. Everyone present covered their faces. Du Lacy suddenly let out a loud laugh, 
I'm joking, you guys won't really take it seriously, right? Ha 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 ha. Everyone looked at him. Duratha's laughter became smaller and smaller. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Finally, he couldn't laugh at all. The air once again fell into silence. Durath suddenly swung around and said, That's right, I just wanted to go and play with a female ghost, what's wrong with that? I'm happy on the line. Anyway, only our two teams know about this, I don't believe it's such a coincidence that we just happen to be on top of the big screen right now, I'm begging you guys to keep this a secret for me, don't ever say anything. Don't force me to kneel down and beg you guys. At this time, Dulacy's teammates around him had already pretended not to recognize him and were a few meters away from him. This face, they really couldn't afford to lose. Ha 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 ha, it's really killing me with laughter. I announced that now Senior Du is officially enshrined as an undead knight. What a life and death friend, wide accumulation of Ean virtues, are you going to laugh me to death? Can't hold it tight, can't hold it tight. He also said he doesn't believe it's so coincidentally being broadcast live right now. You guys say that after Senior Du comes out from the trial tower will he die socially until he leaves the planet? At this point all the students outside the field had gone numb with laughter. The teachers of Luo Hai No. Two middle school were all black-faced, and although they wanted to laugh, they couldn't laugh at all. I'm afraid that this guy didn't know that his every move had been live-streamed in its entirety. Su Yun, the principal of Luo Haino. Two middle school, was already preparing to commit suicide, but luckily the teacher next to him stopped him. Why does Luo Haino? One middle school produced geniuses, and we Luo Haino. Two middle school produces perverts? Su Yun was lying on the ground, unable to cry. He had just seen Wang Chen's power, and was shocked to the point of dislocating his jaw the entire time. It was so hard to see his students meet with Wang Chen and the others, and he was still thinking of letting Du Lei Si have a good performance. As a result, it had directly caused such a big scandal. Su Yun didn't dare to imagine how Lu Qian, the principal of Luo Hai No. One middle school, would shit on his head when the college entrance exams were over. This Du Lei Si, when he comes out, I'll definitely teach him to behave. Su Yun gritted his teeth as he looked at the big screen. At this moment, Du Lacy was still saying, that, that who? Aren't you called Wan Duan? I've heard that the and Xiao Xiao girls teamed up with you this year, and they all said that you're a drag. But it doesn't matter, bumping into brother is your luck. If you guys meet danger on the 16th floor, call out my name and I can come over and help you. We're behind them in points right now, how can we help them? Someone from the side reminded. Ah, is that so? But I don't see how this kid looks like a drag queen, are the rumors wrong, why do I feel like he's even stronger than me? Du Lacy walked over to him and assumed the posture of a dragon grasping hand, so he was ready to pinch Wang Chan's pectoral muscles. Wang Dust's face changed drastically and he hurriedly took a few steps back, and a few girls also covered their chests and retreated a few dozen meters. At this time, someone from the side came over and said to Wang Chuan, Sorry, sorry for the disturbance. Let's just pretend we don't know each other, you guys brush yours and we'll brush ours. A few of them were sweating profusely as they carried Durath and racked him away. See you next time friends dash. Hey, by the way, if you guys run into Luningning, Lian Yunchi and the others, remember to give them a hand. Goodbye mom and dad, I'm sailing away tonight dash. I, Du Lei Si, am the man who wants to become the pirate king, I'm going to be the first in the trial. Caught in the middle and dragging his arm, Du Lacy still didn't forget to wave at Wang Duan and the others, that expression was serious like a warrior who was about to go on a long journey. Bye. Li Mengmeng reluctantly waved her hand. And Xiao Xiao said helplessly, this person called Du Lacy is really enthusiastic, he even called out to our parents when he left. Lu Chang said, is it possible that he was singing? Mo Yoli was surprised, ah, uh, was he singing? The air fell into silence once again. Several people all looked up to the sky, holding back their laughter was hard. This brother's character was truly a bit lively. The 16th floor wasn't any harder for Wang Dust either. What the undead demons were most afraid of was magic. Releasing a few spiders to patrol the surrounding area on guard. Wang Dust's eyes also flashed with a ghostly red light and activated the infrared scanning skill. 
All the female demons that wanted to lurk and sneak attack were all discovered by him. And Xiao Xiao and the others took their magic and smashed furiously all the way. Without a care in the world, anyway, with wine dust around, they could kill a painful one. After several hours. Just like that, they came all the way to the 20th floor. And Xiao Xiao, Emolioli, and the others were already a bit tired. After all, they had spared no effort in throwing magic for several hours. The blue levels were all mostly depleted. However, they didn't run into Ren Inian along the way. It seemed that Ren Inian should be about one to two levels ahead of them. Wang Dust deduced this in his mind. However, he was not in a hurry. His most important task now was to increase the team's points as much as possible. From the 20th to the 40th floor, there was nothing too odd about the monsters on this 20th floor. It was mainly a test of the candidate's endurance in brushing the monsters. So the terrain here was also relatively open. The number of monsters was more evenly distributed. The purpose is to allow candidates to brush more points here. The reason why many candidates chose to pass quickly in front of them was to save their strength and come to the 20th floor before making a push. Getting to the 40th floor was only a hurdle. Very few students were able to break through to the 40th floor. When they reached the 40th floor, the monsters there were called perverted. Basically, they were all boss-type monsters. But as long as one was able to brush the 40th floor, it meant that one had the strength to impact the Imperial Capital University. As long as one was able to brush the 40th floor, the points would basically be able to reach over 30,000. Brush one or two more layers at random. Basically, one would be able to stabilize the Imperial Capital University. Wang Chuan released several hundred mechanical spiders. He sat on the heads of the spiders. Letting these spiders line up to clear out the demons in this neighborhood. Li Meng Meng once again took out the monster attracting incense sachet. When he met a powerful demonic creature, Wang Dust would release some more spiders for them to surround. It could be said that brushing the monsters was very easy and pleasant. Instead of being an exam. It was more like a vacation. In the middle of the 20th floor. Above the plains. And Xiao Xiao and Li Meng Meng were sitting on the spider, talking and laughing, and even took out a deck of cards to fight the landlord there. A little tired from playing cards, they took a few sips of the drink next to them and ate a little bit of food to replenish their energy. Next to them, those flame goblins as well as some seat wolf knights riding strange wolves couldn't get close to them at all, and were killed by the spiders in the periphery. These monsters were only around level 15, so there was nothing they could do to these level 30 spiders. Any more of them were just sending them to their deaths. Excessive, excessive. Is there any justice here? Who mocked that teaming up with Senior Wang Duan was a fool, I think that person is the fool. I'm afraid this is the easiest way to brush monsters ever, relying on summons to do all the work. Can't stand it, can't stand it, I straight up can't stand it, brothers, damn it. The eyes of the students who were outside were red as they watched. Wang Dust had used the scanning tower to know all the demonic creature actions within a hundred kilometers radius like the back of his hand. Coupled with the skill he used, infrared scanning, he wouldn't let go of a single demonic creature. This prairie was dotted with tribes of seat wolf knights. Wang Dust looked at the large gathering of tribes behind the mountain range and gave a direct order, and the huge spiders roared and charged over. Originally, the other candidates had to go around when they saw these large gathering tribes, but Wang Dust directly chose to push across. Kill! Countless spiders destroyed those tents, and their sharp knuckles pierced through the bodies of these seat wolf riders. These magic creatures riding seat wolves had no time to resist before their lives were taken away from them. Under the attack of Wang Dust's spider army, they were like wheat under a scythe, dying in pieces. A large amount of experience was credited. The light on in Xiao Xiao and the others sitting on top of the spiders flickered, rising a level once again, and even Wang Chuan had risen a level. Not bad. Most of the monsters on the 21st floor have been killed, let's go, let's move on to the next floor. With a command, Wang Dust brought in Xiao Xiao and the girls to charge directly towards the 22nd floor. His aim was not to pass through, but to fully clear out. It didn't take a while. One after another, other teams began to arrive at the 21st floor. 
However, they searched around the place and were dismayed to find that there were no traces of any demons here. What's going on? The number of demons distributed after the 20th floor should be very even, how come we haven't seen any all this time? We quickly cleared the level before in order to come to the 20th floor to brush more monsters, and as a result, you're telling me that there are no more demons here? Is it hard to believe that this year's test questions have been changed? But we didn't receive a notice either. Many people were confused. Why don't we go to the next floor and take a look? At this time, the teams on the 21st floor were gathering more and more, and four or five teams had already come. The two of them, Lu Ningning and Lian Yunxi, also arrived with the team. At this time, Lu Ningning was wearing a set of slimming silver white armor, trimming her body to a very attractive dimpled shape. She was holding a long spear with golden cloud patterns, wearing silver white boots, and her exposed white legs were of a decapitating level. There was also a pair of clean white wings accompanied by a light golden glow on her back. Lian Yunxi, on the other hand, was wearing a red magic robe that looked very bright. Only the slit of the magic robe was a bit high, completely exposing her long snow white legs. This caused her magic robe to look a little lively, and countless male compatriots cast their eyes over as soon as she came in, but silently moved their eyes away when they saw Lian Yunxi. After all, who didn't know Lian Yunxi's temper? As the best best friend of the commoner goddess Lu Ning Ning. With a lively and hot personality, they couldn't carry it off. It was a bit like Li Meng Meng in this regard. It seemed that every school beauty would have such a lively and bold BFF next to her. Ha, huh, what's going on? What is everyone doing here? Not going to brush the monsters? Lian Yunxi looked around curiously. It's not that we don't want to brush the monsters, we've just searched the nearby 10 kilometers here and didn't find any traces of demonic creatures. Someone explained with a bitter smile. How is this possible? The distribution of monsters on every level from the 20th floor onwards is very even, how could it be possible to not even see a single monster within 10 kilometers? There are also a few auxiliary class professions here, and they have used the scrying technique, not to mention the 10 kilometers nearby, you can't see any magical creatures within 30 kilometers. Hearing these people's words, Lu Ningning and Lian Yunxi revealed a puzzled look in their eyes. Could it be that before, Ren Inian and the others cleared all the monsters without leaving a single one for us? What result can you guys get from discussing here? Why don't you hurry up and grab a look at the 22nd floor? Lian Yunxi shouted, and then led Lu Ningning and the girls to rush towards the 22nd floor without stopping. Only then did the group of people wake up as if from a dream and hurriedly followed. The group of people just disappeared into the huge light door, and along with the flickering light, they arrived at the 22nd floor. The 22nd floor was a huge desert. Just as they arrived here, they felt some difficulty in breathing. Sweat surfaced on many people's faces, and even more had already had the surrounding aids release some aura to ward off the heat in the air. But everyone's faces revealed a look of delight. It really is the Red Rock Desert, great. This place is inhabited by fire attribute magical creatures, mainly fire poison scorpions and rattling tail demon snakes, as well as some colorful lifelike Kuan chickens that can only be encountered once every two and a half years, these magical creatures are all hiding underneath the sand and it's usually very difficult to be cleared out of the way. Hey, no, I heard that the colorful lifelike Kuan chicken that was in the red flame desert before mated with an immature demonic creature, resulting in the birth of some powerful hybrid demonic creatures, which should have been removed out by the officials. Alas, this is not even the point, what I want to say is that it can't be that even the demons here were all killed by Renin Ian, right? Everyone still thought that the demons were all purged by Renin Ian and the others. They didn't even think about in Xiao Xiao and the others. However, after a lot of magicians scouted over there, their faces suddenly became ugly as they cried out in horror, don't be happy yet everyone, something's wrong, I still don't sense any magical creatures aura here. Someone retorted, this kind of demonic creatures all hide underground, they won't come out easily, and will only attack when people pass by, let's take a walk first. So the group walked up apprehensively. As a result, even after walking for 5 or 6 miles like this not a single demonic creature appeared. Now their faces became really ugly. Lu Ningning said, Yunxi, is it possible that these demons weren't purged by Ren Inian at all, I think it should be Wang Chen's doing, he is able to control a large number of summons. 
Lian Yunqi's face changed and said, Is it really that big brother who did it? Ah, he's gone too far, at least leave us a mouthful of soup. Ah. At this time, a boy in their team asked curiously, It wasn't Rin Yinian? How is this possible? Besides their team having this strength, who else has this strength? The remaining guys in the team all agreed that it was Rin Yinian and the others. Lian Yunqi said, There's no time to explain to you now, let's hurry forward and try to catch up with them or else we really won't even be able to have a mouthful of soup. While the rest of the team was still searching without dying, Lu Ningning had already led Lian Yunqi and the girls to catch up in a hurry. Their goal now was to catch up with the team in front of them that kept clearing out the demons. That youth was still muttering. How could it not be Rin Yin Yin? By this time, Wang Dust had already cleared all the monsters on the 23rd floor. He had already brought his team to the 24th floor. Unsurprisingly, Lu Ningning and the girls still hadn't found many demons on the 23rd floor after some desperate exploration. However, what made them feel relieved in their hearts was that everyone was the same, no one had a demonic creature to brush, so everyone's point ranking was still the same. Looking at the group of examinees who were scratching their heads as they looked around for magic items, the faces of the teachers outside the arena also turned brilliant. They had never imagined that one day the college entrance exam would be like this. This was because they had also never imagined that someone would be able to bring hundreds of summons to go on a rampage in the trial tower to clear out the demons. Instead of coming to take the exam, it would be better to say that they were coming to participate in the sweep. No, I still don't sense any demons. Lian Yunxi was holding a probe type compass in her hand, and the pointer on it shook for a while. Don't talk about it, let's hurry to the 24th floor, they're brushing demonic creatures there, their speed must be slower than ours, as long as we spend all of our time catching up, we can definitely catch up with them. Lu Ningning had already decided that she wanted to catch up with Wang Chen. Previously, I thought that it was impossible for this fellow to take the title of Denglong Scholar, but now it seems that I was the one who underestimated him by far. Lian Yunxi laughed bitterly, she had indeed underestimated that fellow. However, she was also a little skeptical. Could Wang Chuan really rely on controlling the mechanical worker ants and mechanical worker bees, as well as those dozen or so reinforced goblins, to brush so many magical creatures along the way? This guy shouldn't already be at a level that's not inferior to Renanian, he's probably at least 20 plus levels. At this time, she didn't know that all the summons under Wang Chen had already been completely renewed. And in order to get an answer, she could only go after them and take a look. And just what step has the current Wang Chen strength reached? Lu Ningning's eyes were also filled with curiosity. 25th floor. Rumble. 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 An automatic lava fire cannon sprayed out hot tongues of fire to burn the distant demonic creatures back and forth, their skin cracking. These demonic creatures were some two-headed giants, with two ugly heads growing on either side of their shoulders and holding a large stick in their hands a relatively difficult type of demonic creature. But they were also unbeatable in the face of the fire positions that Wang Chuan had set up in advance. Li Meng Meng would just need to stand in front with the monster attracting bomb. Lu Chang and In Xiao Xiao and the others were throwing magic towards the group of demons. When they were done fighting, they maneuvered their gatling to shoot at the monsters. Roar! These two-headed giants couldn't charge over at all and even when they cast magic and wrapped themselves in a thick layer of clay armor, it was useless. Wang Dust stood at the back, his hands clasping his chest as his gaze flickered. At this time, everyone was unaware that the thousands of diggers Wang Dust had just released had already spread out throughout the entire interior of the trial tower and started digging for minerals in a big way. He had now risen to level 31, and the levels of all the buildings and weapons could be raised to level 3. And now that all the weapons and building levels were stuck at level 2, he still lacked a large amount of mineral materials to upgrade them to level 3. By that time, the power of the buildings and weapons would be drastically increased, and it would also be beneficial to his later brushing of monsters. It was worth mentioning that the interior of the trial tower was littered with all sorts of excellent mineral sources. Wang Chuan constructed more than 10 scanning towers that covered tens of kilometers in a radius, and the rich mineral deposits underground were all presented in his mind. He immediately controlled a large number of diggers and began to dig frantically. Gathering the wool of the college entrance exam was quite good. At this moment, in Wang Chen's mind, prompts were constantly ringing out. 
You have obtained Copper Block X1210, Alloy Drill X1491, Iron Block X1412, Silver or X2211, Aluminum or X2234. Not bad, not bad, the 25th floor is surprisingly rich in so many mineral resources, let's stay here for a little longer. After mining enough ores, Wang Chen first leveled up the digger and invader. After all, this belonged to the foundation. Congratulations on your invader upgrade to LV3. Congratulations on upgrading your digger to LV3. Congratulations on upgrading your scanning tower to LV3. Name, Excavator, Level 3. Population 1. Skill digging or, sensing nearby mines, quick build, quick dig. Description small and flexible cluster unit, can quickly dig up or in transport it out, after upgrading it already has a preliminary artificial intelligence, it can sense the mine hole by itself and dig in teams, without extra effort to manipulate. Materials required copper block x30, alloy drill x30, iron block x30. Not bad, now I don't have to divert too much of my energy to the diggers here, and I don't have to give them instructions. Wine dust was satisfied. The invaders had also been upgraded quite a bit, and after rising to the third level, these invaders had shrunk further in size and had the ability to fly, which was the most pleasant surprise for Wang Dust. This meant that these invaders were able to control magical creatures more stealthily, which was also a qualitative improvement for him. Combined with the fully upgraded scanning tower that had a scanning range of a full 3,000 meters, Wang Chuan's combat radius was now substantially increased again. He then looked at the Mechanical Weapon Workshop. He had previously upgraded the Mechanical Weapon Workshop to the third level. It was currently able to create three types of weapons. Name, Mechanical Weapon Workshop. Level, Level 3. Function, Ground Level Mechanical Production Building. Description, a workshop that brings together countless god-level technological blueprints, capable of manufacturing a variety of weapons. Producible Weapons Fixed Automatic Gatling Gun, LV-2, Fixed Automatic Charge Shock Cannon, LV-2, Fixed Automatic Artillery, LV-2. Along with clearing out most of these two-headed giants in front of him. Wang Chuan suddenly said, all of you back off a bit, there are more powerful demons converging towards here. In his mind, he was able to see that the upgraded scanning tower had mapped all the information of the demons in the distance into his mind. Eh? Just as in Xiao Xiao and the others were doubtful. Not a moment passed. In the distance an even larger plume of smoke could be seen rushing towards this place. It was a team of armored demonic creatures. Apparently they were the elites within the two-headed giants, wearing rough armor that looked to have uncommon defensive power. And at the back there were some two-headed giant shamans holding magic staffs, constantly chanting and smashing a circle of black or red aura into the bodies of these two-headed giants. The bodies of these two-headed giants instantly became a few points larger, and the armor on their bodies emitted a faint glow, obviously being increased with powerful defensive abilities. Meng Meng, Liu Li, you guys save your magic power, the ones coming now are some elite demons, be careful of them breaking through, you guys see which demons break through the fire defense line and prioritize which to attack. And Xiao Xiao saw this and immediately got a little nervous and gave the order. Li Meng Meng and Mo Liu Li immediately also gathered their minds and stood by. At this time, Wang Chuan had saved up enough materials to upgrade his weapons again, and without hesitation, he directly upgraded all of these weapons. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed type auto gatling to LV3 to fixed type auto reaper gatling. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed auto charge blaster to LV3 to a fixed auto charge multi barrel blaster. Congratulations on upgrading your fixed automatic lava cannon to LV3 and turning it into a fixed automatic reaper cannon. Ka 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 ka. The moment the upgrade was completed, all of these weapons built around their team began to morph and reorganize. Along with the sound of mechanical combinations rang out. The barrel of the Gatling became denser and a crimson flame pattern began to emerge on it, looking hideous and gruesome. And the charge shock cannon also had two extra huge barrels. As for the lava cannon, it was also the same as the Gatling, with a black and red pattern emerging on it and the fuel tube leading to the fuel tank had also become even thicker. This is, could it be that these weapons you built, Wang Chen, are still able to be upgraded? And Xiao Xiao was shocked when she saw this scene. Crap, this is too damn cool. Growing buildings and weapons. Lu Chang was also shocked beyond belief. 
In the past, those summoning class or construction class professions, the growth of the things they created were all very low. They weren't the only ones who were shocked, the teachers who were watching the battle outside also discovered these details, and their faces immediately became incredibly shocked as well. Wang Chen's potential was enormous. Wang Chuan is determined not to have any accidents, I'll take this student. Lu Fan took a deep breath and gave a solemn explanation to Lu Qian next to him. Also, be careful of those fallen ones. If any accidents happen to Wang Chen, you don't get to be the principal. Lu Qian hurriedly said, Don't worry, Lord Special Ombudsman, the school's surroundings have been tightly defended, and this year's security is tighter than ever, so there won't be any fallen ones mixing in. The so-called fallen ones were humans who believed in foreign evil gods. They had turned their backs on the human creed and thrown themselves into the arms of the foreigners. It was an existence that all humans detested. Among the 25 floors, all of these weapons opened fire. The enormous firepower directly covered these elite two-headed giants in the distance. The stream of bullets spewed out by the greatly increased Reaper Gatling mercilessly harvested their lives. The range of the charge clusters released by the multi-barrel charge impact cannons was also larger. Once hit, it would bring about a more powerful paralyzing effect, and these two-headed giants had blue currents flickering on their bodies, and each one of them was slow to move, unable to get close to Wang Chuan and the others at all. The flames of the lava death cannon almost turned red and black, melting everything. It was a one-sided slaughter. Almost there. Wang Dust nodded his head. At this time, his diggers provided him with another large wave of ores. It's time to upgrade the mechanical general factory to another level. Upgrade. Wang Chuan gave an order, and in the middle of his mechanical space, the huge mechanical general factory began to assemble again, becoming even more magnificent. Name, Mechanical General Factory. Level, 3. Population, 3000. Function crafting different mechanical units. Description, your faction's technology level is divine technology, and the powerful mechanical factory contains a complete divine technology tree, allowing you to create powerful mechanical units through manufacturing blueprints and materials. Currently craftable troop types, diggers, invaders, mechanical warriors, mechanical hounds. Currently craftable buildings, scanning tower, mechanical weapon workshop. Another additional troop type? Wang Chuan looked inside the factory. Last time, he realized that he could craft mechanical warriors. The level of these mechanical warriors would correspond to his level. But because making mechanical warriors required a lot of materials, he had never attempted to make them. Moreover, he had so many invader-controlled magical creatures in his hands that he couldn't use these mechanical warriors for a while. Moreover, these mechanical warriors currently had no way to carry weapons and their combat power was slightly weaker, so it would be better to use these summons first. When the mechanical weapons workshop was able to produce weapons that the mechanical warriors could use, he would then create mechanical warriors. He didn't expect that there would be more mechanical hounds this time. The characteristics of these mechanical hounds were reconnaissance as well as self-destruction. They were considered a relatively good scouting type of soldier. They had excellent vision and hearing as well as a sense of smell, so Wang Chuan no longer needed to use intruders and diggers as scouts. Wang Chuan took a look and realized that these mechanical hounds didn't consume much material, so they could be considered a capable companion. He immediately crafted 10 mechanical hounds, and with a flash of light, 10 mechanical hounds with red light flashing in their eyes appeared around him. Wang Dust directly upgraded these mechanical hounds to level 3. Wow, Brother Dust, this mechanic of yours is too powerful, how can you even make dogs? Lu Chang stroked the heads of these hounds, his eyes filled with marvel. These hounds can act as vanguards. Wang Dust waved his hand, and these hounds immediately let out a wild bark, then rushed out, extremely fast. It was simply too appropriate to use them to explore Rin Yin's trail. Otherwise, Wang Chuan was really afraid that he wouldn't be able to run into that fellow. Anyone who had offended him in the first place, he would make those guys pay. Let's go. Let's go to the 26th floor. A cold light flashed through Wang Chen's eyes. After experiencing so many things before, he had long understood that only absolute strength could control everything. And only with absolute strength could he make those people pay the price as well as their lives. 
Say, well we run into Renini and ah, our traveling speed is much faster than theirs, and our current points are several thousand ahead of theirs. Lu Chang looked at the teleportation talisman on his wrist, which displayed the information of each participating team, and their points had now come to more than 20,000. Generally speaking only brushing up to almost 30 floors would be able to have this amount of points. But it couldn't be helped that Wang Chan and the others were brushing the monsters in a sweeping manner. Mo Liuli interjected, I don't know if Ren Yinian will be able to rush to the 50th floor this year, I heard that he is very confident. Wang Chuan said to himself, he definitely won't be able to rush to the 50th floor this year, he won't even be able to rush to the 30th floor. Eh? Mo Liuli froze. Could it be that Ren Yinian wasn't as strong as she thought? Surprisingly, he couldn't even rush the 30th floor. And Xiao Xiao sensed something else in Wang Chen's words, she looked deeply at Wang Chen and bit her lip. Wang Chen didn't say anything and just looked at the teleportation door leading to the 26th floor. An icy cold light flashed in his eyes. All these days of hard work and struggle, in order to find this fellow Ren Yinian in the middle of the trial tower. He would prove to this scum. Even if you take away everything from me. I can still turn the tide against all odds. The pain you inflicted on me in the beginning will all be returned to you a hundredfold. Just wait, Rin Inian. Although it is said that no one can die within the Tower of Trials, because the teleportation talisman will teleport you out when you are seriously injured. However, this probability should not be 100%, right? 26th Floor Wang Dust quickly led the vast army of spiders to clear out all the demons within this. There was still not an inch of grass. Wang Dust looked at his points expressionlessly. Their team's points had now come to 25,000. Rumble. And Xiao Xiao's eyes glowed crimson as she struck several flame magic spells into the distant group of flying centipedes. These hideous centipedes were hit and screamed miserably. Li Meng Meng, on the other hand, chanted, constantly applying all sorts of gain buffs, her entire being divine and incomparable. It was at this time. The hounds released by Wang Chen finally caught the scent of Ren Yin's group. In the middle of the 27th floor. This place was a land of ice and snow. Ren Yin and the others were tangling with the monsters here. Silver electricity chain wave. Luo Jun held a silver-colored lance and continuously pulled out large swaths of chain lightning. Roar roar roar. The few snow monsters here that grew thick fur were instantly electrocuted and rolled their eyes, their bodies convulsing. Cheng Shan Shan, on the other hand, released a purple poisonous mist to poison these snow monsters over as much as possible. Good cooperation, don't make too much noise, there are a few more demons here, we need to rest in place when we advance a distance. Run Enian was also killing on the side, his lance was like a golden divine dragon waving recklessly in his hand. All the demons that came into contact with it seemed to be paralyzed in an instant, and were then easily pierced through. And the discerning were able to see. Running in spear had the ability to solidify space and time, and the moment these magical creatures got close to it, the flow of time was slowed down several times, which was why the visual effect of paralysis appeared. After a period of killing, the demons here were finally all killed. Shit, it's really tiring me out, the defense of these snow monsters is too amazing, if not for the fact that my profession comes with magic attributes, I'm afraid that I really can't help them. Luo Jun sat on his butt on the ground, panting heavily, then drank a bottle of red potion to replenish the blood and magic power in his body. Luckily, my poison has a restraining effect on them, otherwise we would have wasted a long time this time. Cheng Shan Shan was also a bit tired, and similarly took out the blue potion that returned her magic power and took a few sips. Grab some time to rest, don't talk nonsense, the few of you should hurry up and rest as well. Ren Yinian, on the other hand, directly plopped his knees on the ground and began to silently recover his physical strength. At the same time, he signaled the few aides beside him to rest beside him in case they were attacked by the demons. And they didn't know that in the back there were three or four hounds sniffing the ground. Suddenly, the red light in the eyes of one of the hounds was soaring, as if it had discovered something, and twisted its head to signal the other hounds to follow it. After a few minutes of walking, these hounds discovered Ren Yinian and the others behind the dirt slope. The red light in the hound's eyes flickered, transmitting the scene in front of them to Wang Dust at the rear. Wang Dust was standing in front of the fire position and was clearing out the demons on the 26th floor. 
When he saw the scene, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Renenian, finally I have found you. The hatred in Wang Chen's heart was almost too much to contain. His parents lying in the hospital, his sister in a wheelchair, and his own heart that had been ripped out. All of this was thanks to this beast. He couldn't wait to cut this guy into a thousand pieces. Since you want to rush to the 50th floor to set a new record, then I will stop you at the 27th floor. Not only will I stop you, but I will also kill you by betting on a 1% chance. He stayed on these floors with the purpose of raising his strength once again. After upgrading his men's buildings and soldiers, he now possessed a 1% certainty. He was also looking forward to Rin Inyan's expression when he saw himself. Ho 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 dash. The icy cold wind whistled and swept up a few snowflakes. HM? Ren Inian suddenly opened his eyes and looked towards the back of the small dirt slope. A faint light flickered in his eyes as he activated his detection type skill. What's wrong? Are there demons coming? Luo Jun immediately stood up with his spear in hand. Cheng Shanshan was also a little nervous. Subconsciously, she took out her magic staff as well as some magic props, ready to fight. No, I feel as if there are some magic fluctuations there, but I didn't find any demonic aura when I probed over, it's a bit strange. Ren Inian didn't think in the direction of mechanical creatures for a while. This was because the magical creatures that appeared on this level were mainly isotribute magical creatures, it was unlikely that there would be any mechanical magical creatures. I don't know why, but there's always an uneasy feeling in my heart. A girl in the group wearing white robes suddenly said so. Her profession was a diviner. With the ability to predict good and bad fortune. Let me do some projections. This girl stood up. She made a seal with her hands, and dots of starlight suddenly surfaced around her, like a bright starry sky. Arcane auras fluctuated. Finally the girl closed her eyes and seemed to be sensing something, and the starlight around her began to tremble, connecting with some powerful existence. The girl's consciousness moved forward and forward and forward in the darkness. Just what is it that can make me feel uneasy? The girl chanted silently in her mind. Suddenly, she felt her consciousness arrive somewhere extremely empty. Here she heard the sound of countless mechanical interlacing and biting, as if gears were turning over there. What is this place? How is this aura filled with hatred and death? The girl was confused as she sensed towards her surroundings. As a result, just at this time, a small point of light suddenly lit up in front of her. This point of light then began to become radiant. By the time she reacted, an incomparably huge mechanical heart appeared in front of her, as huge as a planet. A terrifying aura that swept across the world came towards her to suppress it. What is this thing? The girl screamed and suddenly opened her eyes. The flickering starlight around her all collapsed, and she sat on her but with a palpitating heart. Is everything all right? Luo Jun hurriedly went forward and pulled the girl up. The girl wiped the blood that slowly flowed out of her nose. She looked at the blood on her white thin palms and said, We seem to have been targeted by something, I was shocked back by his terrifying aura after just probing for a bit. Targeted by something terrifying? Could it be the demonic creatures from the layers behind? Cheng Shanshan frowned, not thinking towards the rest of the freshmen for a moment. This was because their team could be said to be the top freshman team in the entire Luo High City. Ren Inian twisted his head and looked at the snowy slope in the distance again, his face changing a few times. He didn't know why, but he always felt that what the girl had projected was related to the strange feeling he had just sensed. But he couldn't come up with any evidence for a while. Luo Jun said at this time, is it possible that you felt wrong? The girl shook her head and said, our family is basically all diviners in this profession, and our divining art has been passed down for hundreds of years, so how could we be wrong? And even if my math is wrong, it can't be completely wrong, at most there is some deviation, definitely not completely wrong. The girl's confident words caused several people's faces to look a little ugly. If it was like the girl said so. I'm afraid that the rest of their journey will not be so smooth ah. But the question was what kind of contraption were they actually being targeted by? What to do? Chang Shanshan several people looked towards Renenian, who was after all their captain and their backbone. 
Raninian retracted his gaze, he said lightly, whatever it is there is no need to worry, whether it's a human or a ghost as long as he dares to set his eyes on us, I'm going to let him have no return. And after these few levels of killing, my level is all close to level 28. All of you have also risen a level or two. So I think that as long as we're a bit more careful, there should be no need to worry. He was the top of the line apocalypse knight of the titular S rank profession. By the way, take these with you. Ren Enian suddenly threw some necklaces to a few people. Holy shit, isn't this the topmost wolf's tooth necklace within the silver equipment? It has a life preserving effect and is able to withstand a blow from a level 35 professional. Several people's eyes were filled with delight. This kind of rare life preserving equipment had a market price of at least around a million dollars. All of you bring it with you, our situation may be a bit dangerous next, we absolutely cannot afford to have a situation like this where our manpower is downsized. Renenian had originally planned to break through a few more layers before taking out these necklaces, but now it seemed that he had to make some preparations in advance, just in case. At this time, Renenian did not know. The Ren family had already set off an uproar. As the number one family in Luohai City, how could the Ren family not be concerned about the college entrance exam? Therefore, after Wang Chen revealed his terrifying strength, the top management of the Ren family all gathered together urgently to start a meeting at the highest level. Ren family head, that is, Ren Yin's father, Ren Shanzong's face was unsightly. What are those few fools doing? It's been so long, and they still haven't found out exactly what occupation that kid has awakened? Ren Shanzong violently stood up, a terrifying aura erupted from his body, and his eyes became blood red to the extreme. Reporting to the family head, everyone inside the family is investigating, but we simply can't find out what occupation that kid has awakened in this nearly thousand-year-old occupation catalog. Yeah, we've all rummaged through it and we couldn't find any related to him, it feels like this kid's occupation is a fusion of many occupations. It's almost as if he's open. Originally, I had all agreed with my old ancestor that this year, my son will definitely be able to win the first place in Luohai City, and also be able to rank among the top in the province, and may even be able to win the title of Denglong Scholar, now how do you let me go back to explain to my old ancestor? Previously, the Rin family's strongest person in terms of prophecy had claimed that Run Inian had the qualifications of a great emperor. But now it seemed like it was all bullshit. So this was why Rin Shanzong was so angry. Originally, I had agreed that we must eliminate the root and branch, didn't we all say that we would send out an assassin to kill that brat? Now you explain to me why he was able to appear in the trial tower intact and with such a terrifying ability. In the face of Rin Shanzong's successive questioning, the people underneath each shrunk their necks, their faces unsightly, and no one dared to speak. At this time, someone said, Family Master, the priority now should be how to resolve this matter? Ren Shanzong growled, How to resolve it? He's in the trial tower right now, could it be that you can rush in and kill him? And with the strength that this kid has shown, it doesn't take much thinking, as soon as the trial tower comes out, there will immediately be a lot of people protecting him, so what are we going to do to move him? Are you able to fight with the special ombudsman? Someone couldn't help but gnash his teeth, that kid is just too ungrateful, what has happened to him? How was he able to turn the tables against all odds? The conference room was plunged into dead silence, and everyone couldn't think of any good solutions. Ren Shanzong looked at the video of the college entrance exam that was being broadcasted live and said, if there is no mistake, this kid might be looking for Nyaner's revenge soon. This kid has been saving up in front for so long, holding back for so long, and is probably waiting for this day at the trial tower. But someone coldly laughed, family master, I don't think you need to worry so much. Have you forgotten the young master's move? As a knight of the apocalypse, his occupational trait is manipulating time. It can be said that the young master is the nemesis of almost all long-range type professions, so what if that kid is even more powerful? As long as the young master performs that move, that kid will only be dead. As of now this kid should be a mechanical summoner type, his physical qualities aren't that strong, his reflexes, durability, and defense are even lower than ordinary professions, otherwise why would this kid have been cowering in the back all this time? Hearing this, Ren Shanzong's face looked a few points better as he said, right now, we can only hope that Nyaner doesn't take the enemy lightly, he doesn't know just how powerful this kid is right now. Of course, as long as Nyaner senses this brat's strength and directly performs that move, I'm 90% sure that Nyaner can win. 
After all, that move of his couldn't even block the trial tower teleportation talisman. Sama laughed, that's why you don't need to worry so much, family head, we just need to watch silently here, and there's no harm even if the young master doesn't kill that kid. After the trial tower is over, we have plenty of ways to get rid of that brat, so what if we have the protection of our teacher, we can spend a lot of money to ask those people to take action ah. Ren Shanzong's face suddenly chilled and said, don't cross the line, what do you mean by bringing these words into the open? Could it be that my Ren family is a family that colludes with the fallen? The implication of Ren Shanzong's words was obvious, that is, these words could not be taken out and said, doing it in private was fine. The rest of them all revealed heartfelt smiles. They weren't that worried now. Moreover, before graduating from college, all professionals were considered small-time. It was only when they reached university that a professional grew by leaps and bounds. They believed that Ren Yin's growth speed would only be faster than Wang Chen's, and that he would be able to completely leave Wang Chen behind when he reached university. Of course, this premise was based on not succeeding in strangling Wang Chen. If they were able to get rid of this kid in advance, naturally, there was no need to talk about college. Of course, if one could not kill this brat after the college entrance exam. Ren Shanzong also had the certainty that he would be able to take this brat out during college. Even if the country paid more attention, it couldn't protect this kid everywhere 24 hours a day, could it? By the way, hasn't young Master Ren always been interested in that girl from the Yin family? Hasn't old ancestor already extended an invitation to the Yin family's head? It's also that girl's good fortune to be seen by young Master Ren. Ren Shanzong nodded and said, that side has already agreed to our request and is willing to marry that girl named in Xiao Xiao in Yenner. The rest of the people nodded. Then they also turned their gazes to the screen. They also wanted to see what Wang Chen was going to do next. This brat, resolutely not letting him grow up. Originally, as Nyenner's devotee, he should have died the day he offered his heart. Nyenner was a bit careless to let him live on for so many years before leaving behind such a hidden danger. A terrifying killing aura rolled through Rin Shanzong's heart. At this moment, the Rin clan hadn't realized just how much importance Wang Chen was now receiving. They even less realized. Wang Chuan was simply not some long-range summoning type of mechanical magician. If Ren Yinian really dared to get close to Wang Chen, I was afraid that he would die an ugly death. The Ren family with a smug smile on their faces. They probably didn't realize that it wouldn't be long before the smiles on their faces would shift. Meanwhile, in the middle of the Yin family. And family head, and Shang, smiled as he wrapped his arms around in Huajie and said, Huajie ah, you have given birth to a good daughter, come on, hurry up and give me a drink, I told you that your daughter's vision wouldn't be bad, and that the kid she had her eyes on would be so powerful. And Shang stood up and raised his wine glass to the in-family executives below who were laughing into a frenzy, did you guys see that? To be able to summon so many level 30 demons at level 30 or so, and to be able to build so many terrifying growth weapons, holy fuck, this fuck. This fucking. This fuck. The last three sentences of this fucking in Chang were said louder than one. The two men clinked glasses and got drunk. And Hua Jie's face was full of redness and said, It's all because of the family head you bring good ah, as long as we and that kid make a good relationship, Xia Xiao can marry him, we can be the conclusion of a deep friendship, in the future we can all be in-laws. Based on that kid's strength, when he grows up, it's going to be great, I guess he'll be able to defend a city all by himself. I reckon that kid will be able to grow up to at least level 80, even level 100 is not impossible. Speaking here, the two old foxes looked at each other and couldn't help but let out another loud laugh. The executives below then rolled their eyes a little. Good fellow, you guys weren't like this before, especially since the family head was so angry after realizing that Insha Sha was teamed up with this kid that he threw several tables. One could only say that these two's faces became faster than anything else. But this world is cruel now, only when you prove out your strength can you gain favor and recognition. Just at this time. A phone call came over. The voice of Li Nua, the oldest ancestor of the Li family, came from the other end of the phone. And Chang, is your family's daughter familiar with that kid as well? And Chang laughed out loud, Li Nua, what do you mean? What are you thinking? Just your family's daughter still wants to steal our son-in-law from us? Li Nuwa was immediately offended, no way, that kid must be from our Li family. At least our family Meng Meng is also a school flower, 
Where is she inferior to your family's daughter? You can be really shameless, I have long investigated clearly, and that boy without support is still very weak, my family shaoshao but not a lot to care about people, do you think you can compare to others? Do you think you can compare to others? Can you compare to sending charcoal in the snow? And your family's daughter Li Meng Meng hasn't done much to dissuade my family Xiaoxiao from doing so. Ha 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 ha. This is all retribution, I'm talking to you. These words left Li Nua speechless, and in the end, and Chang laughed loudly and hung up the phone. And Chang then slowly picked up his teacup and took a sip of tea. Just at this time suddenly a person hurriedly ran over and shouted, Family master is not good, just now, the old ancestor decided to marry the Rin family. Put. And Cheng directly spewed out a mouthful of tea, and all the higher-ups stood up in unison. What's going on? Isn't old ancestor in closed-door cultivation? Why do we need to join forces? Besides, why would we want to marry that Rin family brat ah, he's also worthy. No, I'm going to rush to the old ancestor and ask him to withdraw his order into a marriage, this is just nonsense. But this person was sweating profusely and shouted, the old ancestor hasn't come back yet. He's probably still negotiating with the Rin family side. Negotiate my ass. And Chang directly stormed out in a flaming wind. Can this matter be negotiated? The riches of the sky were in front of him. It absolutely could not be missed. The old ancestor was presumably fooled just after he left the gate, and presumably didn't even watch the live broadcast. But anyone who watched a bit of the live broadcast probably wouldn't have made this stupid decision. While the outside was in chaos, Wang Chen's side had already accelerated towards the 27th floor with the crowd. He put away his summons. Walked into the light door. Brush. Ice and snow instantly blew across the sky. Before his eyes was a blanket of white, and the air was piercingly cold. The information sent back by the Han showed that Rin Inian and the others were in the latter half of the 27th floor's location. Finally, we've reached the 27th floor. The chill in Wang Chen's eyes was even colder than this icy world. Wow, it's snow. Emo Lioli cupped the snow on the ground in blue, and snowflakes fluttered in the sky. Emo Lioli's long blue hair under the white snow scene looked even more moving. And Xiao Xiao, on the other hand, frowned and rubbed her hands together, letting out a mouthful of cold air. She rubbed her slender white legs under her magical robes, and the scene was rather tantalizing. For her who was a flame attribute magician, cold was something she had somewhat loathed since she had awakened her profession. Whoa whoa whoa. So cozy. However, Emma Liuli was like a fish out of water here, the ice attribute magic power filling the air was able to allow her to reduce more consumption when casting spells, while also increasing the power of her magic. Don't catch a cold. Li Meng Meng reminded. Several people changed into slightly thicker clothes. After all, unlike warriors, they didn't have strong bodies to use against the cold. The cloak with a fur collar was draped over their bodies, emitting a faint red light. The self-contained cold-repelling magic array inside it operated, causing the surrounding snow to turn into nothingness before it had a chance to fall on their bodies. At this moment, the several girls were cloaked in their cloaks, each with their own appearance and cheeky looks, causing Wang Dust to be inexplicably a bit stunned. Look at my snowball! Emo Lioli and Li Meng Ming's nature to avoid chaos directly started smashing snowballs at each other. Let brother come! Lu Chang also excitedly discs a snowball on the ground, but just as he raises his head, Emo Lioli and Li Meng Meng's snowball smash into his face. Bang bang! Lu Chang directly tilted his head back and fell to the ground, both of his iframes were stuffed with two large snowballs, looking very funny. Ha 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 ha! Emo Lioli and Li Meng Meng directly laughed so hard that they couldn't straighten up. I'll fight you too. Lu Chang took off the snowball on his eyes and climbed up with a grunt. He coiled a super large snowball on the ground, raised it high above his head, and was just about to smash it towards Li Meng Meng and Emo Lioli. However, he saw a wave of the magic staff in Emo Lioli's hand, and the snow on the ground began to crazily coalesce in the air, surprisingly transforming into hundreds of snowballs shooting towards him. Anti, I was wrong. Ah, dash. Nua, want it? And Xiao Xiao was as sweet as ever, handing over a cloak. It's fine, I'm not cold, it's inconvenient to fight in a while when I'm in the lead. 
Wang Dust was indifferent, for him these temperatures didn't have any feeling. It feels like you have something on your mind? And Xiao Xiao rubbed her hands together and suddenly got closer to Wang Dust. The bitter cold wind sent a nice scent from An Xiao Xiao's body, causing Wang Chuan's somewhat irritated heart to suddenly quiet down a bit. Previously, when he was in school. No matter if it was a practical class or any other class, there was always no one willing to be with him, and he did everything alone, as if he was also used to being alone. Thinking of his parents in the hospital, his sister in the wheelchair, he felt as if life had no end, lifting his head to look at the sky, no matter any time the sky was gray. He didn't even think he would cross paths with An Xiao Xiao, even when An Xiao Xiao was showing him kindness, he would feel that An Xiao Xiao was pitying him. Later, he realized that this girl was indeed kind-hearted, and although she didn't say much, she was really good to him. Wang Du said, there's nothing much, I'll tell you on the way later. And Xiao Xiao suddenly said, you wouldn't be blaming Meng Meng, she's just a knife mouth and tofu heart, she bought all the things I gave her before. How could I blame her? Wang Du smiled. He looked at Li Meng Meng who was rubbing snowballs on the ground, although this girl with a lively personality had been doing all sorts of things to stop and Xiao Xiao from seeing him. But in fact, she had only verbalized it and would come along every time. There was never any ambiguity when help was needed, and at most, her mouth was a little bad. He called out to Li Meng Meng and the others, later on, you guys will walk behind me, in addition there are some things I want to talk to you about. Seeing that Wang Chen's face was a bit serious, and Xiao Xiao, who had been noticing that Wang Chen's tone was a bit abnormal, nodded her head and took the lead and said, uh, okay, no problem. The cheeky few people over there also noticed that things were a bit off, so they hurriedly patted the snow on their bodies and walked over. Lu Chang, on the other hand, cursed, do you guys know how to respect the old and love the young or not, at least I'm a 200 pound 200 month old? Emolioli hummed, we beat you like a grandson, younger than a child. Wang Chuan released several mechanical spiders and they climbed on top of one. Wang Dust then signaled Li Meng Meng to release a concealment type of magic. No problem. Li Meng Meng waved her hand and a golden curtain unfolded. All of a sudden, their silhouettes could not be seen clearly. Everyone's comments I have seen, thank you for your support, the pace of this book is not so fast, the author first to ensure stability, this way the plot can be written longer, in addition, the author's tomato big number is, Luo AI Dust, I usually use this number in the reply. The huge spider was extremely fast even on top of the white snowy plains, and would not take the initiative to kill any of the surrounding magical creatures that approached, but would instead go around them, as if everything was done in order to catch up with the road. Everyone outside the field looked at each other when they saw this scene. The way Wang Chuan brushed the monsters before was vivid in their minds. He wouldn't even let go of a single monster. He couldn't wait to chase them into their lairs and end their nests. But now it was suddenly uninterested in these monsters, was there something more important to do? What are Senior Wang Chan and the others doing? Could it be that they are going to perform the legendary car, oh no, spider shock? Damn it, what kind of stuff is in your head all day long? This look is just discussing a plan ah. Oh, I'm just mouth breathing, mouth breathing. The sudden scene caused many people to discuss and feel a little anxious in their hearts. Lu Fan in the middle of the conference room frowned. Why is this kid being so secretive? He glanced at the map next to him, and the red dot at the very front showed none other than Renin Yen's team. Could it be that this kid was going to catch up with Renin Yen's team? This speculation appeared in Lu Fan's heart for no reason. But what was the point of catching up with Ren Yin's team? Lu Qian said, Ren Yin has never helped Wang Duan in his day-to-day -day life, so he should be going after them to help Ren Yin. Help Ren Yin? Lu Fan blinked his eyes and felt that things were not that simple. Rumble. The spider's knobby limbs were ruthlessly rooted in the middle of the snow, speeding up to bring up white waves of snow. Wang Chen looked up at the curtain above them. Don't worry, well at least this young lady is an S-ranked auxiliary magician, there is absolutely no way that anyone will be able to overhear our conversation with this defense magic I set up. Li Meng Meng was very confident. Wang Dust nodded and finally said to them, since that's the case, there are some things I'll say to you directly. He said calmly, I will personally block Ren Yin's team in a while. Block Ren Yin's team? Several people let out exclamations of surprise, their faces filled with incredulity. Emolioli said in dismay, why would we do that? 
Raninian, he's also very strong, it wouldn't be good for us if we forcefully stop him ah. In the middle of the college entrance exams unless there was some deep hatred, generally speaking the teams were keeping peace with each other and would not go out of their way to fight. Wan Dust did not speak, but silently pulled open his collar, revealing a hideous scar on his left chest. Several people's faces changed slightly when they saw the scar on Wang Dust's chest. Wang Dust said indifferently, originally, I could have awakened the profession of Night of the Apocalypse with my heart resonating with the gods, but it was calculated by his family's prophet. So Ren Inyan's family arranged that car accident a few years ago, in which my parents became vegetative, my sister became crippled, and Ren Inyan took my heart. By the time he reached the end, Wang Chen could no longer suppress the monstrous hatred in his heart. He had held back until now, in order to be the revenge of today, and even with his state of mind, his shoulders were slightly trembling. He kindly transplanted an artificial heart for me, of course he wasn't afraid of me dying, but he wanted to see me live on in the form of a humble reptile until now, and then personally tell me the truth of everything on the day of awakening. Speaking of this in Xiao Xiao and the other's eyes were filled with shock. They had never dreamed that Ren Inian would be so vicious. This, this? Imo Lioli froze. Brother Dust. What you said is all true. I've long felt that guy always had a hypocritical look, but I didn't think that all those things back then were. Lu Chang was already incoherent. This guy. And Xiao Zhao's silver teeth clenched and her eyes directly reddened, the magic fluctuation on her body immediately became unstable. This was the first time Li Meng Meng had seen in Xiao Xiao get so angry. Her long black hair seemed as if it was on fire at this moment, starting from the tips of her hair and turning into a deep red color that gradually spread. Fortunately, Li Mengmeng hurriedly stopped in Xiao Xiao. I'm sorry, I was a bit out of line. And Xiao Xiao coldly threw down this sentence and took a deep breath. Anyone could see her slender jade hands clenching tightly, veins surfacing on her white arms. Anyone could tell that in Xiao Xiao was suppressing a monstrous rage in her heart at this moment. Damn! That beast. Lu Chang came back to his senses and violently slammed his fist on his leg, he was panting violently and his eyes had already climbed up with large swaths of blood. If it wasn't for that guy, Brother Dust, you'd be the horseman of the apocalypse in the limelight right now, and uncle and auntie and Luo Han, they wouldn't be in such a big trouble. He had been with Wang Dust for the longest time and knew exactly how hard it had been for Wang Dust all these years. When he thought that all of this was thanks to Ren Yin Yin. He couldn't wait to kill Ren Inian by a thousand cuts. If it wasn't for that fellow, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to awaken this current occupation right now. Perhaps everything is predestined, but the pain he inflicted on me and my family, I will of course return it to him a hundred times a million times over. Not only him, but also his family, I won't let any of them go. Wang Chen's eyes were filled with bone-deep hatred. He had really waited for this day for too long. This hypocritical man who stood under the sun, he must tear his hypocritical mask, letting everyone see clearly what kind of vicious soul was hidden under his skin. To seek justice for his parents, for his sister. The reason why I'm telling you guys about this now is because I'm going to fight with Ren Inian next, and I don't want to delay your college entrance exams, so you can leave first at that time. But before Wang Dust finished his words, Lu Chang directly said in a deep voice, Brother Dust, what do you mean by that? Are you looking down on me? Even if I can't help much, I'll bite a piece of meat off him even if I'm a dog. And Xiao Xiao also said directly, Wang Dust, do you think I'm that kind of person? That's right, you're looking down on us too much, Wang Chuan, although I didn't like you too much before, but when it's this young lady's turn to take action, I won't be ambiguous about anything, isn't it just a college entrance exam? It's not that important whether you take the exam or not. Li Meng Meng looked at Wang Dust, her gaze already said it all. Emolioli pursed her lips, before, I thought you were a young master of some family, after all, you were so powerful when I bumped into you in the secret realm. You helped me so much back then, how could I possibly run away from the battle? Truth be told, I'm looking at that guy with great displeasure even now. If I can't make that kid lose his skin, I'm afraid I don't even want to take the exam. Looking at the several people's anxious looks and the words they said, Wang Chuan's heart felt warmth for the first time. Wang Chuan laughed, don't say it so sadly, I'll let you guys leave early, I just want you guys to brush up on your points a little bit more, after all, in my eyes, Raninian is nothing more than a dog, it's as easy for me to kill him as a slap in the face. Do you guys think he can really beat me? 
A despicable thief, no matter how hard he tries, he will never be able to match me, he can only ever live under my shadow. Everything that belongs to me, I'll get it back soon. Roar! Several hounds Mercedes came back from the side and barked furiously at Wang Dust. Found the exact location of that guy. A cold light flashed in Wang Dust's eyes. The spider galloped faster. Li Meng Meng withdrew her cover magic. At this moment, every one of their faces had a serious look on them. Look, Senior Wang Dust and the others have appeared again, what were they discussing just now? How would I know if you ask me? It must be the next strategy. Hey, no, why did they suddenly change direction? If I'm not mistaken, isn't that Ren Yin's team? It's still true, could it be that their two teams are going to exchange or join forces? Amidst the astonished gazes of the crowd, Wang Chen's spider flew after Ren Yin. At this moment, in the midst of the wind and snow, Ren Yin, who was rushing along, suddenly looked back, and in the sky of wind and snow behind them, several blurry black shadows could be seen suddenly appearing in the distance. It seemed to be speeding towards them. What is this thing? Ren Yin frowned. The detection magic shows that that seems to be some magical creatures, but how come I've never heard of being able to swipe out a mechanical race of magical creatures here? Cheng Shan Shan looked at the compass in her hand and her face changed violently. Mechanical races demonic creatures? Aren't there all some ice attribute snow monsters and polar bears here? Luo Jun was also a little confused. No, I felt that netherworldly danger coming from here earlier. The girl who was a diviner suddenly let out a warning sound. Is the danger coming from here? Ren Inian signaled the crowd to stop and take up combat positions. His heart was suddenly a little nervous. He felt as if something bad was about to happen. Ho 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 dash. In the midst of the sky's wind and snow, the silhouettes of those few black shadows became clearer along with the distance. Those were clearly several giant spiders, their scarlet compound eyes staring at them unkindly. But what shocked them the most was that on top of the spiders stood several upright figures. It's you! Renanian let out a violent sound of surprise when he saw the figures standing on the leading spider among them. Chapter 101, Do You Think the Teleportation Talisman Works? It's been a long time, or rather, you never expected to see me here, right? Wang Chen's pupils reflected Ren Yin's figure. The wind and snow in the sky let out a mournful howl. Above the dim sky, dark clouds gathered more and more, oppressing as if the sky had become a few degrees lower. Ren Yin did not speak, but felt the aura of Wang Chen's body, and his face gradually became gloomy to the extreme. There was also a huge look of shock in his eyes. Wang Chuan had not concealed his aura. After Luo Jun threw out a scrying technique, he finally spoke out in surprise, how is it possible? This kid's level is actually over 30. Over 30 levels? How is this possible? Run Inian is only level 28 right now. Cheng Shan Shan turned her head openly and stared at Wang Chen with a deadly stare, and after further perception, a huge shocked color surged on her face as well. Wasn't it said that this kid is just a waste? Could it be that in Xiao Xiao and the girls are helping him upgrade? But how is this possible, are they that capable? What shocked them even more was that the mechanical spiders under the feet of Wang Chen and his party were each level 30. Could it be that these mechanical spiders were also summoned by Wang Chen? Wasn't it said that Wang Chen had failed to awaken his profession? But what was going on right now? Ren Yin's hearts of the several people tumbled with great doubts and disbelief. That diviner maiden, on the other hand, looked at Wang Chen. Her pupils were filled with shock and awe. She said with some hindsight, there's no mistake, the aura I felt in that place came from him. It came from him? Luo Jun and Chang Shan Shan glanced at each other, gulped a mouthful of saliva, and their brows tightened. Ren Yin, who hadn't said anything, he smiled at Wang Chen and said, it seems that I really underestimated you, I really didn't think that you would be able to go this far, there seems to be some very remarkable mutations happening in your body. I'm getting more and more interested in you now. While listening to the conversation between the two, the crowd outside the arena was staring wide-eyed at each other. What's going on? What are they talking about? I recognize every word that was said, but together I don't know what it means. Could it be that the two people have some kind of deep hatred? 
This can't be possible, right? Didn't Rin Inian repeatedly help Senior Wang Chen before? Yeah, I've heard about this too, Ren Inian is a great person that we've recognized. The voices of the people discussing this gradually became louder and louder. The teachers and education bureau executives sitting on top of the high platform were also looking at each other. Seeing them in such a tense manner, there was no meaning of repaying a favor, it was only right to say it was revenge. The principal Lu Qian in the middle of the conference room was also stupefied when he saw the scene. It seems that you are really a bit incompetent as a principal, you are not even clear that there is such a big grudge between the students. Lu Fan calmly twisted his head to look at Lu Qian, his gaze looked at Lu Qian's heart a little hairy. Lu Qian said awkwardly, this can't be, I've never heard of any grudge between the two of them before, is there some kind of misunderstanding? Misunderstanding, how could there be a misunderstanding? When I was at the front line participating in the war to defend the border for the Chinese Empire, I've seen too many foreigners and foreigners. These people encroached on our Huaxia Empire's territory, poisoned our people, and plundered our resources, and I didn't even look at them with a gaze as terrifying as this kid's. Not only was there a deep hatred between the two people, but it was also the kind of deep hatred that could not be reconciled at all. Lu Fan picked up the tea next to him and took a sip of it slowly and methodically, finally placing the teacup on the table with a bang, splashing the tea in all directions. Lu Qian shivered and squeezed out a smile, Lord Special Ombudsman, don't be angry for now, I'll go and investigate. He was about to leave, but Lu Fan shouted at him and said, what can you investigate at this moment, we just need to watch the results here. Watch the results, are the two of them going to fight? Lu Fan laughed when he heard this. Saying you're brainless is really brainless, prepare for the first aid teacher, today you'll definitely have to collect the corpse for one of the two. Boom! When these words came out, Lu Qian was dumbfounded, his scalp almost cracked, and his breathing was shortened all of a sudden. He said incoherently, Lord Special Ombudsman, what you're saying is a bit too exaggerated, this. How could this possibly cause a human death, besides we have the protection of a teleportation talisman here? If the college entrance examination caused a death, he, the principal, was afraid that he would have to have an unshirkable responsibility. And it was still implicated by a personal grudge. The Rin family that Rin Inian represented behind him was also one of the biggest powers in Luohai City, and even had connections with certain high-ranking people in the imperial capital. He didn't dare to imagine what would happen to Rin Inian if something happened here. Of course, if Wang Chen had any accidents, he believed that Lu Fan would also be able to skin him on the spot. Lu Fan laughed, do you think the teleportation talisman is useful? Chapter 102, do you want to have a 1v1 duel with me? These words made Lu Qian's goosebumps rise. That's right, for Rin Inian and Wang Chen, if they really fought to the point of death, the teleportation talisman really didn't necessarily have a role to play. Not to mention that the horsemen of the apocalypse were born with the ability to condense space and time, which had a certain hindering effect on the teleportation talisman that relied on the power of space for teleportation. Neither of these two people can afford to have an accident. Lu Fan had emphasized this with him before. Six of the top ten in the imperial capital's potential dragon ranking were foreigners. They also occupied the top six positions. This year, the pretty country and the taiji country have sent three more scholars, all of whom are S-class professions. Rampantly, they said that they wanted to completely expel Chinese people from the subterranean dragon ranking. Lu Fan decided this year that he would focus on cultivating Wang Dust to reclaim the top three positions on the subterranean dragon ranking. If anything happened to Wang Dust, Lu Qian didn't dare to imagine what kind of anger he would bear. Moreover, Wang Chuan's file and his performance had already been urgently shipped to the imperial capital. It would be presented to some of the higher-ups. If something happens to Wang Chen on this side just after he finished reading the file over there, it would be the easiest way to die. Currently, it was estimated that death would be the easiest. But what he was most curious about now was, what kind of grudge was there between Wang Chen and Ren Inian? Just as Lu Qian's forehead clattered with cold sweat, Lu Fan handed him a cup of tea for him to take a sip first. Don't be in a hurry, sit here and take a break first. Thank you Lord Special Ombudsman. Lu Qian took a sip of the cool tea and sat down on the chair, his entire body was as if he was deflated. Lu Fan handed over another sheet at this time. This is? 
Lu Qian received it with a dumbfounded face, and he heard Lu Fan say, write your suicide note, or else any one of these two people has an accident between them it's estimated that the above may execute you on the spot under the wrath of God, and at that time, you won't even have the time to write your suicide note. Ha! Huh? Lu Qian really wanted to cry. That said, with my strength I'll be able to kill you in seconds with a single slap, I'll try my best to let you go without pain, at least I'm a level 70 dragon blood warrior. Lu Fan took out a bloodstained long knife from his spatial ring and wiped it delicately there. At this time, Su Yun's phone call came over, he said in grief, Old Lua, now you really have bad luck, no matter who wins, you have good fruit to eat, ha ha ha, next year's Qing Ming festival, I will definitely give you a grave. Originally, Luo Hai no. One middle school had produced two supreme geniuses, Su Yun hated the back of his teeth, but in the end, when he saw that things had suddenly developed into such a situation, he directly laughed so hard that the corners of his mouth were about to split open. Damn you! Lu Qian's hands were shivering. At this moment, everyone was thinking about what kind of grudge there was between Wang Chen and Rin Yinian. The In family, Rin family, and Li family, which were the big families, were also puzzled. Li Nua frowned, what is going on here? Could it be that the reason they had Meng Meng cast the magic of concealment earlier was to discuss the matter against Rin Yinian? However, it was the Rin family that paid the most attention. All the top management sat here solemnly watching the live broadcast of the entrance exam. The next battle between Wang Chan and Rin Yinians would determine the development of their Rin family. However, every one of them had a lofty look on their faces. They firmly believed that Rin Yinian would be able to defeat Wang Chen. After all, melee combat had a huge inherent advantage over long-range summoners. After all, every one of them knew about Ren Yinian's excellence. No matter what kind of changes happen to this kid, he will always be a stepping stone for Nyenner, and since he dares to approach Nyenner, he must be prepared to die. Ren Shanzong played with the two walnuts in his hand. He was still waiting for the moment the two sides of the battle were divided into winners and losers to spread the good news to the Ren family's old ancestor. Young master will definitely be able to kill him. The rest of them voiced out. Rumble. An angry thunderous sound came from the distant firmament. The wind tightened a few points all of a sudden. Do you really think that you are still the same Rinian who can step on my head at will? Hearing Rinian's words, Wang Chen laughed. At this moment, Rinian hadn't differentiated his role clearly. Along with Wang Chuan's command, the mechanical spiders carrying in Xiao Xiao and Lu Chang and the others began to retreat towards the two sides. Wang Chen? And Xiao Xiao was a little worried. I'm enough on my own. Wang Dust said without looking back. Ren Yinian looked at Wang Chen and said, Are you going to have a 1v1 duel with me? Interesting, Luo Jun, Cheng Shan Chan, Yuan Yuan, you guys back off too. At this moment, he still did not consider Wang Chen as an opponent in his heart. Boss. Luo Jun's face changed. Didn't you guys hear my words? Yes. Luo Jun and Chang Shan Chan immediately backed away with the other two teammates. Ranian looked at Wang Chen and said, Although I don't know what kind of changes have happened to you, but are you able to last a single round under my lance? Does your confidence stem from these mechanical spiders under your feet? Before he could finish his words, the lance in his hand snapped. Boom! In an instant the lance in his hand blazed with golden light. Chapter 103, Who is the Hunter? Who is the Prey? Behind him a knight riding a warhorse violently emerged, the illusory heavenly horse raised its white feathered wings and hissed as it descended into reality. Above the celestial horse was a celestial god in golden armor, holding a golden lance and coming at Wang Chen with a forward thrust. Rumble. The illusory golden lance instantly pierced through the spider at Wang Dust's feet. Green blood splattered in all directions, and the knobby limbs holding up the body of the spider under Wang Dust's feet went limp and instantly collapsed to the ground, raising a large circle of snow. Seeing this scene, everyone did not expect Renin combat power to be so strong that he had resolved the level 30 mechanical spider in a single strike. It had to be said that it was worthy of being the best of the S-rank professions, the horseman of the apocalypse was truly as terrifying as it was. Was this the strength of Renin Cheng Shan Shan, who was at the side, covered her mouth, her eyes colorful. At level 28, he was able to kill a level 30 mechanical spider. 
This kind of combat power was truly somewhat terrifying. Wang Chen, are you alright? The hearts of An Xiao Xiao and the others tightened violently. Brother Dust. Lu Chang directly jumped down from the spider with a grunt. Looking towards the distance a large circle of white snow sinking rose up. Everyone outside the arena even shivered as their bodies followed, the speed of Renin strike was so fast that even they hadn't reacted to it, and they were now very worried about Wang Duan's well-being, it wouldn't be given a second at once, would it? Senior Wang Chuan is alright, holy shit, I'm fucking scared to death. I don't know. The sound of people talking and discussing grew louder and louder. One could only say that long-range professions were still at a bit of a disadvantage when fighting melee professions. Ren Yin's eyes were filled with condescension, and he had a touch of mockery on his face. He held a golden lance and shouted in Wang Chen's direction, with just this much strength, you dare to run wild in front of me? As I said, you will always be nothing more than a mole in my eyes, a tail wagging pug that is my prey. Leaving you alive in the first place was also just to allow you to look up to my supreme greatness, do you still really think that you can be salty? He then shook his head even more disappointedly and said, after giving you so much time, the result is still so unpleasant. Unfortunately, the future me won't stop at the Chinese Empire, my footsteps are going to be all over the world, it's a pity that you won't have the chance to see it. He then wanted to put away his spear. But to his surprise, Wang Chen's voice suddenly came out from amongst the raised snow dust. Yes? Then I'll return that to you in its original form as well. I thought you could play some big tricks by stealing everything from me, but now I see that it's nothing more than that? My fortune is not something you can steal just by saying so. Amidst everyone's shocked gazes, Wang Dust walked out from the roiling snow dust. His calm eyes were like an abyss. A cold smile then spread across the corners of his mouth. Since you made a move, it's my turn to make a move now, isn't it? Ren Yin Yin. Wang Chen's calm face suddenly became hideous. The pain that has been inflicted on me all these years, it's time for me to pay back as much as I deserve. Not only you, but also the Rin family behind you, I won't let any of them go, so today, I'll first take your life to offset the pain of my family. The killing intent that had been suppressed in his heart all these years also erupted at this moment. Rumble. The earth trembled. Two magnificent mechanical giant doors rose up. An airy halo of light flickered inside. Countless terrifying hissing sounds rang out. Could this be? Amidst Rinian's shocked gaze. The giant door continued to expand, and countless demonic creatures rushed out from within. That one giant spider hissed and came into the middle of this world, its scarlet compound eyes locking onto Rin Yin Yin. From now on, the identity of the hunter and the prey switched. True hunters, besides enjoying the thrill of killing their prey, what they enjoyed even more was the powerlessness of chasing their prey and pushing it to the brink of extinction, admiring the prey's flight and eventual tragic death. Now! Ren Yin was Wang Chen's prey. The faces of Luo Jun and Chang Shan Shan, who were standing around on the side, also turned abruptly pale as they looked at Wang Chen with shocked gazes. What has happened to this fellow's body? How is it possible for him to summon so many summons of the same level as him? Ren Yin's gaze shook. All three views were turned upside down. Which summoner was capable of doing this? From now on, he suddenly realized that he seemed to have underestimated Wang Chen. The original lofty expression on his face gradually disappeared and was replaced by shock. In that less than a few seconds, more than a hundred mechanical spiders rushed out, while it seemed as if there was an endless source of demonic creatures hissing in the back. Boom! The lance in Rin Yin's hand erupted with a brilliant light as he charged forward, breaking the knuckles of a mechanical spider. But the next moment there were two spiders with abnormal abdomens, spider silks with electric currents shot towards him and turned into two large webs in the air. What the hell is happening to this kid? Chapter 104 Go to Hell Kid But if you think you can pin me down with this, then you've underestimated me a little too much kid. Apocalypse Instant Strike The long spear in Rin Yin's hand instantly erupted with brilliant golden light. It instantly stabbed forward dozens of times. Swish swish swish. The air froze, and then the golden light exploded, and countless razor-sharp golden beams of light flashed through the air. The spider webs in the air were instantly slashed open, 
and the few spiders that tried to rush over were also killed, their bodies turning into several pieces. Holy shit, big brother Rinenian is really too strong, to think that he was able to kill even a level 30 demonic creature in a single strike. Cheng Shan Chan and Luo Jun's eyes flashed with excitement. The defenses of the spider-type demons themselves weren't too outstanding. So that was why Ren Yin's attack was able to be effective. Not to mention that the weapon in his hand was also a top-notch equipment. The effects attached to it had the effect of increasing speed to break armor as well as bludgeoning. And that's not all. Ren Yin was extremely fast. After attacking, he immediately jumped up high and stepped on the back of another spider. The long spear in his hand once again bloomed with countless golden rays. Destroy Mountain With a horizontal sweep, a terrifying wave of air swept out as if it were a hurricane, bringing up a sky full of snow dust and forcing the surrounding demons back. Squeak 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 Those spiders hissed a few times grumpily and crouched down, their densely compounded eyes flashing with red light, trying to look for Rinian's figure amongst the raised snow dust. Damn it, where did Rinian go? Lu Chang looked left and right, his sweat was rising, losing the enemy's trail on top of the battlefield was a big no-no, not to mention that the other party was still a melee class occupation with explosive damage power. And Xiao Xiao was even directly holding the magic staff in her hand, ready to strike at any time. Xiao Xiao, don't worry, don't you still believe in Wang Chen's strength? Imo Liuli patted in Xiao Xiao's shoulder, her eyes filled with confidence. The current Wang Chen hadn't even utilized a tenth of his strength. That's right, you are concerned, can't you see that Wang Chen is walking his dog? Li Meng Meng also let out a laugh without the slightest worry in her eyes and incidentally kicked Lu Chang on the side to keep him honest, Lu Chang laughed and realized that he was also a bit too worried. He always failed to realize that Wang Chen was able to make such a big change in such a short period of time. The hearts of the unknown crowd outside the arena lifted with them when they saw this scene. It had to be said that Run Yin's speed of improvisation was really fast. After solving his dilemma in a flash, he made a counterattack, retreating the surrounding demons to prevent being surrounded. At the same time, he raised snow dust to cover his senses, making Wang Chen's attacks helpless. One could only say that it was worthy of being a descendant of a big family, and practical combat experience was abundant. Where's Rin Yinian? Where is he? Everyone was looking at the big screen. Their vision was completely obscured by the white snow dust flying in the sky. Utilizing the terrain to fight was an indication of whether or not every professional had abundant combat experience. The next moment. A figure suddenly sprang out from the roiling snow dust. Time stream instant step. One could only see Rinenian carrying channels of golden light that wrapped around his body as if it were an electric snake. He held a long spear and was incredibly fast, directly stepping on the backs of the spiders and moving at high speeds. Those spiders didn't even react at all and could only see a yellow lightning bolt scurrying above the spider group. So fast, worthy of being a horseman of the apocalypse, could it be that this move is briefly accelerating the flow of time around them, allowing their speed to increase to an incredible level? Someone with a keen eye could see the end of Reninian's move at a glance. To be able to control time at such a low-level profession, the perversity of the Knight of the Apocalypse profession was thus evident, which made many people envious. What should Wang Chen do next? In their eyes, Wang Dust was a mechanical summoner profession and was definitely afraid of melee combat. Once he was plastered on Reninian's face, wouldn't that be like an assassin bumping into a brittle skin? Shit, this is really dangerous for senior Wang Chen. Amidst everyone's shocked and worried gazes, Ren Inian had already crossed over dozens of spiders. It was useless even if more spiders surged out from among the mechanical summoning gates on both sides of Wang Chuan. After all, Ren Inian's speed was too fast for these spiders to react in time. Snort snort. Many spiders raised their abdomens to release a large amount of cobwebs, but they couldn't stop him in the slightest. It's useless, kid. The long spear in Rin Yin's hand swung forward violently, and countless spider webs were broken through. He wore a hideous smile on his face. Taking a deep breath, the golden light on his body became even more dazzling. In the end, Rin Yin ruthlessly stepped on top of a spider's head with a loud boom, and his entire body instantly leapt up with the help of this force. He raised the golden lance in his hand. 
The golden light blossomed, just like a golden sun rising in the middle of heaven and earth. Go to hell kid, any more summons you release will be useless to me. Chapter 105, Waste Will Always Be Waste Waste will always be waste, do you think you'll be able to turn the tables just because you get some miraculous encounters? I'm telling you brat, it's all useless. You'll always only be worthy of being my stepping stone, you can only be stepped on by me for the rest of your life. Go to hell. The illusory figure of the horseman of the apocalypse emerged behind Rinini and once again. Following his movements, the brilliant knight also raised the lance in his hand high, launching a fatal strike at Wang Chen in the distance. Everyone dared not look. If Renanian really landed this one attack on Wang Chen's head, then Wang Chen would definitely die. It seemed that this battle was over. A confident and mocking smile also flashed across Renanian's face. What a lot of nonsense, I just want to play with you a little longer. Do you really think you can get close to me? I was waiting for this moment from you. Get the hell back. Wang Chen looked at Renanian with a calm expression. Li Meng Meng was right, he just wanted to walk his dog more today. The snow on both sides trembled, and in an instant, countless chunks of snow slid down, revealing countless terrifying weapons inside. He had long ago had the diggers build thermal weapons here. Wang Chen stood alone in the middle of these weapons, as if he was an incomparably rampant arms dealer. What is this thing? What exactly is this kid's ability? The smug expression on Rin Inyan's face froze. Luo Jun and Shang Shanshan who were screaming from the side were also stunned. The reversal had come too quickly. Boom 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 boom. The automatic charge multi-tube shock cannon instantly emitted countless blue bubble charges. A massive blue shell smashed out, instantly hitting Renanian who was in the air, and the powerful shock instantly sent Renanian flying. Ah! Renanian screamed miserably, the powerful electric current instantly flowed all over his body, paralyzing him with electricity, and his entire body was pushed back by the enormous force, his. His hair straightened in this instant. Bastard! Ron Enian was furious. He had never expected that Wang Chen had hidden such a hand. Just as he landed on the ground and prepared to regroup to launch an attack, the gatling around him opened up at the same time. Dead dead day 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 day. Raging and surging bullets shot viciously towards Renanian. No good. Renanian tried his best to control his body, but the counterthrust of the electric core cannon was simply too great. His entire body was paralyzed with muscles, and he couldn't make any movements, only barely able to surface a golden shield on his body. This should be enough, what era is this kid still using hot weapons, do you really think these hot weapons can hurt me? This dress on my body is at least a top silver rank protective prop. Just when Renanian was thinking about how to counterattack next. The next moment the stream of bullets flooded him. The sound of metal clashing instantly rang out. The enchanted bullets instantly hit him with immense pain. Ah! How is this possible? How is this kid's damage so high? Renanian screamed miserably, almost about to explode, the light shield on his body instantly surfaced with countless cracks and was about to collapse. No, I have to hide in a hurry. Renanian landed in the middle of the spider swarm in a sorry state, trying to hide. But the swarm of spiders followed Wang Chen's mind and gave way towards the sides. It left Renanian without the slightest space to hide. Holy shit! Renanian could not cry, he did not expect Wang Chen to be able to manipulate these spiders to dodge on both sides with two minds. Just how high was this kid's mental power? It was reasonable to say that a summoner being able to manipulate so many hot weapons was already heaven-defying enough. Surprisingly, he was also able to spare extra mental energy to maneuver so many spiders away while controlling these weapons. This would require at least 10,000 spiritual energy. Just as he was doubting his life, the shield on his body couldn't hold out any longer and instantly shattered. Bullets shot in. The clothes on his body were instantly torn apart, and a wound was left on his skin. Ah! Renanian was bruised all over his body and screamed in pain. Can't hold out anymore? Wang Chuan looked at Renanian, who was like a dead dog, and a hint of a smile appeared on his face. Kid, don't be too complacent, apocalypse defense. 
Rinyinian thrust the lance in his hand on top of the ground, a golden pillar of light rose up to the sky, enveloping him in it. He then unexpectedly pulled out an illusory golden shield from within this pillar of light. Hiss. Surprisingly, it's a companion weapon. Everyone was shocked. Some strong professions would give birth to weapons with their own growth when they awakened, which was very unbelievable. I didn't think that Ren Yinian would already be able to summon a companion weapon of his own. Worthy of being a horseman of the apocalypse. Lu Fan also nodded. It had to be said that Ren Yinian's talent was indeed somewhat high. But what made him a little strange was this. The companion weapon that Ren Yinian summoned seems a bit different from what was described in the previous canons. By all rights, it should be a gun and shield, how come he only summoned out a shield? Chapter 106 Ren Yinian suddenly took off. Lu Fan didn't know that Ren Yinian was plundering King Dust's profession, so he could only summon out one piece of equipment. To be able to force me to use my companion weapon, Brat you can rest in peace, go to hell. Against the shield, Ren Yinian once again launched an attack towards Wang Chen. He swore that he would break Wang Dust into pieces and wipe out his former shame. I said get the hell back. Wang Chuan clenched one hand. The automatic hellfire cannon that was silent on the side opened fire. The crimson flame light path contained Wang Chuan's anger, like a raging dragon rushing towards Renanian, the enormous heat melting everything. Seeing this scene, everyone's eyes almost didn't fly out. Was this the full power of Wang Dust's hellfire cannon? It turned out that Wang Dust had been deliberately suppressing the power before. It was really too shocking. At this moment, the might of the Hellfire Cannon was all revealed. Holy shit! Ren Yinian's scalp almost cracked. It was already too late to dodge. Boom 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 boom. Three flames instantly enveloped him. And the rest of the weapons all opened fire, desperately firing in Ren Yinian's direction. For a moment, the earth trembled, shockwaves swept through, and everyone covered their ears, their faces flickering with various colors of light. Only Ren Yinian's wailing could be heard from inside. Ren Yinian, who was holding the shield, was directly lifted out by the artillery, and then the blue shells hit him again with precision, and the huge impact bounced him again, making him unable to even fall to the ground. Just as he landed again, the Gatling's tongue of fire once again connected, and the huge firepower pushed against Ren Yinian's buttocks, knocking him into the sky once again. How can I put it? Wang Chuan's attack had a sense of teasing, as if everything was within his grasp. Wang Chuan's mouth, on the other hand, was chanting something. Holy shit, what is Senior Wang Chen's mouth chanting? Could it be an incantation? Keep your voice down, don't delay me from listening. The crowd concentrated, and only then did they hear that Wang Chuan was actually reading the seconds. He was calculating how long he had knocked Rin Inian into the air without landing. Sentimentally, you're counting the time of the strike flight here? Holy shit, Senior Wang Chen is really too powerful. The crowd felt their scalps go numb. This was simply a huge humiliation. The proud son of heaven that they had once admired in their hearts had been beaten so much that he couldn't even land on the ground. The shocking scene deeply impacted everyone's minds. This scene was simply too terrifying. So much so that people were dumbfounded. It was the first time they had seen Rin Yinian in such a sorry state completely pressed and beaten. But haven't you guys noticed? Senior Wang Chuan's shortcoming still hasn't been remedied, he doesn't dare to engage Ren Yinian head-on. That's for sure, brittle skin fighting melee, isn't that looking for death? Ren Yinian won't be killed alive just like that, right? Boss. Luo Jun and Chang Shan Shan almost cracked up, simply unable to believe their eyes. How was it that Ren Yinian, who had been so smug just a moment ago, had become a grandson in the blink of an eye? The two of them were directly anxious. Cheng Shan Shan directly threw out an enchantment magic applied to Ren Yinian's body. I said, get the hell out of my way. Ren Yinian's irritated voice came from the sky. Green tree shield. Ren Yinian furiously tore the scroll in his hand, and the ground instantly cracked, and a giant tree instantly grew out. Bullets and charge cannons smashed on top of the tree trunks, wood shavings flew across the ground, but they did not penetrate for a while. Ranian took this opportunity to roll to the side in a donkey roll with a gray head. 
At this time, Raninian was in a terrible state, his clothes were torn and tattered, his face was swollen, and his hair was scorched black. The previous glorious image no longer existed, at this time he was like a street bum. A pendant hanging on his neck suddenly shattered. It seemed that it was this pendant that had carried the intense fire attack just now for him, or else he would have been seriously injured right now to say the least. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The life-saving pendant I left behind went to waste, go to hell brat. Ren Enian went completely crazy. The mole cricket in his eyes had actually beaten him so much that he couldn't fight back. How could this be tolerated? Ren Enian's hand flashed with light and instantly had five or six more scrolls. He tore them all apart in a single breath, and several auras landed on his body, while his aura climbed up in a straight line. Brat, I will definitely kill you today. Rin Enian roared. Since you guys made a move just now, we'll have to do the same, or else it won't be fair. Lu Chang suddenly threw a magic spell on Rin Enian's body. A pink aura flashed. Ron Enian's face suddenly became odd. A strange impulse spread throughout his body, and his entire body became muddled. There were suddenly many beautiful women in front of his eyes, each one of them winking at him and posing in a marvelous manner, their snow white bodies making their eyes blossom. Ah! Ren Enian roared and suddenly took off his pants in front of everyone. HM? What is he doing? People were dumbfounded. Chapter 107 Ren Enian became famous. So many beautiful women, ah! He he he! Girl after girl appeared next to Ren Enian walking slowly towards him. Some danced and some leaned directly on his body. Young master, come and play, ah! Didn't you often play with us before? Come on, young master. These girls let out a silvery bell like laughter. Ren Enian had no strength left in his body. No. Get away, it's all an illusion. Ren Enian violently waved the lance in his hand. These beauties instantly disappeared, but the next moment there were more beauties around towards him. No. Get out. Ren Enian yelled with a bloodshot face. Come on. Another young woman in a Chongsam came up beside these girls, just like a ripe peach. Ah? Uh. Ron Enian's eyes went straight. It was as if there were so many beautiful women around at this moment. What Gao Gao? What Wang Duan? All unimportant, only enjoying the moment was the most important. Hey hey hey. Hey hey hey. Ren Enian's hand loosened, the lance in his hand fell to the ground, and his shield fell to the ground with a bang. In front of a large crowd, Ren Enian's body suddenly moved. It was as if he was holding a lot of beautiful women. Aya, what is he doing? Xiao Xiao don't look, it will grow needle eyes. Li Meng Meng exclaimed, luckily the moment Ren Enian took off, she hurriedly brought in Xiao Xiao and the other girls to turn their backs. Lu Chang's face was filled with a bad smile. On that side, Cheng Shan Shan and Luo Jun were dumbfounded, their eyes almost didn't fly out. They were not the only ones. The people outside the arena were all stunned, their mouths wide open, their eyes filled with shock. After a short few seconds of stagnation, a louder discussion suddenly erupted. Holy shit, what is young Master Rinian doing? I didn't see it wrong, did I? He's F asterisk asterisk king in public. Damn, he's been hit by an illusion, right, he's able to do this kind of thing in public. Bullshit bullshit, I'm now willing to call young master Rin Enian the strongest. He did something I never dared to do in my life, damn, there must be at least a few tens of thousands of people watching the live broadcast right now, now he's going to be famous. Ruthless, really too ruthless, if he wakes up he probably even has the heart to die, can he still live on this earth? Run family. Bastard. What is Nyenner doing? I shit, fuck, hurry up and think of a way to stop him ah, now my Ren family's people are all thrown away by him. Ren Shanzong's old face turned red, only feeling that the reputation he had accumulated over the past few decades was all gone. At this moment, many of the Ren family's top management were looking at him with confused faces, their eyes filled with sympathy. Ren Enian was the Ren family's most outstanding heavenly pride all these years, and was even regarded as the successor of the next generation of patriarchs, but now he had actually done this kind of thing in front of tens of thousands of people. It was really too humiliating. 
simply no eyes to see. Big brother, hurry up and let him admit defeat and teleport out, Myron family can't afford to lose this person. Right, family head hurry up and let young master Rin Ini in admit defeat, it's over if this goes on. Where's the honor of Myron family if this happens? Never since the beginning of time has a student been able to do such a thing during a college entrance exam. Although there were many people who were admonishing on the surface, their eyes were filled with stifled laughter, and they couldn't even help but burst out laughing. The son of the family head had actually done such a thing in full view of everyone. It was simply a travesty. The Ren family's face was about to be disgraced. Shut up, it's even more important that we don't admit defeat at this time, if we admit defeat at this time, that's when we've lost our face. Ren Shanzong's face was gloomy to the extreme. Nyener's body has a passive defense type equipment that will release an electric current to stimulate him when he falls into an illusion. At this time among the rest of the clans, when they saw Renin Yen do such a thing in public, they all glared roundly as well. Their eyes were filled with gloating. And Family Head and Shang laughed out loud too, that Rin Shanzong fellow has been blowing up in front of me with his son every day, I'll see how he'll blow up after experiencing this incident. An old ancestor definitely won't marry Xiao Xiao to him, now his calculations are going to fall through, cool. Chapter 108, One Must Show Renin Yen's Valor all in all, after experiencing this matter, the Rin family's popularity instantly soared throughout the city. At this moment, the Rin family's old ancestor was drinking tea and negotiating with the Rin family's old ancestor. Along with the imminent negotiation of the marriage contract, the Rin family's old ancestor said under his joy, it just so happens that Nyener is now taking the college entrance exams, so let's show you how my Rin family's heavenly pride performs in the middle of the trial tower. The Yin family's old ancestor took a sip of tea and nodded, it just so happens that all these years I have been devoted to my cultivation, but I didn't know that your Rin family had produced such a genius, I just so happened to want to take a look as well. So the Rin family's old ancestor smilingly ordered his men to open the projection. Old ancestor, this is not the right time. What's going on? What's inappropriate? My Nyener has the qualifications of a great emperor. It has to be seen. The Ren family's old ancestor frowned. Already, he was a bit offended. What kind of skill was a manly man hiding? That, the young master is experiencing a great battle at this time, the fight is so hard that the scene is a bit gruesome, I don't think it's suitable to watch. The henchman racked his brain and uttered such words. Isn't that just right? The more tragic it is the more it can prove Nyener strong will, quickly open the projection, don't make me say it twice. Ha! Huh? That, that's good. The lower mind opened the projection with a heartbeat. The screen flashed. Little beauty, I'm coming. Don't run. Hey hey hey. So cool. Ren Yin's hands shrugged rapidly. The two old ancestors simultaneously spewed out the tea in their mouths. Crap. This is your Ren Yin of the Ren clan? The Yin clan's old ancestor man went numb and couldn't believe his eyes. What's going on here? How could Nyener do such a thing in public? The Ren family's old ancestor's eyes went black and he almost fainted. He had never dreamed that Ren Inian would do such a thing. A lifetime of fame was considered completely ruined. No, he must have been hit by an illusion. He then wanted to explain. The Yin clan's old ancestor said angrily, even if he was struck by an illusion, this illusion would have constructed illusory scenes based on his current state of mind as well as the things he had experienced. This is enough to prove that his private life must not be very good either, or else he wouldn't be able to do something like this in the middle of a college entrance exam. How could this kind of person be worthy of an Xiao Xiao? He directly grabbed the marriage contract next to him and tore it to shreds saying, I think it's better to forget about the marriage contract, in addition I have to leave beforehand. He celebrated, it's a good thing we didn't talk about the marriage contract, or else it would have been too late. Just as he came out, and Shang called him and said, old ancestor, don't worry about the marriage contract for now, I have found a better candidate for you. When these words came out, the Yin family's old ancestor raised his eyebrows. A better person? How much better? He still had some disbelief in his heart. On the other hand, the Rin family's old ancestor's face was ugly to the extreme. If the Rin family wanted to suppress this matter there was no telling how much it would cost. 
Even those universities might have to take this matter into consideration when recruiting Renin Yan. This will become a stain on Renin Yan for the rest of his life. Originally, they had gone to great lengths to create a perfect image of Renin Yan as a very good, progressive and sunny person. But now it was all ruined. What on earth is going on here? Just who is targeting Yenner? The Ren family's old ancestor hissed. His men immediately reported everything that had happened. What? How is this possible? That punk kid from back then has actually grown to this level, no, this is absolutely impossible. The Ren family's old ancestor looked at the projection with bloodshot eyes. And at this time, people looked at Wang Chen, who did not stop it, and their eyes were filled with doubt. Why hasn't he taken advantage of this to attack? Just watching Ren Yinian make a fool of himself in public? I guess so, I always feel as if Senior Wang Chuan is holding a bit of teasing. But what I still can't figure out is why did Senior Wang Chen attack Senior Ren Yinian? They were yelling there before, and I didn't hear exactly what they were saying? I can't figure it out either. Wasn't Senior Ren Yinian always sponsoring Senior Wang Chen before? He's a recognized good guy in the school. At this time, a few girls said, that's right, why is Senior Wang Chen targeting Senior Ren Yinian? He's so nice and handsome, and his family is so rich, it's simply too immoral for him to do so. I feel the same way, why is Senior Wang Chen trying to stop Senior Ren Yinian? Isn't it good for everyone to get along? What is Senior Wang Chen thinking? Does he not want to see others doing well? As soon as these words came out, those girls who were already supporting Ren Yinian immediately nodded their heads and began to denounce Wang Chen. Senior Wang Chen is simply too immoral, what's the difference between him and a villain when he does this? Isn't he just a dog that bites Lu Dongbin and doesn't know what's good for him? I think he was clearly jealous of Senior Ren Yinian and had a twisted psyche before he struck out at him. Listening to these little fairy speeches, immediately some boys couldn't sit still. Chapter 109, The Inquisitor Strikes Can you guys not comment indiscriminately before you figure out how things really are? That's right, what's wrong with your female brains, in three words you start slandering Senior Wang Chen, have you figured out who's good and who's bad? We're going to remain silent now, we'll speak and criticize after it's over. Ha! Huh? How dare you scold me! Oops, I can't, I'm going to get depressed. A tiger tank weighing more than 200 pounds immediately slumped down on the seat, triggering a small tremor that shook his fat elephant legs. No, I'm also difficult, I just cursed twice, you dare to curse me, there is no justice? I'm a girl hey, who are you to define us? There was a modern Cthulhu girl who couldn't be defined spoke up, she pushed the round frame glasses on her face, a hint of pretentiousness showing on her pimple-covered face. Why do you boys have such a nasty attitude, don't you know how to be gentle with girls? Unlike Senior Renanian, he's so gentle with us. These girls saw that things were not right and immediately shifted the conflict to the boy's attitude. Holy shit, do you have a fucking face, I say two sentences to you and you're fucking depressed? These male angry ones immediately turned red in the face. These women were simply too shameless. Seeing the cursing war between the two sides intensify, a boy stood out, he cocked his head and said, everyone calm down, I have something to say. Ha! Huh? Everyone looked at this boy. Only to see that he had an indifferent expression, his eyes seemed to reveal a hint of wisdom, wearing a grey t-shirt full of yellow Vans letters, a pair of black pants, looking ordinary. Brother what are you doing? The crowd was puzzled. The boy was seen looking at the girls, then hesitated as if thinking. The next instant he violently stretched out his hand and gave these girls up a big mouth. Pa pa pa! A few big pussy pockets went down, and these girls instantly had a few more bright red slap marks on their faces, their hair falling apart. Their cheeks were high and their lips were slapped. You! The pimple girl whose eyes were sent flying out was about to speak again. Pa! This brother slapped over again, and this girl instantly flew out, a stream of blood burbled out of her mouth and rolled a long way, overwhelming a large group of girls, and screams instantly rose up. Ah! The girls hurriedly dodged away, fearing that they would be implicated. The crowd was dumbfounded, looking at the grey-clothed teenager. The trial is over. This teenager nodded and resumed his seat on the chair. Crap! Cowardly brother! 
Well played. Holy shit, fuck, that was a great fight. Big brother, take a bow from me. I've been putting up with these girls for a long time. The boys on this side all stood up and applauded this boy. This boy smiled brightly and nodded his head. He then gave a thumbs up of his own. At this time a teacher rushed over. Those girls when you screamed, teacher, he hit someone, I am disfigured. It's over, my whole life is ruined. My stunning face, it's all gone now, he has to compensate me. That Cthulhu girl even cried shockingly, was already ugly enough, this cry is even more so that a few male compatriots look at the overnight meal almost did not spit out. But these teachers immediately said awkwardly, sorry, this student he awakened occupation called subway judge, has the role of justice, and will affect the sanity, that is, his brain is sometimes not clear, will only follow the justice to act. Maybe it wasn't his intention for him to strike, so there's no way for you guys to hold him responsible for this matter. What? Upon hearing this, these little fairy people were dumbfounded. On the other hand, the boys on the other side of the room were singing and dancing and applauding wildly, this brother was simply impeccable. I don't care. I'm going to tear your face apart today. Those beaten girls didn't believe it and came over to strike. Judgment. Only to see the teenager snort coldly once again and slap out. A black-faced, official-robed figure appeared behind him and slapped out after him. Splat. This time several girls immediately flew out, their mouths crooked and full of teeth flying out. The skin on their faces was split open, and their eyes were almost not blown out. Bang bang bang. Several people drew beautiful arcs in the air and landed in the fountain in the center. The final tiger tank was even more astonishing, directly smashing the fountain flower beds inside. The trial is over. The teenager once again clapped his hands and sat down in his chair, rigidly upright. And the teachers didn't dare to say anything more, and could only leave in disgrace. Holy shit, old iron 666. Big brother. Bull. The boys next to him were so cool they couldn't wait to dance. This life has never been so fucking cool. Keep watching. The teenager signaled the crowd to continue watching the live stream. After this little episode passed. Everyone continued to watch the live broadcast. In front of tens of thousands of people, an indescribable smile appeared on the face of Renanian, who was immersed in the illusion. Right at this moment, a prop on his body suddenly activated its self-defense, an electric current flashed through, and Renanian instantly came to his senses under the stimulation of pain. Ah! Renanian let out a miserable scream, confusedly opened his eyes and looked around, especially when he saw clearly what he was doing, his entire body was shocked. Can you imagine the image of a hardened tree instantly shriveling into soft grass? There was no mistake, Raninian was shriveling right now. Holy shit, this guy finally woke up, laughed me to death, holy shit, this time the face has been disgraced. What's this guy froze for, why don't you hurry up and lift his pants up? How long is he going to be like this? It's really killing me with laughter. Do you guys see that he's not going to make it? Shit, he's going to be screwed in that area after being so stimulated. It's really funny, the pride of heaven is being treated like a dog. Originally still in shock, Raninian took a few violent deep breaths and finally realized what he was doing. He tremblingly raised his own hands and looked at the sky, he was 100% sure that there must be a lot of people who saw his feet just now. What made it even more painful was that he could feel that a certain part of his body seemed to be no longer moving as it had just been too stimulated to do so all at once. He wasn't sure if that thing of his would still work now, and that was what scared him the most. And the culprit of all this was Wang Duan. Ah ha ha ha. Ren Enian lost his mind, and a terrifyingly dazzling light erupted from the body of the lance next to him. He roared in mad fury, itching to break Wang Chen into pieces. But he had no way to reason, because it was Cheng Shan Shan who had helped him a little, and that little fat guy called Lu Chang from the other side had followed suit. You won, I won, it's fair, no problem. Big brother Ren Enian. Cheng Shan Shan couldn't stand it anymore and hurriedly threw another healing spell onto Ren Enian's body, wanting to recover his injuries for him. I told you not to intervene, I'm going to kill this brat with my own hands, and that little fatty next to him, I'm going to skewer them and roast them on the fire. 
The terrifying magic power inside Raninian's body exploded the ground under his feet and the snow all melted. Lu Chang also took his magic wand at this time and said, Why are you striking again? No, I have to strike too. A blue aura spread over Rin Yin's head again. It was none other than Lu Chang's hydrotherapy aura. Rin Yin's eyes rounded and it was too late for him to dodge. The blue aura landed on his body, speedily restoring the magic power in his body, and the injuries on his body surface healed a bit. What's going on? Could it be that little fatty is quite nice? This thought just flashed through Rin Yin's mind. The next moment in front of everyone, a clear and yellow liquid shot out. In front of everyone's eyes ring Yin Yin Yao. The first time I saw you, I was in the middle of the night. That is Niao. To know that his coup just hadn't been lifted yet. Everyone's eyes were wide open. Their minds were in a state of confusion. They didn't expect Rin Yin Yin to be so bullish. Is he going to take a dump on the spot or something next? All in all. There was no need for Raninian to live on this planet anymore, all the people he could throw away had already been thrown away, and for a moment, they couldn't even think of what kind of people Raninian would be able to throw away next. After a short period of silence, the entire plaza once again erupted with shocking laughter. Ha 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 ha, Raninian this time he can really kill himself. How come that little fatty's magic all carries such a big side effect, what's all this about? It's so mischievous, the point is that you don't have a way to pick faults. That woman struck out, and that little fat guy struck out again, it makes sense. I can't, I can't, I can't breathe from laughing, TMD can you imagine? Pooping and peeing again, what kind of shit is this? All of the Rin family executives amongst the Rin family also all had their mouths open as if they were a dying toad. Ren Inyan's father, Ren Shanzong's face was already ugly, and he didn't even have a face to look at anymore. On the other side of the Rin family's old ancestor was on the phone contacting the Rin family's old ancestor, trying his best to argue that it was just an accident just now. The Rin family's old ancestor just coldly said, go check the live stream again yourself. The Rin family's old ancestor turned around and then noticed Rin Inyan's cloudy yellow liquid high over the big screen. Rin Inyan what the hell is he up to? Rin Inyan lowered his head to look at a yellow pit of urine on the snow that he had flushed out. His face was filled with a dumbfounded look and his brain was dead. Cheng Shan Shan gulped, she didn't think that she had once again done something bad with good intentions. In order to alleviate her embarrassment, she looked at the pit of urine in front of her and said, worthy of being big brother Raninian, so virile and powerful, all the pits flushed out are so deep and so big, we admire it. An incomparably shameful rage exploded in his mind. He truly had never been so angry in his life. Especially when he thought about the fact that he had done such a thing in front of tens of thousands of people, he blacked out and was almost about to faint. It really was too humiliating. Wang Chen, I will kill you. Ren Inian picked up the shield and lance on the ground, and a terrifying energy erupted from his body once again, his hair stood up, and his entire body was like a super scion. If he wanted to beat Wang Chuan now, it would be in close quarters. Because Wang Chen was a long-range summoner, his physical quality must be very poor. As long as he was able to get close to him, he was confident that he would immediately kill Wang Chen. Just before he was ready to sprint, he twisted his head and said, Don't you put any more magic on me, do you hear me? Chang Shan Shan nodded in awe. Ah! Ren Inian grabbed his lance and rushed out, only just taking two steps when he suddenly fell to the ground with a thud. Put. Good grief! His face also happened to fall inside the pit he had just peed in all at once. Run Inyan's entire being was dumbfounded, and a fishy odor instantly rushed straight to his nostrils. To be honest, in this moment Rin Inyan had already experienced three times of social death, he did not even want to get up, just pretend to fall unconscious. But how can this be possible, the discerning can see that he is faking fainting, so he had to get up. Wang Chen looked at Rin Inyan and said, even if you want to kill me so badly, you should raise your pants first. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You, you wait for me. Ren Inyan's eyes were bloodshot as he lifted his pants up with shivering hands. After ensuring that there were no problems this time, he charged forward again with his lance. Behind him, because of his high speed movement, the air even made a sonic boom sound as he slammed his feet on the ground, and the ground was directly stomped out into a large pit. Wang Dust's heart moved, 
and a spider instantly stopped in front of him next to him. Raging fire burning sky. Raninian roared, the long spear in his hand blatantly stabbed forward, countless golden rays of light at the tip of the spear rotated to form a spiral drill-like thing. Several explosions rang out. The spiders that stopped in front of him instantly turned into bloody pieces. At this time, Raninian's aura had already reached its peak. Even though there were spider silks shooting towards him from the surroundings, they were cancelled out by the shield that popped out from his body before they could even get close to him. Raninian had used all his cards, he even disregarded the exam, now he only wanted to kill Wang Chen. Only then could he vent the anger in his heart. Otherwise, if this went on, he would have anger in his heart and would form a heart demon. He wouldn't be able to cultivate in the future. Wang Chen must be defeated. There were spiders around that wanted to continue blocking, and with a roar, Raninian smashed them into pieces. Seeing that the distance was getting closer and closer, the color of longing in Raninian's eyes became more and more obvious. Looking from afar, a golden silhouette could be seen carrying a furious aura that was invincible amongst the spiders, destroying them. Above him could be seen a golden knight on a warhorse holding a lance, following his movements as if he were an English spirit on a killing spree. Go to hell! Ah ah ah! Raninian dragged the lance in his hand, the golden tip of the lance, pulling out a bright spark on the ground. Seeing this scene, everyone stood up and looked at the screen excitedly. Holy shit, although Raninian was quite humiliated just now, but once he exerted his full power it was really powerful, worthy of being a horseman of the apocalypse. What about Senior Wang Chen? They're just 1 to 20 meters away now, right? This distance is simply not too close. Have you forgotten Senior Wang Chen's fire position? That blue turret of his has a knockback effect. As soon as his words fell, the automatic type multi barrel charge cannons on both sides of Wang Chen opened fire once again. Honestly, roll back to me like a dead dog, I haven't had enough fun yet. Wang Dust had a teasing look in his eyes. A ball of blue charge smashed over. Do you really think that the same trick will still work on me? Looking at the blue mass of light that flew towards him, Rinningyan's eyes flashed with the color of madness. Instantaneous bomb. Raninian waved the lance in his hand as if it had formed a golden wheel of light, facing the incoming blue ball of cannon, he fiercely pumped it up, a bizarre force sweeping out. Bang 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 bang! Those incoming blue bubble charges were bounced off and landed on the sides with a loud trembling sound. Just at this time, Gatling also fired. Several tongues of fire impacted towards him. It's useless, all useless. The lance in Rinian's hand once again swung into a golden wheel of light. Bang 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 bang. Sparks splashed everywhere. Countless bullets were bounced off him. Finally, he violently slammed the lance out. Who dash? The golden lance was like a golden disc, emitting a murderous aura that tore through the air as it flew out with a deafening buzzing sound. As if it was a boomerang, the golden lance directly destroyed several distant turrets. Bang 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 bang. Several Gatling and multi-barrel charge turrets turned into a ball of fire. In the end, the lance directly flew back again and landed in Raninian's hand. I said it's useless, all of them are useless, I admit that I underestimated you just now, but the current me will kill you squarely. Raninian received the spear, the tip of the spear in his hand was still trembling endlessly. Holy shit, too strong, too strong, is this the full strength of Raninian? Now Wang Chen's proud turret can't even stop Raninian, what should we do now? The distance between the two of them is getting closer and closer, Senior Wang Chuan is a long-range summoner, can this small body carry a move from Rinini? People were worried to the extreme. Just at this time, Wang Chen's face looked a little odd. Just who had given Rinian the confidence? Wasn't it just killing some of his summons and destroying some of his turrets? He would be able to summon a few hundred more turrets and summons like this in minutes. And most importantly, who said that he could win as long as he got close to him? But at this moment, Raninian had clearly reached the peak of his confidence. Go to hell, wine dust, it's also your honor to die in my hands. And facing the attack of the artillery. Raninian violently blocked the shield in his hand in front of his body. The raging tongues of fire were blocked by him, and then bounced off him directly. Spatial transfer. 
Renini and roared, only to see those raging tongues of fire above his shield suddenly seem to be absorbed. In the next moment a golden channel appeared on both sides of him, and the disappearing tongues of fire unexpectedly spewed back from it, directly destroying all of those fire cannons of Wang Chen as well. Seeing this scene, people sucked in cool air and their scalps tingled. The horseman of the apocalypse has not only mastered the power of time, but even has control over the power of space as well, that move just now was really too awesome, holy shit. If I'm not mistaken, Renini and just performed a spatial transfer, first absorbing the tongue of fire and then transferring it back. At this moment, Wang Chuan was standing in the middle of the roiling snow and ice, and his two sides were all destroyed turrets, with occasional flashes of fire on them, as well as the sound of parts being bounced off. As for the hundred or so spiders on both sides, they had also been killed to the point where there were very few left. The ground was filled with green blood and broken limbs. Ha ha ha, Wang Dust, what can you fight me with now? Runinian stood in place panting heavily, his body covered in sticky blood as he raised his head and looked at Wang Chuan with a berserk gaze. In the end, he had one. No one could stop him. He had said a long time ago that Horseman of the Apocalypse was originally a profession that belonged to him. Even if Wang Chen had some strange encounters, so what? He would still end up stepping on Wang Dust, this was a fact that no one could change. The hearts of all those who were watching this battle were all lifted. It seemed that this battle was going to end with Renanian's victory. Everyone couldn't help but look at Wang Chen, wanting to see what exactly Wang Chen should do. Get ready and see if we can forcefully activate Wang Chen's teleportation talisman, we can't let any accidents happen to him. Lu Fan stood up at this time, his eyes full of gravity. It was normal for a long distance to fight a melee battle and not win. But Wang Dust absolutely could not have any accidents. As long as he waited for Wang Dust to develop, he could definitely become a terrifying fighting force that could push a city sideways in the future. I'll make contact now. Lu Qian nodded his head, also knowing that this matter was not trivial, but he was also relieved in his heart, as long as there were no accidents between any of the two. If anyone really died, he would be screwed. Soon the official professional over there was ready to forcefully activate the teleportation talisman in Wang Chen's hand. Seeing the teleportation talisman being activated in Wang Chen's hand, everyone's eyes revealed a look of shock. It seemed that Wang Chen was about to teleport out. Was he planning to admit defeat? Who is forcibly activating the teleportation talisman on me? Wang Chen looked at the teleportation talisman on his wrist and suddenly ripped it off. And this action of his undoubtedly set off the entire room. Holy shit, did I read it right, Senior Wang Chen is planning to fight to the death? Wang Chuan laughed, originally I wanted to play with you for a while longer, I haven't even made a move yet and you're as tired as a dead dog, do you think this is my limit? What do you mean? Ron Enian froze. He wasn't the only one. Everyone froze. Could it be that Senior Wang Chuan still has some means that he hasn't used? Otherwise, how could he say such words? Are you kidding? Hasn't Senior Wang Chen used all of his bottom cards? He broke through all the way to the 20th floor, we were watching the whole time, does he have any other abilities? Don't say it's his palm cannon, it's not as powerful as his artillery, and it can't stop Renanian. Right, then why did Senior Wang Chen say such things? Could it be that he's foxing around and preparing to turn around and run away the next second? While everyone was talking. Lu Fan's face became ugly to the extreme as he slammed the table. Nonsense, this kid is really too nonsensical, he has lost his teleportation talisman, once he meets a life-threatening situation, he will be finished. The sweat on Lu Qian's body directly clattered and flowed, he couldn't even stop it, without a moment's effort his clothes were drenched again, if Wang Chuan really died, ten of his lives wouldn't be enough to compensate for it ah. My little ancestor ah, you really wanna pit me to death, you fight to fight, you threw the teleportation talisman for what? Lu Qian really wanted to cry to death. Then he thought for a while, fiercely grabbed the form next to him and started to write it up, it was really too late if he didn't write his suicide note. On top of the high platform, as Wang Chen's homeroom teacher, Chen Sun was also sweating profusely, he also knew clearly what terrible consequences he, as the homeroom teacher, would have once Wang Chen had an accident. Die 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 die. Chen Sun cried and was also ready to start writing his suicide note. 
After thinking about it, he really couldn't think of any way for Wang Chen to be able to beat Ren Yin. Although Wang Chen's strength was perverse, he couldn't help that Ren Yin's attack power was too explosive. Moreover, Ren Yin was directly playing with his life. The reason he was able to burst out with such a powerful attack was that he had overdrawn his body's potential. Even his life had burned a lot. As I said, I only slightly struck out, and that's already your limit. At this moment, looking at Ren Yin, Wang Chen smiled. Rumble. Two huge mechanical summoning gates reappeared. Countless silver diggers surged madly from his body towards the outside, and like a silver tide began to build one fire weapon after another in the surroundings. Amidst everyone's dumbfoundedness, dozens of gatlings, dozens of artillery pieces, and dozens of charge blasters were all built at a rapid pace. But that wasn't the most terrifying. In the middle of the two huge summoning gates, one after another huge spiders rushed out from inside, numbering as many as seven to eight hundred. This, how is this possible? Senior Wang Chen is actually hiding so much strength. Everyone let out a sharp popping sound. What's the point of this fight? It turns out that the reason why Wang Chuan was so free to accompany Ren Yinian in the fight, he was really playing, he didn't put out his full strength at all. The situation was abruptly reversed. Cheng Shan Chan and Luo Jun's faces also turned pale in an instant, and the smiles that had just surfaced were gone. How is this possible? What on earth is going on with this brat? The two were so scared that they sat on their asses on the ground, their legs so weak that they didn't even have the strength to stand up. As Renanian looked at the turrets that kept building up around Wang Chen, as well as the huge spiders behind him that kept running out towards the outside, a look of even greater madness suddenly surfaced in his eyes after his shock. Wang Chen, you really don't think that this will be able to stop me, do you? Do you think that you're the only one who has a card, but I don't have one? Apocalypse time stop. The knight silhouette behind Ren Yinian suddenly let out a roar up to the sky, and the lance in his hand jabbed fiercely towards the air in front of him. Rumble. The air seemed to turn a grayish color at this moment. A golden clock surfaced between heaven and earth. It was as if the long spear in his hand had turned into the second hand of a giant clock. This giant second hand then turned back in a counterclockwise direction for several seconds in a raw manner. Originally, this still of mine was meant to be reserved for the bosses on the 40th or 50th floor. But since you're so impatient to die, I can only take you first. I, Renanian, will definitely kill you today. Ahahahahahahaha. <laughs> Ren Yinian looked at the snowflakes coalescing in the air, his face revealing a touch of even more downright insanity. Time was now able to be suspended by him for a second. As a price, he would lose three years of his life. This was because the ability he was casting right now was not something he would be able to cast at his level. But right now, he didn't care about anything. Only killing Wang Chen was his ultimate goal. Even if he lost three years of his life, if he didn't kill Wang Chen and couldn't vent his anger in his heart, he wouldn't be able to cultivate again for the rest of his life. Although it was frozen in time, the people outside the field were still able to see clearly what was happening. Because what Ren Yinian froze was only that small area of time. They then saw Ren Yinian charging towards Wang Chen. Ren Yinian dragged the golden spear in his hand and swung it violently, tearing through the air, the golden tip of the spear trailing behind him erupting with blinding sparks all the way. Within this frozen gray space, it looked dazzling. Bang 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 bang. Ren Yinian stepped heavily on the ground. Wherever it passed, the ground exploded into deep craters. It could be seen that both the cracks in the ground and the flying rocks were happening at a very slow pace, as this side of time would be frozen to the point of immobilization. Even the tip of that gun slashed across the ground, leaving behind a golden trajectory as bright as a dragon, and it stayed in the air, slowly expanding and exploding to emit an even more dazzling light. The fastest speed of an ordinary human was more than 10 meters a second. In today's world where foreign races invaded and the power of the gods descended. One second could create too many impossibilities. Crossing a hundred meters in a second was not even a problem. Bang! Renanian leapt up as he shouted, flipping the lance in his hand, his waist power exploded, his spine was like a dragon, and the lance in his hand gathered an incomparable and terrifying power at this moment. Wang Chen, even though you have risen to power, so what, in the end you are still going to die in my hands. Ka! 
time flowed anew. The illusory dial shattered and turned into countless fragments. In the eyes of the crowd, it was as if Ren Yinian had instantly shifted, suddenly appearing beside Wang Chuan, and was only ten meters away from him. At this moment, Ren Yinian jumped up high, and the long spear in his hand had already stabbed towards Wang Chen. It would only take less than a second. It would be able to tear Wang Chen into pieces. Hiss. Not good. Senior Wang Chuan is in danger. People all stood up with a crash at this scene, their eyes filled with shock. Some even covered their eyes, not daring to look anymore. Damn it! Lu Fan slapped the table fiercely, his eyes filled with anger. But there was nothing he could do, he could only watch it all happen. Lu Qian's face was pale, and his eyes were also filled with despair. Being approached at this distance, Wang Chuan, who was a long-range summoner, had no chance of survival. Originally, they had hopes of using the teleportation talisman to forcibly teleport Wang Chuan out, but who let Wang Chuan just get too big for his britches and threw the teleportation talisman out? What just happened? How did Ren Yinian suddenly get so close? Li Meng Meng and Xiao Xiao and the others then looked at each other in confusion as if they were waking up from a dream. They had absolutely no idea what had happened. In their memories, Ren Yinian had appeared out of nowhere. And there was no memory of that second just now. Big Brother Ren Yinian must have used that move. Cheng Shan Shan and Luo Jun, on the other hand, had a look of excitement in their eyes. Although the process was a bit bumpy, the ending could not be changed by anyone. Wang Chen would always be an ant, unable to struggle against Ren Yinian. Rumble. With a hideous to the extreme expression on his face, Renanian looked at Wang Chen, and the aura on his body reached its peak at this moment. The distance between him and Wang Chuan kept closing and closing again. There was only less than a meter left. Wang Chen raised his head and indifferently looked at Renanian who was in the air. His expression was so calm that it was terrifying for Renanian to feel. It even palpitated without warning. It's at the point of death. What are you still pretending for me? Brat, go to hell. In the midst of everyone's shouts of shock. Rumble. Ren Yinian landed on top of the ground as if it was a golden missile. A huge explosion sounded, and a ball of golden light rose up with golden electricity bouncing around, then raged madly in all directions, carrying waves of terrifyingly strong winds. Be careful. Li Meng Meng hastily put up a defense shield. Even so, Cracks appeared on the defense shield, almost unable to hold it up. Everyone outside the arena stared at this scene in disbelief, some covering their mouths, their eyes filled with shock. That move that Ren Yinian had just made was just too terrifying, it was like a missile bombardment. How could Wang Chen possibly be able to carry an attack of that magnitude? Lu Qian. You still don't know what kind of conflict there is between the two until now, you're too much of a failure as a principal. Lu Fan jerked his head around and looked at Lu Qian. I admit that I'm at fault. Lu Qian didn't say anything, but silently lowered his head. The golden light flickered, reflecting Lu Fan's angry pupils as he took a deep breath, then sat down and looked at the big screen again. Lu Qian asked somewhat hesitantly, could it be that there is still hope? The three great families, the Yamo family, the Yin family, and the Li family, all looked at the screen with unblinking eyes as well. How could this be? That guy Renanian is so powerful? Is this the full strength of the horsemen of the apocalypse? Surprisingly, there are so many undercurrents. Damn it! Everyone in the three great families were in low spirits. Among the Ren family. Ren Shanzong's face finally turned cloudy as he couldn't help but laugh out loud, with such a brat still wanting to fight Nyenner, go back and eat milk for another three years. Ha 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 ha. That brat deserved it, look at that cocky look. Now that the victory and defeat are joined by one point, you can also feel free to rest assured. The rest of the Ren clan's executives also let out loud laughter. This brat was indeed a bit arrogant. Only as soon as their words fell, a change appeared in the middle of the screen. Quickly see that the aftermath is about to dissipate, let's see how that brat is doing now. It's estimated that he can't be dead anymore that shot from the young master was aimed at his head. He definitely can't escape this time. Who? The golden light gradually dissipated, 
revealing the devastated ground. This is? Look guys! As the golden light overflowed like a cloud, a black and gold sci-fi filled battle armor slowly emerged in everyone's line of sight. The streamlined and angular battle armor, with its V-shaped eyepieces flashing with a faint golden light, looked very domineering and cold. It was like a war weapon had stepped out from the future. People dare not look directly at. But to everyone's surprise. Raninian held his red face and clutched the long gun in his hand with all his might, while the tip of his gun, which was resting less than a few centimeters from Lung Chuan's face, was clutched in his hand. No matter how hard he tried, the gun could not move a single bit. How is this possible? Raninian went crazy, his forehead veins collapsing. He was about to crack. Just how many cards did Wang Chen have? What on earth was going on with this battle armor Ah! Seeing this scene, a mountain of chatter instantly rose from the scene. Heavens, is this senior Wang Chen is this battle armor of his too handsome? My dream armor Ah, shit, isn't this Iron Man? No it's even cooler than Iron Man. Love it too much. Which man does not dream of having such a battle armor Ah, too handsome too handsome. Lu Fan's breathing fiercely shortened for a few minutes as he stared at the screen, this is actually an exoskeleton armor? His profession is actually able to build this kind of thing? No? Not dead. Lu Chen's eyes also revealed a look of surprise. He had thought that Wang Chen would surely die. He didn't expect it to give him such a big surprise. Wait how did this kid's four-dimensional attributes get so high? Lu Fan suddenly realized that something was wrong. Although he was only able to feel vague data. But since he was able to easily pinch the tip of Reninian's gun, it proved that his strength attribute was much higher than Reninian's. Reninian, as an s rank profession knight of the apocalypse, should have a strength attribute close to 20,000 right now. Then, could Wang Chen's power have already broken through 30,000? Hiss. Thinking like this, Lu Fan's face twitched violently, then wouldn't this mean that Wang Chen was invincible? Invincible in long range, invincible in close combat. This kid was simply a hexagonal warrior. Thinking of the document he had already presented to the higher-ups earlier, the sweat on Lu Fan's forehead came down. A serious assessment error. He had gone so far as to write that Wang Chen's weakness might be melee combat, which now seemed downright comical. The initial assessment of the strength attribute was at least 30,000, how could he be weak in melee combat? And just how high the strength attribute was, he didn't know right now, it was just a guess. Lu Fan never expected that Wang Chen's power attribute was now close to 70,000. Crazy crazy crazy. Was this kid a human or a god? Everyone present was shocked. Every single person was frantically sucking in cool air. The heads of the three great clans who were watching the entrance exams were even nearly backing up their breaths. What is this kid up to? What exactly is this occupation of his? It's too terrifying too. At once, the smell of gunpowder in their eyes became even heavier. This brat must marry Arlie, M.O., and family. The three great lords had already made up their minds in their hearts. No one could stop them. But the one who was most shocked was Rinshanzong, who violently hissed, Raninian, what the hell are you doing? Kill him ah! Are you posing? Big brother Rinian. Cheng Shanshan and Luo Jun also never expected things to turn out like this. They had thought that Rinian would win for sure. The gazes towards Wang Chan also became fearful. Even from such a distance, they were able to feel the terrifying pressure on Wang Chen. Just how high was this brat's true strength? Ah! Ren Inian suddenly exerted a fierce force, trying to draw back the tip of his spear. Ridiculous! Wang Chen's mechanical voice came out. Ka Ching! Ren Inian's spear was directly pinched and burst by him. Boom click! The shattered tip of the spear splashed everywhere, like a grand firework. How is it possible? This is my top weapon in the silver rank, a lance built with the crystal core of the Xian Tian crystal beast, able to withstand such a strong force, and it was actually pinched and shattered out of thin air by this kid? Ren Yin's eyes reflected the shattered tip of the lance, and his entire body trembled. Go to hell! Brat! 
Ren Yinian reacted quickly and slammed his fist towards Wang Chen. Bang! Wang Chuan easily caught Ren Yinian's fist again. Ah uh ah! -huh. No matter how Ren Yinian's veins popped out on his forehead, he could not draw back his palm. He felt as if he was up against a towering mountain, making him feel intimidated, even if he tilted his head he couldn't see the entirety of the mountain, this was the difference brought about by the power above. Ren Yinian Suddenly, Ren Yinian felt a gaze. It was as if he was being stared at by some fierce beast, and the hairs on his body almost exploded. Ren Yinian, do you know how long I've waited for this day? Ever since you told me the truth, I've wanted to kill you every moment, and now it's time for you to pay your debt. Wang Chuan's ice-cold voice came out like the scythe of the god of death, slicing through Ren Yinian's nerves. Bang 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 bang. Ren Yinian felt his heart beating fast. He felt an unprecedented sense of oppression. Impossible impossible, impossible I don't believe it. A waste is a waste and can never ride on my head. Run Enian was truly about to collapse at this moment. He had clearly used all of his strength. Used all of his bottom cards. Why was Wang Chen always able to show more power at the moment of limit? He felt like a dog being played in the palm of his hand. Wang Chen had held the idea of teasing him from the very beginning. Releasing so many summons and creating so many hot weapons was just to see him laugh. After realizing all this, Ren Yinian really wanted to yell. He really felt that his three views were collapsing. He thought that as long as he stayed close to Wang Chen, he would be able to win. But now Wang Chuan had completely crushed his last flukes. Looking at Wang Chen's battle armor, which was surging with terrifying power, Ren Yinian's eyes were filled with despair. He had planned so hard for so many years. Why did he fail in the end? He hated. He hated that he hadn't killed Wang Chen in advance giving him time to grow, but it was too late to talk about it now. The current him was living like a clown. Wang Chen, I must kill you. Ren Yinian desperately tried to attack, but every move he made was blocked by Wang Chuan. No. I will never admit defeat. Even if I die, I will die with you. The flames of anger burned Ren Yinian's sanity completely. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Ren Yi attacked frantically. But in the eyes of Wang Chuan at this moment, the speed of Ren Yinian's power was simply too slow to be true. The once high and mighty Ren Yinian. Bang 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 bang. All of Ren Yinian's attacks were received by Wang Chuan. Slow slow slow. Too slow. The armor on Wang Dust's head suddenly faded, revealing his teasing expression. Ren Yinian your attacks are ridiculously slow in my eyes, is this your full strength? This is your limit, you are simply like a mole in front of me. Ha 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 ha. Ren Yinian, the more you struggle, the happier I am. Sure enough, it's so fun to appreciate the struggles of a mole cricket. Wang Chuan's eyes were vaguely bloodshot, and the color of madness gradually appeared in his eyes. At this moment, Wang Chen's body was too hostile and heavy. It was as if he had changed into a different person. Wang Chen. And Xiao Xiao pursed her lips. Li Meng Meng sighed, it's really a bit scary when this guy goes crazy, he's completely playing with Ren Yinian as if he's a dog right now. Ah. Ren Yinian used his hands and feet, disregarding his image and even all sorts of underhanded means, but he still couldn't do any harm to Wang Chuan. Wang Chuan even stood and opened his arms for him to attack. Ren Yinian slammed punch after punch on top of Wang Chuan's battle armor, and both his fists were bloody. But other than a crackling sound of metal clashing, it did not cause any damage to Wang Chuan. Aha! Uh -huh. No, 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 no! This is all fake! This is all fake! This is all fake! Ren Yinian, with his sticky hair spread out, stared round-eyed at his bloodied and trembling hands, gasping violently for air. This was simply like a dream. He had clearly used all his strength. Had enough of fighting? Let's show you what is called true power. Wang Dust's extremely cold voice rang out. You dash. Ren Yinian raised his head. Finding Wang Dust slightly lowering his head, he stared at himself with an icy and brutal gaze, his black pupils resembling an abyss, exuding a horrifying aura. 
Desperate, icy cold. Boom. Wang Dust slammed his fist out. The terrifying force compressed the air and triggered an air explosion. Ren Inian subconsciously raised his hand to stop it. Only to see Wang Chuan's punch fiercely blast above Ren Inian's fist. Boom Ka. At the moment of contact, Ren Inian's palm instantly burst, and bones were exposed, but the bones also turned into powder immediately afterward. This fist carried a terrifying pressure all the way through, destroying his arm directly in the midst of Renyini's horrified gaze. Bang! A rain of blood exploded from the sky. Ron Inyan's arm directly turned into a bloody mist. Ah 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 ah! The immense pain instantly tore through his mind, causing him to kneel on the ground in pain, covering his broken right arm and letting out a heartbreaking scream. Ha 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 ha! Wang Xuan let out an unrestrained laughter. Stand up, Rin Inian. Wang Xuan stepped forward and laughed, directly picking up Rin Inian's hair and pulling him up. You die. Rin Inian smashed out his left fist. But in the next second, it was caught by Wang Xuan. Wang Chen violently pulled. Ka Ching. This arm of Rin Inian was actually ripped off alive by him. The teleportation talisman on it also fell to the ground and was crushed by Wang Chuan's foot. With both arms broken, Ren Yinyan's person was about to collapse. Ah ah ah, Wang Chuan you wasted me. You dare to waste me. Ren Yinyan was going crazy. With the loss of his arms, how could he talk about cultivation? He was screwed for life. Big brother Ren Yinyan. Next to him, Chen Shan Shan and Luo Jun were going crazy. Wang Xuan, is there any great enmity that warrants this? Although I don't know what kind of grudge there is between the two of you, it's not so bad as to waste him, right? Cheng Shan Chan angrily ran to Ren Yinyan's body, stopping with open arms and accusing Wang Chen. This was in the middle of the college entrance exam, but such a bad incident of hurting someone had occurred, although there were no clear rules in the college entrance exam, but doing such a thing in public was still not allowed morally. Shut up! Wang Chen suddenly yelled. How dare you try moving me? Right now, our every move is being broadcast live. Cheng Shan Shan raised her head. She didn't believe that such a big commotion had happened and the officials still didn't know about it. She also didn't believe that Wang Chen dared to make a move. What kind of hook eight are you? Snap. Wang Chuan directly slapped Cheng Shan Shan's face, her skin split open, her cheeks swelled high, and she flew out on the spot, hitting the snow pile next to her. Wang Chuan's slap had directly cracked her skull, her eyes had directly burst out with blood, and most of her teeth had flown out. Ah! Cheng Shan Shan, who had smashed a large pit out of the snowy plain, was lying on the ground twitching, blood bubbling out of her mouth, and her entire body was confused. Wang Chuan rushed in once again and stomped on Cheng Shan Shan's head, you're not sure what kind of grudge we have between us, so what qualifications do you have to open your mouth? If you say one more word, believe it or not, I will step on your head right now. Cheng Shan Chan's eyes flashed with fear, and she was scared to pee her pants on the spot. She was able to feel that Wang Chen's foot on his head was gradually applying pressure. As long as she really dared to utter a single word, even if she hummed it, her head would turn into mincemeat on the spot. Get lost. Wang Chuan kicked Cheng Shan Shan away, sending her flying straight out and smashing into the dazed Luo Jun next to him, sending them both paralyzed on the ground. Shan Shan. Luo Jun hugged Cheng Shan Shan, his entire body was trembling and his lips had to be shivering. Wang Chen had gone crazy. Really crazy. He hurriedly activated the teleportation talisman in Cheng Shan Shan's hand. White light flashed, Cheng Shan Shan went out and the teachers outside hurriedly prepared all kinds of healing spells and smashed them over. But Wang Chen's actions just now also caused a furor. Senior Wang Chen what on earth is he doing? Surprisingly, he could strike so unhesitatingly. Didn't you see that he stayed his hand? Otherwise this woman's head would have been slapped, who let her talk too much. There's just some kind of hatred between Senior Wang Chen and Ren Yinian. I'm really curious. How the hell should I know, look at them, they look like they're not going to die. There must be a deep hatred. It's over, it's over, it's over. This is the first time I've seen such a big deal in the middle of a college entrance exam, will the teachers stop it? 
Hiss, before because of a vicious attack, that time the officials let the teachers intervene and affected the college entrance exams, it seems that this time they will have to intervene as well, otherwise the commotion that has been caused is just too big. The crowd's guess was good. This development was too unexpected. Lu Qian had already approved it from above, as the principal, this was a process that had to be done. The lives of the college entrance exam candidates still came first. Lu Fan looked at the screen, his face cloudy. A response was soon given from above, the teacher forcibly interfered with the match and made a transmission to stop the fight between the two. This time the response is surprisingly so fast, there should be an intervention from the Imperial Capitals forces, Renini in this guy's background is really big. Do we have to keep Renini in alive no matter what? F asterisk CK the world. Lu Fan cursed out. At this moment, Ren Shanzong in the Ren family vocation looked at the screen, almost going crazy in his eyes. Especially when he saw that all of Ren Yin's arms were wasted, his killing intent erupted like a tidal wave in the conference room. Even if Ren Yin's arms were to be regrown after the medical treatment of a high-level healer, it would still delay 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 a great deal of time, has no news come from the imperial capital yet? News has come family master, the old ancestor's side has already made an effort, he has contacted the high level of the imperial capital, the documents have just been sent back, no matter what, young master Ren Yin will be preserved. There will be a high level intervention in the entrance exam in a while. Don't all sit around at home, all follow me to the school. Go and put a little pressure on their principal. And I want that brat to look good. I'll make sure the school catches this brat, scraps him, and disqualifies him from the college entrance exam. Ren Shanzong rose up boldly. He directly led a group of people towards the school and rushed over. Bang! Ren Shanzong crashed through the conference room door. Lu Qian, quickly give me an explanation, how did your college entrance exam mess up my son's death? Ren Shanzong yelled. This parent please calm down. Lu Fan got up and his mighty pressure was released. His 70-level dragon blood warrior was oppressive. Lord Special Ombudsman, why don't you hurry up and call off the college entrance exam? The documents have all come down, what are you waiting for? Ren Shanzong then yelled. I'm already going through the procedures. Lu Fan said indifferently. If anything happens to my son, don't think that just because you're the Special Ombudsman, you'll be able to do whatever you want, my Ren family is a family that was separated from the Imperial Capital, and who doesn't know the great name of the Ren family in the Imperial Capital? My son's cousin is Dragon Capital's number one female pride this year. Guaranteed to be sent to Imperial Capital University. Ran Shanzong directly threatened. Aha! Lu Fan just nodded his head. He naturally knew about the Imperial Capital Rin family. This year, a genius girl had come out. Moreover, it was related to many of the top levels of the forces in the Imperial Capital, and its connections and resources were sky high. Otherwise the program wouldn't have gone so fast. But the good thing is that he has already reported Wang Chen's information to the upper echelons, and avoided that faction of the Rin family. Hopefully, the bigwigs of that faction would see the information as soon as possible and come over to protect Wang Chen. Otherwise, he really couldn't carry it. All he could do now was to delay the protection as much as possible. Things had gotten too big this time. In the middle of the trial tower. Ren Inian struggled to climb up. Bang! Wang Chen blasted an antacid ray directly onto Ren Inian's face. The light with a strong corrosive effect enveloped his entire face, and green slime flowed across his face. Ah ah ah! Ren Inian screamed in pain. The corroded bones on his face were exposed, and his entire body lay on the ground, rolling around frantically and struggling on the ground, leaving behind a miserable trail of blood. Son! Seeing this scene, Ren Shanzong's eyes flew out, his heart aching to the point of being unable to breathe. He pointed at the screen and roared, Did you see that, Lord Special Inspector? This kid is deliberately torturing my son, he has I seriously violated the law and morality, when he comes out he must be ruthlessly capitalized to cut him down, he must be caught and disqualified from the college entrance examination. Lu Fan said, There is no clear provision in the law that striking out at a classmate in the middle of the trial tower is considered illegal, it is a kind of competition. Who would have expected Rin Shanzong to suddenly say hideously, then do you think the law is for you to decide? 
Let me tell you the law is used to imprison the weak and serve the strong, if I say this kid is guilty, he is guilty. I am the sky. I'm going to arrest the kid today, can you stop me? Do you dare to stop? Lu Fan looked at Rin Shanzong and didn't say anything, but instead looked at the big screen. Ah uh ha. -huh. Wang Xuan, I'm going to kill you, my cousin is the pride of this generation, my Rin family is a big family in the imperial capital, you dare to waste me like this, I'm going to kill you. Run Inian yelled indistinctly as he lay on the ground. What can you do even if you defeat me? Could it be that you can fight me? My background is heavenly, while you have nothing, you only have a parent lying in bed and a crippled sister. And this directly poked Wan Dust's reverse scale. Scream. Scream as much as you want. The weak are incapable of raging, I don't care what's behind you, I beg you to fuck me to death. At this time, Wang Chuan shot another bee venom ray to Reninian's crotch. Put. The yellow ray directly corroded the middle of Reninian's legs with intense poison, madly torturing him. Ah! Reninian directly roared out. This was the most painful place for a man. But he was ruined. This could be 10,000 times more painful than cutting him in a thousand cuts ah. Uh. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. How dare you waste me, how dare you waste me. Ren Enian was disfigured plus crippled plus eunuch. Completely finished. If he had lost his arms and disfigured his face, he could still hire someone to restore it. But this aspect really can't be restored. It's over. Really finished. Son. Ren Shanzong sat down on the ground with a plop. His heart ached so much that he couldn't breathe. The top management of the Rin family were all furious, their eyes spitting fire. They gnashed their teeth. They couldn't wait to kill Wang Chen. Pass on my order, go and grab that brat sister over here. We can't let that brat go. Ren Shanzong's eyes were filled with blood as he secretly gave the order. Someone secretly left. At this time, they finally contacted the inside of the trial tower. Lu Fan was about to shout. Tell Wang Chen to stop. There was already pressure coming from above. The actions of the Imperial Capital Ren family were too fast, and in the official faction that was also incredibly fast, an arrest warrant was directly passed on. The strength of the Imperial Capital Ren family was still terrifying. Damn it, has my information not been passed over yet? Lu Fan was anxious. This was a fight between the bigwigs at the top of the official hierarchy now. He could no longer intervene much. He could only block Wang Chen first. Avoiding things from getting too radicalized. As long as Ren Inian didn't die, there was room for moderation. He had to keep Wang Chuan. He's the hope of dealing with the foreigners. Those sons of bitches. Otherwise the Imperial Capital Potential Dragon Ranking is really finished this year. Rumble. Wang Chuan looked up and noticed fluctuations coming from above the sky. It seemed like the outside world was connected. Ren Shanzong suddenly grabbed the microphone and shouted, Brat, quickly release my son, if you dare to kill my son, my Ren family is not finished with you. Ren Shanzong? So it's you old undead. Wang Chen laughed. Ren Inian also struggled to get up, arrogantly and domineeringly half kneeling on the ground hissed, Ha ha ha, Wang Chuan you've seen how terrifying I am, my Ren family is invincible, what are you going to fight with my Ren family? At this moment, it was as if he had come to his senses. Kid, if you touch him in the slightest, I will definitely kill your entire family. Ren Shanzong directly yelled. But before his words fell. Boom! Wang Chuan blasted his fist onto Ren Inian's head. The bloody head instantly exploded. Collecting his fist. Wang Chuan looked up at the sky. With a fierce smile, he said. Ron family. I beg you to fuck me to death. The next will be cool all the way, the protagonist will push all the way across the world, wait and see, begging for book shortage recommendation, begging for favorable reviews Pazizi people, humble author Boing Boing. Boom. When Wang Chen blasted his fist towards Ren Inian without hesitation, Ren Inian never dreamed that Wang Chen would actually dare to strike at him. In that instant, he was so terrified that his urine came out, 
His heart was filled with despair and regret, he was really scared to death, he had never been so scared in his life. He really wanted to kneel on the ground and beg for mercy. He didn't care about anything, he just wanted to live. Don't kill me, please, don't kill me, I'm really wrong. I'm really wrong. He wanted to shout out all sorts of words, crying out in pain and begging for mercy. But before he could shout out a single word, severe pain hit him and his head turned into a rotten watermelon and exploded. Plop. Reninian's body shook and collapsed to the ground, his headless body gushing blood, twitching and trembling, his blood staining a large portion of the ground. A generation of heavenly pride. The hope of the Rin family. The future scholar of the Imperial Capital University. The proudest son in Rin Shanzong's heart. After half a day of Wang Chuan teasing him as if he were a dog. Like a lost dog, he was smashed to death by Wang Chuan's fist. There wasn't even the slightest hesitation. Not even a single pause. It was just so easy and clean. Killing him was like killing a chicken. How could Wang Chuan let Rin Yinian go? He even thought it would be cheaper to kill Rin Yinian this way. How many years of pain did this guy bring him? As soon as Rin Yinian died, something in Wang Chen's heart seemed to be suddenly opened, inexplicably much more comfortable. Looking at the corpse of Rin Yinian at his feet, Wang Chen's eyes were filled with indifference. However, this did not mean that the hatred between him and the Rin family was over. On the contrary, all of this had just begun. Ron family. Wang Chuan raised his head to the sky. His face was filled with a fierce smile. Son. When Rin Shanzong saw this scene, his eyes rounded with anger, and his entire body lost its concentration for a moment, staggering on his feet and almost failing to fall. Then extreme anger rose from his chest, nearly bursting his sanity. He stared at Wang Chuan dead in the face as if he wanted to eat him. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. What should I take to explain to your mother? Ren Shanzong was really going crazy. This was the son that he had carefully nurtured until now. His proudest son. From a young age, he had invested an unknown amount of resources to support Ren Yinian to this point. But now it's all gone. Ren Shanzong's spirit almost collapsed, his eyes were wide with rage, and the microphone in his hand was directly pinched. When everyone came back to their senses, Ren Yinian had already become a corpse that could not be dead anymore. Young master. The eyes of Rin family executives turned red in an instant, and everyone nearly went crazy. Nyenur. The Rin family's oldest ancestor directly rose up with a roar, his terrifying aura directly shattering the chairs and tables next to him. Rumble. Twisted lightning flashed across his body, the sky seemed to darken, and the roof was directly pierced through. The entire Rin family was enveloped in his extreme anger. His most beloved grandson was gone. I must kill this brat. Ren Shanzong breathed heavily and hissed with complete disregard for his image, itching to break Wang Chen into pieces. Nope. This was hardly enough to quench his heart's hatred. Counting the time that brat's sister should be arriving soon. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I must cut his sister into a thousand pieces as well. Ren Shanzong had gone crazy at this moment. Calm down. This is an accident in the college entrance exam, even if the candidates come out, you still have to follow the process. Lu Fan warned icily. He would definitely not let Ren Shanzong strike out at Wang Chen recklessly. Swish swish swish. Several invigilators also walked out and came into the conference room. These were all officially organized. You guys dash. Ren Shanzong's eyes narrowed as an extremely terrifying killing aura flashed by. Even if Wang Chen has any irregularities, it should be handed over to us officials to deal with. It's not your turn to intervene, we will give you a result after we investigate clearly. Lu Fan wanted to protect Wang Chen now, that was to arrest Wang Chen first, and as long as he handed it over to his faction, he would be able to find a way to keep Wang Chen. Definitely not able to fall to that faction of the Ren family in the imperial capital, or else the other party could possibly get Wang Duan killed directly in the prison. Or quickly execute Wang Chen. He couldn't be more clear about the filth of these people. Officials? Just as well. Ren Enian suddenly laughed. Our imperial Ren family's main family should be much faster than you, right? 
Your documents probably haven't been delivered by now. Ren Shanzong suddenly laughed. What do you mean? Could it be that you used some means to delay the documents? Lu Fan's face sank violently. He had remitted Wang Chen's career analysis as well as his performance. As long as the bigwigs over there saw it, they would definitely take it seriously. But now hearing Rin Shanzong's words, his heart sank violently. Don't slander us, we didn't, it's just that our Rin family side will probably be faster than yours. At that time, there's no need for you to intervene, the imperial capital side will directly send someone over to take this brat away. Rain Shanzong smiled icily. Lu Fan's heart sank to the bottom. The people from the imperial capital definitely belonged to the Rin family. If Wang Chuan was really taken away by the Rin family's people, then there was no need to even think about what would happen to Wang Chuan, he would definitely die, such a proud son of heaven, he definitely could not let him die in this kind of struggle. This was not only for the sake of Wang Chen, but also for the future of the Dragon Kingdom. If such a genius died in the middle of a faction struggle, then Lu Fan had an unshirkable responsibility. Lu Fan took a deep breath, his eyes flickered a few times, and he did not speak. He planned to wait for Wang Chen to finish the examination, and the first thing he would do was also to protect Wang Chen first. He would first use the official name to arrest him, and when the people from the imperial capital side came, he would just not release Wang Chen no matter what. All he had to do now was to stall for time, but the only thing Lu Fan was afraid of now was. The imperial capital side was even faster, Wang Chen's side hadn't finished his exams yet, and someone from the other side had come. At that time, the other side had more power than him, and he had nothing to say about arresting people first. That's why the safest way now is for Wang Chen to directly withdraw from the exam and let him be protected first. Thinking of this, Lu Fan took a deep breath and picked up the microphone next to him and pre-shouted. Student Wang Chen, you have violated the college entrance exam syllabus dash. As a result, before he could finish his words, with a bang, a crimson fire suddenly smashed on top of the magic formation in front of him, directly destroying it. Lu Fan's face sank. What kind of person dares to destroy the public facilities of the college entrance exam? Behind him, a senior Rin family member stepped in, an indifferent smile on his face. Ren Shanzong also shouted in a feigned manner, What are you doing? Daring to destroy the facilities of the college entrance examination, do you want to go to jail? Only to see the man say, I just want to go to jail, what's wrong? Lu Fan looked at them singing in unison, his face was hard to see, but there was no way to say anything. This Rin family was really hateful. They must have guessed their thoughts as well, that's why they destroyed the shouting magic array, it would take at least half an hour to repair it all at once. There were already people coming towards here in the imperial capital now, right, so if they took the magic array, it probably wouldn't take more than half an hour for them to come over. Damn! Lu Fan looked at the smug smile on Ren Shanzong's face, and with countless anger in his heart, he could only slam the table fiercely. The principal next to him, Lu Qian, was so scared that he didn't dare to breathe a single breath, this kind of scene was no longer something that he, a small principal, could participate in. However, he was also able to see that Wang Chen had gotten into big trouble. Don't be in a hurry, let's wait. Ren Shanzong directly sat down in the middle of the conference room and looked at the big screen dead on. Lu Fan had sent someone to arrest that Ren family senior just now. But he knew that it was of no use at all. The other party's purpose had already been achieved. I hope this kid is smart enough to end the entrance exam and come out now. Lu Fan looked at the big screen. At this time, the people outside the arena had also slowed down from their initial shock. Senior Wang Chen actually really killed him. Geez, this is the first time there's been a murder in the college entrance exam, right? It's over, it's over, Senior Wang Chuan is in big trouble now, how could the Ren family let him go? Who knew that this year's college entrance exam would have such an accident? Within the trial tower. The scared-to-death Luo Jun directly ended the college entrance exam and teleported out. Li Mengmeng and Xiao Xiao and the others were also shocked beyond belief. They also didn't expect Wang Chen to be so dry. Lu Chang shouted with a bitter face, it's over ah. Although this is so damn cool, it seems like this beam has also been tied up. And Xiao Xiao immediately ran to Wang Chuan's side and shouted, Wang Chuan you're too reckless, now you're in big trouble, the Ren family won't let you go, I'll go out first and contact my family and ask them to protect you. 
Li Meng Meng also shouted, Right, this is the only way now, a few of us will end it first, just go out and shout for help, after we take care of everything, you can end the entrance exam and come out. They were at least the three great families. Although they were not as powerful as others, they were still powerful. Lu Chang also shouted, Right brother Dust, buddy die with you, anyway, the trouble is all over, just punch it and be done with it. Wang Dust said, Why end the college entrance exam? My goal this year is to break through to the hundredth floor of the trial tower. One hundred floors? Everyone's first reaction after hearing his grandiose words was to suck in cool air, how is this possible? No one in history had ever been able to make it this far. No, I broke through to the hundredth floor also to upgrade within the trial tower, my goal is to rise to level 40 and upwards before going out. Wang Chuan had long ago made his goal. Ren Shanzong was a strong person of over 50 levels. The Ren family's old ancestors seemed to be over level 60. As long as he could rise to level 40, he would be able to smash these people through and through. These people must be waiting for him outside. But he wasn't afraid. Level 40? Lu Chang and the others were once again shocked. Dare to break in with me? Wang Chen smiled. Fuck. Lu Chang directly nodded his head. We'll accompany you. And Xiao Xiao directly agreed without hesitation. Let's go crazy then. Mo Lioli's eyes were filled with excitement. Lu Fan looked at the projection, his forehead broke out in sweat, he was really nervous. Things were going in the worst direction. These guys, they actually really intend to not come out, with Wang Chen's strength, he will have no problem brushing up to the 50th floor of the trial tower, but in that case, by the time he comes out, the Rin family's people would have already arrived. Taking a long breath, Lu Fan suppressed the agitation in his heart and glanced at Rin Shanzong as well as the Rin family's senior management who were at the side. Seemingly sensing Lu Fan's gaze, Rin Shanzong grinned, revealing a smile that had a few grimaces. If Rin Shanzong continued to lose control of his emotions, he had enough reasons to knock him out and take him down first, which was also in line with the rules. He had this right as a special ombudsman. But right now Rin Shanzong was like a bereaved and stoic jackal, patiently waiting for his prey to appear and seal his throat with a single blow. He would definitely not make a single mistake now. In short, he would not give Lu Fan any opportunity to take advantage of. Sitting on a chair, Rin Shanzong wiped an alloy longsword in his hand, his posture was casual, but it revealed a sense of ferocity and bloodlust. These dogs. Lu Fan took a deep breath, and suddenly, his face changed violently as if he remembered something. Without moving, he grabbed the information next to him and pretended to flip through it casually. Associating it with the scattered conversation between Wang Chen and Rin Yinian earlier, he saw the sentence on Wang Chen's background. Suffered a car accident a few years ago, his parents were vegetative, his sister was disabled, and the student himself had a broken heart that was replaced with an artificial heart. This series of words was like a bolt of lightning slamming into Lu Fan's brain, and his pupils contracted violently as if he had realized something. Car accident, heart transplant, broken. Lu Fan's heart couldn't control the accelerated beating, the gurgling flow of blood exploded in his temples, his brain blanked out violently for a moment, and even both his ears tinnitus for a moment. He suddenly understood something. Why did Wang Chen have a deep hatred with Ren Yinian? This guy. Lu Fan turned back with his teeth clenched. Is there a problem? Lord Special Ombudsman? In the middle of the conference room where the lights flickered, the eyes of the Ren family flickered inexplicably. These jackals whose eyes emitted an eerie green light stuck out their scarlet tongues and licked their teeth, eyeing Lu Fan, the only lone panther, intently. A solemn atmosphere spread in the air. ZZZ. The light bulb flickered a few times. Lu Fan wiped the sweat off his forehead without leaving any trace, his eyes noticed another sentence on it. Vegetative parents, disabled sister at home. Boom. Lu Fan's heartbeat stopped beating for a beat as he rose up with a start, grabbed the cell phone in his hand, and sent a message to a few officials. Damn it! Lu Fan's eyes were filled with the color of blood, and a terrifying wave of chi exploded from his body. Ren Shan Zong, if you dare to touch this kid's family, I will definitely kill you today. Clang! The long blade with blood came out of the body with a dragon's roar, and with a thud, it was stuck on the floor in front of Ren Shanzong's body, 
and the blade with scarlet aura suede, emitting terrifying fluctuations. What are you talking about, Special Inspector Sama? I'm afraid it's not good for you to slander people so casually, right? I don't think there's anyone in our Rin family who would be so presumptuous, right? If there really was, I wouldn't need you, Lord Special Inspector, to say anything, I would have punished him myself. Ren Shanzong laughed, his eyes seeping. Lu Fan's face was grim to the core, and his breath caught. He suddenly understood why these few people were sitting steadily. Even if the Imperial Capital Rin family's people came late. As long as Wang Chen's sister was in their hands. Wang Chuan would definitely go to the Rin family without hesitation. Lu Fan couldn't do anything even if he knew that this was the Rin family's move. Ren Shanzong can completely launch a scapegoat, a temporary worker to solve all the problems. This was a complete and utter Yang conspiracy. The Ren family was incredibly bold. He had underestimated this old fox. The entire situation was controlled by the Rin family. This was a fight between a pack of wolves and a lone leopard. At this moment, Wang Chuan was in his newly purchased villa. Bang bang! The main door was kicked open. Two panting officials rushed into the house. The new pink wheelchair that Wang Chuan had bought for Wang Luohan fell to the side, the wheels still turning and making a buzzing sound. The window next to it was broken, glass shattered all over the place, and on the floor there was a cake that had been knocked over, the cream poured all over the place, and the words happy high school graduation were vaguely visible on it. There was a letter next to the table, also wet with water. Damn it! The tall, thin official took one look and rushed out. But there was nothing outside. While the other female official picked up an unfinished letter on the table. Older brother, congratulations on graduating from high school, you've worked hard all these years, I know you want very much to want me to stand up, but don't have so much pressure, the wheelchair you bought me is very comfortable to sit in, I've never given you such a comfortable wheelchair before, I went to the hospital to see mom and dad today, and I just realized that they've both been transferred to the senior ward, you're really great, old brother, but you also don't work so hard ah. Uh. Save more money, marry me a sister-in-law, I still want to. The letter came to an abrupt end here. It was interrupted by someone. This female official could even think of Wang Luohan writing the letter while laughing. This girl was still waiting at home for her old brother's triumphant return. The carefully prepared cake and the unfinished letter of blessing already said it all. Huashan, immediately approve a search warrant to the higher-ups, you lead the team to search Ren's house, I'll check the surveillance, and then go ask a professional with precognition to come over for divination. This tall and thin official Yang Long immediately made a decision. There was not a moment's delay at the moment. Although the possibility that the Rin family would bring Wang Luohan back was slim to none, they couldn't give up this little bit of hope. The responsibility for this was on their heads, they were the ones who had failed to protect Wang Chen's family. Now Wang Chen's parents had been protected by the people they had sent. There was no need to worry about any accidents. Hurry up! They had to do their best to search. If Wang Chuan came out of the trial tower and knew about this, they didn't dare to think about what this teenager would actually do. They had learned about Wang Chen's background information, this teenager had worked hard to take care of his sister, and there was no need to say how deep his feelings for his sister were. When the time came for them to dissuade Wang Chuan from being impulsive, I'm afraid this teenager wouldn't agree, right? It was even possible to single-handedly rush to the Ren family and go on a killing spree. But how could the current Wang Chuan possibly fight against the Rin family? If we can't find Wang Dust's sister during the time he's out of the trial tower, we mustn't let him know about this kidnapping of his sister. What the Rin family wants to see the most right now is for Wang Chuan to go crazy and go to the Rin family to take revenge. Once Wang Chuan strikes and makes a scene in the Rin family, the Rin family will have a justifiable reason to defend themselves, and at that time, their higher-ups will surely step in to kill Wang Chuan. This is the Ren family's young plot. Yang Long contacted several official personnel at a rapid pace. Soon, several people with special searching abilities arrived at the scene. Hua Shan, on the other hand, led people to the Rin family. At all costs, we must find Wang Luohan. Lu Fan sent such a message. He looked towards the big screen. Just from the previous performance. He had long seen what kind of character Wang Chen was. The man was stoic enough. But crazy times were also really deadly. 
Flipping through the message interface for contacting his superiors again, Lu Fan sent a few more messages, but the reply he received was, it's being processed, going through the process, please wait a bit. Waiting for your code. Lu Fan took a deep breath. It was very clear that this was the Rin family playing a trick. The document he handed in must have been switched to last place. Kid, when you come out later, don't go crazy. Lu Fan secretly prayed. 27th floor. At this moment, Wang Chen looked at Ren Yin's corpse. Ren Shanzong, you should all be watching, right? He stepped towards Ren Yin's corpse, then crouched down and ripped off the battle armor on Ren Yin's body. Outside, Ren Shanzong watched Wang Chen's every move, and the movement of polishing the alloy longsword in his hand paused. Nyaner. He closed his eyes and chose not to look anymore. Only the knuckles that clutched the long sword had turned white. It was even trembling slightly. The crowd that was watching the battle also did not understand what Wang Chen was going to do, and each of them held their breath as they watched curiously. Something that belongs to me. You will have to return it after all. You don't deserve it. Wang Chen grinned. In the midst of the crowd's dumbfounded gazes. Put. It directly plunged into Ren Inyan's chest and dug out his heart. The bloody heart was even slightly beating, emitting a faint glow. Wang Chuan looked at the heart in his hand, feeling the sizzling vigor, as well as the wave of longing in his heart when it returned to his hand. That's right. It was the longing. The heart seemed to be longing to return to his body. But the next moment, the sound of countless gears interlacing rang out, and a magnificent will seemed to descend into this space, instantly suppressing the longing in the heart. It was a supreme conviction that overrode all the gods. Don't worry, god of machinery, since you gave me the chance to be reborn, how could I let the horseman of the apocalypse replace you? He's not worthy yet. When you were betrayed by the gods, plundering your merits and breaking your godly body, just like me who had my heart ripped out, we accomplished each other to become what we are today. This heart was in a sense a superb, drop item, or, material. It could be absorbed by his super god armament. But then, by inheriting this heart, Wang Chen might be spied upon and contacted by the god of the apocalypse. Although this would give Wang Chuan the powerful abilities of two professions, controlling space and time, he still refused. Even though it was an extremely terrifying power. HM? You're going to erase the godhead of this heart? In the next moment, the heart in Wang Chen's hand belonging to the divine sigil of the horseman of the apocalypse was obliterated by the god of mechanics in a domineering manner. Ka Ching. The heart's connection was severed. In the future, if Wang Chen went even higher, the god of the apocalypse would not be able to control Wang Chen by controlling this heart. Instead, he could perfectly absorb this heart and inherit the abilities of the horseman of the apocalypse. Come on then. Revenge on all those who step on our heads. Wang Chen violently pressed the heart into his reaction core pile. Brilliant golden light erupted. What is senior Wang Chen doing? People exclaimed in shock. The bloody heart suddenly blossomed with golden light, beating violently, and the scorching light filled everyone's sight. The large screen outside was directly enveloped by the light. What is senior Wang Chen doing? Is he going to fuse the heart raw? But how is this possible? Or did Senior Wang Chuan start out with the idea of plundering Ren Yin's heart? This, this, this. Is he not a devil? Hiss. Could it be that Senior Wang Chuan is a fallen one? What nonsense are you talking about? Isn't this matter still inconclusive? Let's wait for Senior Wang Dust to finish his exams and come out to see what the officials say. What can it say? Wang Chuan, he's clearly going for the purpose of plundering Ren Yin's heart, is he a good bird? People questioned for a while. Brother Dust, are you sure it's okay to absorb it like this? Don't you need to take some kind of immune rejection shot? Lu Chang roared. Li Mengmeng said without a trace of anger, you're stupid, we didn't use that thing hundreds of years ago, only a fool would ask such a question, right? We are now being nourished by Aura, where do we need to consider that? I'm stupid. Lu Chang spat out his tongue. And Xiao Xiao didn't say anything, but just nervously looked at Wang Chen. At this moment, 
amidst the radiant golden light. The reactor in Wang Chuan's chest suddenly began to rotate at a rapid pace, and countless golden rays of light flew out with spinning gears and did not enter inside this heart. The heart began to gradually shrink and was covered by countless parts, transforming into a reactor that disappeared into Wang Chen's chest. Chest Armor Ascension Successful Congratulations, you have obtained the God of the Apocalypse Core Reactor. Congratulations, the God of the Apocalypse Core Reactor has reached the strongest order of the current equipment, gradually unfolding along with the increase in strength, the current rank is gold. Congratulations, the mechanical overload time has increased to 60 minutes. A stream of extremely powerful abilities ruthlessly infused into the body, and Wang Chen's face revealed a few painful colors. Congratulations, you have obtained all the abilities of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse and are fusing with the Super God Armor. Rumble A huge golden pillar of light enveloped him. A streak of golden lightning raged crazily, lashing the ground and drawing out scorched black traces, like a storm descending. The original black and gold battle armor changed, the original conservative armor pieces became sharper and more three-dimensional, and the golden light flowed, leaving a golden trace on it. The golden color of the battle armor now became more, more cold and powerful. The left arm defense route soared successfully. Congratulations on obtaining the horseman of the Apocalypse companion weapon, Apocalypse Divine Shield. Wang Chuan looked at his left arm, and the original brown bee shield was replaced. He crossed his left arm. Buzz. Golden light erupted and unfolded, instantly transforming into a golden shield, completely made up of light in general, looking very peculiar. Congratulations, the divine shield of the apocalypse has reached the strongest rank of the current equipment, gradually unfolding along with the increase in strength, the current rank is gold. Congratulations, you have obtained a new skill, spatial shift. Wang Dust instantly understood. This was exactly the same move that Ren Yinian had performed when he had attacked him with his fire cannon earlier. Absorbing his tongue of fire and then transferring it out. It was a very perverse ability. Ka 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 ka. At this time, countless parts of his right arm moved. Right arm attack route soaring successfully. Congratulations, you have obtained the horseman of the apocalypse companion weapon, the lance of the apocalypse. Congratulations, the Lance of the Apocalypse has reached the strongest rank of the current equipment, gradually unfolding along with the increase in strength, and the current rank is gold. Wang Chen grabbed and a golden lance emerged. This was precisely the other companion weapon that Ren Yinian could not summon. As a thief, it was already enough of a strain for him to pay the cost of burning his life to summon the Apocalypse Divine Shield. But when this heart returned to Wang Chen's body, it revealed its terrifying power. This lance possessed the ability to manipulate time. The attack was swift and incomparable. It could be accelerated or paused. Congratulations, you have obtained the Apocalypse Time Stop skill. It can pause time for 10 seconds. It was 10 times stronger than Rin Yin's one second. This is my true power. Ron Yin, you deserve it too? Wang Chuan's pupils turned a reddish golden color flashing with terrifying divine might. Along with the golden pillar of light shrinking and decaying, it finally flickered a few times and disappeared. The golden light in Wang Chen's eyes also receded and dissipated. At this moment, Wang Chen had completely changed his appearance. With gold-colored mostly battle armor, he held a shield in one hand and a gun in the other, very imposing, and the reactor in his chest was slightly throbbing, emitting terrifying power. Pull up my panel. Name, Wang Dust. Profession, Super God Mechanic. Level, 35. Strength, 113,489. Physique, 120345. Agility, 13456. Spirit, 108,000. The four dimensional attributes broke through 70,000 and came directly to 100,000. A level 60 warrior, equipped with a superb weapon, I'm afraid that the strength is not enough for 100,000. And Wang Dust. A level 35 professional had already made it this far. Holy shit holy shit holy shit. This is too fucking handsome. Bullshit, Senior Wang Chuan has evolved again? He's actually absorbed the horseman of the apocalypse perfectly, this profession is simply like it was tailor-made for him. 
Why do I feel that senior Wang Chen is even more suitable for this heart than Ren Yinian? People outside the arena let out a murmur. In the middle of the conference room, Ren Shanzong slowly opened his eyes as he took a deep breath and suppressed the anger in his heart. He merely glanced at the radiant Wang Chen. Afterward, his eyes landed on the corpse of Ren Yinian, who had an extra large hole in his chest at Wang Chen's feet. Compared to Wang Chen, who was now in the limelight, Ren Yinian's headless corpse looked humble and ridiculous, just lying at Wang Chen's feet. The crowd even ignored him. Originally, the one who was shining brightly and receiving attention should be his son. It was his pride, Ren Yinian. But now it was all reversed. Nyaner. 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 Ren Shanzong shouted three times fiercely in his heart. I will definitely avenge you. Lu Fan sensed Rin Shanzong's change in mood as he looked at Wang Duan in the screen and saw his fit with the Horseman of the Apocalypse. Sure enough, I wasn't wrong in this guess, the Rin family is bold to such an extent. If this is true, the Rin family really deserves to die. Lu Fan's eyes were filled with dark clouds. But he glanced at the message that still showed that the documents were being processed to go through the process. A sense of powerlessness steeply rose in his heart. This world was either black or white, a saddening shade of gray. Brother Dust, are you hyper-evolving? Lu Chang scurried over, looking left and silently right. Stop yelling and follow me. There should be people waiting for me outside. Wang Dust turned around and greeted. He had to brush up to the hundredth floor. Pile up his level to at least level 40. Or even level 50. Go out and settle the score with those old dogs of the Rin family. Coming. And Xiao Xiao had determination in her eyes as she brought Emo Lioli and Li Meng Meng over. Xiao Xiao, it's going to be hard for you guys later. Wang Chen looked at the girl who had been silently supporting him, and a touch of tenderness grew in his eyes. No matter how far you go, I will be behind you. And Xiao Xiao didn't say much. Go. Wang Chen smiled and led the crowd directly to the 28th floor. The huge light door flashed. They arrived in the light door. After passing through, the 28th floor appeared. It was a desolate land filled with rolling clumps of grass, precisely tumbleweeds. But the next moment, these grass clusters had lit up a pair of eyes, countless grass blades shook, and unexpectedly began to gather madly towards the center. The countless tumbleweeds gathered more and more, and in an instant, they formed a huge, hideous monster. Let me do it, heavenly phoenix burns the sky. Flames flickered in in Xiao Xiao's eyes. She directly took her magic staff and waved it. A ball of flame directly smashed over. These grass attribute magical creatures directly burned. Flame magicians were already restraining these magical creatures. And Xiao Xiao dealt with it with half the effort. Come up first. Wang Dust released the spider magical creatures and their group sat on them, attacking these magical creatures while rushing towards the 29th floor. Soon the monsters on the 28th floor were mostly killed by them. The monster on the 29th floor was a hideous beetle. These Wang Dust released an army of several hundred spiders and pushed their way across. Boom boom boom. These hideous holy beetles couldn't carry Wang Dust's spider army and were torn into pieces, their green blood staining a large portion of the ground. Large streams of experience surged over. White light flashed on several people. Go to the 30th floor. Wang Dust gave an order. Rumble. The remaining 5 to 600 spiders hissed and rushed over with great vigor. The students outside were watching intently. They also wanted to know just how many floors Wang Chen could brush. Could he break the record of 50 floors? In the middle of the 30th floor. The vast army of spiders had just rushed in, and the blazing heat in the air made them restless and agitated. This place was a fiery land, and from time to time, one could see clusters of flames scurrying on the ground. The line of sight was also all fiery red. This was a barren and hot volcanic hinterland. Squeak squeak. A few spiders screamed a few times and raised their jointed limbs, the bristles on them all scorched by the flames. These insect-like magical creatures were naturally not fond of such a hot and dry place. It's so hot. 
What the hell was this trial tower built for? All kinds of extreme conditions are simulated all over again. Li Mingmeng's sweat came straight down, crystal beads of sweat flowing down her chin, sliding down her delicate skin and into the gully in front of her chest. And Xiao Xiao as a fire attribute magician on the contrary felt quite comfortable, the air was full of hot and dry fire attribute magic, she said, don't spit it out, when we're in college, we're going to have to fight and kill with the foreigners, when that time comes, you'll understand the intent of the college entrance exams, we're fighting with foreigners in a sometimes harsher environment than in. Lu Chang nodded his head, yeah, I heard that the most severe one before was a great battle inside a volcano, those strong people were stepping on the debris floating on the magma to fight at high speed. I'm just a support, don't demand so much from me, it's fine for people to stand at the back. Li Mengmeng raised her hands in surrender. Cold Ice Shield Emolioli stood up, the magic staff in her hand lit up with blue light, countless blue points of light converged and transformed into two shields in the air that were bubbling with eerie coldness, encircling the crowd. The blue shields exuded a comforting coolness that counteracted the high temperatures outside, but just for a little while, it felt like melting. Phew, that's much more comfortable, wow, Ruri you're so cool on you, stick with me. Li Mang Mang instantly hugged Emo Lioli. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, let go, your body is so hot. Emo Lioli was almost pounced on by Li Mang Mang on the spider. Stop fighting, we're going to catch up next, I'll push all the way across, you guys get ready, I'll talk to you about the plan now. Wang Dust shouted. Good. A color of importance appeared on the faces of several people. Floors 20 to 40 are all swarming demons, although there will be small bosses leading the way, they are not a big threat, so I plan to push all the way across. Wait until after the 40th floor, then we'll change our plan, after all, after the 40th floor and onwards, the number of demons will decrease and will be dominated by elite and boss demons, at that time, simply relying on the number of demons to crush them will be useless. Meng Meng you'll be responsible for protecting us then, once you detect danger, release defensive type magic to protect us, Xiao Xiao if you find out where the battle is more stalemated, you'll utilize your own highly destructive magic to support us. What about me? Mo Lioli asked impatiently. Lioli you have numerous magical abilities, there is defense, support and control, when the time comes you act as you see fit, but focus on control and protection, after all, you are all magicians are more vulnerable. No problem, leave it to me. Emo Lioli gave a thumbs up. That one, that one of yours won't be, right? Wang Dust suddenly asked in a low voice. Emo Lioli's face reddened in an instant, she knew what Wang Chuan was asking, so she stammered, that, that I specially prepared before I came, otherwise what if I embarrass myself during the college entrance exam? She had brought a calming effect jewelry with her this visit and hung it around her neck. That's fine. Wang Chen breathed a sigh of relief. No wonder he didn't see Mo Lioli that during this period of time. Brother Dust, don't forget me. Lu Chang was waiting for Wang Dust to give him a task. Don't use your skills for yourself, just throw them at anyone you see. Wang Dust waved his hand. Lu Chang's face immediately showed a look of grief. Written all over his face was Brother Dust you don't understand me. Looking at the surrounding group of spiders that were maneuvering around, Wang Dust had some meat pain. About a hundred spiders had been consumed before, and there were more than a hundred crippled ones. After thinking about it, Wang Dust first put away all these crippled ones and let them recuperate first. He planned to wait until the back, and then regain control of a batch when he saw a suitable demonic creature. After all, the demons on the 30th floor were only about level 15, and although the elite monsters would account for more, they still wouldn't be of much use to Wang Chuan. After thinking for a while, his eyes suddenly lit up. He directly waved his hand, and a large number of diggers ran out from his body, then climbed onto the bodies of these spiders. With a thumping construction, a turret gatling was successfully constructed by Wang Chen. This directly allowed these spiders to move with their weapons resting on them, and it also saved the time of having the diggers build and dismantle the turrets. Although this would lead to a decrease in the accuracy of the turrets, it also made up for the disadvantage of the turrets not being able to move. Holy shit, Brother Dust is awesome. Lu Chang looked dumbfounded. Wang Dust smiled, this was just where it was at. His mechanical space currently had few unlocked buildings and troop types. In the future, when starships and air and space motherships were constructed, they would not be able to scare the piss out of him. 
Wang Dust then released a large number of invaders, as if they were locusts, and they flew up from him, transforming into a cloud of silvery mist. He intended to control the demons while advancing, reducing the pressure on the spiders. Depart. The crowd watching the battle outside was shocked by Wang Dust's flurry of maneuvers. This was okay, huh? Who said that weapons can only be planted on the ground? These spiders will work too? Crap, this idea is really heaven defying. Bullshit 666. Then in this way, their advancement speed should be several times faster than before, right? I also wonder if they can brush the 50th floor to break the record? I think it's hanging. 30th floor. Roar. A green lizard flew in, their nostrils spewing out streams of nitrous air, making a manic sound, and their mouths were able to spit out a fireball. It collided with Wang Dust with his vast army of spiders. The Gatling and Fire Horn above them fired frantically. Boom boom boom. A cloud of cannon fire bloomed. These lizards were knocked down one after another, falling from the middle of the sky with black smoke and flopping onto the ground. Plop. As the spiders passed by, their sharp knuckles were inserted into the bodies of these lizards, and these black lizards died completely after letting out a hiss. Roar roar roar. Just at this time far out of the volcano, a violent roar suddenly came out, accompanied by a large roar, hundreds of green lizards rose up from the inside of the crater, bringing the volcano's rolling black smoke, as well as sparks flying over towards Wang Chan and the rest of them. Raise your attention, the big guys are coming. Wang Chen's battle armor surfaced, followed by his helmet combining with a clicking sound, and his red VI piece unleashed its infrared scanning ability. Buzz. Wang Dust was able to clearly see. Inside the crater, a huge lizard was crawling towards the outside, like an alien dragon. Huff. A huge head stretched out in the crater, resembling a crocodile with two tiny horns growing on it. It looked to be as tall as 10 meters. It was the commander of these volcanic lizards, the Volcanic Inferno Lizard. And as soon as it showed its head, it let out a hiss at Wang Dust and the others, and the wings behind it unfolded, shaking violently with a rumble, bringing up dust and smoke, and flew over towards Wang Dust. Holy shit so big! Is this the commander of the 30th floor? This is the first time I've seen it, I have to know that those teams that came to compete before didn't dare to brush the monsters with such fanfare for fear of disturbing this volcanic inferno lizard sleeping in the middle of the volcano. Other teams couldn't wait to install a few mufflers on their magic staffs, Senior Wang Chen is different, he couldn't wait to install a few megaphones for fear that these magical creatures wouldn't hear them. Before those hundreds of flying volcano lizards could come over, they were knocked down by the turrets on top of Wang Chen's spider army. Boom boom boom. The blue turrets emitted bubbling electric charges, hitting one after another, even if there were a few deviations, it was harmless. The flying lizards fell to the ground as the blue current flashed by. Even though their skin was thick and they couldn't die from the fall, the crimson cannon tubes on the backs of the spiders on both sides immediately began to brighten up, and large streams of red flame shot out. Hoo 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 hoo! The powerful recoil made the knuckles of these spiders inserted in the ground tremble, and some of them pressed down and were also pushed back a few steps by the recoil, leaving deep grooves in the ground. However, all of these lizards were also incinerated by the flames and squealed, their skin cracking and turning to emit a scent. They were magical creatures that inhabited the inside of a volcano, but that didn't mean that they were able to withstand such powerful heat. Not to mention, there were also spiders with gatlings greeting them with bullets. Large streams of experience poured into Wang Chan and his group's bodies, and they were able to clearly see their experience, which was growing at an incredible rate. Holy shit it smells good. Lu Chang couldn't help himself and directly ran over and grabbed a roasted lizard thigh. This was a great tonic, normally sold for thousands of dollars a pound in the food market. Eating it was able to increase one's physical fitness. Look at this unproductive look of yours. Wang Dust cried and laughed. I've researched this before, this volcano lizard is rich in fire attribute energy, it can increase blood transportation, go back and give it to my mom to eat, my mom didn't have a brain infarction once a few years ago, which led to a constant lack of blood supply to the brain. Lu Chan laughed. Don't worry, when we go out, I'll help you find a therapist to give your aunt a look. With words like this, Wang Chen directly collected some meat in with his space ring for him. Lu Chan's mother's illness wasn't considered difficult to treat, 
and he now had the ability to ask a 50-plus level healing profession to step in. This was also within his plan, when he was at his poorest, Lu Chang's family didn't help him much. As a matter of love and reason, he had to do his best. Thank you brother Dust. Lu Chang smiled nervously. Thanks for what? When there are valuable magical items in the back, I'll help you take a little more back to sell, and you guys don't have to stock up, so it's a straight up profit. Although the demons in the trial tower would not drop anything, the corpses were still worth money. After Wang Dust put away those nearby magical creatures, he looked towards the volcanic inferno lizard that was flying over in the air. Die! Wang Chuan made a deep leap, and the apocalypse lance emerged in his hand with a golden light. Rumble! The lance shot out, instantly piercing through the volcanic inferno lizard. Come, bring the heart back to Auntie. This is something good. Wang Chin directly split this volcanic inferno lizard. So much lizard meat, my grocery store can sell it for a year, brother dust. Lu Chang excitedly ran over and scooped out the heart, then didn't mind it, excitedly storing it away and letting Wang Dust load it into his spatial ring. He had lost his mind for a while when he first awakened as a nurse. But the good thing is that he consoled himself that although it is a supporting profession, it is also promising, it is better than awakening an assassin, right, you would be better off letting him lose weight at that time than killing him. It was not easy to come out from the sadness. The house leaks and it rains all night long. When he realized that he was a mutated milkmaid, his mind directly exploded. The magic wand he just bought was all thrown on the ground and stomped on twice. He had thought that he would be like this for the rest of his life and would never be able to improve his family's environment and cure his mother's cerebral infarction, but luckily he had met Wang Chuan, who had helped him change all of that. To be honest at that time when he and Wang Chuan played together, others even laughed at them one fat and one crippled, it was quite a match. Don't think too much, they are all brothers. Wang Dust patted Lu Chang and signaled him to get on the spider first. Brother Dust, I'm too touched. Lu Chang's eyes reddened. Come on, don't disgust me, hurry up and get up there, do you have to let me call out to you de air? Wang Dust kicked Lu Chang to the top of the spider. He then jumped up as well. Finally a buzzing sound rang out from him and countless silver-colored invaders incited their wings and flew towards the distance. Those volcanic lizards in the distance that had been stunned on the ground were controlled by these intruders before they could react. The crimson vertical pupils flashed with a silver icy light, and in the end, these volcano lizards were transformed into mechanicals. Roar roar roar! Hundreds of volcanic lizards flew up and hovered above Wang Chuan and the others in a rather spectacular manner. Now with these volcano lizards protecting us, we don't have to be constantly on guard against enemy attacks overhead, let's continue on our way. Wang Chuan rushed towards the 31st floor with the spider and these lizards in the sky. And seeing that Wang Dust had controlled so many demonic creatures so easily, the crowd outside all let out a gasp of surprise. They also all saw that it was Wang Chen who had released those clustered units earlier with an invasion effect, but so many counterintuitive traits had appeared at the same time on top of his profession. It had to be said that it appeared a bit shocking. To know that other summoners wanted to control unfamiliar magical creatures, it was like begging their grandparents, and the success rate was extremely low. Which was as simple as Wang Dust, controlling hundreds of them with a single strike. The students of the summoning department next to him probably only wanted to curse now. There were also some students who had changed their jobs to become mechanics who were also tapping into their own potential, and they always felt that they and Wang Chuan's mechanics should be about the same. The school had even called many of the mechanic students over to study them to see if they had some special features. At the same time, inside a luxurious villa somewhere on the map, there was a man and a woman with blonde hair and blue pupils, the man was handsome and the woman was beautiful, looking like a doll. And across from them was a young girl with black hair and black pupils, with exquisite makeup. This was none other than the freshman of the pretty country as well as the Taiji country. They were all clear s rank professions that had come to study in the Huaxia Empire. These are the lists of some of the outstanding students from each province of China this year, you guys take a look at them first, including their occupational characteristics, we have also written them on there, when the time comes, they will be your competitors. A diplomat with white gloves placed a thick stack of information in his hand on the table of the three. 
That blonde-haired teenager raised his eyebrows disdainfully and said, What's there to see? What kind of powerful professions can come out of a small place like the Huasha Empire? Can they be any more powerful than me? He was the strongest paladin of this generation. The exquisitely made-up girl also smiled and said, That being said, it's still important to know a little bit about it. There's an old saying in the Chinese Empire that says, If you know yourself and your enemy, you'll never be in danger in a hundred battles. It is said that there are many excellent s rank professions this year. The teenager said with his arms resting on his head, I'll see you later, I'm still busy, just after I came to the Chinese Empire there are quite a few pretty girls who have added my contact information, and I'm planning to go out and have some fun this evening. The serious-faced diplomat next to him said, It's fine for a young master to go out and have fun, but don't be tempted. Who would have guessed that the teenager laughed, how could I possibly be tempted? These women who come to my bed on their own accord when I hook my finger are all cheap goods, marrying them will affect the purity of my bloodline. I've long heard that the girls of the Chinese empire are both cheap and have no eyesight or insight, even some non-nationals they like, now it's true what the internet says. The blonde girl was just playing with the cell phone in her hand, when she heard the teenager's words, she frowned, but she didn't say anything more, the condescending look on her face hadn't changed. There was nothing here that could draw her interest. It was because she was one of the strongest s rank professions in the pretty country this year, or the most mysterious. Her mission was to trample all the freshmen of the Chinese Empire under her feet. For example, characters such as Knight of the Apocalypse Renenian from Tianning Province, Sword Immortal Chen Pingon from Qingxian Province, and Altered Fire Warrior Xiaozhuo from Gamma Province. In the middle of the trial tower, Wang Dust was leading Lu Chang and the others to frantically slaughter the demons here. In the middle of a large icy cold lake, there was a head of strange fish with four legs growing in this area, and they were spitting out cold air constantly fighting against Wang Dust's army of summon creatures. Fortunately, Wang Chuan had controlled a large number of volcano lizards in advance, and these volcano lizards spat fireballs from the sky, defeating these strange fish and retreating. Amidst everyone's shocked gazes, the 32 levels were successfully cleared. Wang Chen's level had also arrived at level 36. And Xiao Xiao and the others had also increased their levels, just not as fast as Wang Chen had raised them. Everyone felt a dryness in their throats at the sight of this, and they found themselves unable to guess which layer Wang Chen was actually able to brush through. Do you guys think that senior Wang Chen his goal is the 50th floor? I don't know right now, the one who swiped to the 50th floor back then was said to be a dragon sacrifice, and he only swiped to the 50th floor after getting a giant dragon by mistake. Then will senior Wang Chen break his record? I'm not sure, after all, I don't know what exactly is behind the 50th floor. Amidst everyone's gazes full of anticipation, Wang Chuan led the vast army of demons and launched an attack towards the next floor. After a fierce battle, the 34th floor has also passed. This is too fast, isn't it? This is senior Wang Chuan's full strength, the small boss guarding the 34th floor didn't even manage to carry over one of senior Wang Chuan's punches, and was directly blown up. Now they've reached the 35th floor. Holy shit, senior Wang Chuan even collected a lot of demonic creatures, the more he fights now, the more demonic creatures he has. At this moment, there were some more silver white toads among Wang Chuan's army of demonic creatures. These toads were none other than the 35th floor's cold ice toads, which sprayed out attacks with a strong paralyzing and freezing effect, making them a rather disgusting type of demonic creature. In the middle of the 36th floor, it was a barren plain where many broken palaces and statues were displayed. When Wang Chuan had just stepped into the area, these statues suddenly lit up with a scarlet glow, and then unexpectedly revived. Crawling out from the mud, they patted the moss and dirt on their bodies and killed towards Wang Chuan and the others. Demonic Soul Stone Statue This kind of demonic creature is controlled by the soul slave inside, the only way to completely solve it is to break the statue outside and kill the soul slave inside. Holy shit, no wonder senior Wang Chuan controlled so many cold ice toads in advance. The cold poison of the 35th floor's cold ice toads has the ability to corrode, able to penetrate the surface of these statues to reach the interior to poison the soul slaves inside. Seeing those toads let out a croak from their mouths, they lined up in a row, and then opened their mouths to spew out white cold waves, wherever they passed, the ground condensed with ice crystals, and those small grasses withered and turned purple-black. And those huge statues are rumbling towards here, the next moment after being covered by the cold wave, their rough surface will emerge white ice crystals, and then the red light in their eyes also extinguished. 
Take a closer look and you can see these statues of the seven orifices of a green mist towards the outside. Can also hear oozing shouts. It was the result of the soul slaves inside being poisoned to death. Holy shit! Broke the record. Senior Wang Chen just used less than 10 minutes to clear this place. People were shocked. Wang Chuan continued to rush towards the next level with the demons, only as he stood on top of the spiders, he suddenly felt some tightness in his heart, and he always felt as if there was something wrong somewhere. There was a sense of pain that was connected to his blood that reminded him that there seemed to be some kind of danger. What's going on here? No way have to hurry up and finish brushing and go out to take a look. Wang Chuan's face sank and he accelerated his speed. 36th floor. 37 floors. 38 floors. Soon, Wang Dust and his group winded up in front of the 40th floor. Be careful, I'll put away most of the summons, when we reach the 40th floor, the demons here won't be able to win with quantity, but with quality. The demons on the 40th floor would be dominated by elite-type demons and boss-type demons. I see. And Xiao Xiao and the others nodded cautiously, their eyes filled with caution. If they hadn't followed Wang Chen, it wasn't very likely for them to brush up to the 40th floor. The portal in front of them also became more rugged and looked very grand. As they walked into the portal, their figures appeared in a deep and dark forest. The sky here was dark, with a bizarre purple moon hanging, and the surrounding trees looked like monsters with teeth and claws, very oozing. Green ghostly flames floated in the air, and the cries of crows could be heard. Fluttering sounds were heard. Straight away, a few crows flew up from the branches of the trees in the distance, these crows were very large, their eyes flickered with an eerie red light, and on closer inspection they even had six eyes. Sensing the stranger's aura, more and more crows rose up in the air, landing on the ground surprisingly transformed into a half-crow monster with six eyes, holding a black scythe. Name, Six-Eyed Demon Crow, Elite. While in the forest in the distance, it was accompanied by hissing sounds, a zombie with miserable white skin unexpectedly staggered out. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Mo Liuli was the least courageous and directly cowered behind in Xiao Xiao. This place was really too bizarre, and vaguely one could still see those tombstones erected in the middle of the forest. And although the levels of these demons hadn't increased too much, their attributes had increased a lot compared to those ordinary demons. This was exactly what made elite monsters so terrifying. In addition to their perverted attributes, the skills they knew were also numerous. Hiss. These half-crows wielded sides and swung them violently, blood-colored rays of light impacted towards them, and some of them opened their mouths wide to emit sound waves. And taking this opportunity, those zombies also lunged towards them with a red light in their eyes, these demonic creatures actually knew how to match their attacks. Ice Shield Although Emo Lioli was scared, she still immediately cast a defense magic. Bang bang bang! Those blood-colored round blades hit on top of these shields, and instantly, large swaths of ice slag flew out, while cracks surfaced in these shields. Holy Light Shelter At the critical moment, Li Mengmeng toppled over with her magic staff. A layer of golden light like a veil of light enveloped the several people. It was as if golden wings were unfolding. The profession of Holy Light Angel belonged to the light profession, and it was very effective in restraining these dark attribute magical creatures. Although Lu Chang had also thrown out a magic aura, these strange skills of his were ineffective against these zombies because these zombies were only instinctive and had no other emotions. Instead, it made each of these zombies run towards them as if they had drunk enough blood. Crap! Lu Chang was startled. Liu Li, Meng Meng, protect Xiao Xiao. Wang Dust guarded the front and blasted out with a fist. Rumble! The terrifying power pierced through the air and huge air waves swept out, blowing in Xiao Xiao and the others at the back, who couldn't stand still. Dust and smoke rose in all directions for a while. This power of Wang Dust was simply too terrifying. A punch directly formed a conical vacancy in front. The large trees behind them directly rumbled and fell down. No creature survived within the 30-meter square cone except them, and the turf on the ground was lifted up, leaving huge gullies. With his tremendous strength and agility Wang Dust charged straight through, and with his spider, it was like no man's land, one punch was a demonic creature. Regardless of whether it was these half-crows or these zombies, they were simply unbeatable in front of Wang Dust's crushing strength, 
all of them were killed in one punch. After clearing out the demons in the vicinity, Wang Dust repeated the same trick, letting the spiders carrying the turrets around him spread out according to the lineup. Unsurprisingly, an even more violent sound rang out from the depths of the forest, as more demonic creatures rushed from within, and those tombstones cracked open, stretching out a pale arm, as many elite zombies crawled out from the ground. Rumble. The Vulcan Gatling opened fire. The artillery also attacked at the same time. The enormous firepower almost lit up half of the sky. In less than a few minutes. All the demons here were cleared out. It seems that the elite demons on the 40th floor haven't improved much compared to before, and it made me prepare for so long in advance. Wang Chuan's hanging heart relaxed. Although he was very strong right now, but being careful was the best thing you could do, you could never guess what kind of problems these high school examiners would give you in the trial tower. Those examiners were probably going to spit out blood when they heard this, no matter how much they had set it up, they never thought that there would be a pervert like Wang Chen. The people outside felt like they were going crazy when they heard this mumble from Wang Dust, what did it mean that they hadn't improved much? The other teams were too scared to take a big breath when they entered the 40th floor for the first time. Wang Chuan's side had already killed their way to the deepest part of the forest with their mobile turrets. There were five or six tombstones in there, all of which were a pitch black color with blood red runes flashing on them. At a glance, they were the bosses in here. Then before these bosses could awaken. It's too slow, let me send you on your way. Wang Chuan suddenly jumped into the air, the super god armament on his body lit up with crimson lines as it instantly turned on super god overload. Senior Wang Chen what is he doing? The crowd rounded their eyes. Wang Chuan then threw a punch at the ground. There was a rumbling sound. In the sky, a fistful of air blasts swept out like a hurricane. The terrifying power poured toward the ground like a tsunami. Rumble. Like a nuclear bomb descending, the ground crazily collapsed, emerging as a huge deep pit with countless cracks spreading. The pitch black coffin that was buried inside the ground was instantly shattered. The zombie lord that was sleeping inside felt a huge pressure just as it opened its eyes, and its skin and bones instantly began to burst. Crap? The zombie lord was confused to the extreme. I was sleeping well underground, what the fuck is going on here? Has it been demolished? It was then blasted into a cloud of blood mist by Wang Chuan's fist with confusion. Go! Wang Dust greeted, and as if he was a bandit, he led the vast array of demons towards the four billionth layer to kill. Amidst everyone's shocked gazes. 41. 42. Wang Dust didn't take a break along the way. Killing straight through. People are numb. Is this a human being? He should stop when he reaches the 50th floor, after all, the 50th floor can all be boss-level demons. Amidst the people's shocked gazes, Wang Chen's team was invincible. Bang! 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 One layer was constantly being beaten through the level. 49 floors. Wang Chuan picked up his lance and shook off the sticky blood on it. In front of him was a huge relic machine, and a demonic creature sitting inside the operation room was pierced through his body, its eyes glaring roundly, its hands gripping the joystick in death. It seemed that because Wang Chen's attack was too fast, it had no time to react before its life was ended. Swish! A white light flashed above Wang Chuan and the others' heads as they upgraded once again. 38 levels now? Wang Chuan silently chanted. At this time, the summons behind him all walked over, and with a wave of Wang Chuan's hand, two mechanical giant doors slowly emerged from the ground, with a languid halo of light flickering inside. Under Wang Chuan's mind control, all of these summons climbed into the summoning doors with a brain. Below is the 50th floor, previous generations of freshmen all stopped here, I'm a little curious as to what exactly will be beyond the 50th floor? Wang Dust stood in front of a giant amber door, Perhaps because no one had opened it for a long time, a thick layer of dust had fallen on the giant door. Some people jokingly claimed that only the first 50 floors of the trial tower were for students to break through and try out, and that every layer after the next 50 floors belonged to secrets. There is only one demonic creature on each floor after the 50th floor, but they are all boss level, the dragon priest who went in that year said that the 50th floor seems to be a demonic creature named the Uncrowned King. Back then, even though he had a juvenile dragon as a pet, 
he just barely cleared the 50th floor, and facing the 51st floor, he didn't even have the courage to knock on the door. Since then, the 51st floor amongst the trial tower has also been known as the Valor Swansung. Listening to An Xiao Zhao's words, Wang Chen's gaze turned a little cold. Brave man's jubilee? I'm interested. He took a step forward and placed his hands on top of the door. Along with this move of his, everyone outside the arena followed suit and tensed up, their gazes coalescing over, and sweat even surfaced on the foreheads of some. It really didn't occur to me that I would be able to see someone being able to break through to the 50th floor in my lifetime, we have once again witnessed a miracle. Do you think senior Wang Chen he can beat the boss on the 50th floor? It should be possible, just based on his previous performance, I don't think he'll have any problem breaking through to the 52nd or even 53rd floor, but I can't say anything further, it's rumored that the monsters on every floor from the 50th floor onwards are incomparably perverted, that's a boss type demonic creature ah, don't you forget that. Don't be so serious, you're making me nervous, Hugh Dash, better sit down first. Speaking of which I'm forgetting, what exactly does the boss of the 50th floor, that uncrowned king, look like? Rumble. Along with Wang Dust's force, a surging huge force poured out and pressed on top of the giant door. The doorway, which had been dusty for an unknown number of years, slowly turned, the gears and hinges inside making clattering noises, and dust fell from above. Stay away, there's so much dust. And Xiao Xiao and the others hurriedly took a few steps back. The huge door that stood in the middle of the dark forest slowly opened. Boom! A ghastly white lightning swept through the sky, reflecting the huge doorway, and the reliefs carved on it seemed to come to life, their pupils flickering with a ghostly light. The stone door opened, and inside was an indescribably huge light, as if a huge monster had opened its icy eyes. What a terrifying feeling, what's with this uneasiness? Is this the pressure of a boss-level demonic creature? People tensed up. This kid really has guts. Lu Fan looked at the screen. At this moment, Ren Shanzong's face was unusually calm, but the depths of his pupils flickered with the color of madness. I hope you won't be so insouciant as to die in the test tower, after all, my intention was to make you beg for your life and beg for your death, Wang Xuan. Somewhat interesting, go. Wang Dust waved his hand and took the lead to walk into that light. Go. I didn't expect that I can also make history, in the future when I go out in the college entrance exam I can also follow and brag that my buddy is also the one who entered to the 50th floor. Lu Chang followed closely behind. Meng Meng, Liu Li, be careful. And Xiao Zhao's face was filled with gravity. Swish. With a flash of light, what appeared in front of them was a huge circular square, and all around this square was endless darkness. It was as if they had arrived at a huge platform suspended in the darkness. Is this the 50th floor? There is no complex environment. It seems like it's just for the candidates to fight to their heart's content here, and there isn't even a single shelter. Wang Chen scanned the area and quickly judged the surroundings. He then shifted his sight to the main center. There was a dark, massive object there. Is that the boss we need to brush? It doesn't look like it's as scary as expected. Lu Chang and the others also tilted their heads to look at the monster. If they were normal freshmen, they wouldn't even be able to touch a boss-level demonic creature at this level, and touching an elite demonic creature would have to keep their hands busy for quite a while. If they hadn't followed Wine Dust, they really wouldn't have been able to see this kind of boss-level demon. However, this wasn't the first time they had encountered a boss-level demon. Previously, when they were brushing their copies, they had already seen Wang Chuan punch out a level 28 spider boss in a second. So they weren't afraid of this boss. So there was more curiosity and excitement in their eyes. Seeing Lu Chang and the others with this look, the crowd was deeply puzzled. Why do I feel as if they're here on vacation, without the slightest bit of fear or nervousness, I felt nervous for them outside. Yeah, they didn't even set up a formation, they just stood here stupidly, did they intend to just come in and take a look and quit? The freshmen who were outside were all seeing a boss-level demonic creature for the first time, so they all tilted their heads and stared round, not daring to breathe a single breath. Vaguely, they could see the purple font that belonged to the boss class in there. It was the more dangerous color. With the help of the skill infrared scan, Wang Dust clearly saw its entire outline. It was clearly a huge statue that was 10 meters tall, it had its head lowered and was carrying a broken crown. 
This statue hadn't moved for an unknown amount of time, and its body was covered in green moss. In front of it, there was a rusty longsword stuck in the ground, and its hands were resting on the hilt, as if in silence. This was precisely the boss belonging to the 50th floor, the uncrowned king. There's no mistake, the boss of the 50th floor is this one, I saw it back then, and the one who was a dragon sacrifice maneuvered a giant dragon to fight it for a long time. See that scar on its chest? It's from the sharp claws of the giant dragon back then, and it looks like it's healed up pretty much now. As long as you beat these bosses to the point of serious injury, it will automatically trigger the protection mechanism inside and teleport these bosses away. So that's how it is. But these examiners are also too lazy, wouldn't that make the exam questions the same every year, and everyone can completely make plans in advance? What kind of stupid question are you asking, would you dare to go up to the 50th floor if you were given a plan? And do you have the ability to break through to the 50th floor? Seemingly sensing the aura of a stranger, the torches around the huge round platform suddenly began to light up one after another, and a bizarre glow filled the entire round platform. Buzz. The ground seemed to start vibrating as well. Rumble. The uncrowned king opened its eyes, its icy pupils instantly locking onto Wang Chuan, and along with the sound of friction, it drew out its longsword on the ground. The huge statue walked towards Wang Chuan and the others with black shadows, leaving a huge footprint on the ground with every step, making a dull heavy landing sound. Holy shit, holy shit, it's moving. It's going to fight. In the midst of the crowd's nervous gazes. Brother Dust. What should we do? Lu Chang shouted. It looks like this guy isn't as strong as that spider we encountered before. It seems like it's only level 25, if I don't remember wrongly, that spider we encountered before seemed to be a level 28 boss. Wang Dust said without even returning his head. You guys don't need to do anything, just follow me, let's make this quick, after all, don't forget our previous goal. His goal was to brush up to the hundredth floor. Boom. Boom. The huge statue walked with a terrifying pressure, the circular platform shook, and the tip of the huge sword in his hand dragged on the ground, leaving deep grooves and blinding sparks. Wang Chen also walked towards the statue. From afar, a large and a small figure were approaching, looking somewhat incredible. Clank dash. Accompanied by ear-piercing friction sounds. A red light flashed in the eyes of the statue as it raised the long sword in its hand high and erected it towards Wang Chuan. Holy shit. What are Senior Wang Chuan and the others doing? Everyone outside felt like going crazy when they saw this scene. Rumble. The statue slashed down so hard that the air almost shattered, carrying a terrifying whistling gale. Wang Chen tilted his head and watched the magnificent giant sword slash down towards him. Do you want to stop me from advancing with just this much power? Exhaling lightly, Wang Chen laughed. Buzz. Terrifying power converged. The overgod overload instantly turned on, and the crimson temperature was like a beating heart, burning in every part of the battle armor. The golden-colored apocalypse lance emerged. At this moment, Wang Chen was like a god of war, holding the lance, incomparably dazzling. Facing the huge long sword, Wang Chen's lance brazenly slashed forward, and the piercing golden light blazed out as if it was going to cut through the air. Death. Rumble. Wang Chuan's spear seemed to pick up a round of golden sun, and dazzling golden light shone. When everyone squinted their eyes and looked at the big screen. Only to see that Wang Chuan and the others had already walked over. The huge statue wanted to turn back. Ka ka ka. Its body suddenly erupted with a brilliant golden light from top to bottom. Rumble. The huge sword-wielding statue split in two from the center and fell to the sides with a loud tremor. Congratulations on killing the uncrowned king. You have gained experience. What surprised Wang Chuan was that along with the fall of the uncrowned king, a whole bunch of things were popped out, which were equipment and props that flashed with several golden lights. There will even be equipment? Wang Chen was a bit shocked, and in Xiao Xiao explained, few professionals can brush this place after the 50th floor, so there are rewards for the bosses here after they are killed. But Emolioli said, but I heard my dad say that bosses above the 50th floor have a protection mechanism, once they are seriously injured, the teleportation array here will teleport the boss away, so how could there be equipment popping out, could it be that Wang Dust was too fast just now, and didn't even have time to react to the protection mechanism here? 
But no matter what, the boss, the uncrowned king, had completely fallen. Ignore those first, look at the rewards. Wang Dust walked over and scanned the introduction of these equipment. Uncrowned crown, silver rank the uncrowned king's favorite crown before he was petrified, take him on again a taunting effect. Uncrowned stone ring, silver order has the effect of masking the breath, comes with a petrification ray, and can petrify the enemy if there is not a big difference in level difference. But what surprised Wang Chen the most was that there was a stone like a heart here. This was actually an extremely rare gold level equipment, knowing that a level 25 boss being able to pop out gold level equipment was unusual in itself. Heart of the Uncrowned, gold level certain special professions can obtain the effect of the Uncrowned King's silence aura after absorbing it, as long as they don't take the initiative to reveal their own information, others won't be able to inquire about it, and the level difference is limited to 30 levels or less. Wang Chuan's eyes lit up, this was an extremely treasured piece of equipment for hiding his breath, meaning that as long as the level difference between him and others didn't exceed 30 levels, those people wouldn't be able to check the breath on his body. His current over god armaments overall level was at LV2, and each part could incorporate two pieces of equipment, all of which had already been melted. Only when he rose to level 40 would he be able to continue to raise the level of a single part, and by then he would be able to incorporate a third piece of equipment when he raised the level of his chest armor to LV3.